कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government reached out to opposition and the speaker, but all in vain. Who wants to block the parliament? That's the burning question tonight. Bureau Report, Republic TV. So again, like I said, it's very important to ask the most important question. If they really want a discussion on Manipur, why does the opposition put a condition? And the government, if they are okay with a discussion on Manipur, what is the problem if the prime minister? is available for a part of this discussion and he makes a statement that he made even outside the parliament so questions today that should go out to all sides as i say good evening to neha joshi spokesperson of the bjp with us nikhil jain is an advocate and a political analyst khaliku rehman ji is a spokesperson for the brs ravi shrivastava who leans towards the aap and niranjan das is a political analyst he leans towards the tmc with us let's begin this discussion now uh, with neha joshi who represents the bjp neha can you tell us why has the chief minister of the state of manipur not been sacked what is the problem if you know you sack him send in a loud enough message because i think that 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 is the most important question that people have been asking and then what stops the prime minister from making the same statement neha that he is made outside in the parliament on manipur and get this discussion going uh thank you so much good evening thank you for having me here uh now first of all uh what is it that the nation is looking for the sacking of a chief minister or a solution to mm -hmm. this deadlock that we've had for the past 80 days in manipur i think that is the big question that we need to debate upon now look at the chronology of demand of the opposition the opposition said that the uh, that the prime minister must break his silence the prime minister came out and issued a statement the opposition then state said that uh disrupted the parliament and said that uh you want we want all business suspended until we have a debate on manipur the government said mm -hmm. let's have a debate on manipur the home minister who in this case is the minister in charge who has in fact spent time in manipur and is aware of the minutest of details of what's happening there he said i will be leading the charge now the opposition says no no we do not want a debate we want the prime minister to make a statement you see uh, the, the the role of opposition in this country is reduced to theatrics right now they are not looking for solutions because if they were looking for solutions they would debate the government is open to debate no, no, what, what is solution stopping have them you from coming on the floor of the house and debating this issue no, no what solution Ravi, Ravi, have you found Ravi, let her complete her point days. let her complete no, her no, point no, then we'll I, ask her questions this is all, we'll this ask is her counter questions but please let her complete we'll her point we are hearing it again and again Ravi, 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 relax. There are a lot of. You have a habit. One second, Ravi. Ravi, this is exactly how you derail a debate. Exactly what has been happening in the parliament. You know, Ravi. Relax. Let her please complete her point. We'll go turn by turn so everyone can be heard. You know, it's important because people today are looking for answers both from the government and from the opposition. Ravi, Neha, please complete your point. So, Deepthi, in a democracy, you know, you can't have an all or nothing attitude. here the home minister who is authorized to speak on this he is responsible for internal security and affairs he is saying let's have a debate right now and is that not what they wanted and can you imagine if we were debating this issue in parliament right now perhaps a lot of questions that you i parliamentarians and common citizens of the country would have they would have been answered can you imagine what the reason hmm. would be for the opposition to stall such a debate i think the nation today is watching the opposition that instead of having a civilized debate there was sloganeering in parliament it was reduced to a uh, to a pradarshan site which mm. is what jantar mantar is can i respond to the thing neha okay i i have allowed you to make ma make your opening comment ravi ravi relax i i have a quick counter question to neha you know neha the point is when your chief minister is a part of a problem you can't expect him to give solution i don't know how many people must die how many people must be displaced how many women need to be gang raped for the system to wake up and then such videos to go viral so the chief minister clearly hasn't covered himself in glory neha there is a lot of accountability that you have to establish the second point you know that you made about the opposition doing dharna pradarshan Arun Jaitley ji famously said obstructionism is a legitimate tool of protest and this is when the BJP was in the opposition so you know you you must also appreciate the fact that it's important oh, to oppose certain things but that does not mean 
that that you you will cite back the rule book perhaps today to the congress but nikhil people will still ask you this that you know if you can get a discussion started on manipur why don't you do that because you might have you know an opportunity to put the government on the mat let them put out their statement then you find loopholes in that statement but to say that no we'll put this condition unless modi makes a statement so this proves the point that this is all just about modi and modi hatred nikhil I'm wearing black as a mark of protest today. So today we have a prime minister who is constantly on the run from accountability. What the opposition wants is a long discussion, a not a non-time bound discussion on Manipur because it is not just an issue of national security; it is also the issue of women's safety, women's security, and how the complete utter failure of the state government run by the BJP. That's the what state. the government was However, telling you today. Why did Madam, you the government was not that? no Neha 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 Neha. That was not what the government was offering today. The government wanted a time-bound discussion restricted to two hours, in which one hour Modi would have come and said that look, such incidents happen in Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, this thing was all the opposition was saying. So look, this is not a big deal. This is under rule one seventy six. What the opposition you, you wants? What the opposition needs? What the opposition wants? Nikhil, you're you're putting out a forecast. You never know that. Today. No, you're you're saying the prime minister would have done this. You have a problem if the prime minister speaks. You have a problem if the prime minister does not. What is the prime minister? So you're running with the hare, hunting with the hound, and you're get getting Did caught in your own, you know, in, entire not. points Absolutely of putting not. conditions, then pulling out, then going in, coming out, Nikhil. What did the prime minister say outside the parliament on Manipur? Did you started the debate by asking that the why is the prime minister not ready to say in the parliament what hmm. he told and uh, what is uh, said outside the parliament? What did he say outside the parliament? That Manipur me bura hua hai, desh ka naam kharaab ho raha hai, aise kisse? छत्तीसगढ़ An example, and there is going to be exemplary punishment. Should you, Nilanjan, Nil Nilanjan, I'm going to come to you. But Ravi, Ravi, on an issue as sensitive as this, should politics guide all your principles, or should you also have a large heart and say, okay, let's begin the discussion, let's get started? You know, people in Manipur have been watching, you know, television sets. they say you are in the opposition to be able to fix accountability and ask questions of the government but you are not doing that either ravi whatever this nation has witnessed in manipur via the videos via the statement hmm. of a the victim lady's husband who was a kargil war veteran the statement he made the kind of statement made hmm. by the bjp mla of manipur and the way the image of india hmm. has been tarnished across the world i think it's a very small request for making to prime minister of the country who calls himself to be a pradhan sevak should come inside the parliament and make a statement over there mm. you know outside in this lot Mr. of Shivasta, those that are really, that's really that's rich coming from minute, a person I, I, who has questioned the surgical listen, strike listen, in the past i have been on this channel girlfriend in a debate Jarsi with you Kao, where you have questioned he makes who question surgical yeah, strike yeah. You question the valor of our army. Either, so let's not make this about our army. And please. absolutely, David Prime Minister, he has no guts to face the people now. I can tell you. No, Ravi, all, Ravi, cannot, Ravi. How do you know he would have not intervened? The Union Home Minister is in charge. No, no, listen. Is in charge of law and order. He he said he is willing to put out a statement on the floor of the house. What he did. And and going by past precedents, we have seen the Prime Minister. What he intervening did. on a lot of important said, issues. The government could find out. You can't preempt that he would, no, or he would not. What would Ravi, he Ravi, you you what can't decide that. No, you you can't look into the future, right? The what point is that if you're really you serious, Nilanjan, about a discussion, the see, Mamata Banerjee did not even allow for a discussion on Bengal violence. But on the floor of the house see, in the parliament, all, you can have a discussion on Manipur and then no, ask relevant questions no, of the government, Nilanjan. No, 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 Dipti, one minute. So wh why to stall a discussion? Dipti, there, there, there. Nilanjan, places to have protests. No, no, no. The parliament is meant for discussion. Let's get first. A discussion that the government was willing to have. Why not do that? 
I think okay. my name Neha, has been Neha, called. I, I just told you what happened in 2013. In the run-up to the 2014 elections, you have seen washouts after washouts in the parliament when the BJP was Can also in the opposition. So you know how they protest, for how long they continue those protests. And I've told you what Arun Jaitley had then said. He had justified these that protests. Mean that we but the point is there is also a hypocrisy on the opposition's platform. Neha, Neha, I'm going to come back to you. Can I'm going to come back to you. Nilanchan, complete your point, please. Yes. I didn't even start. So the government is totally rattled by the yes, opposition. Yes, please complete unity. your point. This is point number one. The opposition is wanting a discussion under mm. Rule 267. Why is the government running away? Why is the Prime Minister not bold enough to come to the floor of the parliament and issue a statement, a Suomoto statement? What is mm. stopping him from doing that? Why can't he face the uh, parliamentarians? If he can't even face his colleagues, how will he face the nation? So this is point number one. And why are you saying that the opposition is responsible? How is the opposition responsible? It is entirely the responsibility of Mr. Modi and his uh, You BJP are in the opposition, party. Nilanjan, because you have to ask questions of accountability. You know, that is the reason why in a yes, healthy democracy, yes, it's important to the not just have a government that, that is Modi strong is enough, but also important to have a strong I enough think, opposition I that think, raises people's Deepthi, concerns. Deepthi, I think I think the BJP should be thankful of the opposition that they are asking him only to speak and not to resign. This is the first point. He has hmm. created a chaos of the entire Northeast. It is just not limited to Manipur. You have to understand. And you are reporting, hmm. your reporting is also not complete, I would say. And you are bringing in issues from Bengal and law and order issues from Bengal and Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan. All these things are diversionary hmm. tactics. And, and let me tell you, this cannot be a short duration okay. discussion. This cannot be a short duration discussion. And why are See, you what, not what about Sri Nilanjan is, is what everyone can be accused of. Mr. Rahman has still not the spoken. Undemocratic, the okay. undemocratic yeah. behavior of huh. the Rajya Sabha chairman who had who suspended an honorable hmm. member of parliament just for asking the prime minister to hmm. uh, answer these questions. He has we been suspended. So this is the this is okay. the we last year that question, but before that happens, Nilanjan. No, please ask this okay, question. Okay, I, I, I want to please go to Mr. Rahman, who hasn't spoken till yet. Mr. Rahman, Mr. Rahman, what should happen, sir? What should happen? Who do, you, who do you today think is guilty? Is is the government being adamant the government does not want a discussion on Manipur, or you would blame the opposition that right now is call, calling itself India? Yeah, let me tell you that as far the government is concerned, government, in fact, is guilty. And government does not want to have a lengthy discussion mm. on this. Government wants to have a discussion under Rule 176. But uh, why not government uh, have a discussion yes. under Rule 267, wherein if the government also wants to discuss about uh, Rajasthan, let them discuss. But let them first discuss Manipur. And while actually mm. appreciating our Honorable Home okay. Minister for favoring the parliament uh, by making an offer, to debate, then why is our Honorable Prime Minister running away? Mm. Prime Minister being the leader of the Lok Sabha, it is, he is accountable to the house, he is accountable to the people and whatever he has spoken outside for about, he should also speak the same oh, thing seconds. before his own colleagues, before the uh, opposition party. You want him to make the same statement? Mr. Rahman, you want him to make the same statement inside. How will that change anything? Yeah. You know, if this has, him, hasn't just become an ego him, battle, him, unless you let, you let just him, want him to him read the come, same statement him, inside him, that he him, made outside, it, it, how will that change him, anything? Come to the parliament. Then he'll become a let, him, let him first come to the parliament. Let him first come to the parliament. Is, and and, and the opposition demand is So this is about ego. No, this is about the ego of the opposition. Ravi? This is not the ego. Ravi, you're making this about the ego of the opposition. This is not about Manipur. This is not of the pain of the people in Manipur. This is not about their concerns. Because the entire country is looking up to it. And now, is it really fair that we are... The parliament is being disrupted and it is being, you know, adjourned. And what's happening for the last three days? Not even a single... Uh, 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 business has taken up and when the opposition has given the notice under okay. section 267, the uh, uh, government should have immediately accepted it and conducted the discussion and the debate on that. So, okay, that okay. Not so have I, I have limited on time, so I'll just yeah. give the last 30 seconds to Neha. Neha, what happens tomorrow? Will, will you concede the government today has extended an olive branch to the opposition? Can the government have a large heart? Will you allow a discussion under 267? 
Smriti, the opposition MPs have also submitted uh, hmm. notices under Rule One Seventy Six. Hmm. You know, unfortunately, my fellow panelists may not be aware of that, but. Uh, Mr. Meghwal on the floor of the house has shared this with the country and the parliamentarians. Now, you know, this is not about the government conceding. The government has said, let's have an open discussion. Let's have it right now. Now, if the opposition won't just is, uh, you know, is wanting to disrupt the parliament, they want a washout of the session, they can go ahead and do that. The government will continue to work for solutions no, for peace in Manipur. That is what the government is committed but to Neha, doing. And ne ne Neha, is, is the larger truth that the government, the government also is embarrassed. You know, Neha, accept it. Your chief minister, your chief minister in Manipur is not resigning. The home minister Amit Shah was in the state of Manipur. He spent at least four days there. There is going to be a lot of accountability that will be asked of you, no, Neha? The Home Minister standing okay. on the floor of the House. So right now, it's a united opposition. The wall is now in Plus the, the BRS versus Neha. But I, that, that's all the time I have. That's all the time I have. Apologies. Apologies. Neha, Neha and all gentlemen, because of want of time. But, you know, it's important that we keep our focus there at 9. Ornab is asking that big question again. Who does not want to debate on Manipur? I thank all of you right now for joining us. We are back on the other side with lots more. The top-ranked Amity B.Tech attracts some of the most brilliant students of India who get global exposure at the five-week study abroad program at Amity's global campuses at no additional tuition fee. To apply, visit amity.edu. I am ready the government says ready for debate, but log jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow. Amid mega ruckus and face off, Amadi party Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. This part of the people who have bought all the people who have bought 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 the people Red diary controversy explodes, sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. कहीं न कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है। मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में और माननीय मुखिया जी में इतनी घबराहट क्यों है? BJP's massive attack on Gelot government over Red Diary asked Gelot to clarify alleged links to Congress headquarters. Two days in the Allahabad High Court is going to be a hearing in Allahabad High Court. And in two days, Allahabad High Court will call again. Do you want to stop it or not? So this is a very temporary interim injunction. And it will be in Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court stays ASI survey at Gyanlapi for two days. Muslim side to approach Allahabad High Court. Against the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. <laughs> बोलिए हाँ बोलिए बस बैठिए आप मेरी मत कीजिए नौ 
आप विनम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायोलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Gouda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. Gehlot sahab mo diary ka aadha part aapne mere aapke vidhan sabha mein gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai is part ke andar आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीय को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा में आगे भी करूंगा आफ्टर ही वॉज इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑन मंडे स्टैक मिनिस्टर राजेंद्र गोड आर प्रिवेंटेड from even entering the assembly building by house marshals last friday he was removed by gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज ए प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग आंसर्स फ्रॉम द गेहलोत गवर्नमेंट ओवर द राइस प्राइम क्रेसिस एंड एट्रोसिटीज अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन राजस्थान राजस्थान इज आस्किंग वॉट आर द ब्लैक डीड्स इन द रेड डायरी द रेड डायरी दैट गहलोत जी वॉन्टेड सो डेस्परेटली द रेड डायरी अबाउट विच राजेंद्र गुड़ा इज टॉकिंग नाउ इफ देर वर ब्लैक डीड्स ऑफ करप्शन ऑफ थाउजेंड ऑफ करोर्स इन राजस्थान और द ब्लैक डीड्स ऑफ सेविंग क्रिमिनल्स एंड रेपिस विच वॉज डन बाई राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट ओनली द पर्सन हु डेस्परेट फॉर दिस डायरी नोज वॉट इज देयर इन दिस डायरी in while in, in a development in the investigation into manipur barbarism and the police said that 14 people have been identified from a video of two women who were stripped and paraded police said that the action has been initiated to arrest them already six people have been arrested in this case two months after sima haider entered india illegally a similar case has surfaced and married women of indian nationality anju traveled to pakistan from delhi to meet pakistani national however unlike seema who sneaked into india without any travel papers anju was granted entry into pakistan by the authorities on the basis of a valid visa a blast has been reported in a shop in haryana's yamuna nagar causing panic across the city the police has begun an investigation the cause behind the explosion is still being ascertained तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but long jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow burning question powered by Reva University NECC and Century Ply Welcome back friends to this section of trending burning question Christopher Nolan's film about J Robert Oppenheimer the man who was the father of the atomic bomb has angered many Indian movie goers uh, due to the reference of Bhagavad Gita during an intimate scene many have taken to Twitter wondering how the censor board cleared that the particular scene also angered many hindu groups uh, and culture activists uh, who have demanded a ban on the movie all over india or perhaps at least removal of that particular bit the information broadcasting minister anurag thakur also has taken a note of the same and sought a reply from the cbfc here's a report 
on what the controversy is all about and then we debate. Christopher Nolan's film Oppenheimer has stirred a massive controversy. The reading of Bhagavad Gita verses during an intimate scene has triggered outrage among Hindu groups. It's perhaps very insensitive, tone deaf and disrespectful to see the Oppenheimer movie fusing the scenes which quotes Bhagavad Gita and sexuality. It's highly offensive. I'm not saying this is an attack on Hinduism or anything. Oppenheimer, as we all know, quoted Bhagavad Gita. But it is insensitive, to say the least. Many have demanded a ban on the movie in India. INB Minister Anurag Thakur has demanded an explanation from CBFC over the objectionable scene in the film Oppenheimer. The Information Commissioner has too raised objection and sought an answer. Our whole focus is on Christopher Nolan. Why do you make this film? It was a good film. If you take a scientist from Gita, it's a good thing for us. It's a good thing for us. What was the need for this scene? This is the need. This is the need. Alright, so friends, you have understood the debate and let's start the conversation. Joining us, in fact, Uday Mahurkar, author, thinker and so scholar of modern uh, Indian history. He's joining us live from Delhi. In fact, uh, he runs this uh, Save Culture, Save India platform, which has uh, taken umbrage to that scene in Christopher Nolan's uh, biopic of uh, Oppenheimer. And uh, that's something which has uh, got the attention of uh, not just uh, people here in India, but platforms like CNN as well. Uh, also joining us, uh, Srijan Pal Singh. He is... Uh, Founder, Kalam Center, and CEO of the Homi Lab, live from uh, Delhi. He will we'll try to understand some uh, some aspects of the intersection between science, science and uh, uh, cultural life uh, through him. Uh, let's begin with uh, Mr. Mahurkar first. Uh, Mr. Mahurkar, very good evening. And uh, uh, if you could just explain for the benefit of viewers, what are your principal objections uh, to the movie or the use of that uh, scene in the movie, its placement in the movie? Our objection is to the scene, not to the movie as a whole. The theme of the movie is very good in that sense because it is on a, on a person who was the inventor of atom bomb and who drew inspiration from Bhagavad Gita. So that is good for us, you know, for Indian civilization, for Hindu community, for India. But the scene is totally unwarranted. The scene is that uh, 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 Cillian Murphy who is playing the role of uh, Oppenheimer. He is having uh, uh, intercourse with his girlfriend. Girlfriend is showing him a book, which is certainly Gita. And he is citing, uh, he is quoting, he is reading words from that book. Now, this is <coughs> an insult to Gita. Gita is a great book. Gita is, is a book which has a message for not just India or Hindus. It has a message for the entire world. Yeah. So, to sh show that such a book, uh, in, 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 in such a manner was totally objectionable and we thought that uh, we cannot remain silent and we decided to protest. So, first I released a press note but, on but, this, but saying Mr. that how Mahurkar, did the CBFC pass the, this the and movie, the government should uh, take the steps. The movie uses that quote from Gita in many scenes. It's not just, it's just one of the many scenes where it has been used. So, it, it does not seem like a deliberate act. So we are, we they, are, there's no we are, seem, are you suggesting there is an intent to hurt the sentiments? No, there is an intent to add something titillating, you know, which, which would help in promotion of the film. Because this scene has no connection with the actual story of Oppenheimer. You must understand this. And secondly, a holy book, which is most holy for the Hindu community and which has got a message for the entire <laughs> world, which has no connection with this scene. Mm -hmm. How can you show that book in this manner, you know? That is our point. And that's why we have written to... So basically what you're saying uh, is the casualness Mr. with Nolan which... Mr. Nolan also, that he should... No, it is deliberate also. Why casual? It is deliberate also. It has no connection with the story of Oppenheimer. So why deliberate? That can be a point of debate. 
was it to hurt the sentiment of the hindu community perhaps not but it was certainly added with a view to promote the film there cannot be any other reason by creating controversy uh, you see when you make a movie in in feels like creative arts fine arts some there is something called creative freedom creative liberty so you know many films many directors many painters uh, take that uh, are you saying that a certain red line has been crossed certainly let me tell you the objective of save culture save india foundation you see uh, we directly connect the increasing incidence of rape with the sexually perverted content which being which is being dished out on various audiovisual platforms in the name of creativity now for example old balaji has a film which was made about 4 years ago we are not even aware i came to know only 4 days ago where they are showing a, uh, a male in a family who is having uh, illicit relationship with his sister in law with his mother in law with his aunt i mean is it is it creative freedom and now international studies yeah, proven okay, studies understood, understood your objection uh, uh, make it very clear that that sexually uh, perverted content is the Mr. main Mahogar cause of rape that has set the debate okay uh, understood your uh, objections and we have set the debate we are we i am told we are being joined in by manvi taneja in a bit and she is going to sort of uh, take a position counter to what mr maurkar is taking uh, in between we have srijan pal singh as i said giving the science view uh, srijan you know there has also been another uh, point of debate on oppenheimer which is that maybe as indians we have another point of objection with the movie or disagreement which is that the movie i have not seen the movie a disclaimer there but the movie seems to be suggesting that oppenheimer also sort of discovered black holes now the objection is that the first thought of black holes came in the research done by s chandrasekhar indian scientist or indian american astrophysicist who was later in 1983 i believe given a nobel yes. prize in physics as well Correct. so in a way the movie seems to be taking too many liberties with facts as well right so i think we need to set the facts in context here subramaniam chandrasekhar who was a nobel laureate in 1983 as you rightly pointed out at the age of 19 or 20 years way back in 1931 32 suggested that stars could collapse and make uh, uh, white dwarfs which became the basis for black holes uh, you know a decade later so he did precede oppenheimer's or any of the else's work on how stars die and when big stars die we know they make black holes what the movie seems to suggest is that oppenheimer had done a lot of work on black holes when he started his career as an academician and then he was later picked up by the us army uh, to head the uh, manhattan project so in that context i think we i mean i i felt as a scientist that you know a lot of credit to not just s chandrasekhar but also even albert einstein were missing in the great work around black holes and the movie suggests that oppenheimer did some exceptional papers he did write three papers in his life on black holes that is also true but the moment 1939 hit and the world war started and the us army asked him to do the nuclear project he completely abandoned the work on black hole so to suggest right. that this was oppenheimer who did black hole and, this, and the discovery of black hole is quite far fetched and as it always happens and i do agree with uday ji partially but i want to take his argument further sometimes you know i've seen in fact quite often the western culture does sort of diminish any scientific work which indian culture or indian people do so i think subramaniam chandrasekhar and when he did this paper he was right. an indian citizen it was in 53 he became the us citizen <clears throat> yeah absolutely also if i go back to uh, uday dada you see and you know uday dada the position that you have taken has been picked up by platforms like cnn and they are sort of trying to suggest that uh, this is an example of increasingly liberal space getting shrunk in india you think this is uh, dishonest on the part of these western media platforms to be picking up on that absolutely 
I think there is uh, no greater liberal society than uh, Hindus, than India. This is absolute uh, false propaganda. And it, uh, it is being done for the last so because many years. It's not new. Because remember, there was this movie called Adi Purush just about a uh, couple of months back. And uh, despite the fact that uh, the producers and the director and the script writer, they were Indian, even that got panned because of the manner in which it treated a subject which perhaps needed a little better handling. No, no, no. I think the controversy, the questions raised against Adi Purush is also absolutely justified. But you use Urdu language for a film based on Ramayana. How, how, why should the Hindu community tolerate it? All right. So I'm uh, in now Ramana, I'm joined in by add a Urdu touch. Manvi Taneja as well. Ude, Mr. Mahurkar, Mr. Mahurkar, we are joined in by Manvi Taneja as well. She's an actor and uh, she takes uh, public positions on uh, issues uh, concerning the society at large. And uh, we have called her and because she is taking a position opposite to what you are suggesting. So essentially Manvi says that this in no manner affects the Hindu society or the Hindu religion and we should not take offence. Uh, Manvi, right? Am I right in understanding your position? Yes, yes, the, yes, absolutely. The fact that Mr. Mahurkar has written to Christopher Nolan and then to the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting that that particular scene where uh, Bhagavad Gita is uh, used uh, uh, as part of an intimate scene should be removed? You, you, uh, on what grounds do you disagree with that? No, see, uh, see, the matter is not what is shown in the movie. The matter is uh, what exactly you want to see, what you want to exactly see in that uh, particular scene. If you ask me, uh, the girlfriend of uh, Oppenheimer, she just Manvi, can asked, you unmute yourself? Uh, Oppenheimer Manvi, can you to unmute uh, yourself? read a shlo shlok, which is in Sanskrit. And uh, when she asked him, uh, she she was just topless. There was not an intimate scene going on there. So I, I don't believe, I, I fail to understand how one can, uh, because Oppenheimer, he was wearing a shirt. He was wearing, he was fully dressed. So how an intimate scene can take a place when someone is wearing full clothes, he's fully dressed. And uh, if you talk about Hollywood movie, uh, from being topless to a case, I think would it's, a, would a, a it's normal. Would a lady go and, a topless uh, before a man? No, no, no. See, she was just asking him and I would like to say that would why do you have a selective would a lady approach? Go if you have objections, let, let me, let me, let me complete. Okay. I have listened to you. you. Let me you just complete and then you can counter on me. Not an see, scene. Uh, if, if you have an objection on this scene, then I also have an objection wherein uh, on a Sanatan, in Sanatan Dharam, people wear pendant, they have wear ring, they wear earrings, they wear bangles, which is... Uh, which is of go our god and goddesses. Picture is there. And when they get intimate with their partner, they, they don't remove it. Some re don't remove it intentionally. I think it can be, it can be intention or without intention. And uh, if you am I coming uh, to your point that it was done intentionally, I think the picture, it is a, it is a Hollywood picture. This is not a Bollywood picture. And it has a huge audience. And uh, our uh, Sanatani audience is around 10 to 12 percent. We have to cut to this breaking news development which is uh, coming in from the Northeast. Five security personnel of the convoy of uh, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma have been hurt. There was a stone pelting incident at the Chief Minister and his uh, carcade. The situation is set to be in control now. We have these pictures uh, coming in of uh, Conrad Sangma's security personnel who are injured. Uh, in the pictures, you can also see Conrad himself, uh, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, checking on uh, his security men. And uh, we are trying to gather more details, more information of where exactly this uh, attack on the Chief Minister's uh, convoy happened. Uh, remember, North East is going through a bit of a tumult. And uh, for uh, this kind of uh, stone pelting on targeting of the Chief Minister to happen is serious. Uh, Meghalaya Chief Minister's office... Uh, is attacked by people. In fact, this seems uh, it was close to the office of uh, the Meghalaya Chief Minister. Uh, only the security personnel are set to be injured, which means they provided the cordon, they provided the protection to the VIP and uh, saved him from any injury. But then 
many of uh, his security men of the of the chief minister of uh, Meghalaya are hurt. These are the pictures uh, coming in. We are trying and connecting with uh, our reporters on the ground, possibly with uh, Ashwarya Kapoor, if we can connect and uh, get some more information on this development. Uh, remember. We have seen uh, Manipur in flames uh, for the last couple of months and uh, those fires are spreading to neighboring states uh, including uh, Mizoram. But uh, this is Meghalaya and whether this is in any way connected or uh, it's a one of uh, unconnected incident that we have to find out. But this seems to have happened in Meghalaya only and uh, uh, Conrad Sangma there in the pictures uh, checking on his security personnel and it seems uh, th th this seems to be a uh, big injury because uh, the entire head is covered with the uh, band-aid. I am told Ashwarya Kapoor joins us uh, uh, over the phone, our executive editor politics. Ashwarya, over to you. What information you are gathering? Please tell us when this incident happened, where it happened, happened and uh, what is the situation as of now? I think we lost Ashwarya there and we'll try to connect. Uh, as of now, this is the only information coming in, which is that uh, the convoy of uh, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma was uh, targeted with a stone pelting and uh, in that stone pelting, five of his security men, commandos uh, giving protection to him, are injured. And it seems uh, at least uh, one who can be seen in the pictures uh, along with the Chief Minister has sustained injuries on his head. Uh, Though we are told that no serious injuries have been reported. In fact, now Niranjan is joining us over the phone. Niranjan, over to you. Please share with us if you have that information. When did the incident happen? Where it happened? And what's the situation now? Uh, from the details that we've just picked up, and Shavan is also picking up some details, Abhishek, that the meeting was scheduled between the Chief Minister Conrad Sangma in Meghalaya and members of the civil society groups and NGOs and also pressure groups. And there was an agitated crowd that started pelting stones after waiting for long hours for an outcome. They wanted a meeting. Uh, reportedly, the meeting was delayed, after which uh, they were agitated and started pelting stones at uh, at uh, those present there. The meeting was in Tura at uh, the Chief Minister's office. Tura is, of course, uh, I, I think there's also a video that Shavan has just shared with us right now. We can play that video as well. And uh, the meeting was in Tura, the Chief Minister's office. And uh, the Chief Minister's office says some vested interest groups in the crowd started pelting stones at the office building and the security personnel, even as they tried to break uh, open the gate. Uh, demands, uh, you know, that were, that were put forth there in Tura, civil society groups led by uh, some called ACHIK, uh, GHSMC and others have been on an indefinite hunger strike for two weeks in Tura, in the West Garo Hills demanding the establishment of a winter capital in Tura. So they've been demanding a winter capital and uh, some of these groups were present there and uh, there was a scheduled meeting between uh, Conrad Sangma and members of uh, the civil society groups. Uh, they started uh, pelting stones after there was, uh, you know, some amount of delay uh, in the meeting itself uh, being conducted. I think that's the first video that's also come in. Uh, that video shows uh, the agitated crowds there near the gate Maybe if we can take off the watermark, then you can see that a uh, little clearer because uh, it, it, it's towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, it also shows that uh, the, the police there are taking their positions while an agitated crowd perhaps uh, started, uh, started uh, you know, becoming violent. Uh, these are the first pictures that are coming in. Abhishek, handing it back to you for now. All right. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Niranjan. The episode happening in Tura, which is the home constituency of the Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Conrad Sangma, seems it was a camp office of the Chief Minister. And uh, a meeting was scheduled where uh, an impatient crowd uh, carried out uh, this stone pelting, injuring five of uh, the Chief Minister's security personnel. On that note, thank you so much, friends. Uh, Johnny Gas, uh, a short break on the other side. Arnab Goswami is back with the debate. the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. No. आप बड़े विनम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं 
शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वो सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Gouda as Rajasthan Minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. Gehlot sahab wo diary ka aadha part aapne me aapke vidhan sabha mein gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai is part ke andar आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीय को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे देके वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा आफ्टर ही वॉज इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑन मॉन्डे स्टाफ मिनिस्टर राजेंद्र गोडा प्रिवेंटेड from even entering the assembly building by house marshals last friday he was removed by gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज ए प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग आंसर्स फ्रॉम द गेहलोत गवर्नमेंट ओवर द राइस प्राइम क्रेसिस एंड एट्रोसिटीज अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन राजस्थान राजस्थान इज आस्किंग वॉट आर द ब्लैक डीड्स इन द रेड डायरी द रेड डायरी दैट गहलोत जी वॉन्टेड सो डेस्परेटली द रेड डायरी अबाउट विच राजेंद्र गुड़ा इज टॉकिंग नाउ इफ देर वर ब्लैक डीड्स ऑफ करप्शन ऑफ थाउजेंड ऑफ करोर्स इन राजस्थान और द ब्लैक डीड्स ऑफ सेविंग क्रिमिनल्स एंड रेपिस विच वॉज डन बाई राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट ओनली द पर्सन हु इज डेस्परेट फॉर दिस डायरी नोज वॉट इज देयर इन दिस डायरी in well in, in a development in the investigation into manipur barbarism and the purple is said that 14 people have been identified from a video of two women who were stripped and paraded police said that the action has been initiated to arrest them already six people have been arrested in this case two months after seema haider entered india illegally a similar case has surfaced a married woman of indian nationality anju traveled to pakistan from delhi to meet pakistani national however unlike seema who sneaked into india without any travel papers anju was granted entry into pakistan by the authorities on the basis of a valid visa a blast has been reported in a shop in haryana's yamuna nagar causing panic across the city the police has begun an investigation the cause behind the explosion is still being ascertained तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता द गवर्नमेंट से इज वेरी फॉर डिबेट बट लॉन्ग जैम कंटिन्यूस इन बोथ हाउस इज अर्न टिल टू मोर Amid a mega ruckus and face-off, Aam Aadmi Party Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge fresh firing in Manipur Republic gets you the testimonies of the victims Is part ke andar aapke sare kaale karnaame jo logon ne aapne vidhayakon ko kharida kis kis MLA ko Rajya Sabha mein 
आपने निर्दलीय को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के Red diary controversy explodes. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. कहीं न कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है। मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में Studios of Republic TV. It's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Swami on the debate at 9 presented by Amity University powered by RP Sanjeev Goenka Group the new Kia Seltos Century Ply Epson Eco Tank printers and Motorola Razr 40 Ultra co-powered by Sera and Musk Good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the debate At the very start let's put the record straight the situation in Manipur is complex it is far from normal there are reports of violence on a daily basis there is a parallel insurgency problem new videos appear daily that display the barbarity that is underway the chief minister has failed and the only way forward is to find a solution but how do you find a solution ladies and gentlemen to a complex issue How do you move towards finding a solution if those who should be part of a solution decide to become the problem we do not need politics on this matter and i had said it very very clearly and i had said last week yes the government has made a series of mistakes it's true but then i also said the situation is complex and i also said the only thing that can solve the present situation is an expression of unity externally and internally on this issue and if those people who are constantly critical of the situation don't want to understand and appreciate the complexity of, of it i want to ask them a few questions why and my first question is this do they just want to reduce this to a political drama i said last week there must be a debate in parliament and that is exactly what the government is asking for in fact the union home minister amit shah said in parliament that he wants to discuss manipur and he even said and i quote in hindi he said mera vipaksh se ke netao se aagrah hai ki samvedanshil muddo par charcha hone de in other words i appeal said mr amit shah to the opposition that on sensitive issues there should be a discussion what can be a greater expression of a commitment to debate and that too in the floor of the parliament than a statement as clear as that from the home minister of india what exactly does the opposition won rajnath singh said we want a discussion in parliament over manipur smriti irani said the congress is running away from a discussion on manipur as they know that they will have to answer on crimes against women in their state anurag thakur union home minister has said it is my request to the opposition with folded hands do not run away from the discussion and i too want to ask today that the government of india is ready for a discussion on what appears to be a great pressing matter of national security internal security the situation in manipur is very complex let a debate happen but i have never heard of a situation where you don't let a debate happen and block parliament to not have a debate it makes absolutely no sense this is bizarre it's destructive it's negative do we want the complex situation to be reduced to political drama and if manipur becomes an issue of political drama and political drama alone then 
Are we here to entertain ourselves with the thought of a political drama? Who benefits from a political drama? The army is being restricted in parts of Manipur and I do know about it. We too have our reporters on the ground. We get reports. We know that there are roads which are dug up sometimes to make sure that the army cannot move. We know of other areas where there are entire rings of women who surround lawbreakers to allow them access so that you can't, you cannot ever act against people who hold arms against the Indian state because they're surrounded by rings of women. That is open defiance. That is not allowing the Indian army to work. It's a serious situation. Our army is being challenged in that place in a border area. Do we want to reduce a situation like that to political drama? There are land rights and demography. Do the parties understand and appreciate the issue of land rights and demography? You have Métis who form 64% of the state's population who can own land only in 10% of Manipur. And Kukis and other tribes who occupy 90% of the land they are in Manipur. This is a complex situation which involves poppy cultivation, land rights, demography, ethnic identities, access for the army. It's deeply, deeply, deeply complex. And I want to ask the Ahmadbi party at the Congress, do they have a solution for it? Or do they want to trivialize an issue which has immediate ramifications on national security to multiple layers of short-term political drama? We have been united in the past and I want to ask today. I want to ask all the people who are behind this political drama. We were united then. We benefited as a country because of our unity. Why can't we be united now? Every time the country has faced a crisis, external or internal, Matters of internal and external security and we all know that we have stood together and won. We were united in 1971. We were united during the Prevention of Terrorism Act when the parliament was attacked and after that there was a joint session of parliament in 2001 to pass POTA. We were united then. What happened to that unity now? We were united when we passed the NIA law. We were united when following the 2611 attack we passed the UAPA law. Political and national interests came together, coalesced together, they were never in opposition. Then what is happening in the case of Manipur, ladies and gentlemen? Why cannot we have that, that same level of unity now? I throw this counter charge to the opposition tonight and let them face me. We were united after the Delhi High Court attack. We were united whenever our institutions were targeted, when the country was targeted. Why can't we have that unity now? Ladies and gentlemen, my next question, and I hope these deep questions will get a deep answer equally from the other side. The opposition, unfortunately, has a history of diluting matters of internal security. Chidambaram considered air power when he was Home Minister against the Maoists. Now he trivializes. He trivializes Maoist terrorism because he's in the opposition. I call that his hypocrisy. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Abdullah built a case for AFSPA when he was in power. Now he protests against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. The same Mamta Banerjee who in 2010 wanted the Midnapur Maoist attack that killed 24 Jawans to be dropped from the President's address has now deployed her party to disrupt Parliament demanding that the Prime Minister speak on Manipur and I say, oh, I say tonight when I see these examples I have just two words to express my resentment How convenient is this for people to take a line this way when it suits them when they are in power and to take another line when they are out of power Ladies and gentlemen, I give you an example Another example, the same Vadra Congress which brought in amendments to the UAPA before 2014 to prosecute those who are associated with terror organizations after 2014. The same party when it was in the opposition politicized the UAPA amendment bill with Chidambaram saying we are opposing the mischievous amendments which have empowered the center to name an individual. Viewers, how can you play this way? The opposition wants the Prime Minister to initiate the debate on Manipur in Parliament. The Home Minister tonight is urging the opposition to attend the session, but they say we will not attend the session. I ask you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, how long can this situation continue? How long will we allow this impasse to happen? Has the opposition come with a predetermined agenda to disrupt? And I am very clear about this, ladies and gentlemen. 2023 budget session of parliament, they wanted disrupted with the Adani JPC demand. 2022 monsoon session of parliament ended ahead of schedule over the summons to Sonia Gandhi. 2022 budget session of parliament was disrupted over the Pegasus scam. And I asked them tonight, when new facts come in the case of Adani, they don't want to speak a word. When Rafael absolutely gets demolished on facts, they don't want to speak a word. When the Pegasus claim falls flat, they don't want to speak a word. 
2021 winter session was disrupted with the farmers bill protest but when the pro khalistani elements tried to bring down the tricolor in in the red fort when the consequences became too dangerous to own up for that is when they do not want to speak a word and i just want to ask all those people tonight if you do not understand the complexities of the northeast then either enter into a debate on it let there be a demand for a proper debate not just on manipur but the entire northeastern parliament and let that be a debate that continues till we find some kind of an intellectual resolution but do not play with the sentiments of the people of the northeast do not play with the national security do not play with the internal security ramifications of all these issues these are complex issues they do not require shallow analysis they require deep and immediate solutions at the very end i shall say just one thing viewers we are in 2023 this country was independent in 1947 do you think that the congress if it wanted could not have solved these issues no but the congress has a unique strategy it creates a problem it ferments the problem it simmers the problem and then lectures over the problem itself manipur is complex no more political tamasha over it let's debate debate number 1 today. with me in the studio six political parties on debate number 1 debate number 2 tonight what's in the red notebook that got the rajasthan government so edgy and debate number 3 tonight viewers debate number 3 what's the gyanwapi truth i say let the truth him just let's not get lost on issues without first accepting whether we are at comfort with the truth or not and here are the headlines this monday evening on the debate main sadan mein charcha ke liye taiyar hu mujhe malum nahi hai ke vipaksh ko charcha karne dena slogans and placards drown the government's call for a serious debate on the manipur issue in parliament What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore. After three days of a washout, the BJP accuses the opposition of deliberately stalling the Manipur debate. The state burns as politicians continue with their drama. It's time for a united solution. Sack Rajasthan minister thrown out of the assembly for waving a controversial red diary on the floor of the house. इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारना में जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा, किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया, किस किस को परलोभन दिया? Red diary making the Badra Congress top leadership very nervous insider claims it has the party's entire corruption record of payoffs and embezzlement. And the Supreme Court temporarily halts the scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque who doesn't want the truth out. Ladies and gentlemen I said it loudly last week and I will say it again today the situation in Manipur is complex let's stop the political drama let's have a unified solution this is what has happened in parliament let's debate aap bol bol baithiye no sadan ki karwai 12 baje tak ke liye sthagit ki jati hai You are challenging the chair. The house is still open to meet at noon today. Sabha ki karwahi do baje tak ke liye sthagit ki jati hai. I name Sanjay Singh. I name Sanjay Singh. Sanjay Singh is suspended as member during the attack session of this house. बैठे तो सही प्लीज 
सदन को एक घंटे के लिए स्थगित किया जाता है माननीय अध्यक्ष जी मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता 25 जुलाई दो को 11 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है सदन की कार्यवाही मंगलवार दिनांक 25 जुलाई 2023 को पूर्वान्ह ग्यारह बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है It was third day of complete disruption of parliament proceedings with the opposition uh, not budging on its demand that a discussion on Manipur should be held under rule 267 in the Lok Sabha or suspension of business in the Rajya Sabha and also that they want prime minister to initiate the discussion what is important is that despite that the opposition seems more interested in earning political brownie points and to embarrass the government rather than have a serious dialogue on Manipur Amit Shah ji has repeatedly said that this discussion this debate is also expected by citizens of our country who elect us to parliament so that issues of national importance can be productively discussed what is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties do not allow facts to come to the fore the situation in manipur is sensitive with each passing day new videos of torture and murder are emerging after the, they have gone for the uh, work for the uh, defending the villages we are calling them again and again but their phones are already switched off this situation mein hum bahut tense mein reh gaye the इसलिए हमने फ़ोन किया था मगर फ़ोन भी ऑफ है इसलिए हमने जुलाई फाइव को उन दोनों को ढूंढने के लिए वहाँ गए थे और एट अराउंड एलेवन पी एम फाइव जुलाई इसमें एक वीडियो आया था हमने वीडियो देखा था इस वीडियो में हमारा मेरा दोस्त और मेरा कज़न का रिचुअल किलिंग का वीडियो आया था इसे पता चला था फॉर डेज अटेम्प्ट हैव बीन मेड टू ब्लॉक इन दिनामी एफर्ट्स टू रिस्टोर पीस women were used as shield Manipur has had a history of violence even under the Congress rule The situation in state requires political consensus not just rhetoric Hum bhi taiyar hai aao prime minister statement karo aap bahar press karte ho andar karne mein kya gaya हा? ये कड़सी डिमांड है कि 140 करोड़ का नेता अगर बाहर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करता है और 140 करोड़ लोगों के प्रतिनिधि अंदर बैठे हैं तो आप पहले यहां पर स्टेटमेंट दो उस पर चर्चा होने दो उसके बाद में हम लोग एक निर्णय लेंगे इट्स टाइम द ऑपोजिशन स्टॉप द ड्रामा इट्स टाइम फॉर अ सीरियस डिबेट ऑन मणिपुर इश्यू Let's debate. I think we have one versus five on this debate tonight. Charu Pragya of the BJP. We have Ramesh Sabarwal of the All India Congress Committee. Reena Gupta of the Aam Aadmi Party. Anurag Bhadori of the Samajwadi Party. We have Trajano Demello, a national spokesperson of the Trinamool Congress. And we have our, our dear old friend R. Rajagopalan also into the debate. Now, uh, Rajagopalan, start with you. Uh, who's on the defensive today? Government, which says we want to have a debate on this immediately, or opposition? which says we will not have a debate unless the prime minister issues a statement on the floor of the house who's on the defensive today uh, my understanding arun up opposition and uh, government should have a unity as your you know main theme has been your hashtag unity not politics but my understanding is g20 it should not be successful the congress and the newly formed i dot n dot d dot a india wants to disrupt that second thing, the drug has been controlled whatever that d da do da d da whatever that you know so uh, drug has been very successful drug menace has been controlled in northeastern province by the modi government they don't want to do that drug mafia they are creating this nuisance again 
there is a disruption. There was a disruption in the army in 1984. The Sikh regiment went on, you know, against the government. That situation should not arise in Manipur. Manipur is a complex situation. Opposition knows it. And if they decided to debate, the government will turn the table on opposition. That is why the government is throttling the neck of government. And the government should have, you okay. know, come, came forward for a debate. And the opposition okay. should yield to the I, debate. I, 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 I'll go straight into the debate. I'll go straight into the debate. Ask the Congress uh, representative here on the program. Uh, you are saying that the Prime Minister should be in the debate. Now, uh, was... Rajiv Gandhi, the Prime Minister, did he lead the debate on the Mizo Accord in 1986? I looked through the records and I found that, I found Mr. Sabarwal, uh, that it was the then Union Home Minister Bhuta Singh who was making the statement in the floor of Parliament. So Rajiv Gandhi didn't issue the statement in 1986. You want more examples, sir? You want more examples? No, sir, why, why are you making this an ego issue? You don't want a solution. It's not, it's not an ego issue. We should not politicalize it. It's a shameful act, shameful act which has been done by in Manipur. And it's shameful for our society, you know. It's a very serious crime which has happened there. Then deal with it seriously. Yeah, yeah. The government has, government has, you know, the from last so many days, it was not coming in the media. It was not, nobody was aware of this. The no, Minister, we are aware on it. We have I, debated it. I, but opposition, no. the government has said we want to have a debate on it. You're saying we won't have a debate. You so the first... By, you have quoted Rajiv ji. Yes. Rajiv I have not quoted him. I have quoted the fact that he was not. Rajiv ji, Rajiv ji went to Mizoram and did the Mizo Accord. Sir, let me tell you when he did Mizo the Mizo Accord. Accord, he led the discussions on Mizoram in 1988. Sir, he appointed Iteshwar Sekia ji as the governor of Mizoram for this Sir, purpose. Sir, let me tell you, Mizos were Lal making Dengaji. posters in Aizol saying, Rajiv, don't force us back to the jungles. And if you are talking about Vishwanath Pratap Singh, sir. please understand, sir. sir. You are making an ego issue. You are saying no, the Prime Minister no. must begin the Prime debate. Why? No, no, no. no. Okay, why, why, why can't okay, Amit Shah okay, begin the debate? Okay, okay. You explain this to me. Okay, sir. The Prime Minister can go to Manipur or not? Can he go, not go and his duty to Has beat the, the Home Minister gone the, to Manipur no, no, or not? He should Was beat the, the Home victims. Minister camping there for he five or six should beat the victims or not? You are playing on symbolism for no, an action. No, he's of not taking the responsibility. Of course he, you are. He is, you are making a complex no, situation no, for political no, drama. No, I'm sorry, no, sir. No, no, sorry you want a political no, drama no, on no, this issue? No, they are our sisters, you know, who have been brutally been murdered, brutally been raped. So much tamasha has been done. I never seen my history of my, the, my whole life journey. Such kind of incident. I'm so sorry, but you have you don't know seven, seven, seven decades of a continuous botch up by the Congress party, and now you're saying you don't sir, have. So one minute, sir, sir, we, I'm getting Charu Pragya to respond. Sir, to we Charu are, Pragya, we are the problem. Why? 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 बूटा सिंह अगर बूटा सिंह ने राजीव गांधी जी ने सब कुछ अगर कांग्रेस ने सही किया होता तो 2014 में बीजेपी को मौका नहीं मिला बीजेपी को मौका क्यों मिला कुछ नया करेंगे तो कुछ नया नहीं किया ना ओके अनुराग अनुराग जी चारों चारों वन मिनट नहीं अनुराग जी अनुराग जी वन मिनट चारों अब इनको नहीं नह do not Directly, she is looking at you and speaking. And I am telling you this, do not speak over me. Mm -hmm. It is the job of the opposition to mm -hmm. hold the government accountable. The government, mm -hmm. not an individual. Mm -hmm. Why are you harping on and on and on about Prime Minister Modi when his government stands accountable? Parliament the government, what, 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 let, let, the government pleads with you to allow the discussions to continue in Parliament. The domain expert, the Honourable Home Minister of this country says, I want to speak in Parliament about this issue. What do you do collectively? What do you do collectively? You do not allow... When the debate starts. You do not allow the Parliament to function. And very, very important. After that, Reena. After that, Reena. After that, Reena. One minute. Another very important issue. Okay, you want the Prime Minister to speak. Why don't you allow the debate to begin and say this on the floor of the House? Uh. Thank you, Home Minister Saab. Can the Prime Minister speak now? But no, you don't want to do any of that because the tactic here is to stall the issue. Mm. The tactic here is to make sure Parliament does not function. The I, tactic I here like is her that I would you like do to not bring have Dina, you can look this sensitivity way. at the core of your heart. You only have siyasat. Yeah, okay. only. Okay, one minute, one minute. Reena, Reena, Reena. Why Anurag, Anurag, Anurag. Reena, Reena, one minute. Reena, Reena. See, we've been saying from day one that Manipur is a complex issue. I am pretty sure, no disrespect to our viewers, that if I were to ask a question to all the viewers, what precisely is the problem in Manipur? Can you give me 10 bullet points on it? 90% of people would not be able to do it. This is a problem which involves rightly drugs, narcotics, 
years of animosity, deep multiple ethnicities, right? Now, if you want to bring peace, you can't bring peace by saying we don't like Narendra Modi. You can only bring peace by having a serious discussion in which all issues, land rights, demography, narcotics, illegal immigrants will all be discussed. You do not want a serious issue on this. If you do not want a serious debate on it, you can say that we want to score political brownie points. We need to take as much advantage as we can. If a serious debate happens, then maybe it will not benefit us. You can make that confession. People will understand. You are live on television. People will completely empathize. They will say, Reena, we understand. You have politics. And people understand that. But do not, I mean, do not do the facade of it. Because you are letting down the people of Manipur in my view. And you want to respond Arnab, directly to her. Arnab, Manipur has been, I will only talk facts. It has been burning for three months. What is the plan of action? What have they done for three months? The governor of Manipur, can I complete Chadu, please let me complete. Chadu, Chadu, lot of people watching right now, let her complete. The governor of Manipur, who has been appointed by Bharati Janta Party, is on record saying, I have not seen this kind of violence in my life, what I have seen in the Karikala of Bharati Janta Party. This is a governor appointed by them, this is not a Aam Party spokesperson saying, point number one. Point number two, when Manipur was burning for three months, when the European Union heard the voices of Manipur. I'm sorry, but I don't need the European Union. No, 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 no. When everybody, everybody. The president of a political party uh, want to get the European Union to come into internal security no. problems. In my view, Rajagopalan, that is the precise problem. Arnab, you're not letting me complete. Problem, but you must not let me complete. You must 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 let me Everything it's either Pakistan that is responsible or Nehru that is responsible or ISIS is responsible. When will this government ever take that's responsibility a for that's everything? A no, it's not that's a, generality. a generality. That's a generality. And the I'm Prime Minister is the head such of the state. Why, why will he not come to the parliament general. and speak on it? Okay. The Prime Minister went to Manipur and said, people who cannot have peace in Manipur have no right to govern Manipur. He knew the complexity. Why did you form the government? You shouldn't have contested the elections. Charu, you Charu, 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 Charu responding. Charu, Charu respond. Charu. He will not fair contest fair elections. Let, let her respond. Let respond. Charu. Fair point. Here's my answer. When the Prime Minister went to Manipur and said this, the cases of insurgency in the state of Manipur were over 8,000 in the last couple of years. Yeah. That insurgency has come down by 75%. I understand. I understand. One minute. Reena, no, 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 no. Reena, one minute. Reena, one minute. Can I get violence. one more point it across? No, I'm going to use a metaphor here, I'm going to use a metaphor. TV. Imagine. Imagine. Has not come Imagine is how is it possible Reena, I can't that in this case, Reena, you had all every and there's no point in speaking one over the other. May I continue? And still they did not arrest anybody. Are you looking the, are you looking for genuine answers or are you looking, looking to scream on national answer, but television? But you don't have a plan. May Why did you say Charu that tomorrow tomorrow in the parliament the first debate will be on Manipur? All right. Okay. Say that. Thank you for that, that rant. Tomorrow the first may I please, will be on Manipur. May I please explain using a metaphor as an example? There is a cancer which has been eating away at the state of Manipur for decades. Forty two years of insurgency. A yeah. cancer does not end by popping one pill or one injection. We have been working on it. We are working to end this problem from its root. You asked me what working is the government doing not acknowledging in the last three you months. Are not Let me tell you what the government is doing. Your chief minister is saying that there are more than 100 incidents like this. Nina, your chief minister is on are you record saying there are more are than 100 incidents like this. Are you concerned with understanding what the government has been doing or are you concerned with speaking over me to drown out uh, the voice of What is the government doing? Your, your, your chief minister I will give you point. Your no, Arna. Please, Arna. I have a whole list. Of the BJP MLA has a record. Yesterday, the BJP MLA said it yourself. is happening. You are repeating the, yourself. With the Arna, I'll tell you what my government has been doing for the last couple of months in Manipur, uh, with the issue of uh, the struggle between removing APSA and making sure army has a better stand. We are struggling to make sure army is there, accountable on ground. The government has made sure sufficient units of the Indian Army have been deployed. Number two. People who have been caught in the middle of this ethnic riot well, have been rehabilitated. No, they have. Some, sir, one minute, one minute. Just, just, one, just one, minute, one minute. Why did the government delay the talks, Charu? Isn't this, this is an issue of delayed response. I want Mr. DeMello to come in. 
Uh, let's get everybody in and then debate. Mr. Mr. Demello, Demello, my question yeah, is, yes. the government did not even call the cookie groups for a discussion when the Cookie Students Organization has been protesting the Forest Reservation Act since 2022. You could have called them for a discussion. Point number two, and Mr. Demello can come in on this. Um, didn't, didn't Biren Singh add fuel to the fire? He reduced the intricacy of a forest and tribal settlement issue to one which is determined as legal and illegal by Google Maps and satellite technology. He should have been sacked. Third point, why did you not sack Biren Singh when your own MLAs are demanding action? Your own MLA, Mr. Paulian Lal Hokip, has alleged proof of state complicity in the violence. You have enough reason to act. And my last question is that you are a government with 54 MLAs in a 60 member house. You, when anything goes wrong in Delhi, you say they have 67, uh, uh, 67 out of 70. So they have all the numbers on their side. You have all the numbers on your side. Are you telling me there is not one MLA other than Biren Singh who can understand the situation and handle it better? Or are you in a situation where you feel that if you remove Biren Singh today, it will be seen to be giving in to the opposition demand? And hence, you are more interested in the optics of it. You don't want to be seen to be giving in to the opposition rather than acting on the issue. Please, please deal with these issues. Yes. Uh, I will, since I put enough. the question here, Mr. Demello will come in after a response. I, Mr. Demello, your turn after she responds. Thank, thank you. you. Please. And, and I appreciate the fairness with which you are raising these questions. The fact of the matter is that the government has been working round the clock for not months, Action. but for years. But for years. You talk about peace talks. When did these peace talks start in the Northeast? After Modi government came no, to power. Look East, act East, making <laughs> sure. So much and what was the result of that? And Mr. DeMello, please. Congress is the party which that on losing Manipur, nice. your national president said, Koi farak nahi padta. it's a small state. That is how you responded to losing Manipur. That is how, that is how you responded to losing Manipur. Today you are pretending to be holier than thou. And today you are saying that you are concerned about the people of Manipur. If you were concerned, I demand again. And as a young citizen of this country, I can demand this. Why do you not allow the parliament to function? Why do you get stuck down to Now there are a lot of people. Do you have the interest of the people of Manipur at heart? But just one minute. Can I get Mr. DeMello? Mr. DeMello, you know, I have had at least seven responses right now on my Twitter feed. People are saying, Ornob, you're having a pretty okay discussion on the issue in, 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 within 15 minutes of a debate at 9 o'clock. Why can't this debate happen in Parliament? Please, Mr. DeMello, you've got to give me a reasonable reply to this. And you also got to realize one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Two and Mr. a half Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, tell me how many times... Mamta Banerjee as Home Minister and Chief Minister of Bengal has led the discussion and issued statements on the non-stop violence in Bengal, including the deluge of violence after she was sworn in as the Chief Minister the last time. Mr. Arnav, let us understand first why the people and all the opposition are demanding the Prime Minister to make a statement on the floor of the House. The Prime Minister, who is supposed to be the leader of the House, has shown scant respect to parliament. In 2021, he's on record to have spent only four hours in the entire year in parliament. Is this the respect the parliament that, that is that, that is supposed to be the prime minister of the country? Whereas he spent four hours a day for the elections in West Bengal. The question is, you are saying the Home Minister has appealed. The Home Minister went to Manipur and has said till today, Manipur is burning. So why do you, what, what is the Home Minister? The Home Minister is, is, is known to afterwards say that this was just Shubla. What respect does he have? Then you are talking about Rajnath Singh. Rajnath Singh was a defense minister. What is his value? The Prime Minister goes to the foreign country and signs, signs defense deal. The very existence of Rajnath Singh has become to zero. Where does he exist? Just holding a protocol. The question is now here. He is the Prime Minister of the country. He, he has expressed his pain and anguish. Mr. Adnan, you are expressing your pain and anguish. I am expressing my pain and anguish. But we are helpless. Is the Prime Minister helpless to act? Pain and anguish without any action has no meaning. It is just pulling wool over people's eyes. People are dying. People are raped. People are murdered. Can you compare this to any other state? Is this possible? What jokes is happening here? Can this become... You're talking that normalcy is there? No. Okay. The okay. Well, 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 Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Charu Prage is countering you. I ask you today, using your words in your analogy, is Mamta Banerjee not leader of the house? 
in Bengal when 45 people were killed in the panchayat elections? Is this the respect she shows to the people of Bengal and to the house? Did she issue a single statement or call a special session of the West Bengal Assembly? Did she go to a single house of a person who has been killed who is not from a party during the elections in Bengal? Answer my question, Mr. DeMello. You see the yes. shoe pinches when it's on the other foot. And Mr. DeMello, you very well know that the BJP has also alleged, and Charu can tell you more, that there has been an incident where there has been, unfortunately, a lady, I'm told it's somewhere in Malda, who has been stripped and paraded, also in a series of unfortunate events, of course, not ethnic, but whatever the reason she's the home minister why do you want to cloud over that can i add to that you, you can it's respond not to just him a lady it, that was paraded it was their own minister a lady at that what, 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 it was their own it, minister a lady at that shashi panja who said kapde nikal gaye koi baat nahi no 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 let him respond to this i'll come back what is the reply of his Let Mr. DeMello, Rina, Rina, let Mr. DeMello respond to that. I appeal to you. Let Mr. DeMello respond to that. Please be quiet. Okay, please be quiet. Do you, do you feel he has the right to respond? Yeah, when he's talking about the Bengal, let him respond. No, no, no. Anurag, Anurag, if it was you, she's responding. 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 Please put put her the new best friend TMC. My, my shout. They were they were earlier. They are oh, part of us. They they. No no. Let him. Let him. Miss. Let him speak. We are there. No, let him respond. Sir. Let him respond. Let. See in Bengal. First of all, it is a pole pole bound violence. Do not compare it to that thing disaster that is taking place in in Manipur. Number one. Number two. Every case that has happened, FIR has been lodged within 24 hours. Are you justifying pole violence? Wait, one minute, I'm not. One, one minute. minute. Can finish. I just get a clarification here? Are you justifying pole violence? You are justifying. Are you justifying pole violence? violence? Let me finish. She said, "Let me finish." Let him finish. You are justifying ethnic violence, Manipur. To what's happening in Bengal? I justified I have, nothing. I am responding. I am responding. We to took accountability, action. responsibility, Please. and action. Please. Please keep quiet. Let me speak. I do not interfere when you are speaking. Have some decency as a woman. He's outside. Allow me sir. to speak. He is getting. My out. question is that in Bengal, if the crime has been attempted, attacked, and efforts and an action has been taken, but please do not con uh, compare it by any stretch of imagination to the uh, to three months continuous burning and an efforts being lodged after three months of a woman who was raped, murdered. What are you talking, Arnabab? Please understand. That bold bound violence. Okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. I, 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 I now I, I must intervene here I'm, I'm, because I'm because because Mr. Demello, Mr. Demello, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. The kind of horrific incident which has happened, whether it happens in Manipur or Bengal or Rajasthan or anywhere else. Good. God forbid, must be, must not be looked at politically. You must also gather you, your voice when it comes to incidents that, in Bengal, therefore, uh, Mr. Therefore, DeMello, therefore, Mr. DeMello, therefore, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello. Um, uh, just, just one minute, just one minute, just, Rina, Rina. I know that you have become very, very close to the Congress Party. I know that you have to work together. I know you have a short-term agenda of working together to defeat the government on the ordinance issue. On this issue, would you not gather the same kind of uh, would I say vigor in your arguments as you used to vis-a-vis -vis the Congress? Because somewhere when it comes to the Congress, Rina, you've completely flipped. You should ask him today, Mr. Sabarwal, that Mr. Sabarwal, you ruined the northeast of India. You're letting him get away because your attention is here. You used to be equidistant. You used to say, no, no, we'll emerge as a political party of our own identity. Has that gone? Have you just become subservient to the Congress? Is it not a well-known fact that Northeast witnessed over 1,200 incidents annually under the UA UPA, which means four violent incidents a day? Will you not look at Mr. Sabarwal and say, Mr. Sabarwal, you're being hypocritical? I can look at him and say that. Why Arnab, can't you Arnab, tell him? That? Arnab, Arnab, why can't, who, you, who, who why can't you address him? Today? Arnab, who is governing? Why can't you address him? Who's, who's, who's governing Manipur right now? Who is in the center right now? It's the Bharatiya Janata Party. One will have to ask questions of them. Sure, sure. There please. is Article 355 in Manipur right now, which means there's a security advisor responding directly to the Home Minister. Sure. If there is failure over there, it is the failure of Bharatiya Janata Party. For how long will we keep bringing Nehru and this one and that one? Absolutely. 
accountability needs to be fixed and there can be no can i complete why there can be no what about re about manipur why don't you do it in manipur the sound of violence anywhere violence anywhere against women is Perfect. horrendous Dina, but what has I, happened in manipur is change, i agree with violence you. Where will you fix this accountability? The ruling government in Kanaiwa. Where will you fix this accountability? I am not saying this. Their MLA is saying it is in Kanaiwa. The moment the video came out, two people were arrested. Where were they sleeping for three months? Everybody's faces were on the video. Okay. Okay. They were shielding the perpetrators because the perpetrators are from Bharti Janata Party. Have people been arrested? I love now, your there passion so many about of them. this. Now only two people, three Why people have been arrested. Why did you not pass on some of this? Why did they not arrest all of them? Address directly. Address. Why did you not pass on some of this? Why did it only plan? take you 24 so hours? You are a member when of you parliament. Were sitting for Why didn't you months? ask him to when raise these questions for three in parliament? Trying to protect the accountability that you are looking for. Because the perpetrators are from your party. One more, one more. After, after you come. Full discussion. After, after, after. The perpetrators are from. Party Janata Party, and that is the reason what you are shifting. What you want is politicisation. And now, can these questions? If asking for not for rights of women is politicisation, okay. yes, yeah. I will politicise. Uh, one minute, one minute, Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal, on this issue, you must admit today, and 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 you know, honesty is the best policy. Otherwise, I will quiz you and quiz you and quiz you and interrogate you and not let you go. All you have to do is look at the camera out there and say, that's camera number five. Yeah. You've got three cameras to choose. Choose one of the cameras and say, Arnab, it is the truth. We just want to block parliament. No. We have to do this. We don't have to take Manipur from no. Manipur. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mr. Rajagopalan, Mr. Rajagopalan is a veteran. One, when, I, when I started out, when I, when I, Anurag ji, 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 Prime Minister should sit there. You want to block parliament. You want to block parliament anyhow. Because you don't want to block parliament. You don't want to block parliament. You want to block parliament. You want to block parliament. You want to block parliament. Block all the debates in Parliament. You don't want to allow a single debate. Amit Shah comes into the debate. If Amit Shah comes into the debate, he will raise questions which would be uncomfortable to you. I ask you. I ask you. I ask you. I ask you. No time limit will not be in Parliament. There will be a debate in Manipur. But the BJP will be there. Raja Gopalan, before you charu, before you charu, Raja Gopalan, Raja Gopalan, Raja Gopalan. So I am saying, I am saying, if you are not scared, Raja Gopalan, my view is, my, I, you know what I think, Mr. Rajagopalan, they are scared of a debate in Parliament Sa because Sare, Sara Sa kuch expose ho jai. Right, Anab, right. Le, all the facts Sa will come out. Mr. Rajagopalan. Rule Mr. Rajagopalan. Mr. Rajagopalan is scared of facing the Parliament. Rajagopalan is on the debate, Rajagopalan. Rajagopalan is on the debate. The debate is trending, ladies and gentlemen. Rajagopalan. Government that is scared. The Prime Minister that is scared. Rajagopalan on the debate. I have not seen a more scared Prime Minister in the history of the country. You are making personal comments. Rajagopalan on the debate after that. Charu, the I debate is open and uh, yeah, yeah, one. If, if the debate yeah, yeah. continues, Arnab, Arnab, I tell you, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will turn the table against our Congress, TMC, and every political party. Second thing, can so anyone why is he say not coming then? Who's what is stopping him? Why, is why should Congress. he come? Why should he come? Why, why is should he, he not come? coming? Why Yes. Let yes, Prime Minister yes. come and say that. Rule does not say. Rule does not say that. He Raja Gopalan. The government. He should be there. Rule the 167 does not say. Why is the Prime Minister Why? That is not. Opposition totally failed. Aam Aadmi Party failed. Aam Aadmi Party New Alliance Congress. New Alliance Congress. Aam Aadmi Party. Aam Aadmi Party Congress. Aam Aadmi Party lost his image. Anarchist Party. Sanjay Singh has been suspended today. Reena, Reena, Reena Rajagopalan reading out from the Motorola moment. I have to read out a few tweets. Ishika says, I do not understand what the real problem of the political parties. After all, what do they gain from the spectrum? Okay. Pinky Verma says, yes, we are angry at the Manipur case and we want strict actions against violence. But why Rahul Gandhi and Arvind Kejriwal are not allowing unity and debates in parliament? Okay, now, you know, I'm trying to see if anyone is supporting the opposition out here. Nitesh Vyas says debate trending. Yeah, it started trending a long time back. People are saying unity, not politics. Uh, and um, 
Arnab, please give me a chance. We have, uh, we have someone who has a hashtag called India at B28K09. Uh, stop the gentleman from uh, UP to heckle his opponents in the debate. That is going to you. Up heckle mat kijiye, keh rahe. Heckle, heckle mat kijiye. Okay. Now, 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 uh, now, please. The, the, and one more question. Nand Santhalia says, uh, uh, you know that uh, that why is Rina Gupta talking like this? He is sort of angry with the way in which you are speaking, uh, Rina. Uh, people have pro and anti. You know, Aruna Kapoor says unity. Angry, unity is for give and take. Angry. If there is, if if there is need, How politics. People are unity angry. Is, unity is, unity is, angry unity is not required. Video, the whole I couldn't sleep either. But the but the point is, but the point, but the point, but the point is, but the point. How can we allow this? And Bharti Janata Party is allowing this. This is not the first time, Aruna. They have done it in the case of Katwa, Atras, Unna, or Bilkis Bano. All of these cases I, are similar. The perpetrators were from Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, were Rina, being shielded by Bharatiya Janata Party. Rina, my point. They call them sanskari. Yeah, they now, Rina, you got to have a you got to have a full stop How at some point. You're going on and on. You're not letting the others come in. My question here is, and and you see, in the last few minutes of the debate, if the opposition has decided we will not let Parliament work, Parliament is for tamasha. Parliament, Hamara, it's for uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, one. Let me complete. Let me complete. I am saying to you, I am saying to you, today, after what has come out in the Adani case, have a debate on Adani. You want an Adani JPC demand 2023 budget session of Adani pe awaz nahi nikal rahi aapki Pegasus claim pe aapne kya kya nahi bola. Mera phone Pegasus hai. Pegasus jab when Supreme Court dismissed this, you don't want to discuss. You ruined. You four days ahead of schedule, opposition refused to let Parliament function because there are summons issued to Sonia Gandhi. Why? Why, if summons issue to Sonia Gandhi, Mr. Sabarwal, should Parliament be stopped? Parliament. Every time over some Let's issue or the other, you are determined to block Parliament, Mr. Sabarwal. That is undemocratic. That is undemocratic, and you should Please stop it. It's a, a bad trend. Let me you, speak for a moment. Yeah, yeah, one a more. Let Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal. We want a discretion a under the rule of 267, not in 167. Coming to you, Mr. DeMello. In 267, there is a provision of the Prime Minister should sit at the whole. The discussion no, should be done. That is no provision. You know, the, it should that not be fixed no time. Enough. In 167, it's only a one hour discussion. So, we want a full debate or discussion for, for no, no, three, four days. No, no, I'm telling you. What is wrong? One hour, two hour, maximum. They want. Then, 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 and we want to have full discussion. You have to depend on the speaker. One day, two day, three day, four day. Let's come to the conclusion. Rajiko Palan, Rajiko Palan, Rajiko Palan. You raised the technical point, Rajiko Palan. He's a veteran reporter. But Rajiko Palan. There is no, there is no rule two sixty seven which clearly says Prime Minister should be present. He can intervene even in the budget. There is no Prime Minister to speak. He intervenes. Prime Minister can intervene, but the Home Minister is not a debate. Mr. Dimelo, Mr. Dimelo, what is your point? He should sit or not. Why should the Prime Minister nah, not nah, be nah, in the nah, He should sit or not. Why should nah, he not nah, be in the It's shame. Tell you, tell you. Shame. Man, man, really. Shame. You are shame. You are shame. Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello, what shame. is coming from God? The daughters of the country. Mr. They have a money poured for. They were daughters of the country. Prime Minister should Mr. know Mr. what is the value of the daughter. He should hug them. He should can go I and meet their families. Can I? I, I want Mr. Dimelo wanted to come in he, after that. Yeah, Mr. Dimelo. Sabar, Sabarwal is Stop losing now. his temper. Simply, that's all. Tell him to Sabarwal, don't lose temper. Hello. Yes. Okay, okay. One minute, Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo. I am letting Mr. Dimelo come in, please. Thank you. Mr. Dimelo has to come in. He gone here. Mr. Dimelo, go on. Volume up. Mr. Dimelo, go on. Volume up. Angry. One minute. We are all we are all equally angry, Mr. Mr. Demello. Mr. Demello, Mr. Mr. Demello, no, no heckling, no needing, no trivializing on the debate. Mr. Demello will debate. Mr. Demello. Mr. Arnab, you started the debate by saying that the Manipur issue is very complex. Don't you believe in such a situation that the Prime Minister has an elderly statement, statesman, come into the parliament and appeal to the opposition people to come, let's sit together and sort out the matter? Don't you think that was his duty? Yeah. It is That's an opinion on the debate. I, I, I see. I feel. I feel, Mr. Demello, let the debate start. Let the debate start. One let minute. us hear the debate. I have made a promise. I will cancel everything. I will drop commercial breaks. I will put the whole debate out. That's my commitment. But have the debate. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, joining me for debate number one tonight. On the other side, I'll bring you the mystery of the red notebook and where everyone, not just in Rajasthan but nationally, are talking about it. The top-ranked Amity B.Tech attracts some of the most brilliant students of India.
who get global exposure at the five week study abroad program at Amity's global campuses at no additional tuition fee. To apply, visit amity.edu. चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but log jam continues in both houses a journey till tomorrow Amid mega ruckus in face of Amadi party, Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. In this part, all of you have bought your people in your own way. What did you give to the Raja Sabha? 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 Red Dari controversy explodes, sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. कहीं न कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है। मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में और माननीय मुखिया जी में इतनी घबराहट क्यों है? BJP's massive attack on Gelot government over Red Diary asked Gelot to clarify alleged links to Congress headquarters. दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हेयरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल देगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्पररी इंटरिम इंजेक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में होगी. Supreme Court stays ASI survey at Gyan Bapi for two days, asked Muslim side to approach Allahabad High Court. It's the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. Prashtikal. हाँ बोलिए हाँ बोलिए बस बैठिए आप मेरी मत की है नो आप बस नम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं इंग वास सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द चेयर The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Gouda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. Gehlot sahab, you have given me a little part of your diary in your Vidhan Sabha. You have given me a little part of my own. And a little part of my own is also this part. आपके सारे काले कारना में जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा, किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या-क्या दिया, किस किस को परलोभन दिया, क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या-क्या काले कारना में किए पैसे दे देके, वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूँगा। After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Staff Minister Rajin Deguda prevented. From even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state. 
BJP leaders staged a protest at the Gandhi statue demanding answers from the Gelord government over the rise in crime crisis and atrocities against women in Rajasthan. Rajasthan is asking, what are the... Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. This part of the आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए द टॉप रैंक्ड एमटी बीटेक अट्रैक्ट्स सम ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इंडिया with alumni working in top companies around the world and earning over 2 crores rupees per annum to apply visit amity.edu is the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan meanwhile the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament there was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses हाँ बोलिए हाँ बोलिए बस बैठिए आप मेरी मत की है नौ आप नम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वह सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द चेयर The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Gouda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. Gehlot sahab mo diary ka aadha part aapne aapke vidhan sabha mein gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai is part ke andar आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा आफ्टर ही वॉज इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑन मॉन्डे स्टाफ मिनिस्टर राजेंद्र गोडा प्रिवेंटेड from even entering the assembly building by house marshals last friday he was removed by gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state <laughs> बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग आंसर्स फ्रॉम द गेलॉट गवर्नमेंट ओवर द राइस प्राइम क्रेसिस एंड एट्रोसिटीज अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन राजस्थान राजस्थान इज आस्किंग व्हाट आर द ब्लैक डीड्स इन द रेड डायरी द रेड डायरी दैट गेलॉट जी वांटेड सो डेस्परेटली द रेड डायरी अबाउट व्हिच राजेंद्र गुड़ा इज टॉकिंग नाउ if there were black deeds of corruption of thousands of crores in rajasthan or the black deeds of saving criminals and rapists which was done by rajasthan government only the person who was desperate for this diary knows what is there in this diary meanwhile in, in a development in the investigation into manipur barbarism and the police said that 14 people have been identified from a video of two women who were stripped and paraded police said that the action has been initiated to arrest them already six people have been arrested in this case two months after sima haider entered into illegal a similar case has surfaced and married women of indian nationality anju traveled to pakistan from delhi to meet pakistani national however unlike sima who sneaked into india without any travel papers anju was granted entry into pakistan by the authorities on the basis of a valid visa 
blast has been reported in a shop in Haryana's Yamuna Nagar, causing panic across the city. The police has begun an investigation. The cause behind the explosion is still being ascertained. सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but log jam continues in both houses a journey till tomorrow Amid mega ruckus in face of Aam Aadmi Party, Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. Against the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. Prashtikal. Haan, boli. Haan, boli. Bas bethi hai. Aap peri mat ki hai. No. Aap bas salaam. Nambar ta ki tahit. एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं इन वास सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर द स्टैकिंग ऑफ राजेंद्र सिंह गुड़ा एस राजस्थान मिनिस्टर एस टेकन अ न्यू टर्न विद द एमएलए ड्रॉपिंग हिंट्स ऑफ अ रेड डायरी कंटेनिंग इंक्रिमिनेटिंग एविडेंस डिटेल्स अबाउट सीएम अशोक गहलोत गहलोत साहब वो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने मेरे आपके विधानसभा में गुंडागर्दी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीयों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Staff Minister Rajin the Gouda prevented from even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state. <laughs> बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज ए प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग the delhi studios of republic tv it's time for arnab goswami on the debate Swami on the debate at 10 powered by Riva University Quick Heal and Green Lamb Laminates Ladies and gentlemen welcome to the debate and now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion where I'm talking tonight about what is in the red diary the red diary everybody 
who has been watching Indian politics has been talking last seven, eight hours about the Red Diary. Now, what is the Red Diary? Here's the backstory to it. In the context of Manipur, the Congress was trying to take a high moral ground when it got a reality check from its own minister in Rajasthan. Now, this gentleman who is quite uh, vocal and is uh, in his mid-50s is called Rajendra Guda. Rajendra Guda is on my show tonight as my guest this evening. There he is, Rajendra Guda ji. Our program is with us today. And the pictures that you are seeing, which you are watching, that those are of a red diary which Rajendra Guda holds in his hand today in the Rajasthan Assembly and says, in this diary are all the secrets of Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot. And he holds the diary everywhere. And he says, in this diary are the secret of the payments made by and to Ashok Gehlot. The entire story of corruption of the Congress party, how it makes payoffs, everything is inside this red diary. He said that once when there was a raid, the chief minister asked him that take this diary and hide it somewhere, he said. Viewers, if you consider the sequence of facts, and we'll keep Mr. Gouda on the screen, the visuals of what has happened on the screen as well. The backstory is this, that Rajendra Guda was very close to Ashok Gehlot till four days back. Then after the Manipur incident, when the Congress was taking a high moral position, Rajendra Guda stood in the floor of the assembly and he says, who are we to lecture? The Manipur government, look at the situation of women in Rajasthan, we should do something about it. Now that's an honest statement, that's the kind of statement that must be appreciated. But there was a call which went straight from the Congress headquarters to Ashok Gehlot, how dare this man as a minister in the Rajasthan government expose the situation, uh, the state of affairs in Rajasthan itself and the Congress leadership asked Ashok Gehlot to sack him and he was sacked, then he got upset, when he was upset he comes back, he's been giving a series of interviews and finally came to the floor of the assembly and he said, I have this red diary with me, I have the whole story of Ashok Gehlot's corruption and I'm going to expose it. The whole country now wants to know what is in the red diary. Is he pulling off a fast one? Or is it true that there is something inside this red diary which the whole country should know about? Does it have the names of top Congress leaders? How much money was paid? What were these payoffs for? What is the level of corruption which this person till recently a minister has details of? When I come back on the other side, he's going to tell us all the details of what's in the red diary. Here's a small clip of what's happened and then we'll do it. Look, Dharmendra Rathod was in the house of the house. Income tax and ED. And Mukhe Mantri Ji called me to say that he had to get rid of any cost. Sacked Rajasthan Minister Rajendra Gouda's red diary claim on Republic TV had set the ball rolling for a mega-political face-off. As he tried entering the Rajasthan Assembly on Monday, he was blocked. When he managed to get inside the assembly and tried putting on record the contents of the red diary, watch how the speaker panicked. Once the blue-eyed boy of Ashok Gehlot, Gurha seems to have touched a raw nerve. Gehlot, sir, you have made the last part of the diary of the Vidhan Sabha. And the last part of the diary is more than me. In this part, you have all the people who have bought 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 the people. किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के 
वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा In 2020, when IT department and ED raided Ashok Gehlot's left-hand man Dharmendra Rathod, Gurha claims he was tasked with a difficult job. हमें आएगा तो उस लाल डायरी के किस्से और कहानियों को आप स्वार्जनिक करेंगे? मुझे तो मुख्यमंत्री जी ने ये कहा था उसके बाद में कि तेरे को यार गुड़ा हॉलीवुड में होना चाहिए तूने कमाल कर दिया सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक है तो. So what are the contents of the red diary? Why is it making Congress so nervous? So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress people in AICC perhaps to so that uh, Gelot Saab's uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals Why is the Congress scared over the red diary Let's debate वी हैव द डिबेट संजू वर्मा रतन शाह पंकज शर्मा लोकेश जिंदल पहले मैं सवाल राजेंद्र गुढ़ा जी से करूंगा पूर्व मंत्री राजेंद्र गुढ़ा जी ये रेड डायरी कहाँ है अब इस वक्त ये जो लाल डायरी है ये डायरी इस वक्त कहाँ है आज मैं विधानसभा में लेके गया था इस डायरी को और मैं इसको टेबल करना चाह रहा था स्पीकर साहब की इजाजत से और मुझे जब बर्खास्त किया गया तो उस मामले में भी मैं विधानसभा में मेरा वक्तव्य देना चाह रहा था लेकिन उसके बावजूद डायरी कहां पे इस वक्त गुड़ा जी आपके घर में आपके पास है ये डायरी मेरी मैं विधानसभा में लेके गया था और उसके बाद भी कांग्रेस के सर कांग्रेस सरकार के मंत्रियों ने मेरे से छीन लिए मगर क्या आधी डायरी आपके पास है मैंने सुना कि आधी डायरी वो फट गई आधी डायरी आपके पास रही कि पूरी डायरी आपके हाथ से निकल गई नहीं नहीं वो डायरी विधानसभा हाउस में से वो डायरी के सारे के सारे मंत्री एक साथ मेरे पे टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने मेरे से वो डायरी छीन ली तो इस डायरी की कोई कॉपी है आपके पास ओरिजिनल डायरी तो वो ही थी उसके बारे में देखना पड़ेगा थोड़ा बहुत तो उस डायरी में क्या थी क्या सबूत है उस डायरी में अरुण जी यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये सारे के सारे कांग्रेस के लोग मैं हाउस में गया हूं मेरे हाथ में डायरी थी सब ने देखा है उसने इन लोगों ने मेरे से वो डायरी छीन ली है काफी लोगों की भीड़ थी वो एक साथ टूट के मेरे ऊपर पड़ी और उन्होंने जिस तरीके से वहां धक्का मुक्की और जो भी सीन बना था उसके बाद में वो डायरी मेरे हाथ में से इन लोगों ने जी पूरी ताकत लगा के सारे मंत्री एक साथ टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने वो डायरी मेरे से छीन ली और यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये उस डायरी से क्यों डरे हुए थे सारे मंत्री जिस तरीके से पूरी ताकत के साथ डायरी में आप, आपको तो पता है ना कि उस डायरी के अंदर क्या है क्योंकि 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 आपने कहा कि अशोक गहलोत ने आपको कहा था रेड के समय इस डायरी को लेके कहीं पे छुपाने के लिए आपने आपको कहा था तो उस डायरी के अंदर क्या था जरा डिटेल में बताइए ना उसमें क्या था क्या एंट्री है किस किसके हस्ताक्षर है क्या डिटेल्स है देखिए वो डायरी सारी की सारी धर्मेंद्र जी राठौड़ की डायरी वो उनके घर से वो बरामद हुई थी उसके अंदर सारी डिटेल्स दो राज्यसभा के चुनाव थे उनमें इन्होंने निर्दलीय विधायकों को क्या दिया बाकी पार्टी वालों को क्या दिया बाहर से सपोर्ट वालों को कितने पैसे दिए पैसे कहाँ से आए कहाँ दिए गए कितने दिए गए और जो क्रिकेट का जो था उसका और कई सरकार को बचाने में जो भी एपिसोड चला उसमें वो सारा किया उन्होंने मगर उसकी क्या क्या प्रूफ है कि वो जेन्युन है क्या प्रूफ है कि जो भी थी उस डायरी में वो जेन्युन थी अब तो डायरी ही नहीं है तो आप कैसे प्रूफ करेंगे ये तो 
ये तो आपके कहने वा, कहने की बात हो गई ना फिर वो डायरी इसको प्रूव कैसे करेंगे देखिए कुछ ना कुछ कहीं से कहीं कुछ ना कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं कहीं से कोई उसके स्क्रिप्ट शॉट लिए होंगे मोबाइल में होंगे कुछ ना कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं इसमें से कब लाएंगे अभी पब्लिक के कल से जनता के बीच में जा रहा हूँ लोगों से मिलूंगा सारी बातें वहां भी पब्लिक भी इसमें एक एक पार्ट तो है ही जनता जनता ने जिन्होंने हमें भेजा है विधानसभा के अंदर दो तीन बार और उसके बाद में विधानसभा में जाने के बाद तो आप, हम तो आप कह रहे आपके पास और, और, को, और, और कुछ सबूत तो भी है मतलब कोई मोबाइल फोन कोई व्हाट्सएप कोई बात हाँ कोई और भी और भी मतलब सबूत है आपके पास आप कह रहे क्या क्या आ, कुछ आ, है सर आप बताइए क्या क्या थोड़ा बहुत मतलब किसको लेके किस विषय पर से मैं इस ये सबको पता है दिन में वो डायरी निकाली गई थी रूबी टावर जो सिविल लाइन्स में आठवीं नवी मंजिल पर रेड हुई थी उसमें मेरे साथ और भी एक दो एक आधा मंत्री और भी था और वहाँ लाठी चार्ज भी हुआ था उस टाइम में भी राजस्थान में सबको पता इस बात का कोई एक डायरी थी जिसके लिए मुख्यमंत्री जी बड़े चिंतित थे किसी भी को उसको और उसके बाद भी अभी भी उसके लिए बहुत चिंतित हैं और आज भी सारे लोगों ने विधानसभा की कार्रवाई में वो हाउस के अंदर वो डायरी मेरे से छीननी है और ये कह रहे कुछ नहीं है तो छीन के क्यों ले गए है तो दिखा दो नहीं अरे मेरे पास वो तो आज मुझे मुझे, मुझे 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 लगता है कि असली डायरी आपके पास है और जो डायरी आप ले गए थे वो नकली डायरी है मगर मुझे लगता है असली सबूत आपके आपके पास है अभी भी गुडा जी आप बताइए खुलकर बहुत लोग मेरा प्रोग्राम देखते हैं मुझे लग रहा है असली डायरी आपके पास है सबूत आपके पास है नहीं तो आप इस तरह से मुस्कुराते नहीं और आप बहुत ही एक मतलब की आप एक वरिष्ठ और एक्सपीरियंस अनुभवी नेता है आपको पता है कि आपके पास अगर इतनी बड़ी सबूत है आप इसको सबसे हाथ से तो जाने नहीं देंगे अर्णव जी आपको बताऊं सबसे पहले आपके चैनल पे ही आपने बड़ी हिम्मत करके इसको सबसे पहले दिखाया था और बाकी तो ये लग भी नहीं रहा था कहीं चलेगा कहीं नहीं चलेगा आपके वो अमर मेरे वहाँ झुंझुनू मेरे कॉन्स्टिटेंसी ट्राइबल में मेरे पास गए थे आपके एंकर जो राजस्थान के हैं और सबसे पहला इंटरव्यू मेरा उन्होंने लिया था और मैंने बता भी दिया था कि मैं लेक सोमवार को मैं मंडे को आऊँगा और उस दिन मैं सारे के सारे इनके कच्चे चिट्टे खोल लूँगा अब इनको पता भी था उन्होंने बड़ी कोशिश की मुझे रास्ते में रोकने की जैसे तैसे मैं हाउस के अंदर पहुँचा और हाउस में भी जाने के बाद ये लोग मुझे अंदर जिस तरीके से मतलब पूरी सार्वजनिक कर रहा था सारी चीजें अध्यक्ष जी ने वो डायरी मुझे टेबल क्यों नहीं करने दी आप राजस्थान के विधानसभा स्पीकर से भी तो आप पूछ सकते हो कि आप टेबल करना चाह रहा था हमारा अधिकार था और पहली बार एक राजस्थान के इतिहास में पहला केस है कि विधानसभा में मैं सिर्फ चौदह सेकेंड कोई बात बोल गया जो हमारे दुष महिलाओं के दुष्कर्म के ऊपर भेद जो हो रहा था तो ऐसा कौन सा बंगज हो गया मेरे से अस्तीफा भी तो मांग सकते थे ये और अस्तीफा नहीं मांग के मैं इनको रिजाइन दे देता मुख्यमंत्री किसको रखे किसको नहीं रखे बर्खास्त किया मैं उस पर भी बोलना चाह रहा था कि मुझे बर्खास्त में मुझे बोलने का अधिकार है दुनिया में ऐसी कौन सी अदालत है जिसके अंदर आप एक नहीं मगर डायरी के बारे में बताइए ना आपके पास सबूत क्या बोलने का आपके पास आपके आप ये पैसे किसको दिए गए थे पैसे किसको दिए गए थे क्या केंद्र में किसी को दिए गए थे केंद्र मतलब जो कांग्रेस पार्टी की केंद्रीय नेतृत्व है उनको दिए गए थे या गहलोत को दिए गए थे किसको दिए गए थे पैसे किसने दिए थे कहा से कलेक्शन हो रहा था सब गहलोत गहलोत साहब तो राज गहलोत साहब तो राजस्थान के चीफ मिनिस्टर भी है फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर भी है होम मिनिस्टर भी है उनको सारा का सारा सिस्टम उन्ही के पास तो है गहलोत साहब के पास है सारी चीजें वहीं से तो निकलती हैं तो ये बताइए आप आप आपने तो उनको बचा दिया अब आप ही एक्सपोज कर रहे हैं आपने बचा दिया उस समय उस समय उन्होंने नहीं मांगा कि 
मुझे ये रेड डायरी मेरे हाथ में दे दीजिए इतना बड़ा सबूत आपके हाथ में उन्होंने क्यों रखा क्या उतना इतना भरोसा था उनका उ, उनको आप पर देखिए अब आर मेरे बेटे के जन्मदिन पर गहलोत साहब हेलीकॉप्टर लेके गए थे चौदह नौ सितंबर को पिछली को अभी दस महीने लगभग हो गए और उन्होंने कहा था कि राजेंद्र गुड्डा की वजह से मैं मुख्यमंत्री हूँ राजेंद्र गुड्डा की वजह से हमने आपको बताना चाह रहा हूँ आपको निकाल क्यों था अचानक दस सेकंड भी नहीं लगे उनको आपने आपने स्टेटमेंट दी राजस्थान में औरतों के सिचुएशन के बारे में और आपको दस सेकंड में निकाल दिया मुझे दस ये मेरे ऊपर चार्ज भी ये लगा रहे कि मैं बीजेपी से मिला हूं जबकि मैंने इनको दो बार इनको सीएम बनाने में सबसे बड़ा रोल किया है मैंने और ये एक सेकंड नहीं लगाई उन्होंने और विश्वास था लेकिन उन्होंने कहा था डायरी को जला देना जला देना बार बार कहा था आपने जलाया क्यों नहीं उन्होंने कहा डायरी को जला देना और आपने जलाया नहीं ये तो बहुत ही इंटरेस्ट थोड़ा बहुत बच गया मगर जो डायरी आपके हाथ में थी वो जली हुई डायरी तो नहीं थी मतलब कि ओरिजिनल डायरी कहीं पे है आप मुझे पूरे पूरी 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 बात नहीं बता रहे गुडा जी यू मस्ट शेयर विथ मी द रियल ट्रूथ आपको मुझे लग रहा है आपके पास कोई बहुत बड़ा विस्फोटक सबूत है एक्सप्लोसिव एविडेंस मैं मीडिया मैं मीड मैं मीडिया के सामने पूरी डायरी ओपन करने वाला था हाउस के बाद में और हाउस में टेबल करता उसके बाद में उसके साथ साथ ही मैं उसको पूरे ओपन करता मीडिया के सामने मैं हाउस में थोड़ा लेट पूछा था और उसके बाद में मैं सीधा चला गया नहीं जाने से पहले मीडिया को भी मैं डायरी वो उसके कुछ सोट के देख कर चला जाता तो ज़्यादा बढ़िया रहता मुझे ये पता नहीं था कि इस तरीके से मैं मैं इतना कॉन्फिडेंट था मेरे से डायरी कैसे छीनेंगे और जिस तरीके से वो सारे लोग टूट के पड़े दिस इज फैसिनेटिंग ये अमीन अमीन मैं जरा मैं जरा इसी को नहीं 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 मैं 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 ये वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी गुडा जी एक मिनट इज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग स्टोरी गुडा जी एक मिनट रुकी आप मैं थोड़ी प्रतिक्रिया लेना चाहता हूँ जिस बात आपने की आई थिंक लोकेश फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज वेरी अनडेमोक्रेटिक वट योर पार्टी इज डन यू सेकम फॉर स्पीकिंग द ट्रूथ ही वॉन्ट्स टू रिवील द करप्शन यू ट्राई टू यू ऑलमोस्ट फिजिकली असोल्ट हिम and then you want to say you want to save democracy uh, that arise from uh, the minister's uh, narration first of all if he, if he was so much particular about corruption and all why was he quiet since 2020 secondly when you are questioning him what is the content of that uh, diary he is all he is absolutely uh, clueless about what is there inside the diary it's a cooked up story i so understand one, one minute. you are there saying you are you're questioning him one minute one minute, one minute. i i i, I agree with you no 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 one minute because one minute. just one minute lokesh you know. lokesh i want yes. sanju to respond to this i i i it is clear to me that mr gudha has known about this corruption he does not make bones about the fact that he was an accomplice in covering up corruption unko pata tha wahan pe matlab bhrashtachar ho raha hai aur wo wo usko दबाने में वो उनकी भी उनकी भी भूमिका थी मगर जो ये सब हुआ उसके बाद वो क्रोधित हो गए गुस्से में उन्होंने कहा कि मैं सच्चाई दिखा दूंगा मैं एक्सपोज कर दूंगा अशोक गहलोत का असली चेहरा ये तो बिल्कुल क्लियर हो रहा है इसमें कोई दुविधा किसी को नहीं होनी चाहिए संजू वट यू थिंक संजू 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 और प्लीज ओके और रब आई थिंक फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट kudos to you for actually taking rajendra gudda on air and trying to you know get down to the bottom of this red diary and the mysteries that it contains i just have this to say you know rahul gandhi goes around all over town giving a bhashan main nafrat ke bazar mein mohabbat ki dukaan kholne aaya hu priyanka vadra goes around town saying ladki hu lad sakti hu i stand for women empowerment i'm sure the red diary contains a lot of details which are not pleasant to the eyes and which are not certainly pleasant to the ears i just have this to say if rahul gandhi feels that the violence in manipur needs to be condemned and it rightly needs to be condemned and punishment needs to be meted out to the culprits why is it that when rajendra gudda said that rajasthan is the number one state in atrocities against women rajasthan is the number one state in crimes against women and he goes on to add that we must do <coughs> introspection otherwise how will we face the public 
What is Mr. the big deal Rajendra about it? Is what is wrong? What is wrong in showing right the mirror to Ashok Gehlot? What is wrong in showing the mirror to Ashok Gehlot? One minute, I'll question. I'll I'll just question. Where is Rahul Gandhi? Where is his Mohabbat ki dukaan? Has he condemned the Karani gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Alwar gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Jodhpur gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Mount Abu gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Barmer gang rape? As per NCRB data, last year there were 6,000 cases of rapes and gang rapes from Rajasthan. संजू वर्मा और लोकेश जिंदल पंकज शर्मा क्या पंकज शर्मा पंकज शर्मा एक मिनट संजू संजू वन मिनट पंकज शर्मा पंकज शर्मा किसी व्यक्ति को अगर आत्मचिंतन करने के बाद कोई व्यक्ति अगर इस कंक्लूजन में पहुंचे कि मुझे सच बता देना चाहिए तो उसमें बुराई क्या है अगर गुडा जी को पता था तो हां मैं मानता हूं गुडा जी आपको पहले बता देना चाहिए था कि ऐसा भ्रष्टाचार हो रहा है मगर अगर आप आज दिखाना चाहते हैं मुझे यह भी लगता है कि ठीक है सच्चाई सामने आ जाए तो मैं पूछना चाहता हूं दिस इज अ फॉल जी 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 नेरेटिव दैट इज बींग पुट फोर्थ नो गुडा जी कुछ कह रहे हैं Mr. Gouda ji is saying something. What are you saying, Mr. Gouda? Shameful. Shameful. Mr. Gouda, please continue. It is shameful. Mr. Gouda, को बोलने दें. Mr. Gouda को तो आप assembly में बोलने दें. What is shameful? You are trying to scuttle the voice of Mr. Gouda. Shame on you. Shame on you, Mr. Gouda. What is shameful? Gouda ji, Gouda ji, बोलिए. Shame on you. Shame on you. मत कीजिए. Gouda ji को बोलने दीजिए. Lokesh Jindal ji, आपको point problem क्या हो रही है? What is the shame on you? Shame on you. What is shameful? Shame on you for almost assaulting him in parliament today. In assembly today. You know, I know, I know, Mr. Guda, what the truth is. You know. Ab Guda ji ko Guda ji. Now is the opportunity. Now is the opportunity for you to tell the truth. Tell, tell the people what form of pressure you are going through. Ah, to bol rahe na, to ab bolne di jira. Tell the truth, tell the truth. Ab mere program pe kar rahe. Wo tell the truth. Guda ji, 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 Guda मिस्टर गुडा शुड बी अलाउड देखिए मिस्टर गुडा देखिए गुडा आर यू नॉट द सेम देखिए आज से आज से लग चार ऑफरिंग यू ट्रक लोड्स ऑफ मनी फॉर टॉपलिंग द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट मिस्टर गुडा आर यू नॉट द सेम पर्सन हु एट अ प्राइवेट स्कूल फंक्शन नरेटेड अ स्टोरी टू द स्टूडेंट्स दैट हाउ बीजेपी ऑफर्ड यू 60 करोड़ रुपीस टू क्रॉस वोट इन फेवर ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर कैंडिडेट इन राज्यसभा इलेक्शन गुडा जी गुडा जी ये सवाल ये सवाल पंकज ये सवाल पंकज शर्मा आपको कर रहे हैं जो 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 पंकज शर्मा कर रहे हैं कि आप क्या वही व्यक्ति नहीं है जिन्होंने कोई स्कूल के फंक्शन में कभी कहा था कि आपको 60 साठ करोड़ रुपए दिए गए थे कि आप पार्टी बदले या अपने अपने दैट यू शुड चेंज साइज गुडा जी नहीं नहीं गलत रिपोर्ट दिए गए दिए गए नहीं थे दिए नहीं गए थे हमारे पास प्रलोभन था हमें मुझे आज नहीं हर राज्यसभा का वोट बनी कांग्रेस को छह बार दिया है ये तो बात आपके विरुद्ध है ना और अभी बता रहा हूँ पिछले पांच महीने पहले पिछले पांच महीने पहले पिछले पांच महीने पहले मेरे मुगदमा लगाया गया तो मंत्री रहे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे लेट हिम स्पीक लेट हिम स्पीक यू हैव बीटन हिम अप इन द असेंबली लेट हिम स्पीक और ऑलमोस्ट असोल्टेड हिम लेट हिम स्पीक वाज सो ब्यूटीफुल दैट राम लेट हिम स्पीक बोथ बिकेम पागल बट व्हाई आर यू गेटिंग नर्वस मिस्टर गुडा इज द सेम बट व्हाई आर यू ओके सो ओके सो पंकज 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 व्हाट इज रतन शारदा वन मिनट पंकज पंकज यू आर जस्ट लुक एट द ड्रामा आउट हियर जस्ट वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट गुडा जी बात सुनिए पंकज जी कुछ कह रहे हैं आपको बोलिए गुडा जी बोलिए ऐसा पंकज जी आ, आज से पांच महीने पहले एक महिला मेरे पास आई थी उसकी दो बच्चों की शादी थी और वो सुसाइड करने वाली थी किसी ने उसके पैसे रोक लिए मैंने मेरी जेब से तीन लाख चौरासी हजार उसको दे के उसकी बच्चों की शादी कराई उस मामले में गहलोत साहब ने मेरे मुकदमा लगाया अपहरण का 
और आज तक वो तलवार मेरे ऊपर लटका रखी है कि तेरे को गिरफ्तार करा दिया जाए और तेरे को नहीं करा दिया जाए रोज परेसर की पिछले साल भर से झेल रहा हूं इन चीजों को और आपको बताना चाह रहा हूं ये सारी की सारी चीजें विधानसभा में पहले भी बोल रहा हूं एम एल था मंत्री नहीं था तब भी बोले करप्शन पे विधाउस में बोल रहा हूं मंत्रियों के बारे में भी बोल रहा हूं और सचिन पायलट जी की मीटिंग में भी करप्शन के ऊपर बोल रहा हूं और हर मुद्दे पर मैं बोलता रहा हूं और इसमें आप कह रहे हो इस पूरे के पूरे मामले के अंदर अब एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड बोलिए गुडा जी डायरी कहा है डायरी कहा है गुडा जी आप मुझे बताइए मुझे भी थोड़ी डायरी आज सब डायरी कहा है मुझे पता है इनके पास डायरी है इन्होंने जलाई नहीं है जो जो डायरी आपने दिखाई है गुडा जी उसमें कतई एक 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 स्क्वेयर सेंटीमीटर भी वहां पे जली हुई नहीं दिखी आप मुझे कह रहे जली हुई है आप आप अपने अलमारी में जाइए डायरी को निकाल के दिखा दीजिए मेरे दर्शकों को आपके पास कोई ना कोई सबूत है नहीं तो आप अपने इतमान से नहीं बैठते आप आज घर में बैठ के शायद आप शायद आपको मजा आ रहा है कि जो डायरी उन्होंने हाथ से चीनी वो तो नकली डायरी थी तो रियल डायरी आपके पास है रतन शारदा आपको क्या लगता है रतन शारदा बड़े वरिष्ठ एनालिस्ट है क्या आपको लगता है इन्होंने डायरी दूसरों के हाथ में दे दी मुझे लगता है ये पार्ट वन है पार्ट टू इनके ये करने वाले हैं इसमें पार्ट थ्री भी होगा रतन शारदा वॉट यू थिंक इतने पुराने राजनीतिक इतने तो कच्चे खिलाड़ी नहीं है कि एक ही डायरी लेकर उसको बैठे होंगे नेचुरली कॉपी भी होंगी और कॉपी लेकर गए थे कि असली मुझे पता नहीं भी हाँ। लेकिन इतने कच्चे खिलाड़ी तो नहीं है मुझे एक ही पहले रेड डायरी पती थी माउसे तुम की उसके बाद अब कांग्रेस की दूसरी रेड डायरी बनी है जिसको बचाने के लिए सारी कांग्रेस कूद पड़ी है विधानसभा में स्पीकर परेशान है असेंबली के बाहर कांग्रेस के नेता परेशान है वहां से इनको दस सेकंड में निकाल दिया वो प्रधानमंत्री उनके मुख्यमंत्री और राहुल गांधी परेशान है तो कुछ तो दाल में काला है हम कह दें कि कुछ नहीं है जी घोड़ा साहब तो फ्रस्ट्रेटेड नहीं, 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 नहीं इनको मजा आ रहा है ये 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 खेल खेल रहे हैं ये ये आज अगर आप सीपी जोशी को देखते हैं आप असेंबली में देखिए आई शो यू दिक्चर्स फुल फ्रेम दिखाता हूँ संजू उनको ऐसा लग रहा था कि वहां पे मतलब कूद पड़ेंगे वो स्पीकर के चेयर से वो खुद जाके हाथ में ले लेंगे इतना गुस्सा था इन्हें अगर मैं ऑडियो प्ले करूं यू विल सी बहुत डेस्परेट थे उस समय कहीं ना कहीं किसी तरह से लाल डायरी अपने हाथ में लीजिए इतना बड़ा ड्रामा नो बडी सीन दिस काइंड ऑफ ड्रामा इन दिस कंट्री बिफोर दिस संजू वर्मा यू सींग दिस आप देख रहे हैं कह प्ले द ऑडियो जस्ट सुनिए इस ऑडियो को सुनिए इस ऑडियो को लिसन टू द ऑडियो Listen to the audio first. ये 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 रेड डायरी के बारे में क्या सीपी जोशी को भी कुछ पता है गोडा जी डज ही ऑल्सो नो समथिंग अबाउट द रेड डायरी लगता है ओपन सीक्रेट है राहुल मैंने मैंने हाउस में टेबल करने के लिए टेबल करना चाह रहा था हाउस में मैं उसको टेबल करना चाह रहा था उन्होंने टेबल पर क्यों नहीं कर ले दिया पूरे राजस्थान की जनता को पता चल जाता सर मैं उस डायरी को टेबल करने के लिए लेके गया था टेबल करने का बिल्कुल सही बात है टेबल करने में क्या समस्या थी कांग्रेस पॉलिटिशियन है लोग कहते हैं टेबल करिए टेबल कर रहे थे ना कोई कि देर इज अ रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस देर इज अ डेकोरम दैट इज टू बी फॉलोड अगर oh, आपको नहीं फॉलो करना संजू आप क्या विधानसभा में लोकसभा में क्या ये क्या ऊपर से कोई अभी रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस आप इस तरह से कीजिए एक एक संजू बहुत पुराना संजू 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 लोकेश लोकेश गांव वालों को बुलाया जाता था ओके और यू नो आई लिसन टू द ऑडियो एंड आई वाज अमेज यू नो द स्पीकर इज कंटीन्यूअसली अर्जिंग एंड देन ही गेट्स यू नो कंप्लीटली रैकल्ड एंड सेज मेरे चेंबर में आइए मेरे चेंबर में आइए यहां नहीं यहां नहीं सो क्लियरली 
this mysterious red diary has more than uh, what you know is currently revealed but i just want this uh, to be known that don't forget it was on the 26th of october 2022 that officially malikarjun khadge was declared the congress president and if you remember or not during that time in the 15 days prior to khadge being announced as the congress press we first heard it will be ashok gehlot there was a stamp of approval on gehlot's name by uh, the top brass of the congress sonia rahul robert vadra what have you then it was a fight between khadge and shashi tharoor and finally khadge won and i think this red diary may contain a lot of give and take that happened because we all know that ashok gehlot rattled the congress top brass oh. he was in a mood of rebellion he was in a mood of rebellion but finally is the gandhi's humble crow and ashok gehlot that for that, that, that rajasthan chief joke. minister राजेंद्र गुडा जी से अनुरोध करता हूँ राजेंद्र गुडा जी आपसे मैं अनुरोध करता हूँ आप जरा अगर हमें कह सके कि आप बोलिए जो भी आपके पास और भी सबूत है वो मीडिया के सामने कब लाएंगे आप क्योंकि इतना बड़ा मुद्दा है देखिए हाउस के बारे मीडिया के सामने आप सबूत तो कर रहे हैं सबसे सबसे पहले सब से पहले एक मिनट मेरी मेरी बात सुनी, मेरी बात सुनी आप जब हाउस के अंदर मैं गया तो मुझे ये पता नहीं था मैं मंत्री के रूप में जिस कुर्सी पर बैठता था उस वो चेयर पर मैं बैठ नहीं सकता था क्योंकि मैं मंत्री नहीं रहा उसके बाद में मुझे दूसरी चेयर अलॉट नहीं एक विधायक के रूप में मुझे जो सीट देनी चाहिए थी वो नहीं दी अब मैं बोलने के लिए मेरे पास कोई कोई स्पीकर नहीं था माइक नहीं था मैं किससे बोलता वो अलग बात है। अलावा मैंने वो मैं सुन चुका हूँ आपने आज पहले कह चुके आप ये सब बातें मैं कह रहा हूँ आपको कि आप मीडिया के सामने आप पर भी आप पर भी एक जिम्मेदारी बनती है गुडा जी आप पे बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि आपने अगर कहा कि मैं भ्रष्टाचार को एक्सपोज करूंगा तो आप पे जिम्मेदारी बनती है आपकी नैतिक जिम्मेदारी है गुडा जी की आप जो भी सबूत है मीडिया के सामने लाए आप कब लाएंगे अर्नब कोई सबूत नहीं है ये एक ये एक जो है जिम्मेदारी एक एक तरह का जो है इन्होंने आप इनको बोलने देना आपको थोड़ी पूछा है गुडा जी बोलिए फिर आप फिजिकली क्या गुडा जी बोलिए देखिए आप गुडा जी कंटिन्यू नैतिक जिम्मेदारी की याद गुडा जी कंटिन्यू रतन शारदा लेट गुडा स्पीक मैं आपको बताना चाह रहा हूँ मेरे से वो डायरी विधानसभा में छीन दी गई है ये बताइए आप क्यों छीन ली उन्होंने क्या था उसमें ये कुछ नहीं है तो कहते थे कुछ भी नहीं है वो डायरी दिखा वो छोड़िए आपके पास आपके पास बहुत कुछ, कुछ और है तो क्यों लेके गए आपने मुझे कहा कि मेरे पास और कुछ है आपने कहा की मेरे पेरे कई दो तीन पेज निकाले गए बाकी पेजेस मेरे पास है आपने मुझे तो कहा कि आपको देखना पड़ेगा आपके फोन में और क्या क्या है आपके पास क्या है गुडा जी आप इंस्टॉलमेंट में रिलीज करने वाले हैं क्या एक चोरी <laughs> नहीं अर्नब आर चीज गैलरी में सेम ऐसी रेड डायरी देखने को मिली थी सो राजेंद्र जी आपको आर चीज गैलरी जाना चाहिए आर चीज गैलरी में आपको रेड डायरी मिल जाएगी बोलने दीजिए आप बोलने दीजिए स्टेशनरी जिंदल जी प्लीज गुडा जी को बोलने दीजिए गुडा जी बोलिए दिल्ली के बाजारों आपको नहीं पूछा है आप आप सारी चीजों को मजाकिया मत बनाइए जिंदल जी 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 देखिए आज कोई पहला दिन नहीं है राजनीति का चौबीस जुलाई चौबीस जुलाई को आखिरी डे भी नहीं है ये लड़ाई तो चलेगी और इसके अंदर राजेंद्र गुड्डा की गिरफ्तारी भी होगी सुन लेना मेरी बात और और भी कुछ करेंगे लेकिन उस आखिरी दम तक लड़ूंगा इनके खिलाफ और इनके सारे के सारे कल्ले चिट्ठे ना वो बाहर लाके रख दूंगा आपका मुंह बंद हो जाएगा आज आखिरी डेट है क्या कोई आज आखिरी तारीख है मैं टेबुल कर रहा था क्यों नहीं करने दिया मुझे टेबुल विधानसभा के अंदर मुझे बोलने क्यों नहीं दिया गया टेबल में कर रहा था टेबल हो जाती डायरी ले गए तो क्यों छीन उस डायरी में क्या था क्यों छीन रहे थे क्यों किसकी किसकी गिरफ्तारी होगी आपने कहा किसकी गिरफ्तारी होगी मेरी गिरफ्तारी होगी राजेंद्र गुड्डा की गिरफ्तारी होगी क्यों होगी गुडा जी मुझे ल... आप अपनी गिरफ्तारी क्यों चाहते हैं मैं लगा रखे है मेरे चार महीने पहले मेरे खिलाफ मुख्यमंत्री करेगा गिरफ्तार उनकी पॉलिटिक्स इसी तरह की है 
दबाव देने के लिए क्यों करेंगे करते हैं कितने किस चीज का दबाव देखिए मैं आपको बता देता हूँ अशोक जी गहलोत ने पता नहीं कितने नेताओं को पानी पिला दिया धारीवाल भी खुद कह रहे थे मीटिंग में कि अच्छे अच्छे नेताओं को हमने पानी पिला दिया परशुराम जी मदेरना थे बलराम जी जाखड़ थे बुट्टा सिंह थे नटवर सिंह थे थे चंदनमल बैद थे खेत सिंह थे गुलाब सिंह थे थे सुचर माथुर ठीक है बुढ़ा जी बुढ़ा जी मैं इसको फॉलो करूंगा मैं फॉलो करूंगा ये ये ही प्रेडिक्टिंग इज ओन अरेस्ट Sacked minister who waved the red diary has been live with us. It's a fascinating story. Let's see the next twist it takes. And ladies and gentlemen, quick 30 seconds commercial break. Quick heel commercial break, and I'm back. The top-ranked Amity B.Tech attracts some of the most brilliant students of India, who get global exposure at the five-week study abroad program at Amity's global campuses at no additional tuition fee. To apply, visit amity.edu. मैं कदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूँ. मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता। The government says ready for debate, but log jam continues. And ladies and gentlemen, an archaeological survey of India survey. of the gyanwapi mosque barring the wazu khana area was all set to be initiated today it's an emotive issue but the supreme court has intervened upon a plea and stayed the survey till 5 pm on 26 july one section is panicking about the survey my question is hashtag #we need the truth and the only way to know what the truth is whether it was a temple somewhere in the past or not is a scientific survey a scientific survey means we will get to know the truth why oppose the truth hashtag we need the truth let's debate days after the varanasi court allowed a survey of the gyanwapi complex mara hara mahade har dam mast re अरे बाबा विश्वनाथ का मंदिर मनवा सबके भावेला सिक्योरिटी वॉज टाइटेंड एंड ए एस आई टीम बिगैन अ स्टडी दिस मॉर्निंग समुचित पुलिस व्यवस्था की गई है इसमें सिविल पुलिस के साथ साथ पी एस सी आर ए एफ होमगार्ड के जवान सादे वस्त्रों में भी सेवान नियुक्त किया गया है सी सी टी वी जरिए और अन्य जो ड्रोन के जरिए मॉनिटरिंग किया जा रहा है आज कोर्ट के द्वारा एस के द्वारा आदेश हुआ से उसको सर्वे किया जाए और दूध का दूध और पानी के पानी कर दिया जाए हिंदू जन समाज को जो बाबा के हिंदू जन समाज के जो आराध्य हैं बाबा विश्वनाथ सारे देव देवताओं के देव है बाबा विश्वनाथ उनके मंदिर भव्य बना जाए इसलिए आज हम सब अपना गंगा जल और बेलपत्र लेकर आए हैं और हम सब के संकल्प पूरा होने वाला है सुन आफ्टर अ थ्री डे स्टे वॉज ग्रांटेड बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉलोइंग अ मैंशनिंग बाय द ज्ञान वापी मॉस्क मैनेजमेंट कमेटी विदाउट गोइंग इन द मेरिट्स ऑफ द केस टॉप कोर्ट सेट दैट द पटिशनर शुड बी गिवेन अ ब्रीदिंग टाइम टू फाइल एन अपील बिफोर द अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट शाम पाँच बजे तक रोक लगाई है और अंजुमन इंतजामिया को ये कहा है कि छब्बीस जुलाई के शाम पाँच बजे से पहले वो हाई कोर्ट अप्रोच करें और हाई कोर्ट इस मैटर को सुनेगा और उसके बाद हाई कोर्ट डिसाइड करेगा कि स्टे रहना है इस ऑर्डर पे कि नहीं रहना ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ज्ञान वापी केस के सिलसिले में जो ए सर्वे पर छब्बीस जुलाई को शाम के पाँच बजे तक रोक लगाई है उसको हम लोग वेलकम करते हैं उसका खैर मकदम करते हैं कोई भी मुसलमान कोई किसी भी मस्जिद को किसी भी और इबादत गाह को गिरा करके या किसी दूसरे की ज़मीन पर कब्जा करके मस्जिद कभी नहीं बनाता है ना मस्जिद बनाई जा सकती है सम से दर्वे इज द ओनली वे टू सिफ्ट क्लेम्स फ्रॉम फैक्ट देखिए क्यों चैलेंज करके इनने के लिए मुस्लिम पंचकोट में गया ए एस आई पर उनका विश्वास नहीं है क्या या अंदर खाने में कोई बात है जो सर्वे करने पे निकल के आएगी जिसलिए जिससे मुस्लिम पक्ष घबरा रहा है ये कोर्ट का निर्णय है सरकार का निर्णय नहीं है मैं समझ रहा हूँ कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट में नहीं जाना चाहिए और उनको जो कोर्ट का निर्णय हुआ है खुले आम सर्वे कराना चाहिए वाई नॉट अलाउ द सर्वे एंड क्लोज द इशू वंस एंड फॉर ऑल
लेट्स डिबेट एंड तला में रशीदी एडवोकेट वारिस पठान पुष्पेंद्र कुलश्रेष्ठ सीनियर जर्नलिस्ट माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू हरिशंकर जैन हरिशंकर जैन जी हमारा जो हैशटैग है वी नीड द ट्रूथ सच्चाई सामने आनी चाहिए तो इसमें जो स्टे लगी है इस पर ये पिटिशन हुई सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सामने इसलिए स्टे लगी तो क्या ऐसे कई ग्रुप्स हैं जो सच से डरते हैं इसीलिए इस सर्वे को रोकने की कोशिश हो रही है बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं अर्णब जी सही बात यह है कि मुस्लिम पक्ष जानता है कि अगर वहाँ सर्वे हो गया और साइंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो गया तो वो सत्य निकल के सामने आएगा जिसको जनता जानना चाहती है और हमारी सारे किताबों में धर्मशास्त्रों में हर जगह लिखा हुआ है कि वहाँ किस तरह का भव्य मंदिर था सोलह सौ उनहत्तर सत्तर में इसको औरंगजेब के ज़माने में तोड़ा गया था और उसी प्लिंस के ऊपर आज का ढांचा खड़ा हुआ है और मैं अच्छी और बतला दूँ पिछले 16 मई 2022 को जब फवारा जिसको लोग बोलते हैं एक पांड के अंदर भव्य शिव मंदिर शिवलिंग मिला था उसी तरह अगर यह जांच हो गई तो जहां पर गर्भगिरी था जो मूल शिवलिंग है वो आज भी वहाँ मौजूद है और मिलेगा उस सच्चाई को मुस्लिम पक्ष हिंदू से ज़्यादा जानता है और इसलिए सत्य को छिपाने के लिए वो रोक रहे हैं कि किसी तरह सर्वे न हो कुछ सर्वे होने के बाद मालूम पड़ जाएगा कुछ ढांचे में वह क्या क्या है और क्या छिपाया गया है तीसरी बात जो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है कि आज जो सर्वे शुरू हो गया तो झूठ बोला गया कि सब खुदाई चल रही है अरे भाई खुदाई कहाँ चल रही है पहले सफाई हो रही वीडियोग्राफी हो रही थी पर झूठ के हाथ पाँव नहीं होते सत्य सामने आएगा और माननीय इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट कल फाइल हो रही है हम लोग भी हाई कोर्ट में अपनी पैरवी करेंगे और मुझे उम्मीद है कि सत्य सबके सामने आएगा और एक दिन आज नहीं तो कल सर्वे होना है और भव्य शिव मंदिर का निर्माण जैसे अयोध्या में भगवान राम का बन रहा है उसी तरह यहाँ भी भव्य शिव मंदिर बनेगा बहुत जल्दी बनेगा रशीदी में दूसरे पक्ष को भी मौका देना चाहता हूँ अगर आप इतने कॉन्फिडेंट है वारिस पठान देर इज नो टेम्पल देन है सर्वे If then the survey will show that it was never any temple. This is a fountain. See, Arunab, <coughs> whatever is the truth, if there was, if the mosque has not been well, built Arna, on a temple, the survey will say the mosque has not been built on a temple. The if the mosque has been built on a temple, then the survey yes. will say the mosque has been built on a temple. So I don't understand the confusion or the insecurity yeah. about it. Yes, what is? Are you saying well, Hindus have well, no right Supreme to know Court, whether the mosque, the, the matter, the the mosque was said, built on a temple, an ancient temple? Acha, you know, if your commentary is over, you allow us to make our point. We were listening patiently to Mr. Vishnu, the advocate of the other side. Well, the Supreme Court has taken cognizance of the matter, and they have stated the order passed by the lower court, and also stated that status quo should be maintained till 26th of July, 5 p.m. And time and again, we are again say and reiterate that there is no need for a survey, as it is be the 1991 Places of Worship Act is a gross violation of that. Because the places of worship of 1999 were enacted with an intention and a view to see that the structure standing prior to 15 August 1947, you cannot change the nature and character of that place. But now the BJP is trying to polarize the situation prior to the 2024 election to divert the mind of the nation from the basic issues of rising price, unemployment, the and the money poor issue. So, and I am sure so that when the matter will be heard by the Allahabad High Court, they will stay the order for the survey. Why do you want to have a survey? Now, now? Kindly, see 1937, Din Mohammad. 
Ahmed case. Okay, it's Pushpendra a work property. Or once a work, always a work. You cannot change the nature character. I, we have been praying that earlier that earlier that uh, petition one minute, for one a carbon minute, dating minute. application was rejected by the court, and the court have uh, said that you can offer namaz and even direct it at district magistrate, district authorities to now, ensure that the place of place for wazoo is made there. So is, why now come again and is, you want us to is, take it back to the era of 1990s where our Babri Masjid was demolished on the 6th of is, December? All, the black day in the history all, of temple please, country. Please allow the others to come in. Thank you. Waris, Waris, I heard you, but I just want to make a point here. And Pushpendra Kulshri is a very senior uh, journalist. Uh, my own view, Pushpendra ji, is that if Aurangzeb has destroyed a temple before 1669, and it is not any other temple, we are talking of the Kashi Vishwanath temple. If it was destroyed, right, at that point of time or parts of it to make a mosque, and now if there is carbon dating, there will be carbon dating of the Shivling. शिवलिंग की कार्बन डेटिंग होगी तभी पता चलेगा कि इतने सारे हिंदू सिंबल्स कैसे हैं वहां पे नाउ वर्शिप एक्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट ही से यू कैन चेंज द स्टेटस को एज फार एज आई नो प्रेयर्स हैड बीन गोइंग ऑन देयर टिल रिसेंटली एंड आई वांट पुष्पेंद्र कुलश्रेष्ठ टू गिव हिज व्यू प्लीज मिस्टर कुलश्रेष्ठ अर्नब सबसे पहला मेरा पॉइंट ये है कि ये मंदिर मस्जिद का मामला नहीं है इट्स ए क्लैश ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन और ये किसी एक मंदिर का मामला नहीं है और ये नहीं हो सकता है कि इस देश की मेजोरिटी एक एग्रेसर के सामने रिसीविंग एंड पे खड़ी हो और मेजोरिटी होने के बावजूद भी आज तक उसने कोर्ट के ऊपर से अपना यकीन अलग नहीं किया है हम आज भी पूरे दावे के साथ कह रहे हैं ये मंदिर है, है, है चर्च है हमको नहीं पता जानना चाहते हैं अरे आप आप बोलने दीजिए बोलने दीजिए मैं सिर्फ इतना कह रहा हूं बयालीस हजार uh, मंदिर प्लेस वर्शिप एक्ट के तहत आए थे तो क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट को नहीं पता था कि इसके ऊपर रोक लगी है सवाल यह है कि हर बार ये उठाया जाता है प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट उस वक्त खत्म हो गया जब इस पर सुनवाई हो रही थी हम तो आज भी कहते हैं कि बयालीस हजार मंदिरों के जांच की जाए मंदिर में कन्वर्ट हो गई है यू है आपकी आदत है कि सच नहीं सुनना चाहते हैं सच का ढिंडोरा पीटते हैं आप सुबह से लेकर शाम तक अगर आप में दम है अगर आप मानते हैं सेलेक्टिव कोर्ट को मानते हैं सेलेक्टिव ए को मानते हैं आप अपने सेलेक्टिव तरीके से इस देश को नहीं चला सकते ए किसी पार्टी की नहीं है ए किसी के अंडर में नहीं आती है अगर ए सर्वे कर रही है तो फिर आपको तकलीफ क्यों है मैं तो कहता हूँ बयालीस मंदिरों का ए को सर्वे करना चाहिए हम विक्टिम होने के बावजूद भी रिसीविंग एंड पे होने के बावजूद भी एएसआई की बात मानने को तैयार है आप किस बात से डरे हुए हैं आप झूठ बोलते हैं कोर्ट के अंदर में आपने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में आपने सुप्रीम कोर्ट रशीदी उस कानून के खिलाफ नहीं गए आप मिस्टर रशीदी खुदाई जो इसमें सर्वे था उसके खिलाफ चल रहे थे द पॉइंट बींग द पॉइंट बींग द पॉइंट बींग द पॉइंट बींग मिस्टर श्रेष्ठ मिस्टर रशीदी देखिए इफ इट इज अ शिवलिंग then that area is being used as a wazu khana then obviously the hindu community will not be happy about it yaad rakhiye talami it is a shivling arnav if it is a shivling please understand that now now whether it is a uh, one minute one minute yes yes if it is no, it's yes not but a let me tell you let me tell if you if it is a and, shivling and please it's subject is it's still under investigation if it is a shivling so and it only a scientific survey that. will prove please that understand that only a scientific survey can prove that but why are you why are you no, scared of a scientific Arnav, survey Arnav, initially as said by why mr wise scared Patan, of science it's a gross violation of the places of worship act 1991 is the this the plant is the suit by the what is going, going on in this area out there कोर्ट इज इलीगल 
दूसरी बात जो देश का बादशाह था जो पूरे देश का बादशाह था मस्जिद कोई दूसरी बात नहीं है आप ये कैसे कह सकते हैं कि इनलीगल ऑर्डर पास किया हाउ कैन यू से इनलीगल ऑर्डर पास किया ऑर्डर पास बाय द कोर्ट नॉट द बीजेपी जो देश नो 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 डोंट कंफ्यूज द जिसके डोंट कंफ्यूज द रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल वर्ष था उसे कोई और जगह नहीं मिली मस्जिद बनाने के लिए वो मंदिर तोड़कर वहां पे मस्जिद बनाया गया जिस मस्जिद में नमाज उसने पूरे देश में मंदिर तोड़े और वो बादशाह आपका क्या लगता था जो देश का बादशाह था यानी कि यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट औरंगजेब By the way, I must tell you, Aurangzeb was a bigot, a fanatic, Aurangzeb. a communal man, and you know, a, a, absolutely he was. And, 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 and why are you why are you considering him a desh ka bacha today? Cannot deny the facts. He was the ruler. I'm not denying history. Then if you don't deny history, you must you must you must say it. Say Aurangzeb was a bigot. I am not denying history. You are say Aurangzeb was a bigot. Call. I'm not sticking to the topic. You're not sticking to the topic. Say Aurangzeb was a bigot or not? Say he was an intolerant bigot. Call him an intolerant bigot. Tala. Don't don't run away from the facts. If you accuse me of not understanding history, I will accuse you of the same. How dare you say you don't understand history? I'm sticking to the topic. I'm sticking to the topic. My question being, 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 Hari Shankar Jain, Mr. Hari Shankar Jain, is it not true that there exists? a 1936 court order that makes a mention of the original map of the kashi temple which indicates that the entire shiv mandir area is in the exact site on which the gyanwapi mosque exists today agar koi itihas ke bare mein bole to 1936 ki jo map hai uske court order hai uske bare mein bhi koi kahe in din mohammad case after the oral testimony and the submissions it was held that the property belongs to what order 1959 allows proposed 1959 in 1937 mohammad 1917 order states land belongs to ragunandan das let the supreme court decide 1917 order land belongs to ragunandan das 1875 disallow Allowing Muslim interference. What about the Muslims? How you want to go into That's history? I'll go into history. That, That Muslims are allowed to pray there every day by the court. So, carry a scientific That survey. Muslims are allowed to pray there. Exactly. Why are you afraid? Okay, one minute. Hari Shankar. Hari Shankar ji. Hari Shankar ji. Last word to Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain. Without Jain ki bolye. Hari Shankar ji bolye. Ji. हरिशंकर जी दे आर आप देख रहे हैं कि हरीश दे आर बोलिए 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 दे आर दे आर मिस बोलिए बोलिए हरिशंकर नो बड़ी डिवॉल्यूशिंग एनी मॉस जी मोहम्मद के दे आर मिस इंटरप्रेटिंग दीन मोहम्मद के एंड दे आर मिस इंटरप्रेटिंग प्लेस ऑफ हर्षी पैट बोथ Uh, and they are misguiding the people everyone actually din mohammed case 12 witnesses everyone. from the defendant side that deposed that we were worshiping within the premises of the so called work always was din mohammed case 1937 puja okay ladies and gentlemen Kant, i i i have to, i have, I have to close hari shankar ji unfortunately bilkul i have run out of time today but i say and i appeal and i appeal to everyone allow the scientific survey to continue don't be afraid of science don't be afraid of evidence we need the truth see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock ladies and gentlemen good night and good bye the top ranked amity btech attracts some of the most brilliant students of india with alumni working in top companies around the world and earning over 2 crores rupees per annum To apply, visit amity.edu. Against the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. Prashnikal. Ha, 
हाँ बोलिए हाँ बोलिए बस बैठिए आप मेरी मत की है नौ आप बड़े की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वो सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायोलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर द स्टैकिंग ऑफ राजेंद्र सिंह गुड़ा एज राजस्थान मिनिस्टर हैज टेकन अ न्यू टर्न विद द एमएलए ड्रॉपिंग हिंट्स ऑफ अ रेड डायरी कंटेनिंग इंक्रिमिनेटिंग एविडेंस डिटेल्स अबाउट सीएम अशोक गहलोत गहलोत साहब वो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने में आपके विधानसभा में गुंडागर्जी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीय को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Stack Minister Rajin the Gouda prevented Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. I am ready for discussion. I am not aware that the Vipaks do not want to give discussion. the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus sloganeering in both the houses. No. आप विनम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वो सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायोलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर द स्टैकिंग ऑफ राजेंद्र सिंह गुड़ा एज राजस्थान मिनिस्टर हैज टेकन अ न्यू टर्न विद द एम एल ड्रॉपिंग हिंट्स ऑफ अ रेड डायरी कंटेनिंग इंक्रिमिनेटिंग एविडेंस डिटेल्स अबाउट सी अशोक गहलोत गहलोत साहब वो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने में आपके विधानसभा में गुंडागर्जी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीय को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Stack Minister Rajin Degoda prevented from even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state. <laughs> From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the debate. At the very start, let's put the record straight. The situation in Manipur is complex. 
It is far from normal. There are reports of violence on a daily basis. There is a parallel insurgency problem. New videos appear daily that display the barbarity that is underway. The chief minister has failed and the only way forward is to find a solution. But how do you find a solution, ladies and gentlemen, to a complex issue? How do you move towards finding a solution if those who should be part of a solution decide to become the problem? We do not need politics on this matter and I had said it very, very clearly. And I had said last week, yes, the government has made a series of mistakes, it's true. But then I also said the situation is complex. And I also said the only thing that can solve the present situation is an expression of unity externally and internally on this issue. And if those people who are constantly critical of the situation don't want to understand and appreciate the complexity of, of it, I want to ask them a few questions why. And my first question is this, do they just want to reduce this to a political drama? I said last week there must be a debate in parliament. And that is exactly what the government is asking for. In fact, the Union Home Minister Amit Shah said in parliament that he wants to discuss Manipur. And he even said, and I quote in Hindi, he said, Mera vipaksh se ke netao se agre hai ki samvedan shil muddo par charcha hone de. In other words, I appeal, said Mr. Amit Shah, to the opposition that on sensitive issues there should be a discussion what can be a greater expression of a commitment to debate and that too in the floor of the parliament than a statement as clear as that from the Home Minister of India what exactly does the opposition want Rajnath Singh said we want a discussion in parliament over Manipur Smriti Irani said the Congress is running away from a discussion on Manipur as they know that they will have to answer on crimes against women in their state Anurag Thakur, Union Home Minister, has said it is my request to the opposition with folded hands do not run away from the discussion. And I too want to ask today that the government of India is ready for a discussion on what appears to be a great pressing matter of national security, internal security. The situation in Manipur is very complex. Let a debate happen. But I have never heard of a situation where you don't let a debate happen and block parliament to not have a debate. It makes absolutely no sense. This is bizarre, it's destructive, it's negative. Do we want the complex situation to be reduced to political drama? And if Manipur becomes an issue of political drama and political drama alone, then are we here to entertain ourselves with the thought of a political drama? Who benefits from a political drama? The army is being restricted in parts of Manipur and I do know about it. We too have our reporters on the ground, we get reports. We know that there are roads which are dug up sometimes to make sure that the army cannot move. We know of other areas where there are entire rings of women who surround lawbreakers to allow them access so that you can't, you cannot ever act against people who hold arms against the Indian state because they're surrounded by rings of women. That is open defiance. That is not allowing the Indian army to work. It's a serious situation. Our army is being challenged in that place in a border area. Do we want to reduce a situation like that to political drama? There are land rights and demography. Do the parties understand and appreciate the issue of land rights and demography? You have Maytes who form 64% of the state's population who can own land only in 10% of Manipur. And Cookies and other tribes who occupy 90% of the land they are in Manipur. This is a complex situation which involves poppy cultivation, land rights, demography, ethnic identities access for the army it's deeply 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 complex and i want to ask the Ahmadbi party and the congress do they have a solution for it or do they want to trivialize an issue which has immediate ramifications on national security to multiple layers of short-term political drama we have been united in the past and i want to ask today i want to ask all the people who are behind this political drama we were united then we benefited as a country because of our unity why can't we be united now Every time the country has faced a crisis, external or internal, matters of internal and external security, and we all know that we have stood together and won. We were united in 1971. We were united during the Prevention of Terrorism Act when the parliament was attacked. And after that, there was a joint session of parliament in 2001 to pass POTA. We were united then. What happened to that unity now? We were united when we passed the NIA law. We were united when following the 26-11 attack, we passed the UAPA law. 
political and national interest came together, coalesced together, they were never in opposition, then what is happening in the case of Manipur, ladies and gentlemen? Why cannot we have that, that same level of unity now? I throw this counter charge to the opposition tonight and let them face me. We were united after the Delhi High Court attack. We were united whenever our institutions were targeted, when the country was targeted. Why can't we have that unity now? Ladies and gentlemen, my next question, and I hope these deep questions will get a deep answer equally from the other side. The opposition, unfortunately, has a history of diluting matters of internal security. Chidambaram considered air power when he was Home Minister against the Maoists. Now he trivializes. He trivializes Maoist terrorism because he's in the opposition. I call that his hypocrisy. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Abdullah built a case for AFSPA when he was in power. Now he protests against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. The same Mamta Banerjee who in 2010 wanted the Midnapur Maoist attack that killed 24 Jawans to be dropped from the president's address has now deployed her party to disrupt parliament demanding that the Prime Minister speak on Manipur and I say, oh, I say tonight when I see these examples I have just two words to express my resentment how convenient is this for people to take a line this way when it suits them when they are in power and to take another line when they are out of power Ladies and gentlemen, I give you an example Another example, the same Vadra Congress which brought in amendments to the UAPA before 2014 to prosecute those who are associated with terror organizations. After 2014, the same party when it was in the opposition politicized the UAP amendment bill with Chidambaram saying we are opposing the mischievous amendments which have empowered the center to name an individual. Viewers, how can you play this way? The opposition wants the Prime Minister to initiate the debate on Manipur in Parliament. The Home Minister tonight is urging the opposition to attend the session, but they say we will not attend the session. I ask you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, how long can this situation continue? How long will we allow this impasse to happen? Has the opposition come with a predetermined agenda to disrupt? And I am very clear about this, ladies and gentlemen. 2023 budget session of parliament they wanted disrupted with the Adani JPC demand. 2022 monsoon session of parliament ended ahead of schedule over the summons to Sonia Gandhi. 2022 budget session of parliament was disrupted over the Pegasus scan. And I asked them tonight, when new facts come in the case of Adani, they don't want to speak a word. When Rafael absolutely gets demolished on facts, they don't want to speak a word. When the Pegasus claim falls flat, they don't want to speak a word. 2021 winter session was disrupted with the farmers bill protest but when the pro Khalistani elements tried to bring down the tricolor in in the red fort when the consequences became too dangerous to own up for that is when they do not want to speak a word and I just want to ask all those people tonight if you do not understand the complexities of the Northeast then either enter into a debate on it let there be a demand for a proper debate, not just on Manipur, but the entire Northeastern Parliament. And let that be a debate that continues till we find some kind of an intellectual resolution. But do not play with the sentiments of the people of the Northeast. Do not play with the national security. Do not play with the internal security ramifications of all these issues. These are complex issues. They do not require shallow analysis. They require deep and immediate solutions. At the very end, I shall say just one thing. Viewers, we are in 2023. This country was independent in 1947. Do you think that the Congress, if it wanted, could not have solved these issues? No. But the Congress has a unique strategy. It creates a problem. It ferments the problem. It simmers the problem. And then lectures over the problem itself. Manipur is complex. No more political tamasha over it. Let's debate. Debate number one tonight. With me in the studio, six political parties on debate number one. Debate number two tonight, what's in the red notebook that got the Rajasthan government so edgy? And debate number three tonight, viewers. Debate number three, what's the Gyanwapi truth? I say let the truth emerge. Just let's not get lost on issues without first accepting whether we are at comfort with the truth or not. And here are the headlines this Monday evening on the debate. I am ready for the debate. 
मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना स्लोगन एंड प्लैकार्ड ड्राउन द गवर्नमेंट कॉल फॉर अ सीरियस डिबेट ऑन द मणिपुर इशू इन पार्लियामेंट वॉट इज शॉकिंग is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore after 3 days of a washout the bjp accuses the opposition of deliberately stalling the manipur debate the state burns as politicians continue with their drama it's time for a united solution <laughs> Sack Rajasthan minister thrown out of the assembly for waving a controversial red diary on the floor of the house. इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारना में जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा, किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया, किस किस को परलोभन दिया? Red diary making the Vadra Congress top leadership very nervous insider claims it has their party's entire corruption record of payoffs and embezzlement And the Supreme Court temporarily holds the scientific survey of the Gyanwapi mosque who doesn't want the truth out Ladies and gentlemen I said it loudly last week and I will say it again today the situation in Manipur is complex let's stop the political drama let's have a unified solution this is what has happened in parliament let's debate aap bol ke bol baithiye no sadan ki karwai 12 baje tak ke liye sthagit ki jati hai You are challenging the chair. The house is still open to meet at noon today. Sabha ki karwahi do baje tak ke liye sthagit ki jati hai. I name Sanjay Singh. I name Sanjay Singh. Please Sanjay Singh is suspended as member during the entire session of this house. बैठे तो सही प्लीज सभा की कार्यवाही दो बजकर तीस मिनट तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है सदन सदन को एक घंटे के लिए स्थगित किया जाता है नौ अन्य अध्यक्ष जी मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता 25 जुलाई दो को 11 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है सदन की कार्यवाही मंगलवार दिनांक 25 जुलाई 2023 को पूर्वान्ह ग्यारह बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है It was third day of complete disruption of parliament proceedings with the opposition uh, not budging on its demand that a discussion on Manipur should be held under rule 267 in the Lok Sabha or suspension of business in the Rajya Sabha and also that they want prime minister to initiate the discussion what is important is that despite that the opposition seems more interested in earning political brownie points and to embarrass the government rather than have a serious dialogue on Manipur Amit Shah ji has repeatedly said that this discussion this debate is also expected by citizens of our country who elect us to parliament so that issues of national importance can be productively discussed what is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties do not allow facts to come to the fore the situation in manipur is sensitive with each passing day new videos of torture and murder are emerging after uh, they have gone for the uh, work for the uh, defending the villages we are calling them again and again but their phones are already switched off yes situation mein hum bahut tense mein reh gaye the 
इसलिए हमने फोन किया था मगर फोन भी ऑफ है इसलिए हमने जुलाई फाइव को उन दोनों को ढूंढने के लिए वहाँ गए थे और एट अराउंड एलेवन पी एम फाइव जुलाई इसमें एक वीडियो आया था हमने वीडियो देखा था इस वीडियो में हमारा मेरा दोस्त और मेरा कजिन का रिचुअल किलिंग का वीडियो आया था इसे पता चला था For days, attempts have been made to block Indian Army efforts to restore peace. Women were used as shield. Manipur has had a history of violence, even under the Congress rule. The situation in state requires political consensus, not just rhetoric. We are ready. आओ प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्टेटमेंट करो आप बाहर प्रेस करते हो अंदर करने में क्या गया है ये गड़सी डिमांड है कि 140 करोड़ का नेता अगर बाहर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करता है और 140 करोड़ लोगों के प्रतिनिधि अंदर बैठे हैं तो आप पहले यहाँ पर स्टेटमेंट दो उस पर चर्चा होने दो उसके बाद में हम लोग एक निर्णय लेंगे It's time the opposition stops the drama. It's time for a serious debate on Manipur issue. Let's debate. I think we have one versus five on this debate tonight. Charu Pragya of the BJP. We have Ramesh Sabarwal of the All India Congress Committee. Reena Gupta of the Aam Aadmi Party. Anurag Bhadori of the Samajwadi Party. We have Trajano Dimelo, a national spokesperson of the Trinamool Congress. And we have our, our dear old friend R. Rajagopalan also into the debate. Now, uh, Rajagopalan, start with you. Uh, who's on the defensive today? Government, which says we want to have a debate on this immediately, or opposition? Which says we will not have a debate unless the Prime Minister issues a statement on the floor of the House. Who's on the defensive today? Uh, my understanding, Arunab, opposition and uh, government should have a unity. As your you know main theme has been your hashtag unity, not politics. But my understanding is G20. It should not be successful. The Congress and the newly formed I dot N dot D dot A India wants to disrupt that. Second I thing, I the drug A. has been controlled. Whatever that, the da, do da, di da, whatever that, you know. So, uh, drug has been very successful. Drug menace has been controlled in northeastern province by the Modi government. They don't want to do that. Drug mafia. They are creating this nuisance again. There is a disruption. There was a disruption in the army in 1984. The Sikh regiment went on, you know, against the government. That situation should not arise in Manipur. Manipur is a complex situation. Opposition knows it, and if they decided to debate, the government will turn the table on opposition. That is why the government is throttling the neck of government, and the government should have, you okay. know, come came forward for a debate. And opposition okay. should yield to that I, debate. I, 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 I'll go straight into the debate. I'll go straight into the debate. Ask the Congress uh, representative here on the program. Uh, you are saying that the Prime Minister should be in the debate. Now, uh, was Rajiv Gandhi, the Prime Minister, did he lead the debate on the Mizo Accord in 1986? I looked through the records, and I found that I found Mr. Sabarwal uh, that it was the then Union Home Minister Bhuta Singh who was making the statement in the floor of Parliament. So Rajiv Gandhi didn't issue the statement in 1986. You want more examples, sir? You want more examples? No, sir. Why, why are you making this an ego issue? You don't want a solution. It's not, it's not an ego issue. We should not politicize. A shameful act, shameful act which has been done by in Manipur, and it's shameful for our society. You know, it's a very serious crime which has happened there. Then deal with it seriously. Yeah, yeah. The government has, government has, you know, the from last so many days it was not coming in the media. It was not. Nobody was aware of this. No, we are aware on it. We have I, debated it, I, but opposition, I, the government has said we want to have a debate I, on it. You are saying we won't have a debate. You so the first, by, you have quoted Rajiv ji. Yes. 
I have not quoted him. I have quoted the fact that he was not. Rajiv ji, Rajiv ji went to Mizoram and did the Mizoram court. Sir, let me tell you when he did Mizo the Mizoram court. court, he led the discussions on Mizoram in 1988. Sir, he appointed Iteshwar Sekhia ji as the governor of Mizoram for this Sir, purpose. Sir, let me tell you, Mizoram was making posters in Aizol saying, "Rajiv, don't force us back to the jungles." And if you are talking about Vishwanath Pratap Singh, sir. please understand, sir, sir, you are making an ego issue. You are saying no, the Prime Minister no. must begin the Prime debate. Why? Should, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Why, why, why can't okay, Amit Shah okay, begin the debate? Okay, okay. You explain this okay, to sir. me. Okay, sir. The Prime Minister can go to Manipur or not? Can he go, not go? And his duty to Has be the, the Home Minister gone the, to Manipur no, no, or not? He should be Was the Home Minister camping there for five or six days? He should be the victims or not? You are playing on symbolism. No, on no, he is not taking the responsibility. Of course he, you are. You are making a complex no, situation no, into a political no, drama. No, I'm sorry, no, sir. No, no, sorry. You want a political no, drama no, on no, this no, issue? They are our sisters, you know, who have been brutally been murdered, brutally been raped. So much tamasha has been done. I never seen my history of my the, my whole life journey. Such kind of incident. So I'm so sorry, but you have you don't know seven, seven seven decades of a continuous botch up by the Congress party, and now you're saying you don't sir, have. So one minute, sir, sir, we, I'm getting Charu Pragya to respond. Sir, we are Pragya, we are minute, the problem. Start the debate. Gandhi, why? Why can't? No, no. Rajiv Gandhi ने 1984 में नहीं बोला. इसलिए आज प्रधानमंत्री नहीं बोलेंगे. ये आप बोलना चाहते हो ना? मैं कि Rajiv Gandhi जी ने नहीं बोला. मेरा ये कहना है कि आप लोगों ने मेरा ये कैंपल दिया. बूटा सिंह. बूटा सिंह अगर बूटा सिंह ने राजीव गांधी जी ने सब कुछ अगर कांग्रेस ने सही किया होता तो 2014 में बीजेपी को मौका नहीं मिला बीजेपी को मौका क्यों मिला कुछ नया करेंगे तो कुछ नया नहीं किया ना ओके अनुराग अनुराग चारो चारो वन मिनट नहीं अनुराग जी अनुराग जी वन मिनट चारो इट्स द जॉब ऑफ ऑपोजिशन हां नहीं नहीं मेरा नहीं Um, directly she is looking at you and speaking and i am telling you this do not speak over me mm -hmm. it is the job of the opposition to mm -hmm. hold the government accountable the government mm -hmm. not an individual why are you harping on and on and on about prime minister modi when his government stands accountable Parliament the government what, 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 let, let, the let, government pleads with you to allow the discussions to continue in parliament the domain expert the honorable home minister of this country says i want to speak in parliament about this issue what do you do collectively what do you do collectively you do not allow when the debate starts do not allow the parliament to function no point and very 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 after that we after that we know after that we know one minute another very important issue okay you want the prime minister to speak why don't you allow the debate to begin and say this on the floor of the house thank you home minister saab can the prime minister speak now but no you don't want to do any of that because the tactic here is to stall the issue mm -hmm. the tactic here is to make sure parliament does not function the I, tactic I here like is that i would like to not bring have no, 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 this sensitivity way. at the core of your heart you only have siyasat yeah right. only okay one minute one minute reena 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 one anurag 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 reena reena one minute reena reena see we've been saying from day one that manipur is a complex issue I am pretty sure no disrespect to our viewers that if I were to ask a question to all the viewers what precisely is the problem in Manipur can you give me 10 bullet points on it 90% of people would not be able to do it this is a problem which involves rightly drugs narcotics years of animosity deep multiple ethnicities right now if you want to bring peace you can't bring peace by saying we don't like narendra modi you can only bring peace by having a serious discussion in which all issues land rights demography narcotics illegal immigrants will all be discussed you do not want a serious issue on this if you don't want a serious debate on it you can say that we want to score political brownie points 2024 aane wale hain we need to take as much advantage as we can if a serious debate happens that maybe it will not benefit us you can make that confession people will understand you are live on television people will completely empathize they'll say reena we understand aapko politics karna hai and people will understand that but don't i mean don't do the facade of it because you're letting down the people of manipur in my view and you want to respond arnab, directly to her arnab manipur has been i'll only talk facts it's been burning for 3 months what is the plan of action what have they done for 3 months The governor of Manipur. Can I complete Charu? Please let me complete. Charu, 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 Charu. Lot of people watching right now. Let her complete. The governor of Manipur, who has been appoint, appointed by Bharatiya Janata Party, is on record saying, "I have not seen this kind of violence in my life. What I have seen in the Karikala of Bharatiya Janata Party. This is the governor appointed by them. This is not a Aam Aadmi Party spokesperson saying point number one. 
Point number two, when Manipur was burning for three months, when the European Union heard the voices of Manipur. I'm sorry, but I don't need the European Union. No, 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 no. When everybody, I protest everybody, the US representative of a political party uh, want to get the European Union to come into internal security no. problems. In my view, Rajagopalan, that is the precise problem. Arnab, you are not letting me complete. But you must not let me complete. You must 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 let me complete. For everything, it's either Pakistan that is responsible or Nehru that is responsible or ISIS is responsible. When will this government ever take That's responsibility for That's everything? A no, it's not That's a generality. That's a generality. And the Prime Minister is the head of the state. Why, why will he not come to the parliament and speak on it? The Prime Minister went to Manipur and said, people who cannot have peace in Manipur have no right to govern Manipur. He knew the complexity. Why did you form the government? You shouldn't have contested the elections. Charu, you Charu, said, Charu, 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 Charu
the fact of the matter is that the government has been working round the clock for not months Action. but for years but for years you talk about peace talks when did these peace talks start in the northeast after modi government came oh, to power look east act east making <laughs> sure so much and what was the result of that and mr demello please congress is the party which that on losing nice. manipur your national president said koi farak nahi padta it's a small state that is how you responded to losing manipur abhi to sare hamare le gaye aap aadmi that is how that is how you responded to losing manipur today you are pretending to be holier than thou and today you are saying that you are concerned about the people of manipur if you were concerned i demand again and as a young citizen of this country i can demand this why do you not allow the parliament to function because why do you get comes down to this now there lot of people lot of people the rest of the people of manipur one minute But just one minute. Can I get Mr. Dimelo? Mr. Dimelo, you know I have had at least seven responses right now on my Twitter feed. People are saying, "Or no, we are having a pretty okay discussion on the issue in in a, within 15 minutes of a debate at nine o'clock. Why can't this debate happen in Parliament? Please, Mr. Dimelo, you got to give me a reasonable reply to this. And you also got to realize one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Two and Mr. a half Mr. Dimelo, minutes. Mr. Dimelo, Mr. Dimelo, tell me how many times. Mamta Banerjee as home minister and chief minister of Bengal has led the discussion in issued statements on the non-stop violence in Bengal including the deluge of violence after she was sworn in as the chief minister the last time Mr Arnab let us understand first why the people and all the opposition are demanding the prime minister to make a statement on the floor of the house the prime minister who is supposed to be the leader of the house Has shown scant respect to Parliament. In 2021, he is on record to have spent only four hours in the entire year in Parliament. Is this the respect the Parliament that that is that that is supposed to be the prime minister of the country? Whereas he spent four hours a day for the elections in West Bengal. The question is, you are saying the Home Minister has appealed. The Home Minister went to Manipur and has said that today Manipur is burning. So why do you what what is the home minister? The home minister is is, is known to afterwards say that this was just chupla. What respect does he have? Then you are talking about Rajnath Singh. Rajnath Singh was a defence minister. What is his value? The prime minister goes to the foreign country and signs signs defence deal. The very existence of Rajnath Singh has been up to zero. Where does he exist? Just holding a protocol. The question is the here. He is the prime minister of the country. He he has expressed his pain and anguish. Mr. Adnan, you are expressing your pain and anguish. I am expressing my pain and anguish. But we are helpless. Is the prime minister helpless to act? Pain and anguish without any action has no meaning. It is just pulling wool over people's eyes. People are dying. People are raped. People are murdered. Can you compare this to any other state? Is this possible? What jokes is happening here? Can this be? You are talking that normalcy is there. No. Okay. Divine okay. One, one, Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo. Charu Prakash is countering you. I ask you today, using your words in your analogy, is Mamta Banerjee not leader of the house in Bengal? When 45 people were killed in the Panchayat elections, is this the respect she shows to the people of Bengal and to the house? Did she issue a single statement or call a special session of the West Bengal Assembly? Did she go to a single house of a person who has been killed who is not from a party during the elections in Bengal? Answer my question, Mr. Demello. You see the yes. shoe pinches when it's on the other foot, and Mr. Demello, you yes. very well know that the BJP has also alleged, and Charu can tell you more that there has been an incident where there has been, unfortunately, a lady. I'm told it's somewhere in Malda who has been stripped and paraded, also in a series of unfortunate events. Of course, not ethnic, but. Whatever the reason, she's the home minister. Why do you want to cloud over that? Can I add to that? Now you can respond to him. It's not just a lady that was paraded. It was their own minister, a lady at that. What one? What one? What one? It was their own minister, a lady at that, Shashi Panja, who said. कपड़े निकल गए कोई बात नहीं नो 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 Yeah, when he's talking about the Bengal yeah, lady, Manipur ke no, 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 no,
Anurag ji, Anurag ji, thank you, thank you. Mr. Dimelo has a chance for to respond. Thirty seconds, Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo, Mr. Mr. Dimelo, your new best friend, your new alliance partner. Please put put her. Your new best friend, TMC. My shout. Um, they were they were earlier. They are part of us. They they. No, no, let him. They let him. Miss, let him speak. We are. They are. No, let him respond, sir. Let him respond. Let. See, in Bengal, first of all, it is a pole pole bound violence. Do not compare it to that thing. Disaster that is taking place in in Manipur. Number one. Number two. Every case that has happened, FIR has been lodged within 24 hours. Are you justifying pole violence? But one minute. I'm not. One, one minute. minute. Can I just get a clarification here? Are you justifying pole violence? You are justifying. Are you justifying pole violence? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. You are justifying ethnic violence, in Manipur. To what happened in Manipur? I justified I'm not, nothing. I'm responding. I have responded. We to took accountability, action. responsibility, and action. Please. Please keep quiet. Let me speak. I do not interfere when you are speaking. Have some decency as a woman. He's outside, Allow me sir. to speak. He is getting My out. question is that in Bengal, if the crime has been attempted, attacked, and FRs and, and action has been taken, but please do not con uh, compare it by any stretch of imagination to the uh, to three months continuous burning and an FR being lodged after three months. Of a woman who was raped, murdered. What are you talking about? Please understand that pole bound violence. Okay, one more, one more, one more. I, 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 I now I, I must intervene it. here. I'm, uh, because, I'm because, 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 Mr. Demello, Mr. Demello, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. The kind of horrific incident which has happened, whether it happens in Manipur or Bengal or Rajasthan or anywhere else. Sure. God forbid, okay, okay. must be, must not be looked at politically. You must also gather your voice when it comes to incidents there, in Bengal. Uh, therefore, Mr. DiMello, Mr. DiMello, Mr. DiMello, Mr. DiMello, Mr. DiMello, um, uh, just, just one minute, just one minute. Just, Rina, Rina, I know that you have become very, very close to the Congress party. I know that you have to work together. I know you have a short-term agenda of working together to defeat the government on the ordinance issue. On this issue, would you not gather the same kind of uh, would I say vigor in your arguments as you used to vis-a-vis -vis the Congress? Because somewhere when it comes to the Congress, Rina, you've completely flipped. You should ask him today, Mr. Sabarwal, that Mr. Sabarwal, you ruined the northeast of India. You're <coughs> letting him get away because your attention is here. You used to be equidistant. You used to say, no, no, we'll emerge as a political party of our own identity. Has that gone? Have you just become subservient to the Congress? Is it not a well-known fact that Northeast witnessed over 1,200 incidents annually under the UA UPA, which means four violent incidents a day? Will you not look at Mr. Sabarwal and say, Mr. Sabarwal, you're being hypocritical? I can look at him and say that. Why Arnab, can't you Arnab, tell him? Arnab, Arnab, why can't, who, you, look, who, who why can't you address him today? Arnab, who is governing? Why can't you address him today? Who's, who's governing Manipur right now? Who is in the center right now? It's the Bharatiya Janta Party. One will have to ask questions of them. Sure, sure. There please. is Article 355 in Manipur right now, which means there's a security advisor responding directly to the Home Minister. Sure. If there is failure over there, it is the failure of Bharatiya Janta Party. For how long will we keep bringing Nehru and this one and that one? Oh, absolutely. Accountability needs to be fixed and there can Correct. be no... Can I complete? Why there can be no water outreach about Manipur. Why don't you do it in Manipur? Manipur the violence of anywhere. Violence anywhere against women is Perfect. horrendous. Rina, but what has I, happened in Manipur a is change, I agree with violence. You. Where will you fix this accountability? Ruling government? In Kanaiwans, where will you ruling fix government? accountability? I am not saying this. Their MLA is saying it is in Kanaiwans. The moment the video came out, two people were arrested. Where were they sleeping for three months? Everybody's faces were on the video. Okay, they were shielding the perpetrators because the perpetrators are from people, Bharti these, Janta Party. People been arrested. I love now, your there were so them. Now only two people, three people have been arrested. Why did you not pass on? Why did they not arrest one of them? Address directly. Address. Why did you not oh, pass on? Why did it only take you 24 hours? You're a member of you parliament. For why did you ask him to raise these questions in parliament? Trying to protect the perpetrators. It is accountability that you're looking for. Because the perpetrators are from your party. One more. Let me ask you. After you. Full discussion. After after after. The perpetrators are from. Party and the party, and that, that is the reason what you are want them. is politicization. And now, can these questions if asking for, for rights of women is politicization? Okay. Yes, yeah. I will politicize. Uh, one, 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 Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal, on this issue, you must admit today, and 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 you know, honesty is the best policy. Otherwise, I will quiz you and quiz you and quiz you and interrogate you and not let you go. All you have to do is look at the camera out there and say, that's camera number five. Yeah. You've got three cameras to choose. Choose one of the cameras and say, Arnab, it is the truth. We just want to block parliament. 
नो हमको यही करना है हमको मणिपुर से कोई लेना देना नहीं है नहीं मिस्टर मिस्टर राजगोपालन मिस्टर राजगोपालन इज अ वेटरन व्हेन व्हेन आई व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड आउट व्हेन आई व्हेन आई अनुराग जी अनुराग जी अनुराग जी अनुराग जी मणिपुर की खड़ी अनुराग जी अनुराग जी अनुराग जी प्राइम मिनिस्टर शुड सिट देयर यू वांट टू ब्लॉक पार्लियामेंट यू वांट टू ब्लॉक पार्लियामेंट एनी हाउ क्योंकि नहीं चाहती सरकार आप पार्लियामेंट नहीं चाहते मणिपुर की खड़ी आप पार्लियामेंट नहीं चाहते महिलाओं आप संसद को भंग करना चाहते इसलिए बीजेपी ब्लॉक ऑल द डिबेट्स इन पार्लियामेंट यू डोंट वांट टू अलाउ अ सिंगल डिबेट आप अमित शाह कम्स इन टू द डिबेट इफ अमित शाह कम्स इन टू द डिबेट ही विल रेज क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वुड बी अनकंफर्टेबल टू यू आई आस्क यू नहीं बोल पाएंगे मैं बोल रहा हूं आप बोल रहे हो कोई टाइम लिमिट नहीं होगा पार्लियामेंट में मणिपुर में बहस होगी लेकिन बीजेपी के प्रवक्ता राजा गोपालन बिफोर यू चारू बिफोर यू चारू राजा गोपाल राजा गोपाल राजा बोलेंगे बोलो तो मैं कह रहा हूं मैं कह रहा हूं अगर आप नहीं डरते हैं राजा गोपालन माय व्यू इज माय आई यू नो व्हाट आई थिंक मिस्टर राजा गोपालन दे आर स्केयर्ड ऑफ डिबेट इन पार्लियामेंट बिकॉज़ सारे सारा कुछ एक्सपोज हो जाए राइट अनम राइट लेट ऑल द फैक्ट्स विल कम आउट रूल टू मिस्टर राजा गोपालन मिस्टर स्केयर्ड ऑफ इन द पार्लियामेंट राजा गोपालन इज ऑन द डिबेट राजा गोपालन राजा गोपालन इज ऑन द डिबेट द डिबेट इज ट्रेंडिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन राजा गोपालन गवर्नमेंट दैट इज राजा गोपाल राज प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट इज स्केयर्ड राजा गोपालन ऑन द डिबेट नॉट सीन अस मोर स्केयर्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द कंट्री यू आर मेकिंग पर्सनल कमेंट्स राजा गोपालन ऑन द डिबेट आफ्टर दैट charu the I debate is open and uh, yeah yeah one if if the debate yeah, yeah. continues arnab arnab i tell you prime minister narendra modi will turn the table against our congress tmc and every political party second thing can so anyone say why is he not coming then what is stopping him why is he not should he come why should he come why, why is he not come? coming राजूपाल Yes. Let yes, Prime Minister right. come and say that. Rule does not say. Rule does not say that. Rule does not say that. One sixty-seven. Raja Gopal. Government. He should be there. Rule one sixty-seven does not say. Why is the Prime Minister? Why? That is not. Opposition totally failed. Aam Aadmi Party failed. Aam Aadmi Party New Alliance Congress. New Alliance also, Congress. Aam Aadmi Party. Aam Aadmi Party Congress. How is the Aam Aadmi Party lost its image? मणिपुर केस एंड वी वॉन्ट स्ट्रिक्ट एक्शन अगेंस्ट वायलेंस बट वाई राहुल गांधी एंड अरविंद केजरीवाल आर नॉट अलाउिंग यूनिटी एंड डिबेट्स इन पार्लियामेंट okay now you know i'm trying to see if anyone is supporting the opposition out here nitesh vyas says debate trending yeah it started trending a long time back people are saying unity not politics uh and um Arna, please give me a chance we have uh, we have someone who has a hashtag called india at b28k09 uh stop the gentleman from uh, up to hack heckle his opponents in the debate that is going to you aap heckle mat kijiye keh rahe hain heckle mat heckle mat kijiye uh no, okay now 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 uh now please the, the, and one more question nan sonthalia says uh, uh you know that uh, that why is rina gupta talking like this he is sort of angry with the way in which you are speaking uh rina Uh, people have pro and anti you know aruna kapoor says I'm unity angry, unity is I'm for give and angry. take if there is if if there is need How politics people are unity angry is unity is, re- unity is, angry unity is not required video, i couldn't sleep either but the, but the point is but the, po- but the point but the point is, but the point How is, can we allow this and I, bharatiya janata party I, I, is allowing I, this I, this is not the first time arnab they have done it in the case of patwa atras unna or bilkis bano All of these cases I, are similar. The perpetrators were from Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, so Rina, shielded by Bharatiya Janata Party. Rina, my point. They call them sanskari. Yeah, yeah. Now, Rina, you got to have a, you got to have a full stop at some point. You you're going on and on. You're not letting the others sanskari. come in. My question here is, and and you see, in the last few minutes of the debate, if the opposition has decided we will not let Parliament work, Parliament is for tamasha. पार्लियामेंट हमारा इट्स फॉर वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट वन लेट मी कंप्लीट लेट मी कंप्लीट आई एम सेइंग टू यू आई एम सेइंग टू यू 
today, after what has come out in the Adani case, have a debate on Adani? You want an Adani JPC demand 2023 budget session of Adani? Pe awaz nahi nikal rahi aapki. Pegasus claim pe aapne kya kya nahi bola? Mera phone Pegasus hai. Pegasus jab when Supreme Court dismissed the issue, you don't want to discuss. You ruined. You four days ahead of schedule, opposition refused to let Parliament function because there are summons issued to Sonia Gandhi. Why? Why, if summons issued to Sonia Gandhi, Mr. Sabarwal, should Parliament be stopped? Every time over some issue or the other, you are determined to block Parliament, Mr. Sabarwal. That is undemocratic. That is undemocratic. And you should stop it. It's a bad trend. Let me speak for him. Yeah, yeah, one more. Let Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal. We want a discussion under the rule of 267, not in 167. Coming to you, Mr. DeMello. In 267, there is a provision of the Prime Minister should sit at the whole. The discussion no, should be done. No no you know, the, it should that not be fixed no time. In 167, it's only a one-hour discussion. So we want a full debate no, or discussion no, for, for no, no, three, four days. No, I'm no, telling you. What is wrong? One hour, two hour, maximum. They want then, 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 and we then want happen, full discussion. Then you have to depend on the speaker. One day, two day, three day, four day. Let's come to the conclusion. Raja Gopalan! Raja Gopalan! Raja Gopalan! You raised the technical point, Raja Gopalan. He's a veteran reporter. That, but Raja Gopalan. There is, no, there is no rule 267 which clearly says Prime Minister should be present. He can intervene. Even in the budget, there is no Prime Minister to speak. He intervenes. Prime Minister can intervene. But the Home Minister will start the debate. Mr. DeMello, what is your thought? He should sit or not. Why should the Prime Minister no, not no, be no, the no, He should no, sit or not. Why should no, he not no, be the Shame. No, no. Chale, chale. Shame. Where, where is shame? You are shame. You are shame. Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello, what shame. is coming from God? The daughters Mello. of the country. Mr. They were money poor. No, no. They were daughters of the country. Prime Minister should know. No, no. What is the value of the daughter? He should hug them. He should can go I, and meet their families. Can I? Can I, uh, I want, Mr. DeMello wanted to come in he, after that. Yeah, Mr. DeMello. Sabar, Sabarwal is losing his temper. Simply, that's all. Tell him to Sabarwal, don't lose, lose temper. Hello? Yes, okay, okay, one minute, Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello! Mr. DeMello! Mr. DeMello! I'm letting Mr. DeMello come in, please. Thank you. DeMello has to come in. He's gone here. Mr. DeMello, go on. Volume up. Angry. One minute. We are all Mr. we are all equally angry, Mr. Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello, Mr. Mr. DeMello, Mr. 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 No, no heckling, no needing, no trivializing on the debate. Mr. DeMello will debate. Mr. DeMello. Mr. Arnab, you started the debate by saying that the Manipur issue is very complex. Don't you believe in such a situation that the Prime Minister has an elderly statement, statesman, come into the parliament and appeal to the opposing people to come, let's sit together and sort out the matter? Don't you think that was his duty? Yeah. It is an opinion. Closing One minute. on the debate. I, I, I see. I feel. I feel, Mr. Demello. Let the debate start. Let the debate start. One let minute. us hear the debate. I have made a promise. I will cancel everything. I will drop commercial breaks. I will put the whole debate out. That's my commitment. But have the debate. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, joining me for debate number one tonight. On the other side, I'll bring you the mystery of the red notebook and where everyone, not just in Rajasthan but nationally, are talking about it. The top-ranked Amity B.Tech attracts some of the most brilliant students of India who get global exposure at the five-week study abroad program at Amity's global campuses at no additional tuition fee. To apply, visit amity.edu. I am ready मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता। The government says ready for debate, but log jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow. Amid mega ruckus and face off, Amadi party Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर। कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है। स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है। स्कूल किसने जलाया? हमेशा कहे कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है, मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है, वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है। 
Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे देके Red Dari controversy explodes sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly कहीं ना कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल, लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में और माननीय मुखिया जी में इतनी घबराहट क्यों है बीजेपी मैसेव अटैक ऑन गहलोत गवर्नमेंट और रेड डायरी गहलोत टू कांग्रेस हेडक्वार्टर दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट ये कॉल देगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्परेरी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट में होगी सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेज एस आई सर्वे एट ज्ञान वापी फॉर टू डेज आस मुस्लिम साइड टू अप्रोच इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट against the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan meanwhile the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament there was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses prashnakal ha boliye Motorola India's best 5G smartphone brand Is part ke andar aapke sare kaale karnaame jo logo ne aapne vidhayakon ko kharida kis kis MLA ko Rajya Sabha mein aapne nirdaliyo ko kya kya diya kis kis ko parlaman diya cricket ke chunav mein aapne kya kya kaale karnaame kiye The top-ranked Amity B.Tech attracts some of the most brilliant students of India, who get global exposure at the five-week study abroad program at Amity's global campuses at no additional tuition fee. To apply, visit amity.edu. Against the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan meanwhile the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament there was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses prashnakal ha boliye ha boliye bas baithiye aap meri mat ki hai no aap bas nirmata ki tahit एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वो सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर द स्टैकिंग ऑफ राजेंद्र सिंह गुड़ा एज राजस्थान मिनिस्टर हैज टेकन अ न्यू टर्न विद द एमएलए ड्रॉपिंग हिंट्स ऑफ अ रेड डायरी कंटेनिंग इंक्रिमिनेटिंग एविडेंस डिटेल्स अबाउट सीएम अशोक गहलोत गहलोत साहब वो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने में, आपके विधानसभा में गुंडागर्दी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Staff Minister Rajendra Gouda prevented from even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state. 
BJP leader staged a protest at the Gandhi statue demanding answers from the Gelord government over the rise in crime crisis and atrocities against women in Rajasthan. Rajasthan is asking, what are the black deeds in the red diary? The red diary that Gelogi wanted so desperately. The red diary about which Rajendra Guda is talking now. If there were black deeds of corruption of thousands of crores in Rajasthan, or the black deeds of saving criminals and rapists, which was done by Rajasthan government, only the person who is desperate for this diary knows what is there in this diary. Meanwhile, in, in a development in the investigation into Manipur barbarism, Manipur police said that 14 people have been identified from a video of two women who were stripped and paraded. Police said that the action has been initiated to arrest them. Already six people have been arrested in this case. Two months after Seema Haider entered India illegally, a similar case has surfaced and married women of Indian nationality Anju travelled to Pakistan from Delhi to meet Pakistani national. However, unlike Seema, who sneaked into India without any travel papers, Anju was granted entry into Pakistan by the authorities on the basis of a valid visa. A blast has been reported in a shop in Haryana's Yamuna Nagar, causing panic across the city. The police has begun an investigation. The cause behind the explosion is still being ascertained. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the debate and now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion where I'm talking tonight about what is in the Red Diary. The Red Diary. Everybody who has been watching Indian politics has been talking last 7-8 hours about the Red Diary. Now what is the Red Diary? Here's the backstory to it. In the context of Manipur, the Congress was trying to take a high moral ground when it got a reality check from its own minister in Rajasthan. Now this gentleman who is quite uh, vocal and is uh, in his mid 50s is called Rajendra Guda. Rajendra Guda is on my show tonight as my guest this evening. There he is, Rajendra Guda ji, our program par hamare saath hai aaj. And the pictures that you are seeing, jo tasveere aap dekh rahe hai, that those are of a red diary which Rajendra Guda holds in his hand today in the Rajasthan Assembly and says, in this diary are all the secrets of Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot. And he holds the diary everywhere. And he says, in this diary are the secret of the payments made by and to Ashok Gehlot. The entire story of corruption of the Congress party, how it makes payoffs, everything is inside this red diary. He said that once when there was a raid, the Chief Minister asked him that take this diary and hide it somewhere, he said. Viewers, if you consider the sequence of facts, and we'll keep Mr. Gouda on the screen, the visuals of what has happened on the screen as well. The backstory is this, that Rajendra Gouda was very close to Ashok Gehlot till four days back. Then after the Manipur incident, when the Congress was taking a high moral position, Rajendra Gouda stood in the floor of the assembly and he says, who are we to lecture? The Manipur government, look at the situation of women in Rajasthan, we should do something about it. Now that's an honest statement. That's the kind of statement that must be appreciated. But there was a call which went straight from the Congress headquarters to Ashok Gehlot. How dare this man as a minister in the Rajasthan government expose the situation, uh, the state of affairs in Rajasthan itself. 
and the Congress leadership asked Ashok Gehlot to sack him and he was sacked then he got upset when he was upset he comes back he's been giving a series of interviews and finally came to the floor of the assembly and he said I have this red diary with me I have the whole story of Ashok Gehlot's corruption and I'm going to expose it the whole country now wants to know what is in the red diary is he pulling off a fast one or is it true that there is something inside this red diary which the whole country should know about does it have the names of top congress leaders how much money was paid what were these payoffs for what is the level of corruption which this person till recently a minister has details of when i come back on the other side he's going to tell us all the details of what's in the red diary here's a small clip of what's happened and then we'll do it dekhiye dharmendra rathod ke ghar ke andar raid hua tha इनकम टैक्स और ईडी का और मुख्यमंत्री जी ने मुझे बुला के वहाँ कहा था कि किसी भी कोस्ट के ऊपर वो डायरी गुडा निकाल के ला Sacked Rajasthan Minister Rajendra Gouda's red diary claim on Republic TV had set the ball rolling for a mega political face-off. As he tried entering the Rajasthan Assembly on Monday, he was blocked. When he managed to get inside the assembly and tried putting on record the contents of the red diary watch how the speaker panicked Once the blue-eyed boy of Ashok Gehlot, Gurha seems to have touched a raw nerve. Gehlot sahab, wo diary ka aada part aapne me aapke Vidhan Sabha me gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya. Aur aada part mere paas abhi aur hai. Is part ke andar aapke saare kaale karna me jo logon ne aapne vidhaykon ko kharida, kis kis MLA ko Rajya Sabha me aapne nirdaliyon ko kya kya diya. किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा इन 2020 व्हेन आईटी डिपार्टमेंट एंड ईडी रेडेड अशोक गहलोत लेफ्ट हैंड मैन धर्मेंद्र राठौर गुरहा क्लेम्स ही वाज टास्क्ड विद अ डिफिकल्ट जॉब समय आएगा तो उस लाल डायरी के किस्से और कहानियों को आप सार्वजनिक करेंगे मुझे तो मुख्यमंत्री जी ने ये कहा था उसके बाद में कि तेरे को यार गुडा हॉलीवुड में होना चाहिए तूने कमाल कर दिया सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक है तो सो व्हाट आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द रेड डायरी व्हाई इज इट मेकिंग कांग्रेस सो नर्वस सो परहैप्स दिस रेड डायरी नाउ हैज डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑल द मनी दैट वाज पेड टू द सीनियर लीडरशिप Uh, of uh, congress people in aicc perhaps to so that uh, gelot sabs uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals why is the congress scared over the red diary let's debate We have the debate. Sanju Verma, Ratan Sharda, Pankaj Sharma, Lokesh Jindal. First, I will ask a question to Rajendra Gouda Ji. Poor Mantri. Rajendra Gouda Ji, where is this red diary at this time? Where is this red diary at this time? Where is this red diary at this time? Today, I was taking this diary to the Vidhan Sabha. I wanted to take it to the table with the Speaker of the Speaker of the Speaker. और मुझे जब बर्खास्त किया गया तो उस मामले में भी मैं विधानसभा में मेरा वक्तव्य देना चाह रहा था लेकिन उसके बावजूद डायरी कहां पे इस वक्त गुडा जी आपके घर में आपके पास है ये डायरी मेरी मैं विधानसभा में लेके गया था 
और उसके बाद भी कांग्रेस के सर कांग्रेस सरकार के मंत्रियों ने मेरे से छीन लिए मगर क्या आधी डायरी आपके पास है मैंने सुना कि आधी डायरी वो फट गई आधी डायरी आपके पास रही कि पूरी डायरी आपके हाथ से निकल गई नहीं नहीं वो डायरी विधानसभा हाउस में से वो डायरी के सारे के सारे मंत्री एक साथ मेरे पे टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने मेरे से वो डायरी छीन ली तो इस डायरी की कोई कॉपी है आपके पास ओरिजिनल डायरी तो वो ही थी उसके बारे में देखना पड़ेगा थोड़ा बहुत तो उस डायरी में क्या थी क्या सबूत है उस डायरी में अरुण जी यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये सारे के सारे कांग्रेस के लोग मैं हाउस में गया हूं मेरे हाथ में डायरी थी सबने देखा है उसने इन लोगों ने मेरे से वो डायरी छीननी है काफी लोगों की भीड़ थी वो एक साथ टूट के मेरे ऊपर पड़ी और उन्होंने जिस तरीके से वहां धक्का मुक्की और जो भी सीन बना था उसके बाद में वो डायरी मेरे हाथ में से इन लोगों ने पूरी ताकत लगा के सारे मंत्री एक साथ टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने वो डायरी मेरे से छीन ली और यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये उस डायरी से क्यों डरे हुए थे सारे मंत्री जिस तरीके से पूरी ताकत के साथ डायरी में आप, आपको तो पता है ना कि उस डायरी के अंदर क्या है क्योंकि 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 आपने कहा कि अशोक गहलोत ने आपको कहा था रेड के समय इस डायरी को लेके कहीं पे छुपाने के लिए आपने आपको कहा था तो उस डायरी के अंदर क्या था जरा डिटेल में बताइए ना उसमें क्या था क्या एंट्री है किस किसके हस्ताक्षर है क्या डिटेल्स है देखिए वो डायरी सारी की सारी धर्मेंद्र जी राठौड़ की डायरी वो उनके घर से वो बरामद हुई थी उसके अंदर सारी डिटेल्स दो राज्यसभा के चुनाव थे उनमें इन्होंने निर्दलीय विधायकों को क्या दिया बाकी पार्टी वालों को क्या दिया बाहर से सपोर्ट वालों को कितने पैसे दिए पैसे कहाँ से आए कहाँ दिए गए कितने दिए गए और जो क्रिकेट का जो था उसका और कई सरकार को बचाने में जो भी एपिसोड चला उसमें सारा क्या उन्होंने मगर उसकी क्या क्या प्रूफ है कि वो जेन्युन है क्या प्रूफ है कि जो भी थी उस डायरी में वो जेन्युन थी अब तो डायरी ही नहीं है तो आप कैसे प्रूफ करेंगे ये तो ये तो आपके कहने वो कहने की बात हो गई ना फिर वो डायरी इसको प्रूफ कैसे करेंगे देखिए कुछ ना कुछ कहीं से कहीं कुछ न कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं कहीं से कोई उसके स्क्रिप्ट शॉट लिए होंगे मोबाइल में होंगे कुछ न कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं इसमें से कब लाएंगे अभी पब्लिक के कल से जनता के बीच में जा रहा हूं लोगों से मिलूंगा सारी बातें वहां भी पब्लिक भी इसमें एक एक पार्ट तो है ही जनता जनता ने जिन्होंने हमें भेजा है विधानसभा के अंदर दो तीन बार और उसके बाद में विधानसभा में जाने के बाद तो आप, हम तो आप कह रहे आपके पास और और, को, और, और कुछ सबूत भी है मतलब कोई मोबाइल फोन कोई व्हाट्सएप कोई बात हाँ कोई और आ, भी और भी आ, मतलब सबूत है आपके पास आप कह रहे क्या क्या कुछ है जरा बताइए क्या क्या थोड़ा बहुत मतलब किसको लेके किस विषय पर से मैं इस ये सबको पता है दिन में वो डायरी निकाली गई थी रूबी टावर जो सिविल लाइन्स में आठवीं नवी मंजिल पर रेड हुई थी उसमें मेरे साथ और भी एक दो एक आधा मंत्री और भी था और वहां लाठी चार्ज भी हुआ था उस टाइम में भी राजस्थान में सबको पता इस बात का कोई एक डायरी थी जिसके लिए मुख्यमंत्री जी बड़े चिंतित थे किसी भी को उसको और उसके बाद भी अभी भी उसके लिए बहुत चिंतित हैं और आज भी सारे लोगों ने विधानसभा की कार्रवाई में वो हाउस के अंदर वो डायरी मेरे से छीननी है और ये कह रहे कुछ नहीं है तो छीन के क्यों ले गए है तो दिखा दो नहीं अरे मेरे पास वो तो आज मुझे 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 लगता है कि असली डायरी आपके पास है 
और जो डायरी आप ले गए थे वो नकली डायरी है मगर मुझे लगता है असली सबूत आपके आपके पास से अभी भी गुडा जी आप बताइए खुलकर बहुत लोग मेरा प्रोग्राम देखते हैं मुझे लग रहा है असली डायरी आपके पास है सबूत आपके पास है नहीं तो आप इस तरह से मुस्कुराते नहीं और आप बहुत ही एक मतलब कि आप एक वरिष्ठ और एक्सपीरियंस अनुभवी ने, नेता हैं आपको पता है कि आपके पास अगर इतनी बड़ी सबूत है आप इसको हाथ से तो जाने नहीं देंगे अर्णव जी आपको बताऊं सबसे पहले आपके चैनल पे ही आपने बड़ी हिम्मत करके इसको सबसे पहले दिखाया था और बाकी तो ये लग भी नहीं रहा था कहीं चलेगा कहीं नहीं चलेगा आपके वो अमर मेरे वहाँ झुंझुनू मेरे कॉन्स्टिटेंसी ट्राइबल में मेरे पास गए थे आपके एंकर जो राजस्थान के हैं और सबसे पहला इंटरव्यू मेरा उन्होंने लिया था और मैंने बता भी दिया था कि मैं लेक सोमवार को मैं मंडे को आऊँगा और उस दिन मैं सारे के सारे इनके कच्चे चिट्टे खोल लूँगा अब इनको पता भी था उन्होंने बड़ी कोशिश की मुझे रास्ते में रोकने की जैसे तैसे मैं हाउस के अंदर पहुँचा और हाउस में भी जाने के बाद ये लोग मुझे अंदर जिस तरीके से मतलब पूरी सार्वजनिक कर रहा था सारी चीजें अध्यक्ष जी ने वो डायरी मुझे टेबल क्यों नहीं करने दी आप राजस्थान के विधानसभा स्पीकर से भी तो आप पूछ सकते हो कि आप टेबल करना चाह रहा था हमारा अधिकार था और पहली बार एक राजस्थान के इतिहास में पहला केस है कि विधानसभा में मैं सिर्फ चौदह सेकेंड कोई बात बोल गया जो हमारे दुष महिलाओं के दुष्कर्म के ऊपर भेल जो हो रहा था तो ऐसा कौन सा बंगा जो गया मेरे से अस्तीफा भी तो मांग सकते थे ये और अस्तीफा नहीं मांग के मैं इनको रिजाइन दे देता मुख्यमंत्री किसको रखे किसको नहीं रखे बर्खास्त किया मैं उस पर भी बोलना चाह रहा था कि मुझे बर्खास्त में मुझे बोलने का अधिकार है दुनिया में ऐसी कौन सी अदालत है जिसके अंदर आप एक नहीं मगर डायरी के बारे में बताइए ना आपके पास सबूत आपके पास आपके आप ये पैसे किसको दिए गए थे पैसे किसको दिए गए थे क्या केंद्र में किसी को दिए गए थे केंद्र मतलब जो कांग्रेस पार्टी की केंद्रीय नेतृत्व है उनको दिए गए थे या गहलोत को दिए गए थे किसको दिए गए थे पैसे किसने दिए थे कहा से कलेक्शन हो रहा था सब गहलोत गहलोत साहब तो राज गहलोत साहब तो राजस्थान के चीफ मिनिस्टर भी है फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर भी है होम मिनिस्टर भी है उनको सारा का सारा सिस्टम उन्ही के पास तो है गहलोत साहब के पास है सारी चीजें वहीं से तो निकलती हैं तो ये बताइए आप आप आपने तो उनको बचा दिया अब आप ही एक्सपोज कर रहे हैं आपने बचा दिया उस समय उस समय उन्होंने नहीं मांगा कि आ, मुझे ये रेड डायरी मेरे हाथ में दे दीजिए इतना बड़ा सबूत आपके हाथ में उन्होंने क्यों रखा क्या उतना इतना भरोसा था उनका उ, उनको आप पर देखिए अब आज मेरे बेटे के जन्मदिन पर गहलोत साहब हेलीकॉप्टर लेके गए थे चौदह नौ सितंबर को पिछली को अभी दस महीने लगभग हो गए और उन्होंने कहा था कि राजेंद्र गुड्डा की वजह से मैं मुख्यमंत्री हूँ राजेंद्र गुड्डा की वजह से हमने आपको बताना चाह रहा हूँ आपको निकाल क्यों था अचानक दस सेकंड भी नहीं लगे उनको सरकार आपने आपने स्टेटमेंट दी राजस्थान में औरतों के सिचुएशन के बारे में और आपको दस सेकेंड में निकाल दिया मुझे दस ये मेरे ऊपर चार्ज भी ये लगा रहे कि मैं बीजेपी से मिला हूं जबकि मैंने इनको दो बार इनको सीएम बनाने में सबसे बड़ा रोल किया है मैंने और ये एक सेकंड नहीं लगाई उन्होंने और विश्वास था लेकिन उन्होंने कहा था डायरी को जला देना जला देना बार बार कहा था आपने जलाया क्यों नहीं उन्होंने कहा डायरी को जला देना थोड़ा और आपने जलाया नहीं ये तो बहुत ही इंटरेस्ट थोड़ा बहुत बच गया मगर जो डायरी तो आपके हाथ में थी वो जली हुई डायरी तो नहीं थी मतलब कि ओरिजिनल डायरी कहीं पे है आप मुझे पूरे पूरी 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 बात नहीं बता रहे गुडा जी यू मस्ट शेयर विथ मी द रियल ट्रूथ आपको मुझे लग रहा है आपके पास कोई बहुत बड़ा विस्फोटक सबूत है एक्सप्लोसिव एविडेंस मैं मीडिया मैं मैं मीडिया के सामने पूरी डायरी ओपन करने वाला था हाउस के बाद में और हाउस में टेबल करता उसके बाद में उसके साथ साथ ही मैं उसको पूरे ओपन करता मीडिया के सामने मैं हाउस में थोड़ा लेट पूछा था और उसके बाद में मैं सीधा चला गया ने जाने से पहले मीडिया को भी मैं डायरी 
वो उसके कुछ सोट के देख के चला जाता तो ज्यादा बढ़िया रहता मुझे ये पता नहीं था कि इस तरीके से मैं मैं इतना कॉन्फिडेंस है मेरे से डायरी कैसे छीनेंगे और जिस तरीके से वो सारे लोग टूट के पड़े और वो दिस इज फैसिनेटिंग ये अमीन का अमीन का है वो मैं जरा मैं जरा इसी को मैं डायरी नहीं 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 मैं 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 ये वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी गुड़ा जी एक मिनट इज वेरी फैसिनेटिंग स्टोरी गुड़ा जी एक मिनट रुकिए आप मैं थोड़ी प्रतिक्रिया लेना चाहता हूं जिस बात आपने की आई थिंक लोकेश फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इज वेरी अनडेमोक्रेटिक व्हाट योर पार्टी इज डन यू सैक हिम फॉर स्पीकिंग द ट्रूथ ही वांट्स टू रिवील द करप्शन यू ट्राई टू यू ऑलमोस्ट फिजिकली असोल्ट हिम एंड देन यू वॉन्ट टू से यू वॉन्ट टू सेव डेमोक्रेसी Uh, that arise from uh, the minister's uh, narration first of all if he, if he was so much particular about corruption and all why was he quiet since 2020 secondly when you are questioning him what is the content of that uh, diary he is all he is absolutely uh, clueless about what is there inside the diary it's a cooked up story i understand so one minute you are saying you are you are questioning him one minute one minute one minute i i i i agree with you no 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 one minute because one minute. just one minute lokesh know. lokesh i want yes. sanju to respond to this i i i it is clear to me that mr gudha has known about this corruption he does not make bones about the fact that he was an accomplice in covering up corruption unko pata tha wahan pe matlab bhrashtachar ho raha hai aur wo wo usko दबाने में वो उनकी भी उनकी भी भूमिका थी मगर जो ये सब हुआ उसके बाद वो क्रोधित हो गए गुस्से में उन्होंने कहा कि मैं सच्चाई दिखा दूंगा मैं एक्सपोज कर दूंगा अशोक गहलोत का असली चेहरा ये तो बिल्कुल क्लियर हो रहा है इसमें कोई दुविधा किसी को नहीं होनी चाहिए संजू वॉट यू थिंक संजू 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 और प्लीज ओके और रब आई थिंक फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट kudos to you for actually taking rajendra gudda on air and trying to you know get down to the bottom of this red diary and the mysteries that it contains i just have this to say you know rahul gandhi goes around all over town giving a bhashan main nafrat ke bazar mein mohabbat ki dukaan kholne aaya hu priyanka vadra goes around town saying ladki hu lad sakti hu i stand for women empowerment i'm sure the red diary contains a lot of details which are not pleasant to the eyes and which are not certainly pleasant to the ears i just have this to say if rahul gandhi feels that the violence in manipur needs to be condemned and it rightly needs to be condemned and punishment needs to be meted out to the culprits why is it that when rajendra gudda said that rajasthan is the number one state in atrocities against women rajasthan is the number one state in crimes against women and he goes on to add that we must do <coughs> introspection otherwise how will we face the public What is Mr. the big deal Rajendra about it? Is What is wrong? What is wrong in showing the mirror, in showing the mirror to Ashok Gehlot? What is wrong in showing the mirror to Ashok Gehlot? Give me one minute. I'll question. I'll I'll just question. Where is Rahul Gandhi? Where is his mohabbat ki dukaan? Has he condemned the Karoli gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Alwar gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Jodhpur gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Mount Abu gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi संजू वर्मा और लोकेश जिंदल पंकज शर्मा क्या पंकज शर्मा पंकज शर्मा एक मिनट संजू संजू वन मिनट पंकज शर्मा पंकज शर्मा किसी व्यक्ति को अगर आत्मचिंतन करने के बाद कोई व्यक्ति अगर इस कंक्लूजन में पहुंचे कि मुझे सच बता देना चाहिए तो उसमें बुराई क्या है अगर गुडा जी को पता था तो हां मैं मानता हूं गुडा जी आपको पहले बता देना चाहिए था कि ऐसा भ्रष्टाचार हो रहा है मगर अगर आप आज दिखाना चाहते हैं मुझे ये भी लगता है कि ठीक है सच्चाई सामने आ जाए तो मैं पूछना चाहता हूँ जी 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 नेरेटिव दैट इज बीइंग पुट फोर्थ नो नो गुडा जी कुछ कह रहे हैं मिस्टर गुडा जी सेइंग समथिंग व्हाट यू सेइंग मिस्टर गुडा शेमफुल मिस्टर गुडा प्लीज कंटिन्यू शेमफुल मिस्टर गुडा को बोलने दें मिस्टर गुडा को तो आप असेंबली में बोलने दे दें मेरे प्रोग्राम में बोलने दें 
गुड़ा जी गुड़ा जी बोलिए शेम ऑन यू शेम ऑन यू मत कीजिए गुड़ा जी को बोलने दीजिए लोकेश जिंदल जी आपको पॉइंट प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रही है व्हाट इज द शेम ऑन यू शेम ऑन यू शेम ऑन यू फॉर ऑलमोस्ट असोल्टिंग हिम इन पार्लियामेंट टुडे इन असेंबली टुडे You know, I know, I know, Mr. Guda. What the truth is, you. Ab Guda ji ko Guda ji. Now is the opportunity. Now is the opportunity for you to tell the truth. Tell, tell the people what form of pressure you are going through. Ab to bol rahe na, to ab bolne di jira. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Ab mere program pe kar rahe. Wo tell the truth. Guda ji, 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 Guda मिस्टर गुडा शुड बी अलाउड देखिए मिस्टर गुडा देखिए गुडा आर यू नॉट द सेम देखिए आज से आज से लग चार ऑफरिंग यू ट्रक लोड्स ऑफ मनी फॉर टॉपलिंग द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट मिस्टर गुडा आर यू नॉट द सेम पर्सन हु एट अ प्राइवेट स्कूल फंक्शन नरेटेड अ स्टोरी टू द स्टूडेंट्स दैट हाउ बीजेपी ऑफर्ड यू 60 करोड़ रुपीस टू क्रॉस वोट इन फेवर ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर कैंडिडेट इन राज्यसभा इलेक्शन गुडा जी गुडा जी ये सवाल ये सवाल पंकज ये सवाल पंकज शर्मा आपको कर रहे हैं जो 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 पंकज शर्मा कर रहे हैं कि आप क्या वही व्यक्ति नहीं है जिन्होंने कोई स्कूल के फंक्शन में कभी कहा था कि आपको 60 साठ करोड़ रुपए दिए गए थे कि आप पार्टी बदले या अपने अपने दैट यू शुड चेंज साइज गुडा जी नहीं नहीं गलत रिपोर्ट दिए गए दिए गए नहीं थे दिए नहीं गए थे हमारे पास प्रलोभन था हमें मुझे आज नहीं हर राज्यसभा का वोट बनी कांग्रेस को छह बार दिया है ये तो बात आपके छह बार, बार है ना। और अभी बता रहा हूँ पिछले पांच महीने पहले पिछले पांच महीने पहले पिछले पांच महीने पहले मेरे मुकदमा लगाया गया तो मंत्री रहे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे लेट हिम स्पीक लेट हिम स्पीक यू हैव बीटन हिम अप इन द असेंबली लेट हिम स्पीक और ऑलमोस्ट असोल्टेड हिम लेट हिम स्पीक वो सो ब्यूटीफुल that ra let him speak both became part but why are you getting nervous mr gora is the same <laughs> but why are you okay so okay so, so pankaj 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 should be pankaj 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 what's it ratan sharda one minute pankaj pankaj you are just look at the drama out here just one minute one minute one minute buda ji baat suniye pankaj ji kuch keh rahe hain aapko is pankaj ji baat suniye meri bolie guda ji bolie, Guda ji, bolie. ऐसा पंकज जी आ, आज से पांच महीने पहले एक महिला मेरे पास आई थी उसकी दो बच्चों की शादी थी और वो सुसाइड करने वाली थी किसी ने उसके पैसे रोक लिए मैंने मेरी जेब से तीन लाख चौरासी हजार उसको देके उसके बच्चों की शादी कराई उस मामले में गहलोत साहब ने मेरे मुकदमा लगाया अपहरण का और आज तक वो तलवार मेरे ऊपर लटका रखी कि तेरे को गिरफ्तार करा दिया जाए और तेरे को नहीं करा दिया जाए रोज परेसर की पिछले साल भर से झेल रहा हूं इन चीजों को और आपको बताना चाह रहा हूं ये सारी की सारी चीजें विधानसभा में पहले भी बोल रहा हूं एम एल था मंत्री नहीं था तब भी मैंने करप्शन पे विधाउस में बोल रहा हूं मंत्रियों के बारे में भी बोल रहा हूं और सचिन पायलट जी की मीटिंग में भी करप्शन के ऊपर बोल रहा हूं और हर मुद्दे पर मैं बोलता रहा हूं और इसमें आप कह रहे हो इस पूरे के पूरे मामले के अंदर अब एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड एक सेकेंड गुडा जी डायरी कहा है डायरी कहा है गुडा जी आप मुझे बताइए मुझे भी थोड़ी डायरी आज सब डायरी कहा है और नो यू आर रिलेंटलेस पूरे हाउस नहीं नहीं आपके पास मेरे से सब नहीं मैं रिलेंटलेस नहीं इनके पास डायरी है मुझे पता है इनके पास डायरी है इन्होंने जलाई नहीं है जो जो डायरी आपने दिखाई है गुडा जी उसमें कतई एक 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 स्क्वेयर सेंटीमीटर भी वहां पे जली हुई नहीं दिखी आप मुझे कह रहे जली हुई है आप आप अपने अलमारी में जाइए डायरी को निकाल के दिखा दीजिए मेरे दर्शकों को आपके पास कोई ना कोई सबूत है नहीं तो आप अपने इतमान से नहीं बैठते आप आज घर में बैठ के शायद आप शायद आपको मजा आ रहा है कि जो डायरी उन्होंने हाथ से चीनी वो तो नकली डायरी थी तो रियल डायरी आपके पास है रतन शारदा आपको क्या लगता है रतन शारदा बड़े वरिष्ठ एनालिस्ट है क्या आपको लगता है इन्होंने डायरी दूसरों के हाथ में दे दी मुझे लगता है ये पार्ट वन है पार्ट टू इनके ये करने वाले हैं इसमें पार्ट थ्री भी होगा रतन शारदा वॉट यू थिंक इतने पुराने राजनीतिक इतने तो कच्चे खिलाड़ी नहीं है कि एक ही डायरी लेकर उसको बैठे होंगे नेचुरली कॉपी भी होंगी और कॉपी लेकर गए थे कि असली मुझे पता मुझे नहीं भी हाँ। लेकिन इतने कच्चे खिलाड़ी तो नहीं है मुझे एक ही पहले रेड डायरी पती थी माउसे तुम की 
उसके बाद अब कांग्रेस की दूसरी भी वेट डायरी बनी है जिसको बचाने के लिए सारी कांग्रेस कूद पड़ी है विधानसभा में स्पीकर परेशान है असेंबली के बाहर कांग्रेस के नेता परेशान है वहां से इनको दस सेकंड में निकाल दिया वो प्रधानमंत्री उनके मुख्यमंत्री और राहुल गांधी परेशान है तो कुछ तो दाल में काला है हम कह दें कि कुछ नहीं है जी घोड़ा साहब तो फ्रस्ट्रेटेड नहीं, 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 नहीं इनको मजा आ रहा है ये 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 खेल खेल रहे हैं ये ये आज अगर आप सीपी जोशी को देखते हैं इफ यू एट सीन सी जोशी नहीं आप असेंबली में देखिए आई शो यू द पिक्चर्स फुल फ्रेम दिखाता हूँ इफ यू सी सी पी जोशी इतने सीनियर कांग्रेस नेता है संजू उनको ऐसा लग रहा था कि वहां पे मतलब कूद पड़ेंगे वो स्पीकर के चेयर से वो खुद जाके हाथ में ले लेंगे इतना गुस्सा था इन्हें अगर मैं ऑडियो प्ले करूं यू विल सी बहुत डेस्परेट थे उस समय कहीं ना कहीं किसी तरह से लाल डायरी अपने हाथ में लीजिए इतना बड़ा ड्रामा नो बडीज सीन दिस काइंड ऑफ ड्रामा इन दिस कंट्री बिफोर दिस संजू वर्मा यू सींग दिस आप देख रहे हैं कैन आई प्ले द ऑडियो जस्ट सुनिए इस ऑडियो को सुनिए इस ऑडियो को लिसन टू द ऑडियो लिसन टू द ऑडियो फर्स्ट ये 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 रेड डायरी के बारे में क्या सीपी जोशी को भी कुछ पता है गोडा जी डज ही ऑल्सो नो समथिंग अबाउट द रेड डायरी लगता है ओपन सीक्रेट है राहुल मैंने मैंने हाउस में टेबल करने के लिए टेबल करना चाह रहा था हाउस में मैं उसको टेबल करना चाह रहा था उन्हें टेबल पर क्यों नहीं करने दिया पूरे राजस्थान की जनता को पता चल जाता सर मैं उस डायरी को टेबल करने के लिए लेके गया था टेबल करने का बिल्कुल सही बात है टेबल करने में क्या समस्या थी कांग्रेस पॉलिटिशियन है लोग कहते हैं टेबल करिए टेबल कर रहे थे ना कोई कि देर इज अ रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस देर इज अ डेकोरम दैट इज टू बी फॉलोड अगर oh, आपको नहीं फॉलो करना संजू आप क्या विधानसभा में लोकसभा में क्या ये क्या ऊपर से कोई कोई रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस आप इस तरह से कीजिए एक एक संजू बहुत पुराना संजू 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 भेड़िया संजू संजू लोकेश लोकेश गांव वालों को बुलाया जाता था ओके और ना यू नो आई लिसन टू द ऑडियो एंड आई वाज अमेज यू नो द स्पीकर इज कंटीन्यूअसली अर्जिंग एंड देन ही गेट्स यू नो कंप्लीटली रैकल्ड एंड सेज मेरे चेंबर में आइए मेरे चेंबर में आइए यहां नहीं यहां नहीं सो क्लियरली दिस मिस्टीरियस रेड डायरी हैज मोर देन Uh, what you know is currently revealed, but I just want this uh, to be known that don't forget it was on the 26th of October 2022 that officially Malikarjun Khadge was declared the Congress president. And if you remember or not, during that time, in the 15 days prior to Khadge being announced as the Congress pres, we first heard it will be Ashok Gehlot. There was a stamp of approval on Gehlot's name by uh, the top brass of the Congress, Sonia, Rahul, Robert Vadra, what have you. then it was a fight between khadge and shashi tharoor and finally khadge won and i think this red diary may contain a lot of give and take that happened because we all know that ashok gehlot rattled the congress top brass ah. he was in a mood of rebellion he was in a mood of rebellion but finally is the gandhi's humble crow and ashok gehlot that for that the rajasthan chief joke. minister मैं एक बार और एक बार और राजेंद्र मैं मैं एक बार और राजेंद्र गुडा जी से अनुरोध करता हूँ राजेंद्र गुडा जी आपसे मैं अनुरोध करता हूँ आप जरा अगर हमें कह सके कि आप बोलिए जो भी आपके पास और भी सबूत है वो मीडिया के सामने कब लाएंगे आप क्योंकि इतना बड़ा मुद्दा है देखिए हाउस के बारे मीडिया के सामने आप सबूत तो कर रहे हैं सबसे सबसे पहले सब से पहले एक मिनट मेरी मेरी बात सुनी, मेरी बात सुनी आप जब हाउस के अंदर मैं गया तो मुझे ये पता नहीं था मैं मंत्री के रूप में जिस कुर्सी पर बैठता था उस वो चेयर पर मैं बैठ नहीं सकता था क्योंकि मैं मंत्री नहीं रहा उसके बाद में मुझे दूसरी चेयर अलॉट नहीं एक विधायक के रूप में मुझे जो सीट देनी चाहिए थी वो नहीं दी अब मैं बोलने के लिए मेरे पास कोई कोई स्पीकर नहीं था माइक नहीं था मैं किससे बोलता वो अलग बात है। इसके अलावा 
नहीं वो मैं सुन चुका हूँ आपने आज पहले कह चुके आप ये सब बातें मैं कह रहा हूँ आपको कि आप मीडिया के सामने आप पर भी आप पर भी एक जिम्मेदारी बनती है गुडा जी आप पे बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि आपने अगर कहा कि मैं भ्रष्टाचार को एक्सपोज करूंगा तो आप पे जिम्मेदारी बनती है आपकी नैतिक जिम्मेदारी है गुडा जी की आप जो भी सबूत है मीडिया के सामने लाए आप कब लाएंगे अर्नब कोई सबूत नहीं है ये एक ये एक जो है एक एक तरह का जो है इन्होंने आप इनको बोलने देना आपको थोड़ी पूछा है गुडा जी बोलिए फिर आप फिजिकली क्या गुडा जी बोलिए देखिए आप गुडा जी कंटिन्यू नैतिक जिम्मेदारी की याद गुडा जी कंटिन्यू रतन शारदा लेट गुडा स्पीक मैं आपको बताना चाह रहा हूँ मेरे से वो डायरी विधानसभा में छीन दी गई है ये बताइए आप क्यों छीन ली उन्होंने क्या था उसमें ये कुछ नहीं है तो कहते थे कुछ भी नहीं है वो डायरी दिखा वो छोड़िए आपके पास आपके पास बहुत कुछ, कुछ और है तो क्यों लेके गए आपने मुझे कहा कि मेरे पास और कुछ है आपने कहा कि मेरे पहले कई दो तीन पेज निकाले गए बाकी पेजेस मेरे पास है आपने मुझे कहा कि आपको देखना पड़ेगा आपके फोन में और क्या क्या है आपके पास क्या है गुडा जी आप इंस्टॉलमेंट में रिलीज करने वाले हैं क्या एक चोरी <laughs> नहीं अर्नब आर चीज गैलरी में सेम ऐसी रेड डायरी देखने को मिली थी सो राजेंद्र जी आपको आर चीज गैलरी जाना चाहिए आर चीज गैलरी में आपको रेड डायरी मिल जाएगी बोलने दीजिए आप बोलने दीजिए स्टेशनरी जिंदल जी प्लीज गुडा जी को बोलने दीजिए गुडा जी बोलिए दिल्ली के बाजारों आपको नहीं पूछा है आप आप सारी चीजों को मजाकिया मत बनाइए जिंदल जी 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 देखिए आज कोई पहला दिन नहीं है राजनीति का चौबीस जुलाई चौबीस जुलाई को आखिरी डे भी नहीं है ये लड़ाई तो चलेगी और इसके अंदर राजेंद्र गुड्डा की गिरफ्तारी भी होगी सुन लेना मेरी बात और और भी कुछ करेंगे लेकिन उस आखिरी दम तक लड़ूंगा इनके खिलाफ और इनके सारे के सारे कल्ले चिट्ठे ना वो बाहर लाके रख दूंगा आपका मुंह बंद हो जाएगा आज आखिरी डेट है क्या कोई आज आखिरी तारीख है मैं टेबुल कर रहा था क्यों नहीं करने दिया मुझे टेबुल विधानसभा के अंदर मुझे बोलने क्यों नहीं दिया गया टेबल में कर रहा था टेबल हो जाती डायरी ले गए तो क्यों छीन उस डायरी में क्या था क्यों छीन रहे थे क्यों किसकी किसकी गिरफ्तारी होगी आपने कहा किसकी गिरफ्तारी होगी मेरी गिरफ्तारी होगी राजेंद्र गुड्डा की गिरफ्तारी होगी क्यों होगी गुडा जी मुझे ल... आप अपनी गिरफ्तारी क्यों चाहते हैं मैं लगा रखे है मेरे चार महीने पहले मेरे खिलाफ मुख्यमंत्री करेगा गिरफ्तार उस... उनकी पॉलिटिक्स इसी तरह की है दबाव देने की क्यों करेंगे, क्यों करेंगे? ये कुछ ये और करते हैं कितने किस चीज का दबाव देखिए मैं आपको बता देता हूं अ... अशोक जी गहलोत ने पता नहीं कितने नेताओं को पानी पिला दिया धारीवाल भी खुद कह रहे थे मीटिंग में कि अच्छे अच्छे नेताओं को हमने पानी पिला दिया परशुराम जी मदेरना थे बलराम जी जाखड़ थे बुटा सिंह थे नटवर सिंह थे चंदनमल बैद थे खेत सिंह थे गुलाब सिंह थे थे सुचन माथुर ठीक है गुडा जी गुडा जी मैं इसको फॉलो करूंगा मैं फॉलो करूंगा ये ये ही प्रेडिक्टिंग जोन अरेस्ट Sacked minister who waved the red diary has been live with us. It's a fascinating story. Let's see the next twist it takes. And ladies and gentlemen, an archaeological survey of India, survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque barring the Wazoo Khan area, was all set to be initiated today. It's an emotive issue, but the Supreme Court has intervened upon a plea and stayed the survey till 5 p.m. on 26 July. One section is panicking about the survey. My question is: Hashtag We need the truth. and the only way to know what the truth is whether it was a temple somewhere in the past or not is a scientific survey a scientific survey means we will get to know the truth why oppose the truth hashtag we need the truth let's debate days after the varanasi court allowed a survey of the gyanwapi complex बाबा विश्वनाथ का मंदिर मनवा सबके भावेला सिक्योरिटी वॉज टाइटेंड 
An ASI team began a study this morning. समुचित पुलिस व्यवस्था की गई है इसमें सिविल पुलिस के साथ साथ पी ए सी आर ए एफ होमगार्ड के जवान सादे वस्त्रों में भी सेवान नियुक्त किया गया है सी सी टी वी जरिए और अन्य जो ड्रोन के जरिए मॉनिटरिंग किया जा रहा है आज कोर्ट के द्वारा एस वाई के द्वारा आदेश हुआ से उसको सर्वे किया जाए और दूध का दूध और पानी के पानी कर दिया जाए हिंदू जन समाज को जो बाबा के हिंदू जन समाज के जो आराध्य हैं बाबा विश्वनाथ सारे देव देवताओं के देव है बाबा विश्वनाथ उनके मंदिर भव्य बना जाए इसलिए आज हम सब अपना गंगा जल और बेल पत्र लेकर आए हैं और हम सब के संकल्प पूरा होने वाला है सुन आफ्टर अ थ्री डे स्टे वॉज ग्रांटेड बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट फॉलोइंग अ मैंशनिंग बाय द ज्ञान वापी मॉस्क मैनेजमेंट कमेटी Without going into the merits of the case, the top court said that the petitioner should be given a breathing time to file an appeal before the Allahabad High Court. कल शाम पांच बजे तक रोक लगाई है और अंजुमन इंतजामिया को ये कहा है कि छब्बीस जुलाई के शाम पांच बजे से पहले वो High Court approach करें और High Court इस matter को सुनेगा और उसके बाद High Court decide करेगा कि stay रहना है इस order पे कि नहीं रहना। Honourable Supreme Court ने ज्ञानवादी केस के सिलसिले में जो एएसआई सर्वे पर 26 जुलाई को शाम के पांच बजे तक रोक लगाई है उसको हम लोग वेलकम करते हैं उसका खैर मुकदम करते हैं कोई भी मुसलमान कोई किसी भी मस्जिद को किसी भी और इबादतगाह को गिरा करके या किसी दूसरे की जमीन पर कब्जा करके मस्जिद कभी नहीं बनाता है ना मस्जिद बनाई जा सकती है सम से दर्वे इज द ओनली वे टू सिफ्ट क्लेम फ्रॉम फैक्ट देखिए क्यों चैलेंज करके करने के लिए मुस्लिम पक्ष कोर्ट में गया एएसआई पर उनका विश्वास नहीं है क्या या अंदर खाने में कोई बात है जो सर्वे करने पर निकल के आएगी जिसलिए जिससे मुस्लिम पक्ष घबरा रहा है ये कोर्ट का निर्णय है सरकार का निर्णय नहीं है मैं समझ रहा हूँ कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट में नहीं जाना चाहिए और उनको जो कोर्ट का निर्णय हुआ है खुलेआम सर्वे कराना चाहिए वाई नॉट अलाउ द सर्वे एंड क्लोज द इशू वंस एंड फॉर ऑल Let's debate. And uh, Tala Mir Rashidi, Advocate Varis Pathan, Pushpendra Kulshresht, Senior Journalist. My first question is to Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain ji, हमारा जो hashtag है, we need the truth. सच्चाई सामने आनी चाहिए. तो इसमें जो स्टे लगी है इस पर ये पिटिशन हुई सुप्रीम कोर्ट के सामने इसलिए स्टे लगी तो क्या ऐसे कई ग्रुप्स हैं जो सच से डरते हैं इसीलिए इस सर्वे को रोकने की कोशिश हो रही है बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं अर्णब जी सही बात यह है कि मुस्लिम पक्ष जानता है कि अगर वहां सर्वे हो गया और साइंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो गया तो वो सत्य निकल के सामने आएगा जिसको जनता जानना चाहती है और हमारी सारे किताबों में धर्मशास्त्रों में हर जगह लिखा हुआ है कि वहाँ किस तरह का भव्य मंदिर था सोलह सौ उनहत्तर सत्तर में इसको औरंगजेब के ज़माने में तोड़ा गया था और उसी प्लिंस के ऊपर आज का ढांचा खड़ा हुआ है और मैं अच्छी और बतला दूँ पिछले सोलह मई दो को जब फवारा जिसको लोग बोलते हैं एक पांड के अंदर भव्य शिव मंदिर शिवलिंग मिला था उसी तरह अगर यह जांच हो गई तो जहां पर गर्भगृह था जो मूल शिवलिंग है वो आज भी वहां मौजूद है और मिलेगा उस सच्चाई को मुस्लिम पक्ष हिंदू से ज़्यादा जानता है और इसलिए सत्य को छिपाने के लिए वो रोक रहे हैं कि किसी तरह सर्वे न हो तो सर्वे होने के बाद मालूम पड़ जाएगा कुछ ढांचे में वो क्या क्या है और क्या छिपाया गया है तीसरी बात जो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है कि आज जो सर्वे शुरू हो गया तो झूठ बोला गया कि सब खुदाई चल रही है अरे भाई खुदाई कहाँ चल रही है पहले सफाई हो रही थी वीडियोग्राफी हो रही थी पर झूठ के हाथ पाँव नहीं होते सत्य सामने आएगा और माननी इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट कल फाइल हो रही है हम लोग भी हाईकोर्ट में अपनी पैरवी करेंगे और मुझे उम्मीद है कि सत्य सबके सामने आएगा और एक दिन आज नहीं तो कल सर्वे होना है और भव्य शिव मंदिर का निर्माण जैसे अयोध्या में भगवान राम का बन रहा है उसी तरह यहाँ भी भव्य शिव मंदिर बनेगा बहुत जल्दी बनेगा 
कोई सत्यता ज्यादा छिपाई नहीं जा सकती है आई फील आई फील मिस्टर जैन तरह से मिस्टर जैन आई फील जो जो मैं जो yes. मुझे लगता है uh, हरिशंकर जी आई फील दैट देर शुड बी अ साइंटिफिक सर्वे बिकॉज वारिस पठान एंड तलाम रशीदी मैं yes. दूसरे पक्ष को भी मौका देना चाहता हूँ अगर आप इतने ही कॉन्फिडेंट है वारिस पठान दैट देर इज नो टेम्पल देन हैव अ सर्वे If then the survey will show that it was never any temple. This is a fountain. See, Arunab, <coughs> whatever is the truth, if there was, if the mosque has not been well, built Arunab. on a temple, the survey will say the mosque has not been built on a temple. The if the mosque has been built on a temple, then the survey yes. will say the mosque has been built on a temple. So I don't understand the confusion or the insecurity yeah. about it. Yes, what is? Are you saying well, Hindus have well, no right Supreme to know Court whether the mosque, the, the matter, the mosque was stayed. built on a temple, an ancient temple? Acha, you know, if your commentary is over, you allow us to make our point. We were listening patiently to Mr. Vishnu, the advocate of the other side. Well, the Supreme Court has taken cognizance of the matter, and they have stayed the order passed by the lower court, and also stated that status quo should be maintained till 26th of July, 5 p.m. And time and again, we are again say and reiterate that there is no need for a survey, as it is be the 1991 Places of Worship Act is a gross violation of that. Because the places of worship of 1999 were enacted with an intention and a view to see that the structure standing prior to 15 August 1947, you cannot change the nature and character of that place. But now the BJP is trying to polarize the situation prior to the 2024 election to divert the mind of the nation from the basic issues of rising price, unemployment, so, and the money poor issue. So, and I am sure so that when the matter will be heard by the Allahabad High Court, they will stay the order for the sir. Why do you want to have a survey now, now? Please. Kindly see 1937, Din Mohammad. case okay, it's a work property or once a work always a work you cannot change the nature character I, we have been praying that earlier the earlier the uh, petition one minute, for one a carbon minute, one dating one application was rejected by the court and the court have uh, said that you can offer namaz and even directed a district magistrate district authorities to uh, ensure that the place of place for wazu is made there so is, why now come again and is, you want us to is, take back to the era of 1990s is, where our babri masjid was demolished is, on the 6th of first december of all, the black day first of all please please allow the others to come in thank you What is what is I heard you, but I just want to make a point here. And Pushpendra Kulshree, very senior <coughs> journalist. Uh, my own view, Pushpendra ji, is that if Aurangzeb has destroyed a temple before 1669, and it is not any other temple, we are talking of the Kashi Vishwanath Temple. If it was destroyed, right at that point of time, or parts of it to make a mosque, and now if there is carbon dating, there will be carbon dating of the Shivling. शिवलिंग की कार्बन डेटिंग होगी तभी पता चलेगा कि इतने सारे हिंदू सिंबल्स कैसे हैं वहां पे नाउ वर्शिप एक्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट ही से यू कैन चेंज द स्टेटस को एज फार एज आई नो प्रेयर्स हैड बीन गोइंग ऑन देयर टिल रिसेंटली एंड आई वांट पुष्पेंद्र कुलश्रेष्ठ टू गिव इज व्यू प्लीज मिस्टर कुलश्रेष्ठ अर्नब सबसे पहला मेरा पॉइंट ये है कि ये मंदिर मस्जिद का मामला नहीं है इज ए क्लैश ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन और यह किसी एक मंदिर का मामला नहीं है और यह नहीं हो सकता है कि इस देश की मेजोरिटी एक एग्रेसर के सामने रिसीविंग एंड पे खड़ी हो और मेजोरिटी होने के बावजूद भी आज तक उसने कोर्ट के ऊपर से अपना यकीन अलग नहीं किया है हम आज भी पूरे दावे के साथ कह रहे हैं ये मंदिर है, है, है चर्च है हमको नहीं पता जानना चाहते हैं अरे आप आप बोलने दीजिए बोलने दीजिए मैं सिर्फ इतना कह रहा हूं बयालीस हजार मंदिर प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट के तहत आए थे तो क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट को नहीं पता था कि इसके ऊपर रोक लगी है सवाल यह है कि हर बार ये उठाया जाता है प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट उस वक्त खत्म हो गया जब इस पर सुनवाई हो रही थी हम तो आज भी कहते हैं कि बयालीस हजार मंदिरों के जांच की जाए मंदिर में कन्वर्ट हो गई है प्लीज कीप क्वाइट प्लीज कीप क्वाइट 
प्लीज वाइज यू है कि आपकी आदत है कि सच नहीं सुनना चाहते हैं सच का ढिंडोरा पीटते हैं आप सुबह से लेकर शाम तक अगर आप में दम है अगर आप मानते हैं सेलेक्टिव कोर्ट को मानते हैं सेलेक्टिव ए को मानते हैं आप अपने सेलेक्टिव तरीके से देश को नहीं चला सकते ए किसी पार्टी की नहीं है ए किसी के अंडर में नहीं आती है अगर ए सर्वे कर रही है तो फिर आपको तकलीफ क्यों है मैं तो कहता हूँ बयालीस मंदिरों का ए को सर्वे करना चाहिए हम विक्टिम होने के बावजूद भी रिसीविंग एंड पे होने के बावजूद भी एएसआई की बात मानने को तैयार है आप किस बात से डरे हुए हैं आप झूठ बोलते हैं कोर्ट के अंदर तलाब में रशीदी आपने सुप्रीम कोर्ट में आपने सुप्रीम कोर्ट रशीदी उस कानून के खिलाफ नहीं गए आप मिस्टर रशीदी खुदाई जो इसमें सर्वे था उसके खिलाफ चल रहे द पॉइंट बींग द पॉइंट बींग द पॉइंट बींग द पॉइंट बींग मिस्टर श्रेष्ठ मिस्टर रशीदी देखिए If it is a shivling, then that area is being used as a wazu khana. Then obviously, the Hindu community will not be happy about it. याद रखिए तलामी रिश्ते इस इस शिवलिंग आप सिटीविटी इस 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 बात करते हैं एक मिनट एक मिनट now now whether it is a uh, one minute one minute yes yes if it is no it's yes, not but under the shivling you. let me tell if you if it is a shivling Hari, please it's subject is it's still under investigation if it is a shivling so and it only a scientific survey that. will prove please that understand that only a scientific survey can prove that but why are you why are you so, scared of a scientific Arnav, survey Arnav, initially as said by why Mr. Mr. Wise, but now it's a gross violation of the places of worship act 1991 is the this the plenty is sued by the what is going, going on in this city out there दूसरी बात जो देश का बादशाह था जो पूरे देश का बादशाह था मस्जिद कोई दूसरी बात नहीं है आप ये कैसे कह सकते हैं कि इलीगल ऑर्डर पास किया हाउ कैन यू से इलीगल ऑर्डर पास किया ऑर्डर पास बाय द कोर्ट नॉट द बीजेपी जो देश नो 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 डोंट कंफ्यूज द जिसके डोंट कंफ्यूज द रेस्ट ऑफ द पीपल वर्ष था उसे कोई और जगह नहीं मिली मस्जिद बनाने के लिए वो मंदिर तोड़कर वहां पे मस्जिद बनाया गया जिस मस्जिद में नमाज उसने पूरे देश में मंदिर तोड़े और वो बादशाह आपका क्या लगता था जो देश का बादशाह था यानी कि यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट औरंगजेब By the way, I must tell you, Aurangzeb was a bigot, a fanatic, Aurangzeb. a communal man, and you know, a, a, absolutely he was. And why are you why are you considering him a desh ka bacha today? Cannot deny the facts. He was the ruler. I'm not denying history. Then if you don't deny history, you must you must you must say it. Say Aurangzeb was a bigot. I am not denying history. You are say Aurangzeb was a bigot. Call. I'm not sticking to the topic. You're not sticking to the topic. Say Aurangzeb was a bigot or not? Say he was an intolerant bigot. Call him an intolerant bigot. Tala. Don't don't run away from the facts. If you accuse me of not understanding history, I will accuse you of the same. How dare you say you don't understand history? I'm sticking to the topic. I'm sticking to the topic. My question being, 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 Hari Shankar Jain, Mr. Hari Shankar Jain, is it not true that there exists? a 1936 court order that makes a mention of the original map of the kashi temple which indicates that the entire shiv mandir area is in the exact site on which the gyanwapi mosque exists today agar koi itihas ke bare mein bole to 1936 ki jo map hai uske court order hai uske bare mein bhi koi kahe in din mohammad case after the oral testimony and the submissions it was held that the property belongs to what? order 1959 allows proposed 1959 in 1937 mohammad 1917 order state land belongs to ragunandan das let the supreme court decide 1917 order land belongs to ragunandan das 1875 disallowing muslim interference what about the mohammad how you want to go into history i'll go into history that muslim are to pray there every day 
by the courts. So, carry a scientific and survey. Are allowed to pray there. Exactly. Why are you afraid? Okay, one minute. Hari Shankar. Hari Shankar ji. Hari Shankar ji. Last word to Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain. Jain ji, bolye. Hari Shankar ji, bolye. Ji. Now why did the assign on the They are. आप देख रहे हैं कि अरी शंकर. They are. बोलिए बोलिए. बोलिए. They are. They are miss. बोलिए बोलिए अरी शंकर. Nobody is demolishing any mosque. Zain Muhammad case. People are asking you question. Manipur. They are. Misinterpreting. Zain Muhammad case. And they are misinterpreting. Place of worship at. Both. Uh, and they are misguiding the people. Everyone. Actually, Zin Mohammed case, 12 witnesses from the defendant side that deposed that we were worshipping within the premises of the so called mosque. And Pooja, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 have, to, I have to close Hari Shankar ji. Unfortunately, I have run out of time today, but I say and I appeal and I appeal to everyone. Allow the scientific survey to continue. Don't be afraid of science. Don't be afraid of evidence. We need the truth. See you tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, good night and goodbye. The top ranked Amity BTEC attracts some of the most brilliant students of India. With alumni working in top companies around the world and earning over 2 crores rupees per annum. To apply, visit amity.edu. I am ready for the church. I do not know that to the The government says ready for debate, but log jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow. Amid a mega ruckus in face of Ahmadi party, Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैते लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. In this part, you have bought all the people in this part. What did you give to the government? 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 Red Dari controversy explodes, sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. कहीं न कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है। मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में और माननीय मुखिया जी में Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. मैं गदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं। मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष क्यों चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता। It's the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. हाँ बोलिए हाँ बोलिए बस बैठिए आप मेरी मत की है नो आप बस नम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं 
शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वो सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Gouda as Rajasthan Minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. Gehlot sahab wo diary ka aadha part aapne mere aapke vidhan sabha mein gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai is part ke andar आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीयों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा आफ्टर ही वॉज इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑन मॉन्डे स्टाफ मिनिस्टर राजेंद्र गोडा प्रिवेंटेड from even entering the assembly building by house marshals last friday he was removed by gelor soon after he spoke of a led Thank you for joining us on the biggest story tonight. It's been a story that we at Republic have reported on very extensively, and the survey of the Gyanwapi issue started this morning. A few hours later, it was stalled. We'll tell you all about the Gyanwapi tussle and why a dispute that's run into centuries now is at a critical stage. The survey that was trying to find out scientifically if there was a temple. in the gyanwapi premises has been stalled for now after the supreme court intervention we'll tell you all about why and what happened here are the headlines parliament is stalled some political party is trying to turn manipur into a political drama now Need Manipur solution, but not a parliament washout. If everyone's ready for a debate, who doesn't want one? The government claims the opposition is running from and stalling a debate. Aam Aadmi Party Sanjay Singh suspended from the monsoon session over ruckus in parliament. It's the red diary controversy that's rocked Rajasthan. What's in the red diary is that big question. Sack minister in Rajasthan says the red diary that he's been waving out all through the day today will expose Ashok Gehlot. Gyanwapi survey stalled. who's against the scientific truth in this particular case that's that big question a top focus this evening on the biggest story tonight a 30 member archaeological survey of india team or an asi team was halted at a survey site in gyanwapi mosque just hours after beginning the exercise this morning following the supreme court intervention it's been stalled the varanasi court had earlier ordered the asi to conduct a survey in gyanwapi we'll show you the pictures of gyanwapi and why it's such a contentious issue they had ordered the asi to conduct a survey using technologies like ground penetrating radar and excavations and if it is necessary even to determine if a temple existed earlier at the same place they wanted to find the root cause of it now the mosque is located next to the vishwanath temple kashi vishwanath temple now the asi was asked to conduct a ground penetrating radar survey just below the three domes of the building in question and conduct excavation if required the court had also said that the director of the asi could conduct a 
detailed scientific investigation by using GPR survey excavation dating method and other modern techniques of the present structure to find out whether the same has been constructed over a pre-existing structure of a Hindu temple. That was the that was the sole purpose of this survey. It's now been stalled after the Supreme Court felt today that uh, the Muslim side should get breather, like breathing space to go to the courts and challenge that. Here's the story so far and we have uh, the key people in this story joining us on the show this evening. A team of the Archaeological Survey of India began scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque complex on Monday morning. There were around 40 members including ASI officials. Four Hindu women plaintiff and the councils of the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. However, the Supreme Court stayed the scientific survey by the ASI inside Gyanwapi Mosque premises. The top court ordered status quo on the survey till 5 p.m. on July 26. The order gives the mosque management breathing time to approach the Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court further asked the High Court to hear the mosque management's case against ASI survey before the expiry of the status quo. Today, the Supreme Court has listened to both sides. The Archaeological Survey of India is being surveyed by India. और डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज साहब का जो ऑर्डर है उसमें 26 तारीख तक 5 बजे तक इंट्रीम रोक लगाई है और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट को उनको कहा है अंजुमन इंतजामिया को कि वो इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में एप्लीकेशन मूव करें और उसको सुना जाएगा और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में हम लोग दोबारा बहस करेंगे कि यहां पे इसको स्टे करने का कोई ग्राउंड नहीं बनता the top court asked Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who was representing the Uttar Pradesh government, to inform the ASI team that there should not be any invasive work or excavation at the site. All eyes are now on the Allahabad High Court. But the Supreme Court, after inquiring from the ASI, has just observed that they have spoken to uh, the ASI officials and not a single brick even has been moved. Only videography and photographs have been taken uh, by the ASI officials. So this is what the Supreme Court has observed. Now what uh, the Muslim side was initially expecting that they will ask uh, the Supreme Court to give an interim stay in the matter till the time they could approach the High Court. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Okay, joining us on the broadcast this evening uh, are, are Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu Shankar Jain is the advocate for the Hindu side in, in the Gyanwapi case. And let me also uh, introduce uh, Atiku Rahman, who's an Islamic scholar. Let me start with Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu, uh, what, what was the aim? I mean, we've seen, we've, we've covered this issue for several years now. We've seen the tussle. Uh, you've been uh, you've been fighting for it now if you if the idea was to conduct a scientific survey find out scientifically what was there whether there was a, a temple below uh, what is the contention of the other side why are they against a scientific exercise see there was no logic or any submission made before the district court varanasi as to why they are opposed to this scientific survey the pleas which they are taken by the anjuman intizamia before the district court varanasi are a hyper technical pleas but there is no argument on merit that why this survey should not be conducted and the apprehension that if this survey is conducted there will be damage to the structure was already taken care of by the district judge Varanasi, by writing down in by writing down in the order itself that this entire exercise will be conducted without causing any damage to the structure. No, so no, so so the point in issue as of now is this: that if one side is saying that the western wall of the so-called mosque is the ruin of a Hindu temple, if one side is saying that beneath the central domes there are the shikars of Hindu temple, if one side is saying that the pillars are of Hindu temple, if one side is saying that in the vazu tank which you are showing on your screen is not a, a shivlingam it's a it's not a it's not a fountain it's a shivlingam if one side is saying that the that there are many sealed areas in this premises which will go to show and prove that there are many facts which are hidden behind those sealed areas then i must 
to ask a question to myself that how will a party prove its case how will a party prove its case prove its case can it be done by oral evidence can it be done by any other evidence the only method to prove a case of a party before the court is that the court requires expert opinion and therefore the uh, honorable district court varanasi in its wisdom on uh, 12, 21st of july 2023 passed an order directing an asi survey in exercise of powers under order 26 rule 10a of the cpc read by section 45 of the indian evidence act so now the point in issue is this that this survey has to be conducted and today a very very small breathing time has been given by the supreme court and it has been mentioned in the order of the supreme court that this is not any opinion on the merits of the case so the fact of the matter is that within 2 days the ilabad high court is going to hear this uh, hear this petition for, which will be filed by the adjuman intezamia and we will argue before the ilabad high court that there should be no stay on the survey and the survey must proceed so it can so happen that the ilawal high court after hearing us can pass appropriate order because my submission and my bone of contention is that there is no question of any stay of the asi survey asi survey will help either of the parties to prove their case suppose for example anjuman intezamia has a case that this mosque was built by oranje so the, the asi report will come that whether it was built by oranje or not if one side is saying that no there was a pre existing hindu structure then what is the fault in that so the point in issue is this that if someone is saying that there is something of fountain or a shivling or western wall is of a hindu structure it has to be investigated by an premier agency like asi the supreme court in ram mandir's case in 2021 scc page 1 para 658 has said that the asi is capable of doing such an exercise in ismail faruqi case also 1994 supreme court in at para 151 supreme court has held that this kind of controversies can be solved by the asi but anjuman intezamia i don't know i don't find any logic or reason that why anjuman intezamia is so much scared of the asi and wrong statements uh, the order of the supreme court passed today has come it has been uploaded on the yeah. website of the supreme court wrong statements have been made before the supreme court let me tell you that the matter uh, that they did not challenge the order of the district judge before the supreme court directly they mentioned Now, some other matter they mentioned some other matter without uh, giving a copy to us and then they then they said that can you can you sir, just uh, just 30 seconds yeah, okay, i want okay, to okay, say okay 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 just 30 seconds okay. they are saying that they can't approach the ilabar high court and they came to the supreme court from varanasi ilabad is 100 kilometers from friday till monday they couldn't approach the ilabad high court but they came directly to the supreme court which is which is, so this is very hilarious i wanted to just point it out yeah it perhaps perhaps uh, you know some of the answers to that question also lie in uh, i don't know whether atikur rahman is there with us right now if i can go across to him okay I, i've lost the line with him but i'll take one more question with you now there was a leaked report of the asi survey right earlier i'm 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 going to some of the details and the findings and perhaps we can show those uh, you know uh, corresponding pictures as well the report claimed there were uncovered symbols of a trident some of these pictures we've also seen lotus engravings and that's uh, by the way that we're getting in some breaking news that's also the order order of the supreme court that we've just accessed that order has just come into our newsrooms and uh, that's the order i'm putting up on the screen i'm going back to the pictures right now going back to the pictures the uh, of of what uh, the picture showed earlier lotus engravings hindi carvings in the complex located adjacent to the kashi vishwanath temple uh, pillars found in the basement of the mosque that have engravings of flowers and a kalash a conical structure claims of a shivling you also saw uh, symbols that 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 indicated it could have been a shivling perhaps now all of those were symbols that were seen on the walls we have some of those videos i'll show those videos as well now what do these videos indicate and what is your case vishnu shankar if you can just tell us what is your case what do these symbols indicate and why are you so confident in this case very very specific and it is the fact of gyan vyapi the untold fact of gyan vyapi the fact is this that till november 1993 we were worshiping in the premises in question and there was no barricading it is only after november 1993 when mulayam singh yadav was the chief minister of uttar pradesh he installed this barricading which you were just showing and we were thrown and disposed from the property in question the vyas ji parivar the vyas parivar was worshiping in the cellar the tehkana bank opposite nandi 
and, and there were various uh, Hindu idols which were placed in the premises in question. For example, Lord Hanuman, Lord Ganesh, Ma Shingar Gauri. What you are showing on your screen is yeah. the original uh, seat of Ma Shingar Gauri on the western side of so-called mosque. So we were worshipping in the premises in question and in complete violation of places of worship act. 1991 in violation of section 3 we were dispossessed from the property in question and today what we are saying and asking before the court is that see look here we were worshipping in the premises in question please allow us our rights to worship yeah. back all the idols which we were worshipping till November 1993 and we have also asked for title also of the entire property all the seven suits have been consolidated my right to worship the entire premises has been made as the lead suit so we were in the stage of uh, uh, asking for uh, various experts' opinion and therefore court in exercise of its power asked for this particular expert opinion. The judgment was delivered on Friday at 4.30. They did not challenge this order in the High Court on Monday. Rather, Vishnu, they approached the Supreme Court. Yes. Can I, can I ask uh, Atikur uh, that question? Now, Atikur, you, you heard him in detail. He's for the last uh, 10 minutes almost explaining in great detail uh, about, you know, it's, it's a scientific exercise that has been conducted. You know, it's not a claim. It's not a wild allegation. Right, there is obviously a survey, a scientific survey that in, in includes, involves, and I'm I'm taking our viewers through what uh, the ASI was trying to do and what the survey included. Right, ground penetrating radar survey. So it's science. Survey below the three domes of the building. Excavation was allowed if needed. While they were also asked to ensure there is no damage to the existing structure. Dating method employed, study to see basically if a Hindu temple lies below, right? What is the problem with a scientific survey? Why are some people, uh, Atik, very nervous about this survey? It appears that some people, some sections are, uh, are nervous. Well, nervous, you know, seems, Mr. Jain seems nervous. He should have faith on the judiciary. The Supreme Court, in its wisdom, do you has think, directed do you it think I'm for nervous? a stay in a two-day this thing. I do not understand what is the nervousness on the part of Mr. Jain. Now, Mr. Jain, let me let me come to the core issue, Niranjan. The core issue, as you said, is you the widely objection to the scientific survey. What next then? After scientific survey, they will be again demanding more and more things. Here, the question, Niranjan, is. When the Supreme Court in its Ayodhya judgment had relied upon the 1991 Places of Worship Act, no further disputes will be entertained. This is the secular fabric of the Indian nation wherein two major communities, Hindus and Muslims, should be allowed to live in peace henceforth. That is mentioned in the judgment of the, of the Babri Masjid Ayodhya judgment. So, the, the premise of the Hindu side that more and more they want to push into this, the, the original plea Niranjan of the ladies were, they wanted to pray in the Gauri Shringar premises. Had the Intizamiya committee objected to it? Okay. No. Unnecessarily, they, they, they demanded for a survey. But then it's a, a, it's a court. Survey. Henceforth, it's a court that's allowed it. I think just checking, isn't the it a court that is, isn't it a court that is allowed? I'm just checking, isn't it a court that is allowed this survey course, in the yes, first that's place? Why. Of course, yes. Then we will have to look into the matter that why is the court going back on its words when it had said that 1991 Places of Worship Act is bound to have a very deep impact on the, on the life secular fabric of the nation. Why to go into history and create animosity? Is the court ready to go back to its words? No, I, it I, I think... It can go. Okay, but I, if I'm not, to challenge. If, if, if my understanding of this... If my understanding, my limited understanding, I'm not an expert. Okay, and, and I'll end with that, Vishnu and, and Atik. Uh, my limited understanding is if it was indeed a shivling or a temple, right? Now, my understanding is obviously and if Hindus prayed there for many, many years and one fine day they were asked not to pray until recently as 90, until 1993 as Vishnu is saying, he is asking for that to be restored and I don't see uh, any reason why they are wrong and, and assuming, and assuming, okay, just assume for a second that it was, it was a shivling then for that to be given respect, I think is the basic petition and basic 
you know, ask for the Hindu side, and I don't uh, know what is so controversial about it. But let's see the let's see where the story goes, Atik. The Red Diary controversy is exploding. Sacked Rajasthan Minister waves a diary on the floor of the Assembly. This part can the Apke Sare Kale Karna Medo Loguna Apne Vidaikum Karida Kiski Samelego Raja Sabame. आपने निर्दलियों को क्या-क्या दिया किस-किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या-क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के The sacked minister is making that sensational claim he says the diary has details of money that was given to MLAs मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता। The government says we are ready for a discussion on the issue of Manipur senior ministers extend an olive branch, but the log jam still continues in the parliament. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties. Do not allow facts to come to the fore. There is sloganeering, there is protest. Despite the assurances from the government, the question everyone is asking, who then is trying to block a debate on a sensitive issue? The Rajya Sabha chair suspends the Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh for repeated protest on the floor of the House for the remaining session. दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हेयरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल लेगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्पररी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में होगी। The Supreme Court stays the ASI survey at the Gyan Vapi for two days. It's also asked the Muslim side to approach the Ilabad High Court in the meantime. A very good evening. You're watching Republic and I'm Deepthi Sachdeva. The story is about a red diary. The story is about a sacked minister. And the story, ladies and gentlemen, is also about the utter chaos right now in Ashok Gehlot's cabinet. And the BJP is sitting and watching. The BJP says, we told you so. There is corruption under Ashok Gehlot's regime. So the question everyone is asking, could this then be the tipping point as Rajasthan is preparing itself for a winter election? Now, even as we are talking of 2023, I just want to rewind to what happened in 2020. In 2020, you would recall, there was this entire crisis in the Rajasthan government. This is where Sachin Pilot, along with what he claims were about 18 to 19 MLAs, flies from Jaipur to Delhi. On the very next day, that is the 13th of July, 2020, the Income Tax Department conducts a raid at the residences and offices of two people. Now, who really are these two people? Their names are Dharmendra Rathor, the other is Rajiv Arora. Both of them very, very, very close to Ashok Gehlo. Now, these searches were done at several locations, not just in Delhi, not just in Mumbai, but also at multiple places that happened in the state of Rajasthan. This includes Kota, this includes Jaipur. The charges were of tax evasion. And during these raids, then Congress leader Rajendra Gouda had taken out a red diary. Now, who really is this man Rajendra Gouda? You might think you haven't heard of this man for the last many, many years. Suddenly, everyone is talking about him. Now, he is the man that we'll uh, put the images of in just a moment out on your screens. But on the left of the screens, you're looking at uh, Gehlot's close aide who was raided. 
Dharmendra Rathod and Rajiv Arora, the two men that I mentioned. And the right is the image that has just come in from earlier today, where this man called Rajendra Gura actually flashes bits of that red diary that you just saw on your screens. Let's also put our images of the man called Rajendra Gura, who today is a sacked Congress MLA also on our screens. Now he talks about this red diary. Three years after the entire incident, this red diary has come back to haunt the Gehlot government. This red diary, now this is what Rajendra Gura is claiming. He says that this has details of irregular financial transactions of the Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, of people connected to him. This mentions the money that changed hands. And all this was done to ensure that Ashok Gehlot was able to save his government in 2020. Now, this sacked minister also goes on to say that this diary was actually written by Gehlot said Dharmendra Rathod and that it has accounts worth about 500 crores in the diary. All these are allegations that are being made by the man called Rajendra Gura. And like I said, whether this is the truth or not, you're looking at a good amount of politics that already has ensued on the entire case. The man every day is almost holding a press conference, flashing that red diary in his hand. He says, I wanted to present this earlier in the assembly. I was not allowed to. All this began when just days ago, he actually goes on to question Ashok Gehlot on the law, law and order situation and the safety of women in Rajasthan when he gets sacked. And since then, he has been launching these full frontal attacks against the sitting chief minister. So how has the politics in the state played out? Just earlier today, I spoke to the former minister and the BJP MP, Rajivardhan Singh Rathor, on why he believes this possibly could be a tipping point in Rajasthan politics. Rajendra Guda and his red diary, what possibly does it contain? That's a question everyone is asking. And so is the former union minister and a BJP MP, Rajavardhan Singh Rathorji, who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Rathorji, thank you so much for speaking to us on Republic. How do you see this story? You know, what, what, what are the legitimate questions today people should be asking? Okay. What does this red diary contain? All right, so let's uh, look at things very factually. Uh, the story is well known that uh, there was an agency which was raiding one of the Congress um, MLAs or ministers or, or no, he's a very important person, uh, uh, supposedly the right-hand man of uh, Gehlot Sahib. Now, when agencies were raiding his house, there was only one person who could sort of break in that curfew, go in and extract this very important do document. And that person was Rajinder Goda. At that point of time, Ashok Gehlot's a blue-eyed boy, he was the one who was chosen and in a very heroic way, he went in and extracted that diary from there. In fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot sahab at, at some one point of time commented, you know, that you should be a Hollywood hero for doing that. Now the same person, obviously, so, so obviously this diary is very important to Gehlot sahab. And we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been for the last four and a half years, there's been massive amounts of corruption. And uh, let this not be, because I am from BJP, this has been stated by their own MLAs who are in Congress. They are the ones who have written letters to the Chief Minister, for example, saying that your, uh, the mafia for mining is your mafia minister himself. Now, we also know that in Rajasthan there has been a record number of paper leaks uh, 16 times. And these paper leaks, apart from destroying lives of about 60 to 70 lakh youth, let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the corruption right now. So this, uh, all these papers that are being leaked out were going to certain academies being run by, obviously, children of certain ministers. So there's a whole scam of in going on in Rajasthan. Thirdly, to maintain the only thing that they've successfully been able to do in Rajasthan is to maintain their chief ministership. And for that, uh, Ashok Gehlot gave a free hand to all his MLAs. They do what you want. Just keep your integrity with me so that the chief ministership is maintained. And so therefore, there was massive amounts of loot and corruption going on in Rajasthan. So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gehlot Saab's uh, ascendancy 
uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. It could also have details of, for example, the money, the one kg of gold and many crores of rupees that was found in the secretariat itself. Obviously, it was meant to go somewhere. Uh, the election campaigns that uh, Rajasthan has been funding uh, from the ill-gotten money, uh, maybe the details are there. Uh, Rajendra Guda, I just heard, also said that in 1992, mm. there was a very, very sorry uh, 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 case wherein about 250 girls of class 11th and 12th were raped over a period of time. Mm. Uh, they were blackmailed into it. Some of them committed suicide. I believe there's a movie coming out on that in which Congress office bearers were involved. Everybody knows that the first reporter who got that story out was killed in the hospital the second time since he didn't die with the first attempt it was congress office bearers i believe some of the office bearers some of those people involved in that mm. are ministers today in uh, rajasthan uh, congress cabinet so obviously this red diary is uh, the bahi khata mm. the the whole record of all the corruption that congress has done सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but log jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow Amid mega ruckus in face of Ahmadi party, Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. In this part, you have bought all the people in this part. What did you give to the government? 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 Red diary controversy explodes. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. कहीं न कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है। मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में और माननीय मुखिया जी में इतनी घबराहट क्यों है? BJP's massive attack on Gelot government over Red Diary asked Gelot to clarify alleged links to Congress headquarters. दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल देगी इसको रोक Thank you for joining us on the biggest story tonight. It's been a story that we at Republic have reported on very extensively. And the survey of the Gyanwapi issue started this morning. A few hours later, it was stalled. We'll tell you all about the Gyanwapi tussle and why a dispute that's run into centuries now is at a critical stage. The survey that was trying to find out scientifically if there was a temple in the Gyanwapi premises has been stalled for now after the Supreme Court intervention. We'll tell you all about why and what happened. Here are the headlines. Parliament is stalled. Some political parties trying to turn Manipur into a political drama now.
Need Manipur solution but not a parliament washout? If everyone's ready for a debate, who doesn't want one? The government claims the opposition is running from and stalling a debate. Amadi Party Sanjay Singh suspended from the monsoon session over ruckus in Parliament. It's the Red Diary controversy that's rocked Rajasthan. What's in the Red Diary is that big question. Sack minister in Rajasthan says the red diary that he's been waving out all through the day today will expose Ashok Gela. Gyanwapi survey stalled. Who's against the scientific truth in this particular case? That's that big question. A top focus this evening on the biggest story tonight, a 30-member Archaeological Survey of India team or an ASI team was halted at a survey site in Gyanwapi Mosque. Just hours after beginning the exercise this morning, following the Supreme Court intervention, it's been stalled. The Varanasi court had earlier ordered the ASI to conduct a survey in Gyanwapi. We'll show you the pictures of Gyanwapi and why it's such a contentious issue. They had ordered the ASI to conduct a survey using technologies like ground penetrating radar and excavations. And if it is necessary, even to determine if a temple existed earlier at the same place, they wanted to find the root cause of it. Now, the mosque is located next to the Vishwanath temple, Kashi Vishwanath temple. Now, the ASI was asked to conduct a ground penetrating radar survey just below the three domes of the building in question and conduct excavation if required. The court had also said that the director of the ASI could conduct a detailed scientific investigation by using GPR survey, excavation dating method and other modern techniques of the present structure to find out whether the same has been constructed over a pre-existing structure of a Hindu temple. That was the that was the sole purpose of this survey. It's now been stalled after the Supreme Court felt today that uh, the Muslim side should get breather, like breathing space to go to the courts and challenge that. Here's the story so far and we have uh, the key people in this story joining us on the show this evening. A team of the Archaeological Survey of India began scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque complex on Monday morning. There were around 40 members including ASI officials. Four Hindu women plaintiff and the councils of the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. However, the Supreme Court stayed the scientific survey by the ASI inside Gyanwapi Mosque premises. The top court ordered status quo on the survey till 5 p.m. on July 26. The order gives the mosque management breathing time to approach the Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court further asked the High Court to hear the mosque management's case against ASI survey before the expiry of the status quo. Today, the Supreme Court has heard the case of the Archaeological Survey of India and the Survey of India. और डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज साहब का जो ऑर्डर है उसमें 26 तारीख तक 5 बजे तक इंट्रीम रोक लगाई है और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट को उनको कहा है अंजुमन इंतजामिया को कि वो इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में एप्लीकेशन मूव करें और उसको सुना जाएगा और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में हम लोग दोबारा बहस करेंगे कि यहां पे इसको स्टे करने का कोई ग्राउंड नहीं बनता the top court asked Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who was representing the Uttar Pradesh government, to inform the ASI team that there should not be any invasive work or excavation at the site. All eyes are now on the Allahabad High Court. But the Supreme Court 
after inquiring from the ASI has just observed that they have spoken to uh, the ASI officials and not a single brick even has been moved. Only videography and photographs have been taken uh, by the ASI officials. So this is what the Supreme Court has observed. Now what uh, the Muslim side was initially expecting that they will ask uh, the Supreme Court to give an interim stay in the matter till the time they could approach the High Court. Bureau Report for Public TV. Okay, joining us on the broadcast this evening uh, are, are Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu Shankar Jain is the advocate for the Hindu side in, in the Gyanwapi case. And let me also uh, introduce uh, Atiku Rahman, who's an Islamic scholar. Let me start with Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu, uh, what, what was the aim? I mean, we've seen, we've, we've covered this issue for several years now. We've seen the tussle. Uh, you've been uh, you've been fighting for it now if you if the idea was to conduct a scientific survey find out scientifically what was there whether there was a, a temple below uh, what is the contention of the other side why are they against a scientific exercise see there was no logic or any submission made before the district court varanasi as to why they are opposed to this scientific survey the pleas which they are taken by the anjuman intizamia before the district court varanasi are a hyper technical pleas but there is no argument on merit that why this survey should not be conducted and the apprehension that if this survey is conducted there will be damage to the structure was already taken care of by the district judge varanasi by writing down in by writing down in the order itself that this entire exercise will be conducted without causing any damage to the structure no so no so, so the point in issue as of now is this that if one side is saying that the western wall of the so called mosque is the ruin of a hindu temple if one side is saying that beneath the central domes there are the shikars of hindu temple if one side is saying that the pillars are of hindu temple if one side is saying that in the vazu tank which you are showing on your screen is not a, a shivlingam it's a it's not a it's not a fountain it's a shivlingam if one side is saying that the that there are many sealed areas in this premises which will go to show and prove that there are many facts which are hidden behind those sealed areas then i must ask a question to myself that how will a party prove its case how will a party prove its case prove its case can it be done by oral evidence can it be done by any other evidence the only method to prove a case of a party before the court is that the court requires expert opinion and therefore the uh, honorable district court varanasi in its wisdom on uh, 12, 21st of july 2023 passed an order directing an asi survey in exercise of powers under order 26 rule 10a of the cpc that with section 45 of the indian evidence act so now the point in issue is this that this survey has to be conducted and today a very very small breathing time has been given by the supreme court and it has been mentioned in the order of the supreme court that this is not any opinion on the merits of the case so the fact of the matter is that within two days the Allahabad high court is going to hear this uh, hear this petition for, which will be filed by the Ajuman in Tazamia and we will argue before the Allahabad high court that there should be no stay on the survey and the survey must proceed so it can so happen that the Ilawal High Court, after hearing us, can pass appropriate order because my submission and my bone of contention is that there is no question of any stay of the ASI survey. ASI survey will help either of the parties to prove their case. Suppose, for example, Anjuman Intazamia has a case that this mosque was built by Oranze. So the, the ASI report will come that whether it was built by Oranze or not. If one side is saying that, no, there was a pre-existing Hindu structure, then what is the fault in that? So the point in issue is this, that if someone is saying that there is something, a fountain or a shivling or western wall is of a Hindu structure, it has to be investigated by a premier agency like ASI. The Supreme Court in Ram Mandir's case in 2021, SCC page 1, para 658 has said that the ASI is capable of doing such an exercise. In Ismail Faruqi case also 1994 Supreme Court in, at para 151 Supreme Court has held that this kind of controversies can be solved by the SI. But Anjuman Intazamiya, I don't know, I don't find any logic or reason that why Anjuman Intazamiya is so much scared of the SI and wrong statements, uh, the order of the Supreme Court passed today has come. It has been uploaded on the yeah. website of the Supreme Court. Wrong statements have been made before the Supreme Court. Let me tell you that the matter uh, that they did not challenge the order of the district before the Supreme Court directly. They mentioned now, some other matter. 
they mentioned some other matter without uh, giving a copy to us and then they then they said that can you can you sir just uh, just 30 seconds yeah, okay, i want okay, to okay, say okay 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 just 30 seconds okay. they are saying that they can't approach the ilabar high court and they came to the supreme court from varanasi ilabad is 100 kilometers from friday till monday they couldn't approach the ilabad high court but they came directly to the supreme court which is which is, so this is very hilarious i wanted to just point it out yeah it perhaps perhaps uh, you know some of the answers to that question also lie in uh, i don't know whether atikur rahman is there with us right now if i can go across to him okay i have lost the line with him but i'll take one more question with you now there was a leaked report of the asi survey right earlier i'm i'm, I'm going to some of the details and the findings and perhaps we can show those uh, you know uh, corresponding pictures as well the report claimed there were uncovered symbols of a trident some of these pictures we've also seen lotus engravings and that's uh, by the way that we're getting in some breaking news that's also the order order of the supreme court that we've just accessed that order has just come into our newsrooms and uh, that's the order i'm putting up on the screen i'm going back to the pictures right now going back to the pictures the uh, of of what uh, the picture showed earlier lotus engravings hindi carvings in the complex located adjacent to the kashi vishwanath temple a uh, pillars found in the basement of the mosque that have engravings of flowers and a kalash a conical structure claims of a shivling you also saw uh symbols that 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 indicated it could have been a shivling perhaps now all of those were symbols that were seen on the walls we have some of those videos i'll show those videos as well now what do these videos indicate and what is your case vishnu shankar if you can just tell us what is your case what do these symbols indicate and why are you so confident in this case very very specific and it is the fact of gyan vyapi the untold fact of gyan vyapi the fact is this that till november 1993 we were worshiping in the premises in question and there was no barricading it is only after november 1993 when mulayam singh yadav was the chief minister of uttar pradesh he installed this barricading which you were just showing and we were thrown and disposed from the property in question the vyas ji parivar the vyas parivar was worshiping in the cellar the taikana bang opposite nandi and, and there were various uh, hindu idols which were placed in the premises in question for example lord hanuman lord ganesh ma shringar gauri what you are showing on your screen yeah. is the original uh, seat of ma shringar gauri on the western side of so called mosque so we were worshiping in the premises in question and in complete violation of places of worship act 1991 in violation of section 3 we were disposed from the property in question and today what we are saying and asking before the court is that see look here we were worshiping in the premises in question please allow us our rights to worship yeah. back all the idols which we were worshiping till november 1993 and we have also asked for title also of the entire property all the seven suits have been consolidated my right to worship the entire premises has been made as the lead suit so we were in the stage of uh, Uh, asking for uh, various experts opinion and therefore court in exercise of its power asked for this particular expert opinion the judgment was delivered on friday at 4:30 they did not challenge this order in the high court on monday rather Vishnu, they approached the supreme court yes can i can i ask uh, atikur uh, that question now atikur you you heard him in detail he's for the last uh, 10 minutes almost explaining in great detail uh, about you know it's it's a scientific exercise that has been conducted you know it's not a claim it's not a wild allegation right there is obviously a survey a scientific survey that in in includes involves and i'm i'm taking our viewers through what uh, the asi was trying to do and what the survey included right ground penetrating radar survey so it's science survey below the three domes of the building excavation was allowed if needed while they were also asked to ensure there is no damage to the existing structure dating method employed study to see basically if a hindu temple lies below right what is the problem with a scientific survey why are some people uh, atik very nervous about this survey it appears that some people some sections are uh, are nervous well nervous you know seems mr jain seems nervous he should have faith on the judiciary the supreme court in its wisdom do you has think, directed do you think i'm nervous stay in a two day this thing i do not understand what is the nervousness on the part of mr jain now mr jain let me let me come to the core issue niranjan the core issue as you said is you the think i'm nervous why the objection to the scientific survey 
what next then after scientific survey they will be again demanding more and more things here the question niranjan is when the supreme court in its ayodhya judgment had relied upon the 1991 places of worship act no further disputes will be entertained this is the secular fabric of the indian nation wherein two major communities hindus and muslims should be allowed to live in peace henceforth that is mentioned in the judgment of the of the babri masjid ayodhya judgment so the the premise of the hindu side that more and more they want to push into this the the original plea niranjan of the ladies were they wanted to pray in the gauri shringar premises had the intizamia committee objected to it okay. no unnecessarily they 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 demanded for a survey but then it's a, a it's a court survey henceforth it's a court that's allowed it i think just checking isn't the it a court that is isn't it a court that is allowed babri masjid we i'm just checking isn't it a court that is allowed this survey course, in the yes, first that's place that's why of course yes then we will have to look into the matter that why is the court going back on its words when it had said that 1991 places of worship act is bound to have a very deep impact on the on the life secular fabric of the nation why to go into history and create any mosity is the court ready to go back to its words no i i i think can go okay but I, if i need to challenge if 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 my understanding of this if my understanding my limited understanding i'm not an expert okay and and i lend with that vishnu and and atik uh my limited understanding is if it was indeed a shivling or a temple right now my understanding is obviously and if hindus prayed there for many many years and one fine day they were asked not to pray until recently as 19 until 1993 as vishnu saying he is asking for that to be restored and i don't see uh, any reason why they are wrong and and assuming and assuming okay just assume for a second that it was it was a shivling then for that to be given respect i think is the basic petition and basic uh, you know ask for the hindu side and i don't uh, know what is so controversial about it but let's see the, let's see where the story goes atik The red diary controversy is exploding. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves a diary on the floor of the assembly. इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा, किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के The sacked minister is making that sensational claim he says the diary has details of money that was given to MLAs Main sadan mein charcha ke liye taiyar hu मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता द गवर्नमेंट सेज वी आर रेडी फॉर अ डिस्कशन ऑन द इशू ऑफ मणिपुर सीनियर मिनिस्टर्स एक्सटेंड एंड ऑलिव ब्रांच बट द लॉक जैम स्टिल कंटिन्यूज इन द पार्लियामेंट वॉट इज शॉकिंग इज द इंसिस्टेंस ऑफ द ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज to not allow facts to come to the fore there is sloganeering there is protest despite the assurances from the government the question everyone is asking who then is trying to block a debate on a sensitive issue the rajya sabha chair suspends the aam aadmi party mp sanjay singh for repeated protest on the floor of the house for the remaining session दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में उसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल देगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्परेरी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में होगी 
The Supreme Court stays the ASI survey at the Gyanwapi for two days. It's also asked the Muslim side to approach the Allahabad High Court in the meantime. A very good evening. You're watching Republic and I'm Deepthi Sachdeva. The story is about a red diary. The story is about a sacked minister. And the story, ladies and gentlemen, is also about the utter chaos right now in Ashok Gehlot's cabinet. And the BJP is sitting and watching. The BJP says, we told you so. There is corruption under Ashok Gehlot's regime. So the question everyone is asking, could this then be the tipping point as Rajasthan is preparing itself for a winter election? Now, even as we are talking of 2023, I just want to rewind to what happened in 2020. In 2020, you would recall, there was this entire crisis in the Rajasthan government. This is where Sachin Pilot, along with what he claims were about 18 to 19 MLAs, flies from Jaipur to Delhi. On the very next day, that is the 13th of July, 2020, the Income Tax Department conducts a raid at the residences and offices of two people. Now, who really are these two people? Their names are Dharmendra Rathor, the other is Rajiv Arora. Both of them very, very, very close to Ashok Gehlot. Now, these searches were done at several locations, not just in Delhi, not just in Mumbai, but also at multiple places that happened in the state of Rajasthan. This includes Kota, this includes Jaipur. The charges were of tax evasion. And during these raids, then Congress leader Rajendra Gouda had taken out a red diary. Now, who really is this man, Rajendra Gouda? You might think you haven't heard of this man for the last many, many years. Suddenly, everyone is talking about him. Now, he is the man that we'll uh, put the images of in just a moment out on your screens. But on the left of the screens, you're looking at uh, Gelot's close aide who was raided. Dharmendra Rathor and Rajiv Arora, the two men that I mentioned. And the right is the image that has just come in from earlier today, where this man called Rajendra Gura actually flashes bits of that red diary that you just saw on your screens. Let's also put our images of the man called Rajendra Gura, who today is a sacked Congress MLA also on our screens. Now he talks about this red diary. Three years after the entire incident, this red diary has come back to haunt the Gehlot government. This red diary, now this is what Rajendra Gouda is claiming. He says that this has details of irregular financial transactions of the Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, of people connected to him. This mentions the money that changed hands and all this was done to ensure that Ashok Gehlot was able to save his government in 2020. Now, this sacked minister also goes on to say that this diary was actually written by Gehlot said Dharmendra Rathor and that it has accounts worth about 500 crores in the diary. All these are allegations that are being made by the man called Rajendra Gouda. And like I said, whether this is the truth or not, you're looking at a good amount of politics that already has ensued on the entire case. The man every day is almost holding a press conference, flashing that red diary in his hand. He says, I wanted to present this earlier in the assembly. I was not allowed to. All this began when just days ago, he actually goes on to question Ashok Gehlot on the law, law and order situation and the safety of women in Rajasthan when he gets sacked. And since then, he has been launching these full frontal attacks against the sitting chief minister. So how has the politics in the state played out? Just earlier today, I spoke to the former minister and the BJP MP, Rajivardhan Singh Rathor, on why he believes this possibly could be a tipping point in Rajasthan politics. Rajendra Gouda and his red diary, what possibly does it contain? That's a question everyone is asking. And so is the former union minister and a BJP MP, Rajavardhan Singh Rathorji, who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Rathorji, thank you so much for speaking to us on Republic. How do you see this story? You know, what, what, what are the legitimate questions today people should be asking? Okay. What does this red diary contain? 
All right, so let's uh, look at things very factually. Uh, the story is well known that uh, there was an agency which was raiding one of the Congress um, MLAs or ministers or, or no, he's a very important person, uh, uh, supposedly the right-hand man of uh, Gehlot Sahib. Now, when agencies were raiding his house, there was only one person who could sort of break in that curfew, go in and extract this very important do document. And that person was Rajender Goda. At that point of time, Ashok Gehlot's a blue-eyed boy, he was the one who was chosen and in a very heroic way, he went in and extracted that diary from there. In fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot sahab at, at some one point of time commented, you know, that you should be a Hollywood hero for doing that. Now the same person, obviously, so, so obviously this diary is very important to Gehlot sahab. And we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been for the last four and a half years, there's been massive amounts of corruption. And uh, let this not be, because I am from BJP, this has been stated by their own MLAs who are in Congress. They are the ones who have written letters to the Chief Minister, for example, saying that your, uh, the mafia for mining is your mafia minister himself. Now, we also know that in Rajasthan there has been a record number of paper leaks uh, 16 times. And these paper leaks, apart from destroying lives of about 60 to 70 lakh youth, let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the corruption right now. So this, uh, all these papers that are being leaked out were going to certain academies being run by, obviously, children of certain ministers. So there's a whole scam of in going on in Rajasthan. Thirdly, to maintain the only thing that they've successfully been able to do in Rajasthan is to maintain their chief ministership. And for that, uh, Ashok Gehlot gave a free hand to all his MLAs. They do what you want. Just keep your integrity with me so that the chief ministership is maintained. And so therefore, there was massive amounts of loot and corruption going on in Rajasthan. So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gehlot Saab's uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. It could also have details of, for example, the money, the one kg of gold and many crores of rupees that was found in the secretariat itself. Obviously, it was meant to go somewhere. Uh, the election campaigns that uh, Rajasthan has been funding uh, from the ill-gotten money, uh, maybe the details are there. Uh, Rajendra Guda, I just heard, also said that in 1992, there was a very, very sorry uh, 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 case wherein about 250 girls of class 11th and 12th were raped over a period of time. Uh, they were blackmailed into it. Some of them committed suicide. I believe there's a movie coming out on that in which Congress office bearers were involved. Everybody knows that the first reporter who got that story out was killed in the hospital the second time since he didn't die with the first attempt. It was Congress office bearers. I believe some of the office bearers, some of those people involved in that mm. are ministers today in uh, Rajasthan uh, Congress cabinet. So obviously this red diary is uh, the bahi khata, mm. the, the whole record of all the corruption that Congress has done. the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. <laughs> King was suspended from Rajya Sabha for the remaining duration of the monsoon session for repeatedly violating the directives of the chair. The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Guda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. गहलोत साहब मो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने में आपके विधानसभा में गुंडा गर्जी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में 
आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Staff Minister Rajin the Gouda prevented from even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state. बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज ए प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग आंसर्स फ्रॉम द गेहलोट गवर्नमेंट ओवर द राइस प्राइम क्रेसिस एंड एट्रोसिटीज अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन राजस्थान Thank you for joining us on the biggest story tonight. It's been a story that we at Republic have reported on very extensively, and the survey of the Gyanwapi issue started this morning. A few hours later, it was stalled. We'll tell you all about the Gyanwapi tussle and why a dispute that's run into centuries now is at a critical stage. The survey. that was trying to find out scientifically if there was a temple in the gyanwapi premises has been stalled for now after the supreme court intervention we'll tell you all about why and what happened here are the headlines parliament is stalled some political party is trying to turn manipur into a political drama now Need Manipur solution, but not a parliament washout. If everyone's ready for a debate, who doesn't want one? The government claims the opposition is running from and stalling a debate. Aam Aadmi Party Sanjay Singh suspended from the monsoon session over ruckus in parliament. It's the red diary controversy that's rocked Rajasthan. What's in the red diary is that big question. Sack minister in Rajasthan says the red diary that he's been waving out all through the day today will expose Ashok Gehlot. Gyanwapi survey stalled. who's against the scientific truth in this particular case that's that big question a top focus this evening on the biggest story tonight a 30 member archaeological survey of india team or an asi team was halted at a survey site in gyanwapi mosque just hours after beginning the exercise this morning following the supreme court intervention it's been stalled the varanasi court had earlier ordered the asi to conduct a survey in gyanwapi we'll show you the pictures of gyanwapi and why it's such a contentious issue they had ordered the asi to conduct a survey using technologies like ground penetrating radar and excavations and if it is necessary even to determine if a temple existed earlier at the same place they wanted to find the root cause of it now the mosque is located next to the vishwanath temple kashi vishwanath temple now the asi was asked to conduct a ground penetrating radar survey just below the three domes of the building in question and conduct excavation if required the court had also said that the director of the asi could conduct a detailed scientific investigation by using gpr survey excavation dating method and other modern techniques of the present structure to find out whether the same has been constructed over a pre-existing structure of a hindu temple 
that was the that was the sole purpose of this survey it's now been stalled after the supreme court felt today that uh, the muslim side should get breather like breathing space to go to the courts and challenge that here's the story so far and we have uh, the key people in this story joining us on the show this evening A team of the Archaeological Survey of India began scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque complex on Monday morning. There were around 40 members including ASI officials. Four Hindu women plaintiff and the councils of the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. Muslim bachche ko hum log abhi road karna isliye hai ki wo satya jante hain warna wo swayam sahe unko to wo baar baar hamare sivlon ko phawara kehte hain hamare mandir ko masjid bolte hain wahi satya to hum log samne lana cha rahe hain to kyun piche hat rahe hain piche hat rahe iska matlab hai ki unke mann mein khot hai wo jaan rahe sachai ko however the supreme court stayed the scientific survey by the asi inside gyanwapi mosque premises The top court ordered status quo on the survey till 5 p.m. on July 26th. The order gives the mosque management breathing time to approach the Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court further asked the High Court to hear the mosque management's case against ASI survey before the expiry of the status quo. Aaj manni Supreme Court ne dono pakshon ko sunne ke baad jo Archaeological Survey of India dwara sarvekshan ho raha hai और डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज साहब का जो ऑर्डर है उसमें 26 तारीख तक 5 बजे तक इंट्रीम रोक लगाई है और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट को उनको कहा है अंजुमन इंतजामिया को कि वो इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में एप्लीकेशन मूव करें और उसको सुना जाएगा और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में हम लोग दोबारा बहस करेंगे कि यहाँ पे इसको स्टे करने का कोई ग्राउंड नहीं बनता द टॉप कोर्ट आर सोलिसिटर जनरल तुषार मेहता हु वॉज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट टू इन्फॉर्म द ए एस आई टीम दैट शुड नॉट बी एनी इन्वेसिव वर्क और एक्सकवेशन एट द साइट All eyes are now on the Allahabad High Court. But the Supreme Court, after inquiring from the ASI, has just observed that they have spoken to uh, the ASI officials, and not a single brick even has been moved. Only videography and photographs have been taken uh, by the ASI officials. So this is what the Supreme Court has observed. Now, what uh, the Muslim side was initially expecting that they will ask uh, the Supreme Court to give. an interim stay in the matter till the time they could approach the high court bureau report republic tv okay joining us on the broadcast this evening uh, our our vishnu shankar jain vishnu shankar jain is the advocate for the hindu side in in the gyanwapi case and let me also uh, introduce uh, atiqur rahman who's an islamic scholar let me start with vishnu shankar jain vishnu Uh, what what was the aim? I mean, we've seen we've we've covered this issue for several years now. We've seen the tussle. Uh, you've been a uh, you've been fighting for it. Now, if you if the idea was to conduct a scientific survey, find out scientifically what was there, whether there was a a temple below, uh, what is the contention of the other side? Why are they against a scientific exercise? See, there was no logic or any submission made before the district court Varanasi. as to why they are opposed to this scientific survey the pleas which they are taken by the anjuman intezamia before the district court varanasi are a hyper technical pleas but there is no argument on merit that why this survey should not be conducted and the apprehension that if this survey is conducted they will be damage to the structure was already taken care of by the district judge varanasi by writing out in by writing down in the order itself that this entire exercise will be conducted without causing any damage to the structure no so no so, so the point in issue as of now is this that if one side is saying that the western wall of the so called mosque is the ruin of a hindu temple if one side is saying that beneath the central domes there are the shikars of hindu temple if one side is saying that the pillars are of hindu temple if one side is saying that in the wazu tank which you are showing on your screen is not a, a shivlingam it's a, it's not a it's not a fountain it's a shivlingam if one side is saying that the that there are many sealed areas in this premises which will go to show and prove that there are many facts which are hidden behind those sealed areas then i must ask a question to myself that how will a party prove its case how will a party prove its case prove its case can it be done by oral evidence can it be done by any other evidence 
द ओनली मेथड टू प्रूव अ केस ऑफ अ पार्टी बिफोर द कोर्ट इज दैट द कोर्ट रिक्वायर्स एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन एंड देयर फॉर द ऑनरेबल डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट वाराणसी इन इट्स विजडम on uh, 21st of july 2023 passed an order directing an asi survey in exercise of powers under order 26 rule 10a of the cpc read with section 45 of the indian evidence act so now the point in issue is this that this survey has to be conducted and today a very very small breathing time has been given by the supreme court and it has been mentioned in the order of the supreme court that this is not any opinion on the merits of the case so the fact of the matter is that within two days the ilabad high court is going to hear this uh, hear this petition for, which will be filed by the adjuman intezamia and we will argue before the ilabad high court that there should be no stay on the survey and the survey must proceed so it can so happen that the ilawal high court after hearing us can pass appropriate order because my submission and my bone of contention is that there is no question of any stay of the asi survey asi survey will help either of the parties to prove their case suppose for example anjuman intezamia has a case that this mosque was built by aurangzeb so the, the asi report will come that whether it was built by aurangzeb or not if one side is saying that no there was a pre existing hindu structure then what is the fault in that so the point in issue is this that if someone is saying that there is something of fountain or a shivling or western wall is of a hindu structure it has to be investigated by a premier agency like asi the supreme court in ram mandir's case in 2021 scc page 1 para 658 has said that the asi is capable of doing such an exercise in ismail faruqi case also 1994 supreme court in at para 151 supreme court has held that this kind of controversies can be solved by the asi but anjuman intezamia i don't know i don't find any logic or reason that why anjuman intezamia is so much scared of the asi and wrong statements uh, the order of the supreme court passed today has come it has been uploaded on the yeah. website of the supreme court wrong statements have been made before the supreme court let me tell you that the matter uh, that they did not challenge the order of the district judge before the supreme court directly they mentioned Now, some other matter they mentioned some other matter without uh, giving a copy to us and then they then they said that can you can you sir, just uh, just 30 seconds yeah, okay, i want okay, to okay, say okay 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 just 30 seconds okay. they are saying that they can't approach the ilabar high court and they came to the supreme court from varanasi ilabad is 100 kilometers from friday till monday they couldn't approach the ilabad high court but they came directly to the supreme court which is which is, so this is very hilarious i wanted to just point it out yeah it perhaps perhaps uh, you know some of the answers to that question also lie in uh, i don't know whether atikur rehman is there with us right now if i can go across to him okay I, i've lost the line with him but i'll take one more question with you now there was a leaked report of the asi survey right earlier i'm 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 going to some of the details and the findings and perhaps we can show those uh, you know uh, corresponding pictures as well the report claimed there were uncovered symbols of a trident some of these pictures we've also seen lotus engravings and that's uh, by the way that we're getting in some breaking news that's also the order order of the supreme court that we've just accessed that order has just come into our newsrooms and uh, that's the order i'm putting up on the screen i'm going back to the pictures right now going back to the pictures the uh, of of what uh, the picture showed earlier lotus engravings hindi carvings in the complex located adjacent to the kashi vishwanath temple uh, pillars found in the basement of the mosque that have engravings of flowers and a kalash a conical structure claims of a shivling you also saw uh, symbols that 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 indicated it could have been a shivling perhaps now all of those were symbols that were seen on the walls we have some of those videos i'll show those videos as well now what do these videos indicate and what is your case vishnu shankar if you can just tell us what is your case what do these symbols indicate and why are you so confident in this case very very specific and it is the fact of gyan vyapi the untold fact of gyan vyapi the fact is this that till november 1993 we were worshiping in the premises in question and there was no barricading it is only after november 1993 when mulayam singh yadav was the chief minister of uttar pradesh he installed this barricading which you were just showing and we were thrown and disposed from the property in question the vyas ji parivar the vyas parivar was worshiping in the cellar the tehkana bank opposite nandi 
and, and there were various uh, Hindu idols which were placed in the premises in question. For example, Lord Hanuman, Lord Ganesh, Ma Shingar Gauri. What you are showing on your screen is yeah. the original uh, seat of Ma Shingar Gauri on the western side of so-called mosque. So we were worshipping in the premises in question and in complete violation of places of worship act. 1991 in violation of section 3 we were dispossessed from the property in question and today what we are saying and asking before the court is that see look here we were worshipping in the premises in question please allow us our rights to worship yeah. back all the idols which we were worshipping till November 1993 and we have also asked for title also of the entire property all the seven suits have been consolidated my right to worship the entire premises has been made as the lead suit so we were in the stage of uh, uh, asking for uh, various experts' opinion and therefore court in exercise of its power asked for this particular expert opinion. The judgment was delivered on Friday at 4.30. They did not challenge this order in the High Court on Monday, rather Vishnu. they approached the Supreme Court. Yes. Can I, can I ask uh, Atikur uh, that question? Now, Atikur, you, you heard him in detail. He's for the last uh, 10 minutes almost explaining in great detail uh, about, you know, it's, it's a scientific exercise that has been conducted. You know, it's not a claim. It's not a wild allegation. Right, there is obviously a survey, a scientific survey that in, in includes, involves, and I'm I'm taking our viewers through what uh, the ASI was trying to do and what the survey included. Right, ground penetrating radar survey. So it's science. Survey below the three domes of the building. Excavation was allowed if needed. While they were also asked to ensure there is no damage to the existing structure. Dating method employed, study to see basically if a Hindu temple lies below, right? What is the problem with a scientific survey? Why are some people, uh, Atik, very nervous about this survey? It appears that some people, some sections are, uh, are nervous. Well, nervous, you know, seems, Mr. Jain seems nervous. He should have faith on the judiciary. The Supreme Court, in its wisdom, do you has think, directed do you it think I'm for nervous? a stay in a two-day this thing. I do not understand what is the nervousness on the part of Mr. Jain. Now, Mr. Jain, let me let me come to the core issue, Niranjan. The core issue, as you said, is you the widely objection to the scientific survey. What next then? After scientific survey, they will be again demanding more and more things. Here, the question, Niranjan, is. When the Supreme Court in its Ayodhya judgment had relied upon the 1991 Places of Worship Act, no further disputes will be entertained. This is the secular fabric of the Indian nation wherein two major communities, Hindus and Muslims, should be allowed to live in peace henceforth. That is mentioned in the judgment of the, of the Babri Masjid Ayodhya judgment. So, the, the premise of the Hindu side that more and more they want to push into this, the, the original plea, Niranjan, of the ladies were they wanted to pray in the Gauri Sringar premises. Had the Intizamiya committee objected to it? Okay. No. Unnecessarily, they, they, they demanded for a survey. But it's a, a, it's a court. Survey. Henceforth, it's a court that's allowed it. Survey, I think just checking, isn't it a court that is, isn't it a court that is allowed? I'm just checking, isn't it a court that is allowed this survey course, in the yes, first that's place? Why. Of course, yes. Then we will have to look into the matter that why is the court going back on its words when it had said that 1991 Places of Worship Act is bound to have a very deep impact on the, on the life secular fabric of the nation. Why to go into history and create animosity? Is the court ready to go back to its words? No, I, I, I think... Can go. Okay, but I, if I'm not, if, if, if my understanding of the situation... If my understanding, my limited understanding, I'm not an expert. Okay, and, and I'll end with that, Vishnu and, and Atik. Uh, my limited understanding is if it was indeed a shivling or a temple, right? Now, my understanding is obviously, and if Hindus prayed there for many, many years, and one fine day they were asked not to pray until recently, as 90, until 1993, as Vishnu is saying, he's asking for that to be restored, and I don't see uh, any reason why they are wrong. And, and assuming, and assuming, okay, just assume for a second that it was, it was a shivling. Then, for that to be given respect, I think is the basic petition and basic 
you know, ask for the Hindu side, and I don't uh, know what is so controversial about it. But let's see the let's see where the story goes, Atik. The Red Diary controversy is exploding. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves a diary on the floor of the assembly. This part ke andar aapke sare kaale karna mein jo logon ne aapne vidhayakon ko kharida kis kis MLA ko Rajya Sabha mein आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के द सैक्ट मिनिस्टर इज मेकिंग दैट सेंसेशनल क्लेम ही सेज द डायरी हैज डिटेल्स ऑफ मनी दैट वाज गिवन टू एमएलए मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता द गवर्नमेंट सेज वी आर रेडी फॉर अ डिस्कशन ऑन द इशू ऑफ मणिपुर सीनियर मिनिस्टर्स एक्सटेंड एंड ऑल एव ब्रांच बट द लॉन्ग जैम स्टिल कंटिन्यूज इन द पार्लियामेंट वॉट इज शॉकिंग इज द इंसिस्टेंस ऑफ द ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज to not allow facts to come to the fore there is sloganeering there is protest despite the assurances from the government the question everyone is asking who then is trying to block a debate on a sensitive issue the rajya sabha chair suspends the aam aadmi party mp sanjay singh for repeated protest on the floor of the house for the remaining session दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट ये कॉल देगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्परेरी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट में होगी द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेज द एस आई सर्वे एट द ज्ञान वापी फॉर टू डेज इट्स ऑल्सो आज द मुस्लिम साइट टू अप्रोच द इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट इन द मेन टाइम A very good evening. You're watching Republic, and I'm Deepthi Sachdeva. The story is about a red diary. The story is about a sacked minister, and the story, ladies and gentlemen, is also about the utter chaos right now in Ashok Gehlot's cabinet. And the BJP is sitting and watching. The BJP says, "We told you so. There is corruption under Ashok Gehlot's regime." So the question everyone is asking. could this then be the tipping point as rajasthan is preparing itself for a winter election now even as we are talking of 2023 i just want to rewind to what happened in 2020 in 2020 you would recall there was this entire crisis in the rajasthan government this is where sachin pilot along with what he claims were about 18 to 19 mlas flies from jaipur to delhi On the very next day that is the 13th of July 2020 the income tax department conducts a raid at the residences and offices of two people now who really are these two people their names are dharmendra rathod the other is rajiv arora both of them very 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 close to ashok gehlot now these searches were done at several locations not just in delhi not just in mumbai but also at multiple places that happened in the state of Rajasthan this includes Kota this includes Jaipur the charges were of tax evasion and during these raids then congress leader rajendra guda had taken out a red diary now who really is this man rajendra guda you might think you haven't heard of this man for the last many many years suddenly everyone is talking about him now he is the man that we'll uh, put the images of in just a moment out on your screens but on the left of the screens you're looking at uh, gelot's closet who was raided 
Dharmendra Rathod and Rajiv Arora, the two men that I mentioned. And the right is the image that has just come in from earlier today, where this man called Rajendra Gura actually flashes bits of that red diary that you just saw on your screens. Let's also put our images of the man called Rajendra Gura, who today is a sacked Congress MLA also on our screens. Now he talks about this red diary. Three years after the entire incident, this red diary has come back to haunt the Gehlot government. This red diary, now this is what Rajendra Gouda is claiming. He says that this has details of irregular financial transactions of the Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, of people connected to him. This mentions the money that changed hands and all this was done to ensure that Ashok Gehlot was able to save his government in 2020. Now, this sacked minister also goes on to say that this diary was actually written by Gehlot said Dharmendra Rathod and that it has accounts worth about 500 crores in the diary. All these are allegations that are being made by the man called Rajendra Gouda. And like I said, whether this is the truth or not, you're looking at a good amount of politics that already has ensued on the entire case. The man every day is almost holding a press conference, flashing that red diary in his hand. He says, I wanted to present this earlier in the assembly. I was not allowed to. All this began when just days ago, he actually goes on to question Ashok Gehlot on the law, law and order situation and the safety of women in Rajasthan when he gets sacked. And since then, he has been launching these full frontal attacks against the sitting chief minister. So how has the politics in the state played out? Just earlier today, I spoke to the former minister and the BJP MP, Rajivardhan Singh Rathod, on why he believes this possibly could be a tipping point in Rajasthan politics. Rajendra Gouda and his red diary, what possibly does it contain? That's a question everyone is asking. And so is the former union minister and a BJP MP, Rajavardhan Singh Rathorji, who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Rathorji, thank you so much for speaking to us on Republic. How do you see this story? You know, what, what, what are the legitimate questions today people should be asking? Okay. What does this red diary contain? All right, so let's uh, look at things very factually. Uh, the story is well known that uh, there was an agency which was raiding one of the Congress um, MLAs or ministers or, or no, he's a very important person, uh, uh, supposedly the right-hand man of uh, Gehlot Sahib. Now, when agencies were raiding his house, there was only one person who could sort of break in that curfew, go in and extract this very important do document. And that person was Rajinder Goda. At that point of time, Ashok Gehlot's a blue-eyed boy, he was the one who was chosen and in a very heroic way, he went in and extracted that diary from there. In fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot sahab at, at some one point of time commented, you know, that you should be a Hollywood hero for doing that. Now the same person, obviously, so, so obviously this diary is very important to Gehlot sahab. And we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been for the last four and a half years, there's been massive amounts of corruption. And uh, let this not be, because I'm from BJP, this has been stated by their own MLAs who are in Congress. They are the ones who have written letters to the Chief Minister, for example, saying that your, uh, the mafia for mining is your mafia minister himself. Now, we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been a record number of paper leaks uh, 16 times. And these paper leaks, apart from destroying lives of about 60 to 70 lakh youth, let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the corruption right now. So this, uh, all these papers that are being leaked out were going to certain academies being run by, obviously, children of certain ministers. So there's a whole scam of in going on in Rajasthan. Thirdly, to maintain the only thing that they have successfully been able to do in Rajasthan is to maintain their chief ministership. And for that, uh, Ashok Gehlot gave a free hand to all his MLAs. They do what you want. Just keep your integrity with me so that the chief ministership is maintained. And so therefore, there was massive amounts of loot and corruption going on in Rajasthan. So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gelot Saab's uh, ascendancy 
uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. It could also have details of, for example, the money, the one kg of gold and many crores of rupees that was found in the secretariat itself. Obviously, it was meant to go somewhere. Uh, the election campaigns that Rajasthan has been funding uh, from the ill-gotten money, uh, maybe the details are there. Uh, Rajendra Gutta, I just heard, also said that in 1992, mm. there was a very, very sorry uh, 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 case wherein about 250 girls of class 11th and 12th were raped over a period of time. Uh, mm. They were blackmailed into it. Some of them committed suicide. I believe there's a movie coming out on that in which Congress office bearers were involved. Everybody knows that the first reporter who got that story out was killed in the hospital the second time since he didn't die with the first attempt. It was Congress office bearers. I believe some of the office bearers, some of those people involved in that mm. are ministers today in uh, Rajasthan uh, Congress cabinet. So obviously this red diary is uh, the bahi khata, mm. the, the whole record of all the corruption that Congress has done. सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but log jam continues in both houses adjourn till tomorrow Amid mega ruckus in face of Ahmadi party, Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. This part of the country, you have all the people who have bought you in the city, who have given you the people who have given you the people, 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 Red diary controversy explodes, sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. कहीं न कहीं दाल में कुछ लाल है कि नहीं काला जरूर है। मैं अशोक गहलोत साहब से पूछना चाहता हूं कि वो लाल डायरी क्या है और उस लाल डायरी को लेकर के सरकार में और मान्य मुखिया जी में इतनी घबराहट क्यों है? BJP's massive attack on Gelot government over Red Diary asked Gelot to clarify alleged links to Congress headquarters. Two days in the Allahabad High Court is going to hearing again and in two days in the Allahabad High Court will call again. This is the case. Thank you for joining us on the biggest story tonight. It's been a story that we at Republic have reported on very extensively. And the survey of the Gyanwapi issue started this morning. A few hours later, it was stalled. We'll tell you all about the Gyanwapi tussle and why a dispute that's run into centuries now is at a critical stage. The survey that was trying to find out scientifically if there was a temple in the Gyanwapi premises has been stalled for now after the Supreme Court intervention. We'll tell you all about why and what happened. Here are the headlines. Parliament is stalled. Some political parties trying to turn Manipur into a political drama now.
Need Manipur solution but not a parliament washout? If everyone's ready for a debate, who doesn't want one? The government claims the opposition is running from and stalling a debate. Amadi Party Sanjay Singh suspended from the monsoon session over ruckus in Parliament. It's the Red Diary controversy that's rocked Rajasthan. What's in the Red Diary is that big question. Sack Minister in Rajasthan says the Red Diary that he's been waving out all through the day today will expose Ashok Gehla. Gyanwapi survey stalled. Who's against the scientific truth in this particular case? That's that big question. A top focus this evening on the biggest story tonight. A 30-member Archaeological Survey of India team or an ASI team was halted at a survey site in Gyanwapi Mosque. Just hours after beginning the exercise this morning, following the Supreme Court intervention, it's been stalled. The Varanasi court had earlier ordered the ASI to conduct a survey in Gyanwapi. We'll show you the pictures of Gyanwapi and why it's such a contentious issue. They had ordered the ASI to conduct a survey using technologies like ground penetrating radar and excavations. And if it is necessary, even to determine if a temple existed earlier at the same place, they wanted to find the root cause of it. Now, the mosque is located next to the Vishwanath temple, Kashi Vishwanath temple. Now, the ASI was asked to conduct a ground penetrating radar survey just below the three domes of the building in question and conduct excavation if required. The court had also said that the director of the ASI could conduct a detailed scientific investigation by using GPR survey, excavation dating method and other modern techniques of the present structure to find out whether the same has been constructed over a pre-existing structure of a Hindu temple. That was the that was the sole purpose of this survey. It's now been stalled after the Supreme Court felt today that uh, the Muslim side should get breather, like breathing space to go to the courts and challenge that. Here's the story so far and we have uh, the key people in this story joining us on the show this evening. A team of the Archaeological Survey of India began scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque complex on Monday morning. There were around 40 members including ASI officials. Four Hindu women plaintiff and the councils of the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. Muslim बच्चे को हम लोग का विरोध करना इसलिए है कि वो सत्य जानते हैं वरना वो स्वयं सह उनको तो वो बार बार हमारे शिवलिंग को फुहारा कहते हैं हमारे मंदिर को मस्जिद बोलते हैं वही सत्य तो हम लोग सामने लाना चाह रहे हैं तो क्यों पीछे हट रहे हैं पीछे हट रहे इसका मतलब है कि उनके मन में कोट है वो जान रहे सच्चाई However, the Supreme Court stayed the scientific survey by the ASI inside Gyanwapi Mosque premises. The top court ordered status quo on the survey till 5 p.m. on July 26th. The order gives the mosque management breathing time to approach the Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court further asked the High Court to hear the mosque management's case against ASI survey before the expiry of the status quo. आज माननीय सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने दोनों पक्षों को सुनने के बाद जो आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया द्वारा सर्वेक्षण हो रहा है और डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज साहब का जो ऑर्डर है उसमें 26 तारीख तक 5 बजे तक इंट्रीम रोक लगाई है और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट को उनको कहा है अंजुमन इंतजामिया को कि वो इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में एप्लीकेशन मूव करें और उसको सुना जाएगा और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में हम लोग दोबारा बहस करेंगे कि यहां पे इसको स्टे करने का कोई ग्राउंड नहीं बनता the top court asked Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who was representing the Uttar Pradesh government, to inform the ASI team that there should not be any invasive work or excavation at the site. All eyes are now on the Allahabad High Court.
threatened by the Supreme Court after inquiring from the ASI has just observed that they have spoken to uh, the ASI officials and not a single brick even has been moved. Only videography and uh, photographs uh, have been taken uh, by the ASI officials. Uh, so this is what the Supreme Court has observed. Now what uh, uh, the Muslim side was initially expecting that they will ask uh, uh, the Supreme Court to give uh, an interim stay in the matter till the time they could approach the High Court. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Okay, joining us on the broadcast this evening uh, are, are Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu Shankar Jain is the advocate for the Hindu side in, in the Gyanwapi case. And let me also uh, introduce uh, Atiko Rahman, who's an Islamic scholar. Let me start with Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu, uh, what, what was the aim? I mean, we've seen, we've, we've covered this issue for several years now. We've seen the tussle. Uh, you've been uh, you've been fighting for it now if you if the idea was to conduct a scientific survey find out scientifically what was there whether there was a, a temple below uh, what is the contention of the other side why are they against a scientific exercise see there was no logic or any submission made before the district court varanasi as to why they are opposed to this scientific survey the pleas which they are taken by the anjuman intezamia before the district court varanasi are a hyper technical pleas but there is no argument on merit that why this survey should not be conducted and the apprehension that if this survey is conducted they will be damaged to the structure was already taken care of by the district judge varanasi by writing out in by writing down in the order itself that this entire exercise will be conducted without causing any damage to the structure no so no so, so the point in issue as of now is this that if one side is saying that the western wall of the so called mosque is the ruin of a hindu temple if one side is saying that beneath the central domes there are the shikars of hindu temple if one side is saying that the pillars are of hindu temple if one side is saying that in the wazu tank which you are showing on your screen is not a, a shivlingam it's a it's not a it's not a fountain it's a shivlingam if one side is saying that the that there are many sealed areas in this premises which will go to show and prove that there are many facts which are hidden behind those sealed areas then i must ask a question to myself that how will a party prove its case how will a party prove its case prove its case can it be done by oral evidence can it be done by any other evidence the only method to prove a case of a party before the court is that the court requires expert opinion and therefore the uh, honorable district court varanasi in its wisdom on uh, 12, 21st of july 2023 passed an order directing an asi survey in exercise of powers under order 26 rule 10a of the cpc read with section 45 of the indian evidence act so now the point in issue is this that this survey has to be conducted and today a very very small breathing time has been given by the supreme court and it has been mentioned in the order of the supreme court that this is not any opinion on the merits of the case so the fact of the matter is that within two days the Allahabad High Court is going to hear this uh, hear this petition for, which will be filed by the Ajuman Intazamiya and we will argue before the Allahabad High Court that there should be no stay on the survey and the survey must proceed so it can so happen that the Ilawal High Court, after hearing us, can pass appropriate order because my submission and my bone of contention is that there is no question of any stay of the ASI survey. ASI survey will help either of the parties to prove their case. Suppose, for example, Anjuman Intazamiya has a case that this mosque was built by Aurangzeb. So the, the ASI report will come that whether it was built by Aurangzeb or not, if one side is saying that no, there was a pre-existing Hindu structure, then what is the fault in that? So the point in issue is this, that if someone is saying that there is something of fountain or a shivling or western wall is of a Hindu structure, it has to be investigated by a premier agency like ASI. The Supreme Court in Ram Mandir's case in 2021, SCC page 1, para 658 has said that the ASI is capable of doing such an exercise. In Ismail Faruqi case also 1994 Supreme Court, in, at para 151 Supreme Court has held that this kind of controversies can be solved by the ASI. But Anjuman Intazamiya, I don't know, I don't find any logic or reason that why Anjuman Intazamiya is so much scared of the ASI and wrong statements, uh, the order of the Supreme Court passed today has come. It has been uploaded on the yeah. website of the Supreme Court. Wrong statements have been made before the Supreme Court. Let me tell you that the matter uh, that they did not challenge the order of the district before the Supreme Court directly. They mentioned now, some other matter. 
they mentioned some other matter without uh, giving a copy to us and then they then they said that can you can you sir, just uh, just 30 seconds yeah, more okay, i want okay, to okay say, okay okay just 30 seconds okay. they are saying that they can't approach the ilabad high court and they came to the supreme court from varanasi ilabad is 100 kilometers from friday till monday they couldn't approach the ilabad high court but they came directly to the supreme court which is which is, so this is very hilarious i wanted to just point it out yeah, it perhaps, perhaps uh, you know, some of the answers to that question also lie in. Uh, I don't know whether Atikur Rahman is there with us right now. If I can go across to him, okay. I, I've lost the line with him, but I'll take one more question with you. Now there was a leaked report of the ASI survey, right? Earlier, I'm, I'm, I'm going through some of the details and the findings, and perhaps we can show those, uh, you know, uh, corresponding pictures as well. The report claimed there were uncovered symbols of a trident. Some of these pictures we've also seen. Lotus engravings and that's uh, by the way that we're getting in some breaking news that's also the order order of the Supreme Court that we've just accessed that order has just come into our newsrooms and uh, that's the order I'm putting up on the screen I'm going back to the pictures right now going back to the pictures the uh, of, of what uh, the picture showed earlier Lotus engravings Hindi carvings in the complex located adjacent to the Kashi Vishwanath temple uh, pillars found in the basement of the mosque that have engravings of flowers and a kalash a conical structure, claims of a shivling. You also saw uh, symbols that, 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 that indicated it could have been a shivling, perhaps. Now, all of those were symbols that were seen on the walls. We have some of those videos. I'll show those videos as well. Now, what do these videos indicate? And what is your case, Vishnu Shankar? If you can just tell us what is your case, what do these symbols indicate? And why are you so confident in this case? very very specific and it is the fact of gyan Gapi, the untold fact of gyan Gapi. the fact is this that till november 1993 we were worshipping in the premises in question and there was no barricading it is only after november 1993 when mulayam singh yadav was the chief minister of uttar pradesh he installed this barricading which you were just showing and we were thrown and dispossessed from the property in question. The Vyasji Parivar, the Vyas Parivar was worshipping in the cellar, the Taikana, bang opposite Nandi. And, and there were various uh, Hindu idols which were placed in the premises in question. For example, Lord Hanuman, Lord Ganesh, Ma Shingar Gauri, what you are showing on your screen is yeah. the original uh, seat of Ma Shingar Gauri on the western side of so-called mosque. So we were worshipping in the premises in question and in complete violation of places of worship act 1991 in violation of section 3 we were dispossessed from the property in question and today what we are saying and asking before the court is that see look here we were worshiping in the premises in question please allow us our rights to worship yeah. back all the idols which we were worshiping till november 1993 and we have also asked for title also of the entire property all the seven suits have been consolidated my right to worship the entire premises has been made as the lead suit so we were in the stage of uh, uh, asking for uh, various experts' opinion and therefore court in exercise of its power asked for this particular expert opinion. The judgment was delivered on Friday at 4.30. They did not challenge this order in the High Court on Monday, rather Vishnu. they approached the Supreme Court. Yes. Can I, can I ask uh, Atikur uh, that question? Now, Atikur, you, you heard him in detail. He's for the last uh, 10 minutes almost explaining in great detail uh, about, you know, it's, it's a scientific exercise that has been conducted. You know, it's not a claim. It's not a wild allegation. Right, there is obviously a survey, a scientific survey that in, in includes, involves, and I'm I'm taking our viewers through what uh, the ASI was trying to do and what the survey included. Right, ground penetrating radar survey. So it's science. Survey below the three domes of the building. Excavation was allowed if needed. While they were also asked to ensure there is no damage to the existing structure. Dating method employed, study to see basically if a Hindu temple lies below, right? What is the problem with a scientific survey? Why are some people, uh, Atik, very nervous about this survey? It appears that some people, some sections are, uh, are nervous. Well, nervous, you know, seems, Mr. Jain seems nervous. He should have faith on the judiciary. The Supreme Court, in its wisdom, do you has think, directed do you it think I'm for nervous? a stay in a two-day this thing. I do not understand what is the nervousness on the part of Mr. Jain. Now, Mr. Jain, let me let me come to the core issue, Niranjan. The core issue, as you said, is you the widely nervous? objection to the scientific survey. 
what next then after scientific survey they will be again demanding more and more things here the question niranjan is when the supreme court in its ayodhya judgment had relied upon the 1991 places of worship act no further disputes will be entertained this is the secular fabric of the indian nation wherein two major communities hindus and muslims should be allowed to live in peace henceforth that is mentioned in the judgment of the of the babri masjid ayodhya judgment so the the premise of the hindu side that more and more they want to push into this the the original plea niranjan of the ladies were they wanted to pray in the gauri shringar premises had the intizamia committee objected to it okay. no unnecessarily they 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 demanded for a survey but it's a, a it's a court survey henceforth it's a court that's allowed it i think just checking isn't it a court that is isn't it a court that is allowed babri masjid way i'm just checking isn't it a court that is allowed this survey course, in the yes, first place of course yes that's why of course yes then we will have to look into the matter that why is the court going back on its words when it had said that 1991 places of worship act is bound to have a very deep impact on the on the life secular fabric of the nation why to go into history and create animosity is the court ready to go back to its words no i i i think can go. okay But i if i'm not, if, if if my understanding of the if my understanding my limited understanding i'm not an expert okay and and i'll end with that vishnu and and atik uh my limited understanding is if it was indeed a shivling or a temple right now my understanding is obviously and if hindus prayed there for many many years and one fine day they were asked not to pray until recently as 19 until 1993 as vishnu is saying he is asking for that to be restored and i don't see uh, any reason why they are wrong and and assuming and assuming okay just assume for a second that it was it was a shivling then for that to be given respect i think is the basic petition and basic uh, you know ask for the hindu side and i don't uh, know what is so controversial about it but let's see the let's see where the story goes atik The red diary controversy is exploding. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves a diary on the floor of the assembly. इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा, किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के The sacked minister is making that sensational claim he says the diary has details of money that was given to MLAs. मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says we are ready for a discussion on the issue of Manipur senior ministers extend an olive branch but the log jam still continues in the parliament. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore. there is sloganeering there is protest despite the assurances from the government the question everyone is asking who then is trying to block a debate on a sensitive issue the rajya sabha chair suspends the aam aadmi party mp sanjay singh for repeated protest on the floor of the house for the remaining session दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल देगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्परेरी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में होगी 
The Supreme Court stays the ASI survey at the Gyanwapi for two days. It's also asked the Muslim side to approach the Allahabad High Court in the meantime. A very good evening. You're watching Republic and I'm Deepti Sachdeva. The story is about a red diary. The story is about a sacked minister. And the story, ladies and gentlemen, is also about the utter chaos right now in Ashok Gehlot's cabinet. And the BJP is sitting and watching. The BJP says, we told you so. There is corruption under Ashok Gehlot's regime. So the question everyone is asking, could this then be the tipping point as Rajasthan is preparing itself for a winter election? Now, even as we are talking of 2023, I just want to rewind to what happened in 2020. In 2020, you would recall, there was this entire crisis in the Rajasthan government. This is where Sachin Pilot, along with what he claims were about 18 to 19 MLAs, flies from Jaipur to Delhi. On the very next day, that is the 13th of July, 2020, the Income Tax Department conducts a raid at the residences and offices of two people. Now, who really are these two people? Their names are Dharmendra Rathod, the other is Rajiv Arora. Both of them very, very, very close to Ashok Gehlot. Now, these searches were done at several locations, not just in Delhi, not just in Mumbai, but also at multiple places that happened in the state of Rajasthan. This includes Kota, this includes Jaipur. The charges were of tax evasion. And during these raids, then Congress leader Rajendra Gouda had taken out a red diary. Now, who really is this man, Rajendra Gouda? You might think you haven't heard of this man for the last many, many years. Suddenly, everyone is talking about him. Now, he is the man that we'll uh, put the images of in just a moment out on your screens. But on the left of the screens, you're looking at uh, Gelot's close aide who was raided. Dharmendra Rathod and Rajiv Arora, the two men that I mentioned. And the right is the image that has just come in from earlier today, where this man called Rajendra Gura actually flashes bits of that red diary that you just saw on your screens. Let's also put our images of the man called Rajendra Gura, who today is a sacked Congress MLA also on our screens. Now he talks about this red diary. Three years after the entire incident, this red diary has come back to haunt the Gehlot government. This red diary, now this is what Rajendra Gouda is claiming. He says that this has details of irregular financial transactions of the Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, of people connected to him. This mentions the money that changed hands and all this was done to ensure that Ashok Gehlot was able to save his government in 2020. Now, this sacked minister also goes on to say that this diary was actually written by Gehlot said Dharmendra Rathod and that it has accounts worth about 500 crores in the diary. All these are allegations that are being made by the man called Rajendra Gouda. And like I said, whether this is the truth or not, you're looking at a good amount of politics that already has ensued on the entire case. The man every day is almost holding a press conference, flashing that red diary in his hand. He says, I wanted to present this earlier in the assembly. I was not allowed to. All this began when just days ago, he actually goes on to question Ashok Gehlot on the law, law and order situation and the safety of women in Rajasthan when he gets sacked. And since then, he has been launching these full frontal attacks against the sitting chief minister. So how has the politics in the state played out? Just earlier today, I spoke to the former minister and the BJP MP, Rajivardhan Singh Rathod, on why he believes this possibly could be a tipping point in Rajasthan politics. Rajendra Gouda and his red diary, what possibly does it contain? That's a question everyone is asking. And so is the former union minister and a BJP MP, Rajavardhan Singh Rathorji, who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Rathorji, thank you so much for speaking to us on Republic. How do you see this story? You know, what, what, what are the legitimate questions today people should be asking? Okay. What does this red diary contain? 
All right, so let's uh, look at things very factually. Uh, the story is well known that uh, there was an agency which was raiding one of the Congress um, MLAs or ministers or, or no, he's a very important person, uh, supposedly the right-hand man of uh, Gehlot Sahib. Now, when agencies were raiding his house, there was only one person who could sort of break in that curfew, go in and extract this very important do document. And that person was Rajinder Goda. At that point of time, Ashok Gehlot's a blue-eyed boy, he was the one who was chosen and in a very heroic way, he went in and extracted that diary from there. In fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot sahab at, at some one point of time commented, you know, that you should be a Hollywood hero for doing that. Now the same person, obviously, so, so obviously this diary is very important to Gehlot sahab. And we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been for the last four and a half years, there's been massive amounts of corruption. And uh, let this not be, because I'm from BJP, this has been stated by their own MLAs who are in Congress. They are the ones who have written letters to the Chief Minister, for example, saying that your, uh, the mafia for mining is your mafia minister himself. Now, we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been a record number of paper leaks uh, 16 times. And these paper leaks, apart from destroying lives of about 60 to 70 lakh youth, let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the corruption right now. So this, uh, all these papers that are being leaked out were going to certain academies being run by, obviously, children of certain ministers. So there's a whole scam of in going on in Rajasthan. Thirdly, to maintain the only thing that they have successfully been able to do in Rajasthan is to maintain their chief ministership. And for that, uh, Ashok Gehlot gave a free hand to all his MLAs. They do what you want. Just keep your integrity with me so that the chief ministership is maintained. And so therefore, there was massive amounts of loot and corruption going on in Rajasthan. So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gehlot Saab's uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. It could also have details of, for example, the money, the one kg of gold and many crores of rupees that was found in the secretariat itself. Obviously, it was meant to go somewhere. Uh, the election campaigns that uh, Rajasthan has been funding uh, from the ill-gotten money, uh, maybe the details are there. Uh, Rajendra Guda, I just heard, also said that in 1992, there was a very, very sorry uh, 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 case wherein about 250 girls of class 11th and 12th were raped over a period of time. Uh, they were blackmailed into it. Some of them committed suicide. I believe there's a movie coming out on that in which Congress office bearers were involved. Everybody knows that the first reporter who got that story out was killed in the hospital the second time since he didn't die with the first attempt. It was Congress office bearers. I believe some of the office bearers, some of those people involved in that mm. are ministers today in uh, Rajasthan uh, Congress cabinet. So obviously this red diary is uh, the bahi khata, mm. the, the whole record of all the corruption that Congress has done. the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. <laughs> He was suspended from Rajya Sabha for the remaining duration of the monsoon session for repeatedly violating the directives of the chair. The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Guda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. गहलोत साहब वो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने मेरे आपके विधानसभा में गुंडा गर्जी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में 
आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा में आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Staff Minister Rajin the Gouda prevented from even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged assaults against women in the state. बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज ए प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग आंसर्स फ्रॉम द गेहलोत गवर्नमेंट ओवर द राइस प्राइम क्रेसिस एंड एट्रोसिटीज अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन राजस्थान Rajasthan is asking what are the black deeds in the red diary the red diary that Gehlot ji wanted so desperately the red diary about which Rajendra Gouda is talking now if there were black deeds of corruption of thousands of crores in Rajasthan or the black deeds of saving criminals and rapists which was done by Rajasthan government only the person who was desperate for this diary knows what is there in this diary in while in, in a development in the investigation into manipur barbarism and the police said that 14 people have been identified from a video of two women who were stripped and paraded police said that the action has been initiated to arrest them already six people have been arrested in this case two months after sima haider entered india illegally a similar case has surfaced and married women of indian nationality anju traveled to pakistan from delhi to meet pakistani national however unlike seema who sneaked into india without any travel papers anju was granted entry into pakistan by the authorities on the basis of a valid visa a blast has been reported in a shop in haryana to reduce this to a political drama i said last week there must be a debate in parliament and that is exactly what the government is asking for In fact the union home minister Amit Shah said in parliament that he wants to discuss Manipur and he even said and I quote in Hindi he said mera vipaksh se ke netao se agre hai ki samvedanshil muddo par charcha hone de In other words I appeal said Mr Amit Shah to the opposition that on sensitive issues there should be a discussion what can be a greater expression of a commitment to debate and that too in the floor of the parliament that a statement as clear as that from the home minister of india what exactly does the opposition want rajnath singh said we want a discussion in parliament over manipur smriti irani said the congress is running away from a discussion on manipur as they know that they will have to answer on crimes against women in their state Anurag Thakur Union Home Minister has said it is my request to the opposition with folded hands do not run away from the discussion and I too want to ask today that the government of India is ready for a discussion on what appears to be a great pressing matter of national security internal security the situation in Manipur is very complex let a debate happen but I have never heard of a situation where you don't let a debate happen and block parliament to not have a debate It makes absolutely no sense. This is bizarre, it's destructive, it's negative. Do we want the complex situation to be reduced to political drama and if Manipur becomes an issue of political drama and political drama alone then are we here to entertain ourselves with the thought of a political drama who benefits from a political drama? The army is being restricted in parts of Manipur and I do know about it. We too have our reporters on the ground. We get reports we know that there are roads which are dug up sometimes to make sure that the army cannot move we know of other areas where there are entire rings of women who surround law breakers to allow them access so that you can't you cannot ever act against people who hold arms against the indian state because they're surrounded by rings of women that is open defiance that is not allowing the indian army to work it's a serious situation our army is being challenged in that place in a border area Do we want to reduce a situation like that to political drama? There are land rights and demography. Do the parties understand and appreciate the issue of land rights and demography? You have Maitais who form 64% of the state's population who can own land only in 10% of Manipur and Kukis and other tribes who occupy 90% of the land that in Manipur this is a complex situation which involves poppy cultivation, land rights, 
demography, ethnic identities, access for the army. It's deeply, deeply, deeply complex. And I want to ask the Ahmadbi party at the Congress, do they have a solution for it? Or do they want to trivialize an issue which has immediate ramifications on national security to multiple layers of short-term political drama? We have been united in the past and I want to ask today, I want to ask all the people who are behind this political drama. We were united then. We benefited as a country because of our unity. Why can't we be united now? Every time the country has faced a crisis, external or internal, matters of internal and external security, and we all know that we have stood together and won. We were united in 1971. We were united during the Prevention of Terrorism Act when the parliament was attacked. And after that, there was a joint session of parliament in 2001 to pass POTA. We were united then. What happened to that unity now? We were united when we passed the NIA law. We were united when following the 2611 attack, we passed the UAPA law. Political and national interests came together, coalesced together. They were never in opposition. Then what is happening in the case of Manipur, ladies and gentlemen? Why cannot we have that, that same level of unity now? I throw this counter charge to the opposition tonight and let them face me. We were united after the Delhi High Court attack. We were united whenever our institutions were targeted, when the country was targeted. Why can't we have that unity now? Ladies and gentlemen, my next question, and I hope these deep questions will get a deep answer equally from the other side. The opposition, unfortunately, has a history of diluting matters of internal security. Chidambaram considered air power when he was Home Minister against the Maoists. Now he trivializes. He trivializes Maoist terrorism because he's in the opposition. I call that his hypocrisy. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Abdullah built a case for AFSPA when he was in power. Now he protests against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. The same Mamta Banerjee who in 2010 wanted the Midnapur Maoist attack that killed 24 Jawans to be dropped from the president's address has now deployed her party to disrupt parliament demanding that the Prime Minister speak on Manipur and I say, oh, I say tonight when I see these examples, I have just two words to express my resentment. How convenient is this for people to take a line this way when it suits them, when they are in power and to take another line when they're out of power. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you an example. Another example. The same Vadra Congress which brought in amendments to the UAPA before 2014 to prosecute those who are associated with terror organizations after 2014, the same party when it was in the opposition politicized the UAP amendment bill with Chidambaram saying we are opposing the mischievous amendments which have empowered the center to name an individual. Viewers, how can you play this way? The opposition wants the prime minister to initiate the debate on Manipur in parliament. The home minister tonight is urging the opposition to attend the session, but they say we will not attend the session. I ask you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, how long can this situation continue? How long will we allow this impasse to happen? Has the opposition come with a predetermined agenda to disrupt? And I am very clear about this, ladies and gentlemen. 2023 budget session of parliament, they wanted disrupted with the Adani JPC demand. 2022 monsoon session of parliament ended ahead of schedule over the summons to Sonia Gandhi. 2022 budget session of parliament was disrupted over the Pegasus scam. And I ask them tonight, when new facts come in the case of Adani, they don't want to speak a word. When Rafael absolutely gets demolished on facts, they don't want to speak a word. When the Pegasus claim falls flat, they don't want to speak a word. 2021 winter session was disrupted with the farmers' bill protest. But when the pro-Khalistani elements tried to bring down the tricolor in, in the red fort, when the consequences became too dangerous to own up for, that is when they do not want to speak a word. And I just want to ask all those people tonight, if you do not understand the complexities of the Northeast, then either enter into a debate on it. Let there be a demand for a proper debate, not just on Manipur, but the entire Northeastern Parliament. And let that be a debate that continues till we find some kind of an intellectual resolution. But do not play with the sentiments of the people of the Northeast. Do not play with the national security. Do not play with the internal security ramifications of all these issues. These are complex issues. They do not require shallow analysis. They require deep and immediate solutions. At the very end, I shall say just one thing. Viewers, we are in 2023. This country was independent in 1947. Do you think that the Congress, if it wanted, could not have solved these issues? No. 
But the Congress has a unique strategy. It creates a problem. It ferments the problem. It simmers the problem. And then lectures over the problem itself. Manipur is complex. No more political tamasha over it. Let's debate. Debate number one tonight. With me in the studio, six political parties on debate number one. Debate number two tonight, what's in the red notebook that got the Rajasthan government so edgy? And debate number three tonight, viewers. Debate number three, what's the Gyanwapi truth? I say let the truth emerge. Just let's not get lost on issues without first accepting whether we are at comfort with the truth or not. And here are the headlines this Monday evening on the debate. I am ready for the debate. Slogans and placards drown the government's call for a serious debate on the Manipur issue in Parliament. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore. After three days of a washout, the BJP accuses the opposition of deliberately stalling the Manipur debate. The state burns as politicians continue with their drama. It's time for a united solution. <laughs> Sack Rajasthan minister thrown out of the assembly for waving a controversial red diary on the floor of the house. This part can be said. Red Diary making the Vadra Congress top leadership very nervous. Insider claims it has their party's entire corruption record of payoffs and embezzlement. And the Supreme Court temporarily halts the scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque, who doesn't want the truth out. Ladies and gentlemen, I said it loudly last week and I will say it again today. The situation in Manipur is complex. Let's stop the political drama. Let's have a unified solution. This is what has happened in Parliament. Let's debate. <laughs> You are challenging the chair. The house is still open to meet at noon today. Sabaki Karavahi, go with the Kiri Sakiski. I name Sanjay Singh. I name Sanjay Singh. Sanjay Singh is suspended as member during the entire session of this house. बैठे तो सही, प्लीज सभा की कार्यवाही दो बजकर तीस मिनट तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है। सदन सदन को एक घंटे के लिए स्थगित किया जाता है। नौ, ठीक है। अन्य अध्यक्ष जी, मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूँ। मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष क्यों चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता। 25 जुलाई 2023 को 11 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है। सदन की कार्यवाही मंगलवार दिनांक 25 जुलाई 2023 को पूर्वांह ने 11 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है। It was third day of complete disruption of parliament proceedings with the opposition not budging on its demand that a discussion on Manipur should be held under Rule 267 in the Lok Sabha or suspension of business in the Rajya Sabha and also that they want Prime Minister to initiate the discussion. What is important is that despite that, the opposition seems more interested in earning political browning points and to embarrass the government rather than have a serious dialogue on Manipur. 
अमित शाह जी हैज रिपीटेडली सेट दैट दिस डिस्कशन दिस डिबेट इज ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड बाई सिटीजन ऑफ आर कंट्री हु इलेक्ट अस टू पार्लियामेंट so that issues of national importance can be productively discussed what is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore rambai ji ki janta hai rambai macha the situation in manipur is sensitive with each passing day new videos of torture and murder are emerging after uh, they have gone for the Uh, work for the uh, defending the billes we are calling them again and again but their phones are already switched off ye situation mein hum bahut tense mein reh gaye the isliye humne phone kiya tha magar phone bhi off hai isliye humne july 5 ko un dono ko dhoondne ke liye wahan gaye the aur at around 11 pm 5 july isme ek video aaya tha humne video dekha tha is video mein hamara mera dost aur mera cousin ka रिचुअल किलिंग का वीडियो आया था इसे पता चला था फॉर डेज अटेम्प्ट्स हैव बीन मेड टू ब्लॉक इन डिनामी एफर्ट्स टू रिस्टोर पीस विमेन वर यूज्ड एज शील्ड मणिपुर हैज हैड अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ वायलेंस इवन अंडर द कांग्रेस रूल situation in state requires political consensus not just rhetoric hum bhi taiyar hai aao prime minister statement karo aap bahar press karte ho andar karne mein kya gaya ha ye gadsi demand hai ki 140 crore ka neta agar bahar press conference karta hai aur 140 crore logon ke pratinidhi andar baithe hain to aap pehle yahan par statement do us pe charcha hone do उसके बाद में हम लोग एक निर्णय लेंगे इट्स टाइम दी ऑपोजिशन स्टॉप द ड्रामा इट्स टाइम फॉर अ सीरियस डिबेट ऑन मणिपुर इश्यू लेट्स डिबेट I think we have one versus five on this debate tonight. Charu Pragya of the BJP. We have Ramesh Sabarwal of the All India Congress Committee. Reena Gupta of the Aam Aadmi Party. Anurag Bhadori of the Samajwadi Party. We have Trajano Demello, a national spokesperson of the Trinamool Congress. And we have our our dear old friend R Rajagopalan also into the debate. Now, uh, Rajagopalan, start with you. Uh, who's on the defensive today? Government, which says we want to have a debate on this immediately, or opposition? which says we will not have a debate unless the prime minister issues a statement on the floor of the house who's on the defensive today uh, my understanding arun up opposition and uh, government should have a unity as your you know main theme has been your hashtag unity not politics but my understanding is g20 it should not be successful the congress and the newly formed i dot n dot d dot a india wants to disrupt that second thing, the drug has been controlled whatever that d da do da d da whatever that you know so uh, drug has been very successful drug menace has been controlled in northeastern province by the modi government they don't want to that drug mafia they are creating this nuisance again there is a disruption there was a disruption in the army in 1984 the sikh regiment went on you know against the government that situation should not arise in manipur manipur is a complex situation opposition no seat and if they decided to debate the government will turn the table on opposition that is why the government is throttling the neck of government and the government should have you okay. know come came forward for a debate and opposition okay. should yield to the debate i i i i i'll go straight into the debate i'll go straight into the debate ask the congress uh, representative here on the program uh, you are saying that the prime minister should be in the debate now uh, was Rajiv Gandhi the prime minister did he lead the debate on the Mizo accord in 1986 i looked through the records and i found that i found mr sabarwal uh, that it was the then union home minister buta singh who was making the statement in the floor of parliament so rajiv gandhi didn't issue the statement in 1986 you want more examples sir you want more examples 
No, sir, why, why are you making this an ego issue? You don't want a solution. No, it's not an ego issue. We should not politicalize this issue. It's a shameful act, shameful act which has been done by in Manipur. And it's shameful for our society, you know. It's a very serious crime which has happened there. Then deal with it seriously. Yeah, yeah. The government has, government has, you know, the from last so many days, it was not coming in the media. It was not, nobody was aware of this. Prime no, we are aware on it. We have I, debated it. I, but opposition, no. the government has said we want to have a debate on it. You are saying we won't have a debate. Yes. So the first by, You have quoted Rajiv ji. Yes. Rajiv I have not quoted him. I have quoted the fact that he was not. Rajiv ji, Rajiv ji went to Mizoram and did the Mizoram court. Sir, let me tell you when he did Mizoram the Mizoram court. court, he led the discussions on Mizoram in 1988. Sir, he appointed Iteshwar Sekia ji as the governor of Mizoram for this Sir, purpose. Sir, let me tell you, Mizos were Lal making Dengaji. posters in Aizol saying, Rajiv, don't force us back to the jungles. And if you are talking about Vishwanath sir, Pratap Singh, sir, please understand, sir, sir, you are making an ego issue. You are saying no, the Prime Minister no. must begin Prime the debate. Minister why? Should, no, no. No, no. Why, okay, why, why, why can't okay, Amit Shah begin the debate? Okay, okay. You explain this to me. Okay, sir. The Prime Minister can go to Manipur or not? Can he go, not go and his duty to Has beat the, the Home Minister gone the, to Manipur no, no, or not? He should Was beat the, the Home victims. Minister camping there for he five or six should beat the victims or not? You are playing on symbolism for no, an action. No, he is not taking the responsibility. Of course he, you are. He is, you are making a complex no, situation no, into a political no, drama. No, I'm sorry, no, sir. No, no, sorry you want a political no, no, drama on no, this no, issue. They are our sisters, you know, who have been brutally been murdered, brutally been raped. So much doubt. Tamasha has been done. I never seen my history of my, the, my whole life journey. Such kind of incident. So I'm so sorry, but you have you don't know seven, seven, seven decades of a continuous botch up by the Congress party, and now you're saying you don't sir, have. So one minute, sir, so I'm we, getting Charu Pragya to respond. Sir, to we Charu are, Pragya, why we are the problem. Start Rajiv the debate. Gandhi, why? Why? Can't? No, Rajiv Gandhi in 1984 didn't say. That's why today the Prime Minister didn't say. You want to say? That Rajiv Gandhi didn't say. My point is that you have given an example. You have given an example. You have given an example. Buta Singh. बूटा सिंह अगर बूटा सिंह ने राजीव गांधी जी ने सब कुछ अगर कांग्रेस ने सही किया होता तो 2014 में बीजेपी को मौका नहीं मिला बीजेपी को मौका क्यों मिला कुछ नया करेंगे तो कुछ नया नहीं किया ना ओके अनुराग अनुराग जी चारों चारों वन मिनट नहीं अनुराग जी अनुराग जी वन मिनट चारों अब इनको नही do Directly, she's looking at you and speaking. And I am telling you this, do not speak over me. Mm -hmm. It is the job of the opposition to mm -hmm. hold the government accountable. The government, mm -hmm. not an individual. Mm -hmm. Why are you harping on and on and on about Prime Minister Modi when his government stands accountable? Parliament the government, what, 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 let, let, the let, government pleads with you to allow the discussions to continue in Parliament. The domain expert, the Honourable Home Minister of this country says, I want to speak in Parliament about this issue. What do you do collectively? What do you do collectively? You do not allow... When the debate starts. You do not allow the Parliament to function. After that, after that, after that. One minute. Another very important issue. Okay, you want the Prime Minister to speak. Why don't you allow the debate to begin and say this on the floor of the House? Thank you, Home Minister Saab. Can the Prime Minister speak now? But no, you don't want to do any of that because the tactic here is to stall the issue. The tactic here is to make sure Parliament does not function. The tactic here is that you do not have sensitivity at the core of your heart. You only have siyasat. Yeah, only. One minute, one minute. Reena, Reena, Reena. One, Anurag, Anurag, Anurag. Reena, Reena, one minute. Reena, Reena. See, we've been saying from day one that Manipur is a complex issue. I am pretty sure, no disrespect to our viewers, that if I were to ask a question to all the viewers, what precisely is the problem in Manipur? Can you give me 10 bullet points on it? 90% of people would not be able to do it. This is a problem which involves, rightly, drugs, narcotics, years of animosity, deep multiple ethnicities, right? Now, if you want to bring peace, you can't bring peace by saying, we don't like Narendra Modi. You can only bring peace by having a serious discussion in which all issues, land rights, demography, narcotics, illegal immigrants, will all be discussed. You do not want a serious issue on this. If you don't want a serious debate on it, you can say that we want to score political brownie points. We need to take as much advantage as we can. If a serious debate happens, then maybe it will not benefit us. You can make that confession. People will understand. You are live on television. People will completely empathize. They'll say, Reena, we understand. Aapko politics karna hai. And people will understand that. But don't, I mean, don't do the facade of it. Because you're letting down the people of Manipur, in my view. And you want to respond Arnab, directly to her. Arnab, Manipur has been, I'll only talk facts. It's been burning for three months. What is the plan of action? What have they done for three months? The governor of Manipur. Can I complete, Charu? Please let me complete. Charu, Charu, a lot of people watching right now. Let her complete. The governor of Manipur, 
who has been appoint appointed by Bharatiya Janata Party is on record saying I have not seen this kind of violence in my life what I've seen in the Karikala of Bharatiya Janata Party. This is a governor appointed by them. This is not a Aam Party spokesperson saying point number one. Point number two, when Manipur was burning for three months, when the European Union heard the voices of Manipur. I'm sorry, but I don't need the European Union. No, 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 no. When everybody, everybody. The president of a political party uh, want to get the European Union to come into internal security. No. In my view, Rajagopalan, that is the precise problem. Arnab, you are not letting me complete. Problem, but you must not let me complete. You must 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 let me complete. For everything, it's either Pakistan that is responsible or Nehru that is responsible or ISIS is responsible. When will this government ever take That's responsibility a for That's everything? A no, it's not That's a, generality. a generality. That's a generality. And the I'm Prime Minister is the head general. of the state. Why, why will he not I come to the general. parliament and speak on it? Okay. The Prime Minister went to Manipur and said, people who cannot have peace in Manipur have no right to govern Manipur. He knew the complexity. Why did you form the government? You shouldn't have contested the elections. Charu, you Charu, said, Charu, 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 Charu is responding. Charu, Charu responds. Charu, 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 Charu
please, please deal with these issues. Yes. Uh, I will, since I put enough. the question here, Mr. DeMello will come in after a response. I, Mr. DeMello, your turn after she responds. Thank, thank you. you. Please. And, and I appreciate the fairness with which you are raising these questions. The fact of the matter is that the government has been working round the clock for not months, Action. but for years. But for years. You talk about peace talks. When did these peace talks start in the Northeast? After Modi government came oh, to power. Look East, Act East, making <laughs> sure. So much and what was the result of that? And Mr. DeMello, please. Congress is the party which on losing Manipur, your national president said, Koi farak nahi padta. it's a small state. That is how you responded to losing Manipur. That is how that is how you responded to losing Manipur. Today you are pretending to be holier than thou, and today you are saying that you are concerned about the people of Manipur. If you were concerned, I demand again, and as a young citizen of this country, I can demand this. Why do you not allow the parliament to function? Because why do you get stuck down to now? There are a lot of people. Do you have the interest of the people of Manipur at heart? But just one minute. Can I get Mr. DeMello? Mr. DeMello, you know, I have had at least seven responses right now on my Twitter feed. People are saying, Ornob, you're having a pretty okay discussion on the issue in, 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 within 15 minutes of a debate at 9 o'clock. Why can't this debate happen in Parliament? Please, Mr. DeMello, you've got to give me a reasonable reply to this. And you also got to realize one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Two and Mr. a half Mr. DeMello, minute. Mr. DeMello, tell me how many times... Mamta Banerjee as Home Minister and Chief Minister of Bengal has led the discussion and issued statements on the non-stop violence in Bengal, including the deluge of violence after she was sworn in as the Chief Minister the last time. Mr. Arnav, let us understand first why the people and all the opposition are demanding the Prime Minister to make a statement on the floor of the House. The Prime Minister, who is supposed to be the leader of the House, has shown scant respect to parliament. In 2021, he's on record to have spent only four hours in the entire year in parliament. Is this the respect the parliament that, that is that, that is supposed to be the prime minister of the country? Whereas he spent four hours a day for the elections in West Bengal. The question is, you are saying the home minister has appealed. The home minister went to Manipur and has said till today, Manipur is burning. So why do you, what, what is the Home Minister? The Home Minister is, is, is known to afterwards say that this was just Shubla. What respect does he have? Then you are talking about Rajnath Singh. Rajnath Singh was a defense minister. What is his value? The Prime Minister goes to the foreign country and signs, signs defense deal. The very existence of Rajnath Singh has become to zero. Where does he exist? Just holding a protocol. The question is now here. He is the Prime Minister of the country. He, he has expressed his pain and anguish. Mr. Adnan, you are expressing your pain and anguish. I am expressing my pain and anguish. But we are helpless. Is the Prime Minister helpless to act? Pain and anguish without any action has no meaning. It is just pulling wool over people's eyes. People are dying. People are raped. People are murdered. Can you compare this to any other state? Is this possible? What jokes is happening here? Can this become... You're talking that normalcy is there? No. Okay. The okay. Well, 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 Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Charu Prage is countering you. I ask you today, using your words in your analogy, is Mamta Banerjee not leader of the house in Bengal? When 45 people were killed in the Panchayat elections, is this the respect she shows to the people of Bengal and to the house? Did she issue a single statement or call a special session of the West Bengal Assembly? Did she go to a single house of a person who has been killed, who is not from a party during the elections in Bengal? Answer my question, Mr. DeMello. You see the yes. shoe pinches when it's on the other foot. And Mr. DeMello, you very well know that the BJP has also alleged, and Charu can tell you more, that there has been an incident where there has been, unfortunately, a lady, I'm told it's somewhere in Malda, who has been stripped and paraded, also in a series of unfortunate events, of course, not ethnic, but Whatever the reason she's the Home Minister, why do you want to cloud over that? Can I add to that? You, that you can it's respond not to just him. a lady that was paraded. It was their own minister, a lady at that. What, 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 what? It was their own minister, a lady at that, Shashi Panja, who said, Kapde nikal gaye, koi baat nahi. Charu will not allow this. No, 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 no. No, 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 Let him respond to this. I'll come back to you. What is the reply of his? Let him respond to that. Let the Charu Congress respond to this. Let Mr. Dimano respond.
respond to that. Let Mr. DeMello, Rina, Rina, let Mr. DeMello respond to that. I appeal to you. Let Mr. DeMello respond to that. Please be quiet. Okay, please be quiet. Do you feel, do you feel he has the right to respond? Yeah, when he's talking about the Bengal, let him respond. No, no, no. Anuraj Jadraj, if it was you, she's... She's cover fire. Only right now. Cover fire. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Mr. DeMello has a chance for to respond. 30 seconds. Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello. Your best friend. Your new alliance partner. Please put put her. Your new best friend. TMC. My shout. They were they were earlier. They are part of us. They they. No, no. Let him. Let him speak. We are their partner. Let him respond. Let him respond. Let. See in Bengal. First of all, it is a poor. Pole bound violence. Do not compare it to the ethnic disaster that is taking place in, in Manipur. Number one. Number two, every case that has happened, FR has been lodged within 24 hours. Are you justifying pole violence? Wait, one minute. I'm not. One, one minute. minute. Can finish. I just get a clarification here? Are you justifying pole violence? You are justifying. Are you justifying pole violence? Said, let violence. Finish. She said, let me finish. Manipur. Let him finish. You are justifying ethnic violence in Manipur to what's happening in Manipur. I justified I'm, nothing. I'm responding. I have responded. We to took action. accountability, please responsibility, please and action. Please, please keep quiet. Let me speak. I do not interfere when you are speaking. Have some decency as a woman. He's outside, Allow me sir. to speak. He is My out. question is that in Bengal, if the crime has been attempted, attacked, and FRs and, and action has been taken, but please do not con uh, compare it by any stretch of imagination. To the to three months continuous burning and an FIR being lodged after three months of a woman who was raped, murdered. What are you talking, Arnabab? Please understand that bold bound violence. Okay, one more, one more, one more. I, 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 I now I, I must intervene here I, I, because I'm because because Mr. Demello, Mr. Demello, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. The kind of horrific incident which has happened, whether it happens in Manipur or Bengal or Rajasthan or anywhere else. But, God forbid, must be, must not be looked at politically. You must also gather Daniel, your voice when it comes to incidents in Bengal. Therefore, uh, Mr. Therefore, DeMello, therefore, Mr. DeMello, therefore, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, Mr. DeMello, um, uh, just, just one minute, just one minute, just, Rina, Rina, I know that you have become very, very close to the Congress party. I know that you have to work together. I know you have a short term agenda of working together to defeat the government on the ordinance issue. On this issue, would you not gather the same kind of uh, would I say vigor in your arguments as you used to vis-a-vis -vis the Congress? Because somewhere when it comes to the Congress, Rina, you've completely flipped. You should ask him today, Mr. Sabarwal, that Mr. Sabarwal, you ruined the northeast of India. You're <coughs> letting him get away because your attention is here. You used to be equidistant. You used to say, no, no, we'll emerge as a political party of our own identity. Has that gone? Have you just become subservient to the Congress? Is it not a well-known uh, fact that Northeast witnessed over 1,200 incidents annually under the UA UPA, which means four violent incidents a day? Will you not look at Mr. Sabarwal and say, Mr. Sabarwal, you're being hypocritical? I can look at him and say that. Why Arnab, can't you Arnab, tell him? That? Arnab, Arnab, why can't, who, you, who, who why can't you address him? Today? Arnab, who is governing? Why can't you address him? Who's, who's, who's governing Manipur right now? Who is in the center right now? It's the Bharatiya Janata Party. One will have to ask questions of them. Sure, sure. There please. is Article 355 in Manipur right now, which means there's a security advisor responding directly to the Home Minister. Sure, if there is failure over there, it is the failure of Bharatiya Janata Party. For how long will we keep bringing Nehru and this one and that one? Oh, absolutely. Accountability needs to be fixed and there can Correct. be no... Can I complete? Why there can be no what about re about Manipur. Why don't you do it in Manipur? Manipur, Manipur the violence Manipur anywhere. Violence anywhere against women is Perfect. horrendous. Rina, but what has I, happened in Manipur is change, since I agree with violence. You. Where will you fix this accountability? The ruling government in Kanaiwens. Where will you ruling fix government? accountability? I am not saying this. Their MLA is saying it is in Kanaiwens. The moment the video came out, two people were arrested. Where were they sleeping for three months? Everybody's faces were on the video. Okay. Okay. They were shielding the perpetrators because the perpetrators are from Bharti Janata Party. people been arrested? I love now, your there passion so many about them. Now only two people, three Why people did you not pass on some why of them? Why did you not address, address directly? Address. Why did you not uh, pass on some of them? Why did you not pass on some of them? Why did you not pass on Why did you ask him to raise these questions in Parliament? If it is accountability that you are looking the perpetrators are from your party. One, one, one. After you. 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 After
भारतीय जनता पार्टी एंड दैट इज द रीजन यू आर शेयरिंग दिस पॉलिटिसाइजेशन अर्न अप कैन दिस क्वेश्चन यू आर आस्किंग फॉर फॉर राइट्स ऑफ वुमेन इज पॉलिटिसाइजेशन यस आई विल पॉलिटिसाइज वो 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 मिस्टर साबरवाल मिस्टर साबरवाल ऑन दिस इशू यू मस्ट एडमिट टुडे एंड 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 यू नो ऑनेस्टी इज द बेस्ट पॉलिसी otherwise i will quiz you and quiz you and quiz you and interrogate you and not let you go all you have to do is look at the camera out there and say that's camera number 5 yeah. you got three cameras to choose choose one of the cameras and say or not it is a truth we just want to block parliament no humko yahi karna hai humko manipur se koi lena dena nahi hai no no mr mr rajagopalan mr rajagopalan is a veteran when when i when i started out when i when i anurag ji anurag ji anurag ji anurag ji manipur ki khad anurag ji anurag ji anurag ji prime minister should sit there you want to block parliament you want to block parliament anyhow kyunki nahi chahti sarkar aap parliament nahi chahte manipur ki ghatna parliament nahi chahte mahila आप संसद को भंग करना चाहते हैं इसलिए बीजेपी वांट टू ब्लॉक ऑल द डिबेट्स इन पार्लियामेंट यू डोंट वांट टू अलाउ अ सिंगल डिबेट आज पार्लियामेंट आई एम सो अमित शाह कम्स इन टू द डिबेट इफ अमित शाह कम्स इन टू द डिबेट ही विल रेज क्वेश्चंस व्हिच वुड बी अनकंफर्टेबल टू यू आई आस्क यू नहीं बोल पाएंगे मैं बोल रहा हूं आप बोल रहे हो कोई टाइम लिमिट नहीं होगा पार्लियामेंट में मणिपुर में बहस होगी लेकिन बीजेपी के प्रवक्ता राजा गोपाल बिफोर यू चारू बिफोर यू चारू राजा गोपाल राजा गोपाल राजा बोलेंगे बोलो तो मैं कह रहा हूं मैं कह रहा हूं अगर आप नहीं डरते हैं राजगोपालन माय व्यू इज आई यू नो व्हाट आई थिंक मिस्टर राजगोपालन दे आर स्केयर्ड ऑफ डिबेट इन पार्लियामेंट बिकॉज़ सारे सारा कुछ एक्सपोज हो जाए राइट अनब राइट लेट ऑल द फैक्ट्स विल कम आउट रूल मिस्टर राजगोपालन मिस्टर स्केयर्ड ऑफ इन द पार्लियामेंट राजगोपालन इज ऑन द डिबेट राजगोपालन राजगोपालन इज ऑन द डिबेट द डिबेट इज ट्रेंडिंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन राजगोपालन गवर्नमेंट दैट इज राजगोपालन राज प्राइम मिनिस्टर दैट इज स्केयर्ड राजगोपालन ऑन द डिबेट नॉट सीन अस मोर स्केयर्ड प्राइम मिनिस्टर हिस्ट्री ऑफ द कंट्री यू मेकिंग पर्सनल कमेंट्स राजगोपालन ऑन द डिबेट आफ्टर दैट Charu, the I debate is open and uh, yeah, yeah, one. If if the debate yeah, yeah. continues, Arnab, Arnab, I tell you, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will turn the table against our Congress, TMC, and every political party. Second thing, can so anyone say? Why is he not coming then? What is stopping him? Why is he not coming? Why should he come? Why should he come? Why should he come? Why should he not coming? राजगोपाल Does the rule say that? Yes. Let yes, Prime Minister that. come and say that. Rule does not say. The rule does not say that. One sixty-seven. Raja Gopal. The government. He should be there. Rule one sixty-seven does not say. Why is the Prime Minister? Why? That is not. Opposition totally failed. Aam Aadmi Party failed. Aam Aadmi Party New Alliance Congress. New Alliance Congress. Aam Aadmi Party. Aam Aadmi Party Congress. आम आदमी पार्टी लॉस्ट इस इमेज अनार्किस पार्टी साथ संजय सिंह एस बी सस्पेंडेड टुडे रीना रीना राजगोपाल एंड रीडिंग आउट फ्रॉम द मोटरोला मोमेंट आई हैव टू रीड आउट अ फ्यू ट्वीट्स इशिका सेज आई डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट द रियल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज आफ्टर ऑल व्हाट डू दे गेन फ्रॉम द स्पेक्ट ओके Pinky Verma says yes we are angry at the Manipur case and we want strict actions against violence but why Rahul Gandhi and Arvind Kejriwal are not allowing unity and debates in parliament Okay now you know I'm trying to see if anyone is supporting the opposition out here Nitesh Vyas says debate trending yeah it started trending a long time back people are saying unity not politics uh and um Arnab, please give me a chance we have uh, we have someone who has a hashtag called india at b28k09 uh stop the gentleman from uh, up to hack heckle his opponents in the debate that is going to you aap heckle mat kijiye keh rahe heckle heckle mat kijiye uh na, okay now 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 uh now please the, the, and one more question nand santhalia says uh, uh you know that uh, that why is rina gupta talking like this he is sort of angry with the way in which you are speaking uh rina Uh, people have pro and anti you know aruna kapoor says I'm unity angry, unity is I'm for give and take angry. if there is if if there is need How politics are people, are people are unity is unity is angry unity is not required video, whole, i couldn't sleep either but the, but the point is but the point but the point but the point is but the point How can we allow this and bharatiya janata party is allowing this I, I, this is not the first time arnab they have done it in the case of patwa atras unnao bilkis bano 
all of these cases I, are similar. The perpetrators were from Bharatiya Janata Party. Now, were Rina, being shielded by Bharatiya Janata Party. Rina, my point. They call them sanskari. Yeah, they now, Rina, you got to have a you got to have a full stop How at some point. You you're going on and on. You're not letting the others come in. My question here is, and and you see, in the last few minutes of the debate. If the opposition has decided we will not let parliament work, parliament is for Tamasha. Parliament Hamara, it's for ta uh, one minute, one minute, one minute, one, let me complete, let me complete. I am saying to you, I am saying to you, today, after what has come out in the Adani case, have a debate on Adani. You want an Adani JPC demand 2023 budget session of Adani pe awaz nahi nikal rahi aapki. Pegasus claim pe aapne kya kya nahi bola, mera phone Pegasus hai. Pegasus jab when Supreme Court dismissed this, you don't want to discuss. You ruined, you, four days ahead of schedule, opposition refused to let parliament function because there are summons issued to Sonia Gandhi. Why? Why, if summons issue to Sonia Gandhi, Mr. Sabarwal, should parliament be stopped? Parliament Every time over some issue or the other, you are determined to block parliament, Mr. Sabarwal. That is undemocratic. That is undemocratic. And you should stop it. It's a bad trend. Let me speak for a moment. Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal. We want a discussion under the rule of 267, not in 167. Coming to you, Mr. DeMello. In 267, there is a provision of the Prime Minister should sit at the whole. The discussion no, should be done. There is no provision. There is no provision. You know, the, it should there not be fixed no time. Not. In 167, it's only a one hour discussion. So we want a full debate no, or discussion no, for, for no, no, three, four days. No, no, I'm telling you. Like, what is wrong? One hour, two hour, maximum. They want. Then, 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 and then, and we then want what will happen? Then you have to depend on the speaker. One day, two day, three day, four day. Let's come to the conclusion. Rajiko Palan! Rajiko Palan! Rajiko Palan! You raised the technical point, Rajiko Palan. He's a veteran reporter. But Rajiko Palan. There is no there is no rule 267 which clearly says Prime Minister should be present. He can intervene. Even in the budget, there is no Prime Minister to speak. He intervenes. Prime Minister can intervene. But the Home Minister is not a debate. Mr. DeMello, what is the problem? He should sit or not. Why should the Prime Minister no, not no, be no, the He should sit or not. Why should no, he not no, be no. the Prime Shame. Order? Tell you, tell you. Shame. Man, man, really. Shame. You are shame. You are shame. Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello, what shame. is coming from God? The daughters of the country. Mr. They have a money Mr. poor birth. They were daughters of the country. Prime Minister should Mr. know Mr. what is the value of the daughter. He should hug them. He should can go I, and meet their families. Can I? I, I, I want Mr. Dimelo wanted to come in after that. Yeah, Mr. Dimelo. Sabar, Sabarwal is losing his temper. Simply, that's all. Tell him to Sabarwal, don't lose temper. Hello. Yes. Okay, okay. One minute, Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo. Mr. Dimelo. I am letting Mr. Dimelo come in, please. Thank you. Mr. Dimelo has to come in. He gone here. Mr. Dimelo, go on. Volume up. Mr. Dimelo, go on. Volume up. Angry. One minute. We are all we are all equally angry, We're Mr. DeMello. Mr. DeMello, Mr. Mr. DeMello, no, 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 no heckling, no needing, no trivializing on the debate. Mr. Mr. DeMello will debate. Mr. DeMello. Mr. Arnab, you started the debate by saying that the Manipur issue is very complex. Don't you believe in such a situation that the Prime Minister has an elderly statement, statesman, come into the parliament and appeal to the opposition people to come, let's sit together and sort out the matter? Don't you think that was his duty? Yeah. It is an right, opinion of the debate. I, 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 see, I, feel, I feel, Mr. DeMello, let the debate start. Let the debate start. One let minute. us hear the debate. I have made a promise. I will cancel everything. I will drop commercial breaks. I will put the whole debate out. That's my commitment. But have the debate. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, joining me for debate number one tonight. On the other side, I'll bring you the mystery of the red notebook and where everyone, not just in Rajasthan, but nationally, are talking about it. political party in India is absolutely hypocritical when it comes to crimes against women. The BJP which went ballistic over Nirbhaya tries to save the failed government of Biren Singh in Manipur. After three months grudgingly speaks about Manipur at a national level. After the video is released right on the eve of parliament, it is the timing of the release of the video which forces the BJP to speak. And didn't the same Bharatiya Janata Party demand president's rule in Manipur in 2000? 2011, when there was an economic blockade and prices rose, how come the same party using a different logic now? They speak for themselves and they speak only about their relentless pursuit of power. Each one of the political parties is shedding crocodile tears. Manipur proves that political parties have their own political interests first.
We do what no other network does. We sting like no other network stings. We confront those who no other network can. We fight back like no other network can. We go where no other network goes. We've endured what no other network has endured. We ask what no other network asks. Digital first, nation first, republic first. Digital first, like nothing else. On your TV, on any screen, Republic TV News Channel is now streaming on We App. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. This part can आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए द राइजिंग atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. हाँ बोलिए हाँ बोलिए बस बैठिए आप मेरी मत कीजिए नो आप बस नंबर तक ही तहेत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं इंग वास सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ द च The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Gouda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. Gehlot sahab mo diary ka aadha part aapne aapke vidhan sabha mein gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai is part ke andar आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा आफ्टर ही वॉज इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑन मॉन्डे स्टाफ मिनिस्टर राजेंद्र गोडा प्रिवेंटेड from even entering the assembly building by house marshals last friday he was removed by gelor soon after he spoke of alleged from the delhi studios of republic tv it's time for arnab goswami on the debate Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the debate. And now it's time for the nation's sharpest opinion, where I'm talking tonight about what is in the red diary. The red diary. Everybody who has been watching Indian politics has been talking last seven, eight hours about the red diary. Now, what is the red diary? Here's the backstory to it. In the context of Manipur, the Congress was trying to take a high moral ground when it got a reality check from its own minister in Rajasthan. Now, this gentleman. who is quite uh, vocal and is uh, in his mid 50s is called Rajendra Gouda Rajendra Gouda is on my show tonight as my guest this evening there he is Rajendra Gouda ji hamare program par hamare sath hain aaj and the pictures that you are seeing jo tasveere aap dekh rahe hain that those are of a red diary which Rajendra Gouda holds in his hand today in the Rajasthan assembly and says in this diary are all the secrets of chief minister Ashok Gehlot and he holds the diary everywhere and he says in this diary are the secret of the payments made by and to Ashok Gehlot 
the entire story of corruption of the Congress party, how it makes payoffs, everything is inside this red diary. He said that once when there was a raid, the chief minister asked him that take this diary and hide it somewhere, he said. Viewers, if you consider the sequence of facts, and we'll keep Mr. Gouda on the screen, the visuals of what has happened on the screen as well. The backstory is this, that Rajendra Gouda was very close to Ashok Gelo till four days back. Then after the Manipur incident, when the Congress was taking a high moral position, Rajendra Gouda stood in the floor of the assembly and he says, who are we to lecture? The Manipur government, look at the situation of women in Rajasthan, we should do something about it. Now that's an honest statement, that's the kind of statement that must be appreciated. But there was a call which went straight from the Congress headquarters to Ashok Gehlot. How dare this man as a minister in the Rajasthan government expose the situation, uh, the state of affairs in Rajasthan itself. And the Congress leadership asked Ashok Gehlot to sack him. And he was sacked. Then he got upset. When he was upset, he comes back. He's been giving a series of interviews and finally came to the floor of the assembly and he said, I have this red diary with me. I have the whole story of Ashok Gehlot's corruption and I'm going to expose it. The whole country now wants to know what is in the red diary. Is he pulling off a fast one? Or is it true that there is something inside this red diary which the whole country should know about? Does it have the names of top Congress leaders? How much money was paid? What were these payoffs for? What is the level of corruption which this person till recently a minister has details of? When I come back on the other side, he's going to tell us all the details of what's in the red diary. Here's a small clip of what's happened and then we'll debate. Look, this was in Dharmendra Rathod's house. It was in the red house. It was in the income tax and ED. And the Mukhe Mantri Ji told me to call me there and that there was no cost to remove the diary on any cost. Sacked Rajasthan Minister Rajendra Gouda's red diary claim on Republic TV had set the ball rolling for a mega-political face-off. As he tried entering the Rajasthan Assembly on Monday, he was blocked. When he managed to get inside the assembly and tried putting on record the contents of the red diary, watch how the speaker panicked. Once the blue-eyed boy of Ashok Gehlot, Gurha seems to have touched a raw nerve. Gehlot, you have put the last part of the diary in the last part of the diary. And the last part of the diary is still there. In this part, you will have all the people who have bought 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 the people. किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा In 2020 when IT department and ED raided Ashok Gehlot's left hand man Dharmendra Rathod Gurha claims he was tasked with a difficult job समय आएगा तो उस लाल डायरी के किस्से और कहानियों को आप स्वार्जनिक करेंगे मुझे तो मुख्यमंत्री जी ने ये कहा था उसके बाद में कि तेरे को तो यार गुड़ा हॉलीवुड में होना चाहिए तूने कमाल कर दिया सर्जिकल स्ट्राइ है तो। So what are the contents of the red diary? Why is it making Congress so nervous? So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership. Uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gelot Saab's uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. Why is the Congress scared over the Red Diary? Let's debate.
वी हैव द डिबेट संजू वर्मा रतन शाह पंकज शर्मा लोकेश जिंदल पहले मैं सवाल राजेंद्र गुढ़ा जी से करूंगा पूर्व मंत्री राजेंद्र गुढ़ा जी ये रेड डायरी कहाँ है अब इस वक्त ये जो लाल डायरी है ये डायरी इस वक्त कहाँ है आज मैं विधानसभा में लेके गया था इस डायरी को और मैं इसको टेबल करना चाह रहा था स्पीकर साहब की इजाजत से और मुझे जब बर्खास्त किया गया तो उस मामले में भी मैं विधानसभा में मेरा वक्तव्य देना चाह रहा था लेकिन उसके बावजूद डायरी कहां पे इस वक्त गुड़ा जी आपके घर में आपके पास है ये डायरी मेरी मैं विधानसभा में लेके गया था और उसके बाद भी कांग्रेस के सर कांग्रेस सरकार के मंत्रियों ने मेरे से छीन लिए मगर क्या आधी डायरी आपके पास है मैंने सुना कि आधी डायरी वो फट गई आधी डायरी आपके पास रही कि पूरी डायरी आपके हाथ से निकल गई नहीं नहीं वो डायरी विधानसभा हाउस में से वो डायरी के सारे के सारे मंत्री एक साथ मेरे पे टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने मेरे से वो डायरी छीन ली तो इस डायरी की कोई कॉपी है आपके पास ओरिजिनल डायरी तो वही थी उसके बारे में देखना पड़ेगा थोड़ा बहुत तो उस डायरी में क्या थी क्या सबूत है उस डायरी में अरुण जी यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये सारे के सारे कांग्रेस के लोग मैं हाउस में गया हूं मेरे हाथ में डायरी थी सबने देखा है उसने इन लोगों ने मेरे से वो डायरी छीननी है काफी लोगों की भीड़ थी वो एक साथ टूट के मेरे ऊपर पड़ी और उन्होंने जिस तरीके से वहां धक्का मुक्की और जो भी सीन बना था उसके बाद में वो डायरी मेरे हाथ में से इन लोगों ने पूरी ताकत लगा के सारे मंत्री एक साथ टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने वो डायरी मेरे से छीन ली और यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये उस डायरी से क्यों डरे हुए थे सारे मंत्री जिस तरीके से पूरी ताकत के साथ डायरी में आप, आपको तो पता है ना कि उस डायरी के अंदर क्या है क्योंकि 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 आपने कहा कि अशोक गहलोत ने आपको कहा था रेड के समय इस डायरी को लेके कहीं पे छुपाने के लिए आपने आपको कहा था तो उस डायरी के अंदर क्या था जरा डिटेल में बताइए ना उसमें क्या था क्या एंट्री है किस किसके हस्ताक्षर है क्या डिटेल्स है देखिए वो डायरी सारी की सारी धर्मेंद्र जी राठौड़ की डायरी वो उनके घर से वो बरामद हुई थी उसके अंदर सारी डिटेल्स दो राज्यसभा के चुनाव थे उनमें इन्होंने निर्दलीय विधायकों को क्या दिया बाकी पार्टी वालों को क्या दिया बाहर से सपोर्ट वालों को कितने पैसे दिए पैसे कहाँ से आए कहाँ दिए गए कितने दिए गए और जो क्रिकेट का जो था उसका और कई सरकार को बचाने में जो भी एपिसोड चला उसमें वो सारा किया उन्होंने मगर उसकी क्या क्या प्रूफ है कि वो जेन्युन है क्या प्रूफ है कि जो भी थी उस डायरी में वो जेन्युन थी अब तो डायरी ही नहीं है तो आप कैसे प्रूफ करेंगे ये तो ये तो आपके कहने वो कहने की बात हो गई ना फिर वो डायरी इसको प्रूफ कैसे करेंगे देखिए कुछ ना कुछ कहीं से कहीं कुछ न कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं कहीं से कोई उसके स्क्रिप्ट शॉट लिए होंगे मोबाइल में होंगे कुछ न कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं इसमें से कब लाएंगे अभी पब्लिक के कल से जनता के बीच में जा रहा हूं लोगों से मिलूंगा सारी बातें वहां भी पब्लिक भी इसमें एक एक पार्ट तो है ही जनता जनता ने जिन्होंने हमें भेजा है विधानसभा के अंदर दो तीन बार और उसके बाद में विधानसभा में जाने के बाद तो आप हम तो आप कह रहे हैं आपके पास और और, को, और, और कुछ सबूत भी है मतलब कोई मोबाइल फोन कोई व्हाट्सएप कोई बात हाँ कोई और भी और भी आ, मतलब सबूत है आपके पास आप कह रहे हैं क्या क्या कुछ है जरा बताइए 
क्या क्या थोड़ा बहुत मतलब किसको लेके किस विषय पर से मैं इस ये सबको पता है दिन में वो डायरी निकाली गई थी रूबी टावर जो सिविल लाइन्स में आठवीं नवी मंजिल पर रेड हुई थी उसमें मेरे साथ और भी एक दो एक आधा मंत्री और भी था और वहाँ लाठी चार्ज भी हुआ था उस टाइम में भी राजस्थान में सबको पता है इस बात का कोई एक डायरी थी जिसके लिए मुख्यमंत्री जी बड़े चिंतित थे किसी भी को उसको और उसके बाद भी अभी भी उसके लिए बहुत चिंतित हैं और आज भी सारे लोगों ने विधानसभा की कार्रवाई में वो हाउस के अंदर वो डायरी मेरे से छीननी है और ये कह रहे कुछ नहीं है तो छीन के क्यों ले गए है तो दिखा दो नहीं अरे मेरे पास है वो तो आज मुझे मुझे, मुझे मुझे लगता है कि असली डायरी आपके पास है और जो डायरी आप ले गए थे वो नकली डायरी है मगर मुझे लगता है असली सबूत आपके आपके पास है अभी भी गुडा जी आप मुझे बताइए खुलकर बहुत लोग मेरा प्रोग्राम देखते हैं मुझे लग रहा है असली डायरी आपके पास है सबूत आपके पास है नहीं तो आप इस तरह से मुस्कुराते नहीं और आप बहुत ही एक मतलब कि आप एक वरिष्ठ और एक्सपीरियंस अनुभवी ने, नेता हैं आपको पता है कि आपके पास अगर इतनी बड़ी सबूत है आप इसको सबसे हाथ से तो जाने नहीं देंगे अर्णव जी आपको बताऊं सबसे पहले आपके चैनल पे ही आपने बड़ी हिम्मत करके इसको सबसे पहले दिखाया था और बाकी तो ये लग भी नहीं रहा था कि कहीं चलेगा कहीं नहीं चलेगा आपके वो अमर मेरे वहाँ झुंझुनू मेरे कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी ट्राइबल में मेरे पास गए थे आपके एंकर जो राजस्थान के हैं और सबसे पहला इंटरव्यू मेरा उन्होंने लिया था और मैंने बता भी दिया था कि मैं लेकिन सोमवार को मैं मंडे को आऊँगा और उस दिन मैं सारे के सारे इनके कच्चे चिट्टे खोल लूँगा अब इनको पता भी था उन्होंने बड़ी कोशिश की मुझे रास्ते में रोकने की जैसे तैसे मैं हाउस के अंदर पहुँचा और हाउस में भी जाने के बाद ये लोग मुझे अंदर जिस तरीके से मतलब पूरी सार्वजनिक कर रहा था सारी चीजें अध्यक्ष जी ने वो डायरी मुझे टेबल क्यों नहीं करने दी आप राजस्थान के विधानसभा स्पीकर से भी तो आप पूछ सकते हो कि आप टेबल करना चाह रहा था हमारा अधिकार था और पहली बार एक राजस्थान के इतिहास में पहला केस है कि विधानसभा में मैं सिर्फ चौदह सेकेंड कोई बात बोल गया जो हमारे दुष महिलाओं के दुष्कर्म के ऊपर भेद जो हो रहा था तो ऐसा कौन सा बंगज हो गया मेरे से अस्तीफा भी तो मांग सकते थे ये और अस्तीफा नहीं मांग के मैं इनको रिजाइन दे देता मुख्यमंत्री किसको रखे किसको नहीं रखे बर्खास्त किया मैं उस पर भी बोलना चाह रहा था कि मुझे बर्खास्त में मुझे बोलने का अधिकार है दुनिया में ऐसी कौन सी अदालत है जिसके अंदर आप एक नहीं नहीं मगर डायरी के बारे में बताइए ना आपके पास सबूत आपके पास आपके आप ये पैसे किसको दिए गए थे पैसे किसको दिए गए थे क्या केंद्र में किसी को दिए गए थे केंद्र मतलब जो कांग्रेस कौ, पार्टी की केंद्रीय नेतृत्व है उनको दिए गए थे या गहलोत को दिए गए थे किसको दिए गए थे पैसे किसने दिए थे कहा से कलेक्शन हो रहा था सब गहलोत गहलोत साहब तो राज गहलोत साहब तो राजस्थान के चीफ मिनिस्टर भी है फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर भी है होम मिनिस्टर भी है उनको सारा का सारा सिस्टम उन्हीं के पास तो है गहलोत साहब के पास है सारी चीजें वहीं से तो निकलती हैं तो ये बताइए आप आप आपने तो उनको बचा दिया अब आप ही एक्सपोज कर रहे हैं आपने बचा दिया उस समय उस समय उन्होंने नहीं मांगा कि आ, मुझे ये रेड डायरी मेरे हाथ में दे दीजिए इतना बड़ा सबूत आपके हाथ में उन्होंने क्यों रखा क्या उतना इतना भरोसा था उनका उ, उनको आप पर देखिए अब आर मेरे बेटे के जन्मदिन पर गहलोत साहब हेलीकॉप्टर लेके गए थे चौदह नौ सितंबर को पिछली गो अभी दस महीने लगभग हो गए और उन्होंने कहा था कि राजेंद्र गुड्डा की वजह से मैं मुख्यमंत्री हूँ राजेंद्र गुड्डा की वजह से हमने आपको बताना चाह रहा हूँ आपको निकाल क्यों था अचानक दस सेकंड भी नहीं लगे उनको सरकार आपने आपने स्टेटमेंट दी राजस्थान में औरतों के सिचुएशन के बारे में और आपको दस सेकेंड में निकाल दिया मुझे दस ये मेरे ऊपर चार्ज भी ये लगा रहे कि मैं बीजेपी से मिला हूं जबकि मैंने इनको दो बार इनको सीएम बनाने में सबसे बड़ा रोल किया है मैंने और ये एक सेकंड नहीं लगाई उन्होंने और विश्वास था लेकिन उन्होंने कहा था डायरी को जला देना जला देना बार बार कहा था आपने जलाया क्यों नहीं 
उन्होंने कहा डायरी को जला देना और आपने जलाया नहीं ये तो बहुत ही इंटरेस्ट थोड़ा बहुत बच गया मगर जो डायरी आपके हाथ में थी वो जली हुई डायरी तो नहीं थी मतलब कि ओरिजिनल डायरी कहीं पे है आप मुझे पूरे पूरी 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 बात नहीं बता रहे गुडा जी यू मस्ट शेयर विथ मी द रियल ट्रूथ आपको मुझे लग रहा है आपके पास कोई बहुत बड़ा विस्फोटक सबूत है एक्सप्लोसिव एविडेंस मैं मीडिया मैं मीड मैं मीडिया के सामने पूरी डायरी ओपन करने वाला था हाउस के बाद में और हाउस में टेबल करता उसके बाद में उसके साथ साथ ही मैं उसको पूरे ओपन करता मीडिया के सामने मैं हाउस में थोड़ा लेट पूछा था और उसके बाद में मैं सीधा चला गया नहीं जाने से पहले मीडिया को भी मैं डायरी वो उसके कुछ सोट के देख के चला जाता तो ज्यादा बढ़िया रहता मुझे ये पता नहीं था कि इस तरीके से मैं मैं इतना कॉन्फिडेंस था मेरे से डायरी कैसे छीनेंगे और जिस तरीके से वो सारे लोग टूट के पड़े और वो दिस इज फैसिनेटिंग ये अमीन नहीं 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 मैं 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 ये वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी गुडा जी एक मिनट इट्स वेरी फैसिनेटिंग स्टोरी गुडा जी एक मिनट रुकिए आप मैं थोड़ी प्रतिक्रिया लेना चाहता हूं जिस बात आपने की आई थिंक लोकेश फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स वेरी अनडेमोक्रेटिक व्हाट योर पार्टी इज डन यू सैक हिम फॉर स्पीकिंग द ट्रूथ ही वॉन्ट्स टू रिवील द करप्शन यू ट्राई टू फिज यू ऑलमोस्ट फिजिकली असोल्ट हिम एंड देन यू वॉन्ट टू से यू वॉन्ट टू सेव डेमोक्रेसी Uh, that arise from uh, the minister's uh, narration first of all if he, if he was so much particular about corruption and all why was he quiet since 2020 secondly when you are questioning him what is the content of that uh, diary he is all he is absolutely uh, clueless about what is there inside the diary it's a cooked up story i it's understand one minute. you are saying you are you are questioning him one minute one minute one minute i i i, I agree with you no 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 one minute because one minute. just one minute lokesh you know. lokesh i want yes. sanju to respond to this i i i it is clear to me that mr gudha has known about this corruption he does not make bones about the fact that he was an accomplice in covering up corruption unko pata tha wahan pe matlab bhrashtachar ho raha hai aur wo wo usko जमाने में वो उनकी भी उनकी भी भूमिका थी मगर जो ये सब हुआ उसके बाद वो क्रोधित हो गए गुस्से में उन्होंने कहा कि मैं सच्चाई दिखा दूंगा मैं एक्सपोज कर दूंगा अशोक गहलोत का असली चेहरा ये तो बिल्कुल क्लियर हो रहा है इसमें कोई दुविधा किसी को नहीं होनी चाहिए संजू वॉट यू थिंक संजू 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 और प्लीज ओके और रब आई थिंक फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट kudos to you for actually taking rajendra gudda on air and trying to you know get down to the bottom of this red diary and the mysteries that it contains i just have this to say you know rahul gandhi goes around all over town giving a bhashan main nafrat ke bazar mein mohabbat ki dukaan kholne aaya hu priyanka vadra goes around town saying ladki hu lad sakti hu i stand for women empowerment i'm sure the red diary contains a lot of details which are not pleasant to the eyes and which are not certainly pleasant to the ears i just have this to say if rahul gandhi feels that the violence in manipur needs to be condemned and it rightly needs to be condemned and punishment needs to be meted out to the culprits why is it that when rajendra gudda said that rajasthan is the number one state in atrocities against women rajasthan is the number one state in crimes against women and he goes on to add that we must do <coughs> introspection otherwise how will we face the public What is Mr. the big deal about it? Is What is wrong? What is wrong in showing the mirror to Ashok Gehlot? National television. What is wrong in showing the mirror to Ashok Gehlot? Give me one minute. I'll question. I'll I'll just question. Where is Rahul Gandhi? Where is his mohabbat ki dukaan? Has he condemned the Karoli gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Alwar gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Jodhpur gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi condemned the Mount Abu gang rape? Has Rahul Gandhi संजू वर्मा और लोकेश जिंदल पंकज शर्मा क्या पंकज शर्मा पंकज शर्मा एक मिनट संजू संजू वन मिनट पंकज शर्मा पंकज शर्मा किसी व्यक्ति को अगर आत्मचिंतन करने के बाद कोई व्यक्ति अगर 
इस कंक्लूजन पे पहुंचे कि मुझे सच बता देना चाहिए तो उसमें बुराई क्या है अगर गुडा जी को पता था तो हां मैं मानता हूं गुडा जी आपको पहले बता देना चाहिए था कि ऐसा भ्रष्टाचार हो रहा है मगर अगर आप आज दिखाना चाहते हैं मुझे यह भी लगता है कि ठीक है सच्चाई सामने आ जाए तो मैं पूछना चाहता हूं दिस इज अ फॉल जी 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 नेरेटिव दैट इज बीइंग पुट फॉर नो नो गुडा जी कुछ कह रहे हैं मिस्टर गुडा जी सेइंग समथिंग व्हाट आर यू सेइंग मिस्टर गुडा शेमफुल शेमफुल मिस्टर गुडा प्लीज कंटिन्यू शेमफुल मिस्टर गुडा को बोलने दें मिस्टर गुडा को तो आप असेंबली में बोलने दें मेरे प्रोग्राम में बोलने दें यू आर ट्राइंग टू स्टार्टल द वॉइस ऑफ मिस्टर गुडा शेम ऑन शेम ऑन यू मिस्टर गुडा जी गुडा जी बोलिए शेम ऑन यू शेम ऑन यू मत कीजिए गुडा जी को बोलने दीजिए लोकेश जिंदल जी आपको प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रही है व्हाट इज द शेम ऑन यू शेम ऑन यू शेम ऑन यू फॉर ऑलमोस्ट असॉल्ट गिवन इन पार्लियामेंट टुडे इन असेंबली टुडे यू नो आई नो आई नो मिस्टर गुडा व्हाट द ट्रुथ इज यू नो आप गुडा जी को गुडा जी नाउ इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी नाउ इज द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू टू टेल द ट्रुथ Tell, tell the people what form of pressure you are going to. Why you have been forced to make a false narrative? Tell the truth. 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 For uh, toppling the state government, Mr. Goda, are you not the same person who, at a private school function, narrated a story to the students that how BJP offered you sixty crore rupees to cross vote in favour of a particular candidate in Rajya Sabha election? Goda ji, Goda ji, ये सवाल, ये सवाल पंकज, ये सवाल पंकज शर्मा आपको कर रहे हैं, जो 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 पंकज शर्मा कर रहे हैं कि आप क्या वो ही व्यक्ति नहीं हैं, जिन्होंने कोई स्कूल के फंक्शन में कभी कहा था कि आपको साठ साठ करोड़ रुपए दिए गए थे कि आप पार्टी बदले या अपने अपने दैट यू शुड चेंज साइड्स गुड़ा जी नहीं नहीं गलत रिपोर्ट है दिए गए दिए गए नहीं थे दिए नहीं गए थे हमारे पास प्रलोभन था हमें मुझे आज नहीं हर बार राज्य सभा का बोट बनी कांग्रेस को छह बार तो दिया है तो बात आपके छह बार और अभी बता रहा हूँ पिछले पांच महीने पहले पिछले पांच महीने पहले पिछले पांच महीने पहले मेरे मुकदमा लगाया गया तो मंत्री रहे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे बोलने दे लेट हिम स्पीक लेट हिम स्पीक यू हैव बीटेन हिम अप इन द असेंबली लेट हिम स्पीक और ऑलमोस्ट असोल्टेड हिम लेट हिम स्पीक वाज सो ब्यूटीफुल दैट राम लेट हिम स्पीक बोथ बिकेम पार्ट बट व्हाई आर यू गेटिंग नर्वस मिस्टर गोड़ा इज द सेम बट व्हाई आर यू ओके सो ओके सो पंकज 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 व्हाट इज रतन शारदा वन मिनट पंकज पंकज यू आर जस्ट लुक एट द ड्रामा आउट हियर जस्ट वन मिनट वन मिनट वन मिनट गोड़ा जी बात सुनिए पंकज जी कुछ कह रहे हैं आपको बोलिए गुडा जी बोलिए ऐसा पंकज जी आ, आज से पांच महीने पहले एक महिला मेरे पास आई थी उसकी दो बच्चों की शादी थी और वो सुसाइड करने वाली थी किसी ने उसके पैसे रोक लिए मैंने मेरी जेब से तीन लाख चौरासी हजार उसको दे के उसकी बच्चों की शादी कराई उस मामले में गहलोत साहब ने मेरे मुकदमा लगाया अपहरण का और आज तक वो तलवार मेरे ऊपर लटका रखी है कि तेरे को गिरफ्तार करा दिया जाए और तेरे को नहीं करा दिया जाए रोज परेसर की पिछले साल भर से झेल रहा हूं इन चीजों को और आपको बताना चाह रहा हूं ये सारी की सारी चीजें विधानसभा में पहले भी बोल रहा हूं एम एल था मंत्री नहीं था तब भी मैंने करप्शन पे विधाउस में बोला हूं मंत्रियों के बारे में भी बोला हूं और सचिन पायलट जी की मीटिंग में भी करप्शन के ऊपर बोला हूं और हर मुद्दे पर मैं बोलता रहा हूं और इसमें आप तो कह रहे हो इस पूरे के पूरे मामले के अंदर अब एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड बोलिए गुडा जी डायरी कहा है डायरी कहा है गुडा जी आप मुझे बताइए मुझे भी थोड़ी डायरी आज सब डायरी कहा है और ना यू आर रिलेंटलेस पूरे हाउस नहीं नहीं आपके पास मेरे से सब नहीं मैं रिलेंटलेस नहीं इनके पास डायरी है मुझे पता है इनके पास डायरी है इन्होंने जलाई नहीं है जो जो डायरी आपने दिखाई है गुडा जी उसमें कतई एक 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 स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर भी वहां पे जली हुई नहीं दिखी आप मुझे कह रहे जली हुई है 
आप आप अपने अलमारी में जाइए डायरी को निकाल के दिखा दीजिए मेरे दर्शकों को आपके पास कोई ना कोई सबूत है नहीं तो आप अपने इतमान से नहीं बैठते आप आज घर में बैठ के शायद आप शायद आपको मजा आ रहा है कि जो डायरी उन्होंने हाथ से चीनी वो तो नकली डायरी थी तो रियल डायरी आपके पास है रतन शारदा आपको क्या लगता है रतन शारदा बड़े वरिष्ठ एनालिस्ट है क्या आपको लगता है इन्होंने डायरी दूसरों के हाथ में दे दी मुझे लगता है ये पार्ट वन है पार्ट टू इनके ये करने वाले हैं इसमें पार्ट थ्री भी होगा रतन शारदा वॉट यू थिंक इतने पुराने राजनीतिक इतने तो कच्चे खिलाड़ी नहीं है कि एक ही डायरी लेकर उसको बैठे होंगे नेचुरली कॉपी भी होंगी और कॉपी लेकर गए थे कि असली मुझे पता नहीं भी हाँ। लेकिन इतने कच्चे खिलाड़ी तो नहीं है मुझे एक ही पहले रेड डायरी पती थी माउस से तुम की उसके अलावा कांग्रेस की दूसरी रेड डायरी बनी है जिसको बचाने के लिए सारी कांग्रेस कूद पड़ी है विधानसभा में स्पीकर परेशान है असेंबली के बाहर कांग्रेस के नेता परेशान है वहाँ से इनको दस सेकंड में निकाल दिया वो प्रधानमंत्री उनके मुख्यमंत्री और राहुल गांधी परेशान है तो कुछ तो दाल में काला है हम कह रहे हैं कि कुछ नहीं है जी घोड़ा साहब तो फ्रस्ट्रेटेड नहीं, नहीं, है नहीं, नहीं, इनको मजा आ रहा है ये आज अगर आप सी पी जोशी को देखते है इफ यूर सीन सी पी जोशी अरे आप असेंबली में देखिए आई शो यू दिक्चर्स फुल फ्रेम दिखाता हूँ इफ यू सीन सी पी जोशी इतने सीनियर कांग्रेस नेता है संजू उनको ऐसा लग रहा था कि वहां पे मतलब कूद पड़ेंगे वो स्पीकर के चेयर से वो खुद जाके हाथ में ले लेंगे इतना गुस्सा था इन्हें अगर मैं ऑडियो प्ले करूं यू विल सी बहुत डेस्परेट थे उस समय कहीं ना कहीं किसी तरह से लाल डायरी अपने हाथ में लीजिए इतना बड़ा ड्रामा नो बडी सीन दिस काइंड ऑफ ड्रामा इन दिस कंट्री बिफोर दिस संजू वर्मा यू सीन दिस आप देख रहे हैं प्ले द ऑडियो जस्ट सुनिए इस ऑडियो को सुनिए इस ऑडियो को लिसन टू द ऑडियो लिसन टू द ऑडियो फर्स्ट ये 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 रेड डायरी के बारे में क्या सीपी जोशी को भी कुछ पता है गोडा जी डज ही ऑल्सो नो समथिंग अबाउट द रेड डायरी लगता है ओपन सीक्रेट है राहुल मैंने मैंने हाउस में टेबल करने के लिए टेबल करना चाह रहा था हाउस में मैं उसको टेबल करना चाह रहा था उन्होंने टेबल पर क्यों नहीं कर ले दिया पूरे राजस्थान की जनता को पता चल जाता सर मैं उस डायरी को टेबल करने के लिए लेके गया था टेबल करने का ये बिल्कुल सही बात है टेबल करने में क्या समस्या थी कांग्रेस पॉलिटिशियन है लोग कहते हैं टेबल करिए टेबल कर रहे थे ना कि देर इज अ रूल्स ऑफ बिजनेस देर इज अ डेकोरम दैट इज टू बी फॉलोड अगर आपको नहीं फॉलो करना एक एक संजू बहुत पुराना संजू 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 भेड़ी संजू संजू लोकेश लोकेश गांव वालों को बुलाया जाता था ओके और आई लिसन टू द ऑडियो यू नो दी स्पीकर इज कंटिन्यूसली अर्जिंग एंड देन ही गेट्स यू नो कंप्लीटली रैकल्ड एंड सेल्स मे चेंबर में आइए मे चेंबर में आइए यहां नहीं यहां नहीं सो क्लियरली दिस मिस्टीरियस रेड डायरी हैज मोर देन Uh, what you know is currently revealed, but I just want this uh, to be known that don't forget it was on the 26th of October 2022 that officially Malik Arjun Khadge was declared the Congress president. And if you remember or not, during that time, in the 15 days prior to Khadge being announced as the Congress pres, we first heard it will be Ashok Gehlot. There was a stamp of approval on Gehlot's name by uh, the top brass of the Congress, Sonia, Rahul, Robert Vadra, what have you. Then it was a fight between Khadge and Shashi Tharoor, and finally Khadge won. And I think this red diary may contain a lot of give and take that happened because we all know that Ashok Gehlot rattled the Congress top brass. Ah. He was in a mood of rebellion. He was in a mood of rebellion, but finally is the Gandhi's most humble crow and Ashok Gehlot continued as the Rajasthan Chief joke. Minister. राजेंद्र गुढ़ा जी से अनुरोध करता हूँ 
राजेंद्र गुडा जी आपसे मैं अनुरोध करता हूं आप जरा अगर हमें कह सके कि आप बोलिए जो भी आपके पास और भी सबूत है वो मीडिया के सामने कब लाएंगे आप क्योंकि इतना बड़ा मुद्दा है देखिए ये हाउस के बारे में मीडिया के सामने के बारे आप में तो बातें कर रहे हैं सबसे पहले सबसे पहले एक मिनट मेरी बात सुनिए मेरी बात सुनिए आप जब हाउस के अंदर में गया तो मुझे ये पता नहीं था मैं मंत्री के रूप में जिस कुर्सी पर बैठता था उस वो चेयर पर मैं बैठ नहीं सकता था क्योंकि मैं मंत्री नहीं रहा उसके बाद में मुझे दूसरी चेयर अलॉट नहीं एक विधायक के रूप में मुझे जो सीट देनी चाहिए थी वो नहीं दी अब मैं बोलने के लिए मेरे पास कोई कोई स्पीकर नहीं था माइक नहीं था मैं किससे बोलता वो अलग बात इसके है। अलावा मैं वो मैं सुन चुका हूँ आपने आज पहले कह चुके आप ये सब बातें मैं कह रहा हूँ आपको कि आप मीडिया के सामने आप पर भी आप पर भी एक जिम्मेदारी बनती है गुडा जी आप पे बहुत बड़ी जिम्मेदारी बनती है कि आपने अगर कहा कि मैं भ्रष्टाचार को एक्सपोज करूंगा तो आप पे जिम्मेदारी बनती है आपकी नैतिक जिम्मेदारी है गुडा जी की आप जो भी सबूत है मीडिया के सामने लाए आप कब लाएंगे अर्नब कोई सबूत नहीं है ये एक ये एक जो है एक एक तरह का जो है इन्होंने एक आप इनको बोलने देना आपको थोड़ी पूछा है गुडा जी बोलिए फिर आप फिजिकली क्या गुडा जी बोलिए देखिए गुडा जी कंटिन्यू नैतिक जिम्मेदारी की याद गुडा जी कंटिन्यू रतन शारदा लेट गुडा स्पीक मैं आपको बता ले चाह मेरे से वो डायरी विधानसभा में छीन ली गई है ये बताइए आप क्यों छीन ली उन्होंने क्या था उसमें ये कुछ नहीं है तो कहते थे कुछ भी नहीं है वो डायरी दिखा वो छोड़िए आपके पास तो आपके पास बहुत कुछ, कुछ और है तो क्यों लेके गए आपने मुझे कहा कि मेरे पास और कुछ है आपने कहा कि मेरे पेरे कई दो तीन पेज निकाले गए बाकी पेजेस मेरे पास है आपने मुझे तो कहा कि आपको देखना पड़ेगा आपके फोन में और क्या क्या है आपके पास क्या है गुडा जी आप इंस्टॉलमेंट में रिलीज करने वाले हैं क्या नहीं अर्नब आर्चीज गैलरी में सेम ऐसी रेड डायरी देखने को मिली थी राजेंद्र जी आपको आर्चीज गैलरी जाना चाहिए आर्चीज गैलरी में आपको रेड डायरी मिल जाएगी बोलने दीजिए आप बोलने दीजिए स्टेशनरी जिंदल जी प्लीज गुडा जी को बोलने दीजिए गुडा जी बोलिए दिल्ली के बाजारों में आपको नहीं पूछा है आप आप सारी चीजों को मजाकिया मत बनाइए जिंदल जी 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 देखिए आज कोई पहला दिन नहीं है राजनीति का चौबीस जुलाई चौबीस जुलाई कोई आखिरी डे भी नहीं है ये लड़ाई तो चलेगी और इसके अंदर राजेंद्र गुड्डा की गिरफ्तारी भी होगी सुन लेना मेरी बात और और भी कुछ करेंगे लेकिन उस आखिरी दम तक लड़ूंगा इनके खिलाफ और इनके सारे के सारे कले चिट्ठे ना वो बाहर ला रख दूंगा आपका मुंह बंद हो जाएगा आज आखिरी डेट है क्या कोई आज आखिरी तारीख है मैं टेबुल कर रहा था क्यों नहीं करने दिया मुझे टेबुल विधानसभा के अंदर मुझे बोलने क्यों नहीं दिया गया टेबल में कर रहा था टेबल हो जाती डायरी ले गए तो क्यों छीन उस डायरी में क्या था क्यों छीन रहे थे क्यों नहीं, किसकी रहे थे किसकी गिरफ्तारी होगी आपने कहा किसकी गिरफ्तारी होगी मेरी गिरफ्तारी होगी राजेंद्र गुड्डा की गिरफ्तारी होगी क्यों होगी कन्वेक्शन और क्यों होगी गुडा जी मुझे ल... आप अपनी गिरफ्तारी क्यों चाहते हैं मुझे लगा रखे है मेरे चार महीने पहले मेरे खिलाफ मुख्यमंत्री करेगा गिरफ्तार उस... उनकी पॉलिटिक्स इसी तरह की है दबाव देने की क्यों करेंगे, क्यों करेंगे? ये कुछ ये और करते हैं कितने किस चीज का दबाव देखिए मैं आपको बता देता हूं अशोक जी गहलोत ने पता नहीं कितने नेताओं को पानी पिला दिया धारीवाल भी खुद कह रहे थे मीटिंग में कि अच्छे अच्छे नेताओं को हमने पानी पिला दिया परशुराम जी मदेरना थे बलराम जी जाखड़ थे बूटा सिंह थे नटवर सिंह थे चंदनमल बैद थे खेत सिंह थे गुलाब सिंह थे थे शिवचंद माथुर ठीक है गुडा जी गुडा जी मैं इसको फॉलो करूंगा मैं फॉलो करूंगा ये ये ही प्रेडिक्टिंग जोन अरेस्ट Sacked minister who waved the red diary has been live with us. It's a fascinating story. Let's see the next twist it takes. And ladies and gentlemen, an archaeological survey of India, survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque barring the Wazoo Khana area, was all set to be initiated today. It's an emotive issue, but the Supreme Court has intervened upon a plea and stayed the survey till 5 p.m. on 26 July. One section is panicking about the survey. My question is. 
hashtag we need the truth. And the only way to know what the truth is, whether it was a temple somewhere in the past or not, is a scientific survey. A scientific survey means we will get to know the truth. Why oppose the truth? Hashtag, we need the truth. Let's debate. Days after the Varanasi court allowed a survey of the Gyanwapi complex. Hara, hara, mahade. Har karma se rahe na baba to har kasi ko kar de. Har baba Vishwanath ka mandir manwa sab ke bhavela. Security was tightened. An ASI team began a study this morning. समुचित पुलिस व्यवस्था की गई है. इसमें सिविल पुलिस के साथ साथ पीएसी, आरएएफ, होमगार्ड के जवान सादे वस्त्रों में भी सेवान नियुक्त किया गया है। सीसीटीवी जरिए और अन्य जो ड्रोन के जरिए मॉनिटरिंग किया जा रहा है। आज कोर्ट के द्वारा एसआई के द्वारा आदेश हुआ से उसको सर्वे किया जाए और दूध का दूध और पानी के पानी कर दिया जाए हिंदू जन समाज को जो बाबा के हिंदू जन समाज के जो आराध्य हैं बाबा विष्णुत सारे देव देवताओं के देव हैं बाबा विष्णुत उनके मंदिर भव्य बना जाए इसलिए आज हम सब अपना गंगा जल और बेल पत्र लेकर आए हैं और हम सब के संकल्प पूरा होने वाला है। Soon after, a three-day stay was granted by the Supreme Court following a mentioning by the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. Without going into the merits of the case, the top court said that the petitioner should be given a breathing time. To file an appeal before the Allahabad High Court. कि शाम पांच बजे तक रोक लगाई है और अंजुमन इंतजामिया को ये कहा है कि छब्बीस जुलाई के शाम पांच बजे से पहले वो High Court approach करें और High Court इस matter को सुनेगा और उसके बाद High Court decide करेगा कि stay रहना है इस order पे कि नहीं रहना। Honourable Supreme Court ने ज्ञानवादी केस के सिलसिले में जो ASI survey पर छब्बीस जुलाई को शाम के पांच बजे तक र उसको हम लोग वेलकम करते हैं उसका खैर मुकदम करते हैं कोई भी मुसलमान कोई किसी भी मस्जिद को किसी भी और इबादतगाह को गिरा करके या किसी दूसरे की जमीन पर कब्जा करके मस्जिद कभी नहीं बनाता है ना मस्जिद बनाई जा सकती है सम से द सर्वे इज द ओनली वे टू सेफ्ट क्लेम्स फ्रॉम फैक्ट्स देखिए क्यों चैलेंज करके इन्हें के लिए मुस्लिम पक्ष कोर्ट में गया एएसआई पर उनका विश्वास नहीं है क्या या अंदर खाने में कोई बात है जो सर्वे करने पे निकल के आएगी जिसले जिससे मुस्लिम पक्ष घबरा रहा है ये कोर्ट का निर्णय है सरकार का निर्णय नहीं है मैं समझ रहा हूँ कि सुप्रीम कोर्ट नहीं जाना चाहिए और उनको जो कोर्ट का निर्णय हुआ है खुले आम सर्वे कराना चाहिए Why not allow the survey and close the issue once and for all? Let's debate. And Tala Amir Rashidi, Advocate Varish Pathan, Pushpendra Kulshresht, Senior Journalist. My first question is to Harishankar Jain. Harishankar Jain Ji, our hashtag is We Need The Truth. If you want to come in front of the truth, then the stay was put in front of the petition in the Supreme Court. So, are there some groups that are scared from the truth? So, why are they trying to stop this survey? बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं अर्नब जी सही बात ये कि मुस्लिम पक्ष जानता है कि अगर वहाँ सर्वे हो गया और साइंसिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन हो गया तो वो सत्य निकल के सामने आएगा जिसको जनता जानना चाहती है और हमारी सारे किताबों में धर्मशास्त्रों में हर जगह लिखा हुआ है कि वहाँ किस तरह का भव्य मंदिर था सोलह सौ में इसको औरंगजेब के ज़माने में तोड़ा गया था और उसी प्लिंस के ऊपर आज का ढांचा खड़ा हुआ है और मैं अच्छी और बतला दूं पिछले 16 मई 2022 को जब फवारा जिसको लोग बोलते हैं एक पांड के अंदर भव्य शिव मंदिर शिवलिंग मिला था उसी तरह अगर यह जांच हो गई तो जहां पर गर्भगृह था जो मूल शिवलिंग है वो आज भी वहां मौजूद है और मिलेगा उस सच्चाई को मुस्लिम पक्ष हिंदू से ज़्यादा जानता है और इसलिए सत्य को छिपाने के लिए वो रोक रहे हैं कि किसी तरह सर्वे न हो को सर्वे होने के बाद मालूम पड़ जाएगा कुछ ढांचे में वह क्या क्या है और क्या छिपाया गया है 
तीसरी बात जो सबसे महत्वपूर्ण है कि आज जो सर्वे शुरू हो गया तो झूठ बोला गया कि सब खुदाई चल रही है अरे भाई खुदाई कहाँ चल रही है पहले सफाई हो रही थी वीडियोग्राफी हो रही थी पर झूठ के हाथ पाँव नहीं होते सत्य सामने आएगा और माननीय इलाहाबाद हाईकोर्ट कल फाइल हो रही है हम लोग भी हाईकोर्ट में अपनी पैरवी करेंगे और मुझे उम्मीद है कि सत्य सबके सामने आएगा और एक दिन आज नहीं तो कल सर्वे होना है और भव्य शिव मंदिर का निर्माण जैसे अयोध्या में भगवान राम का बन रहा है उसी तरह यहाँ भी भव्य शिव मंदिर बनेगा बहुत जल्दी बनेगा क्योंकि सत्यता ज्यादा छिपाई नहीं जा सकती है आई फील आई फील तरह से मिस्टर जैन आई फील जो जो मैं जो yes. मुझे लगता है हरिशंकर जी आई फील दैट देर शुड बी साइंटिफिक सर्वे बिकॉज वारिस पठान एंड तलाम रशीदी मैं yes. दूसरे पक्ष को भी मौका देना चाहता हूँ अगर आप इतने ही कॉन्फिडेंट है वारिस पठान दैट देर इज नो टेम्पल देन हैव अ सर्वे इफ देन द सर्वे विल शो देर वॉज नेवर एनी टेम्पल दिस इज अ फाउंटेन अर्नाब वॉट एवर इज द ट्रूथ If there was, if the mosque has not been well, built on a temple, the survey will say the mosque has not been built on a temple. The if the mosque has been built on a temple, then the survey yes. will say the mosque has been built on a temple. So I don't understand the confusion or the insecurity yeah. about it. Yes, what is? Are you saying well, Hindus have well, no right Supreme to know whether the mosque, whether the mosque was built on a temple, an ancient temple? अच्छा यू नो इफ योर कमेंट्री इज ओवर यू अलाउ अस टू मेक आवर पॉइंट वी वर लिसनिंग पेशेंटली टू मिस्टर विष्णु द एडवोकेट ऑफ द अदर साइड वेल द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज टेकन कॉग्नाइजेंस ऑफ द मैटर एंड दे हैव स्टेट द ऑर्डर पास बाय द लोअर कोर्ट एंड आल्सो स्टेटेड दैट स्टेटस को शुड बी मेंटेन टिल 26th ऑफ जुलाई 5 पीएम एंड टाइम एंड अगेन वी आर अगेन से रिटरेट दैट देयर इज नो नीड फॉर अ सर्वे एज इट इज बी द 1991 प्लेसेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट इज अ ग्रॉस वायलेशन ऑफ दैट Because the places of worship in 1999 were enacted with an intention and a view to see that the structure standing prior to 15 August 1947, you cannot change the nature and character of that place. But now the BJP is trying to polarize the situation prior to the 2024 election to divert the mind of the nation from the basic issues of rising price, unemployment, no. and the money poor issue. So, and I am sure yes. that when the matter will be heard by the Allahabad High Court, they One will stay the order for the survey. Why do they want to have a survey now, now? The Kaili said 1937, Din Mohammed. थैंक यू What is what is I heard you, but I just want to make a point here. And Pushpendra Kulshree is very senior journalist. Uh, my own view, Pushpendra ji, is that if Aurangzeb has destroyed a temple before 1669, and it is not any other temple, we are talking of the Kashi Vishwanath Temple. If it was destroyed, right at that point of time, or parts of it to make a mosque, and now if there is carbon dating, there will be carbon dating of the Shivling. शिवलिंग की कार्बन डेटिंग होगी तभी पता चलेगा कि इतने सारे हिंदू सिंबल्स कैसे हैं वहां पे नाउ वर्शिप एक्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट ही से यू कैन चेंज द स्टेटस को एज फार एज आई नो प्रेयर्स हैड बीन गोइंग ऑन देयर टिल रिसेंटली एंड आई वांट पुष्पेंद्र कुलश्रेष्ठ टू गिव इज व्यू प्लीज मिस्टर कुलश्रेष्ठ अर्नब सबसे पहला मेरा पॉइंट ये है कि ये मंदिर मस्जिद का मामला नहीं है इज ए क्लैश ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन और यह किसी एक मंदिर का मामला नहीं है और यह नहीं हो सकता है कि इस देश की मेजोरिटी एक एग्रेसर के सामने रिसीविंग एंड पे खड़ी हो और मेजोरिटी होने के बावजूद भी आज तक उसने कोर्ट के ऊपर से अपना यकीन अलग नहीं किया है हम आज भी पूरे दावे के साथ कह रहे हैं जो मंदिर है चर्च है हमको नहीं पता जानना चाहते हैं अरे आप आप बोलने दीजिए बोलने दीजिए मैं सिर्फ इतना कह रहा हूं बयालीस हजार मंदिर प्लेस वर्शिप एक्ट के तहत आए थे तो क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट को नहीं पता था कि इसके ऊपर रोक लगी है 
سوال یہ ہے کہ ہر بار یہ اٹھایا جاتا ہے پلیسز آف ورشپ ایک پلیسز آف ورشپ ایک اس وقت ختم ہو گیا جب اس پر سنوائی ہو رہی تھی ہم تو آج بھی کہتے ہیں کہ پیالیس ہزار مسلم کے ایس آئی کے مقلم سے جانس کی جائے مندر میں کنورٹ ہو گئی ہے اس کی بھی آواز اٹھانی چاہیے ایک وائی ہے انبائیس ہے ایماندار ایک وائی ایک وائی ایک وائی ایک وائی ایک وائی پلیس کیپ کوائٹ پلیس کیپ کوائٹ پلیس کیپ کوائٹ آپ کی عادت ہے کہ سچ نہیں سننا چاہتے ہیں سچ کا ڈھنڈورا پیٹتے ہیں آپ صبح سے لے کے شام تک اگر آپ میں دم ہے اگر آپ مانتے ہیں سیلیکٹیو کوٹ کو مانتے ہیں سیلیکٹیو اے ایس آئی کو مانتے ہیں آپ اپنے سیلیکٹیو طریقے سے اس دیش کو نہیں چلا سکتے اے ایس آئی کسی پارٹی کی نہیں ہے اے ایس آئی کسی کے انڈر میں نہیں آتی ہے اگر اے ایس آئی سروے کر رہی ہے تو پھر آپ کو تکلیف کیوں ہے میں تو کہتا ہوں بیالیس ہزار مندروں کا اے ایس آئی کو سروے کرنا چاہیے ہم وکٹم ہونے کے باوجود بھی ریسیونگ اینڈ پہ ہونے کے باوجود بھی آپ جھوٹ بولتے ہیں کورٹ کے اندر کہ آپ نے سپریم کورٹ میں آپ نے سپریم کورٹ میں اس قانون کے خلاف نہیں گئے آپ مستر رشیدی اس میں سربے تھا اس کے خلاف چل رہے تھے the point being the point being the point being the point being مستر شیشت مستر رشیدی دیکھئے if it is a shivling then that area is being used as a wazu khana then obviously the hindu community will not be happy about it یاد رکھئے تلامی رشیدی آپ بات کرتے ہیں ایک منٹ ایک منٹ ناو ناو ویدر ایٹ ایس ون منٹ ون منٹ یس یس ایف ایٹ ایس یس بات لیٹ می ٹیلیو لیٹ می ٹیلیو ایف ایٹ ایس ایٹ ایس ایس ایٹ ایس ایٹ ایس ایف ایٹ ایس ایس ایف ایٹ ایس ایٹ ایس ایس ایف ایس ایس ایف ایس 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 ا Initially, as said by Why Mr. Why are you scared Khan, of science? It's a gross violation of the places of worship act 1991. The, this, the plaintiff is sued by the lady. What is going on in recent period of time? We are not ready to accept this argument. We are not ready to accept this argument. On that particular suit. Are you sir, who... What do you mean by illegal order? Court illegal order pass kar raha hai. You are talking about the court is illegal. Court is party. How can you say court is illegal? دوسری بات جو دیش کا بادشاہ تھا جو پورے دیش کا بادشاہ تھا مسجد کوئی دوسری بات نہیں ہے آپ یہ کیسے کہہ سکتے ہیں کہ illegal order pass کیا how can you say کہ illegal order pass کیا this order passed by the court not the BJP no 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 don't confuse the don't confuse the rest of the people اسے کوئی اور جگہ نہیں ملی مسجد بنانے کے لیے وہ مندر توڑ کر وہاں پہ مسجد بنایا گیا جس مسجد میں نماز جائے اس نے پورے دیش میں مندر توڑے اور وہ بادشاہ آپ کا کیا لگتا تھا what is your relation with the بادشاہ one minute 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 you are saying the argument being put is Mr. Kulshresht Mr. Kulshresht Mr. Kulshresht Mr. Kulshresht Tala one minute Tala Tala I heard you Tala your argument is this جو دیش کا بادشاہ تھا یعنی کہ you are talking about Aurangzeb by the way I must tell you Aurangzeb was a bigot a fanatic a communal man and you know absolutely he was and why are you why are you considering him a دیش کا بادشاہ today I'm not denying history then if you don't deny history you must you must you must say it say Aurangzeb was a bigot I'm not denying history you are say Aurangzeb was a bigot Call I'm not sticking to the topic. You're not sticking to the topic. Say Aurangzeb was a bigot or not? Say he was an intolerant bigot. Call him an intolerant bigot. Don't, don't run away from the facts. If you accuse me of not understanding history, I will accuse you of the same. How dare you say I don't understand history? I'm sticking to the topic. I'm sticking to the topic. My question being, my question being, my question being, being, my question 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 being, Hari Shankar Jain, Mr. Hari Shankar Jain, is it not true that there exists a 1936 court order that makes a mention of the original map of the Kashi temple, which indicates that the entire Shiv Mandir area is in the exact site on which the Gyanwapi mosque exists today? 
अगर कोई इतिहास के बारे में बोले तो 1936 की जो मैप है उसके कोर्ट ऑर्डर है उसके बारे में भी कोई कहे दिन मोहम्मद केस आफ्टर द ओरल टेस्टिमोनी एंड द सबमिशंस इट वाज हेल्ड दैट द प्रॉपर्टी बिलोंग्स टू व्हाट ऑर्डर 1959 अलाउस प्रपोज 1959 दिन मोहम्मद 1970 ऑर्डर दिन मोहम्मद स्टेट्स लैंड बिलोंग्स टू रघुनंदन दास लेट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिसाइड 1970 ऑर्डर लैंड बिलोंग्स टू रघुनंदन दास एटीन सेवेंटी फाइव डिस मुस्लिम इंटरफेरेंस वॉट अबाउट दिन मोहम्मद यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू हिस्ट्री आई गो इन टू हिस्ट्री एवरी डे By the court, so career scientists are allowed to pray there. Exactly, why are you afraid? Okay, one minute. Hari Shankar, Hari Shankar ji, Hari Shankar ji, last word to Hari Shankar Jain. Hari Shankar Jain, Hari Shankar Jain, Hari Shankar Jain. Jain ji, बोलिए, Hari Shankar ji, बोलिए. जी. और now why did the assign on on the special? Hari Shankar ji. They are. आप देख रहे हैं कि. Hari Shankar. They are. बोलिए, बोलिए. बोलिए. They are. They are. बोलिए बोलिए आई शंकर नो बडी इज डिमोलिशिंग एनी मॉस दिन मोहम्मद केस मणिपुर दे आर मिस इंटरप्रेटिंग दिन मोहम्मद केस एंड दे आर मिस इंटरप्रेटिंग प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एट बोथ एंड दे आर मिस गाइडिंग द पीपल एवरीवन एक्चुअली दिन मोहम्मद केस 12 विटनेसेस फ्रॉम द डिफेंडेड साइड दैट डिपोज्ड दैट वी वर वर्शिपिंग विद इन द प्रेमिसेस साइंटिफिक सर्वे टू कंटिन्यू डोंट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ साइंस डोंट बी अफ्रेड ऑफ एविडेंस वी नीड द ट्रूथ सी टू मॉर्ट नाइन ओ क्लॉक लेडीज एंड जेलमैन गुड नाइट एंड गुड बाय मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but log jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow Amid a mega ruckus and face off, Aam Aadmi Party Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge fresh firing in Manipur Republic gets you the testimonies of the victims Is part ke andar aapke sare kaale karnaame jo logo ne apne vidhayakon ko kharida kis kis MLA ko Rajya Sabha mein apne nirdaliyon ko kya kya diya kis kis ko parlaban diya cricket ke chunav mein apne kya kya kaale karnaame kiye paise de de ke Red dari controversy explodes sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly Motorola India's best 5G smartphone brand Sadan mein charcha ke liye taiyar hu Mujhe malum nahi hai ki vipaksh ko charcha karne dena nahi chahta is the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan meanwhile the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament there was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses prashnakal ha boliye ha boliye bas baithiye aap meri mat ki hai no आप और सलाम नम्रता की तहत एक छोटी सी बात रखने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं 
शुरू के दिन से ही हम ये बोलते आ रहे हैं वो सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम राज्यसभा फॉर द रिमेनिंग ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन फॉर रिपीटेडली वायलेटिंग द डायरेक्टिव्स ऑफ द चेयर द स्टैकिंग ऑफ राजेंद्र सिंह गुड़ा एज राजस्थान मिनिस्टर हैज टेकन अ न्यू टर्न विद द एमएलए ड्रॉपिंग हिंट्स ऑफ अ रेड डायरी कंटेनिंग इंक्रिमिनेटिंग एविडेंस details about cm ashok gelot gelot saab mo diary ka aadha part aapne mere aapke vidhan sabha mein gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai is part ke andar aapke sare kaale karnaame jo logon ne aapne vidhayakon ko kharida kis kis mla ko rajya sabha mein aapne nirdaliyon ko kya kya diya kis kis ko parloban diya क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा आफ्टर ही वाज इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द हाउस ऑन मंडे स्टैक मिनिस्टर राजेंद्र गुड़ा प्रिवेंटेड फ्रॉम इवन एंटरिंग द असेंबली बिल्डिंग बाय हाउस मार्शल्स लास्ट फ्राइडे ही वाज रिमूव्ड बाय गेलोट सून आफ्टर ही स्पोक ऑफ अलेज्ड असॉल्ट्स अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन द स्टेट बीजेपी लीडर स्टेज प्रोटेस्ट एट द गांधी स्टैचू डिमांडिंग आंसर्स फ्रॉम द गेलॉट गवर्नमेंट ओवर द राइस प्राइम क्रेसिस एंड एट्रोसिटीज अगेंस्ट वुमेन इन राजस्थान Thank you for joining us on the biggest story tonight. It's been a story that we at Republic have reported on very extensively, and the survey of the Gyanwapi issue started this morning. A few hours later, it was stalled. We'll tell you all about the Gyanwapi tussle and why a dispute that's run into centuries now is at a critical stage. The survey that was trying to find out scientifically if there was a temple. in the gyanwapi premises has been stalled for now after the supreme court intervention we'll tell you all about why and what happened here are the headlines parliament is stalled some political party is trying to turn manipur into a political drama now need manipur solution but not a parliament wash out if everyone's ready for a debate who doesn't want one the government claims the opposition is running from and stalling a debate aam aadmi party sanjay singh suspended from the monsoon session over ruckus in parliament It's the red diary controversy that's rocked Rajasthan. What's in the red diary is that big question. Sack minister in Rajasthan says the red diary that he's been waving out all through the day today will expose Ashok Gehlot. Gyanwapi survey stalled. who's against the scientific truth in this particular case that's that big question a top focus this evening on the biggest story tonight a 30 member archaeological survey of india team or an asi team was halted at a survey site in gyanwapi mosque just hours after beginning the exercise this morning following the supreme court intervention it's been stalled the varanasi court had earlier ordered the asi to conduct a survey in gyanwapi we'll show you the pictures of gyanwapi and why it's such a contentious issue 
They had ordered the ASI to conduct a survey using technologies like ground penetrating radar and excavations. And if it is necessary, even to determine if a temple existed earlier at the same place, they wanted to find the root cause of it. Now, the mosque is located next to the Vishwanath temple, Kashi Vishwanath temple. Now, the ASI was asked to conduct a ground penetrating radar survey just below the three domes of the building in question and conduct excavation if required. The court had also said that the director of the ASI could conduct a detailed scientific investigation by using GPR survey excavation dating method and other modern techniques of the present structure to find out whether the same has been constructed over a pre-existing structure of a Hindu temple. That was the that was the sole purpose of this survey. It's now been stalled after the Supreme Court felt today that uh, the Muslim side should get breather, like breathing space to go to the courts and challenge that. Here's the story so far and we have uh, the key people in this story joining us on the show this evening. A team of the Archaeological Survey of India began scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque complex on Monday morning. There were around 40 members including ASI officials. Four Hindu women plaintiff and the councils for the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. However, the Supreme Court stayed the scientific survey by the ASI inside Gyanwapi Mosque premises. The top court ordered status quo on the survey till 5 p.m. on July 26. The order gives the mosque management breathing time to approach the Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court further asked the High Court to hear the mosque management's case against ASI survey before the expiry of the status quo. Today, the Supreme Court has heard the case of both the Archaeological Survey of India and the Archaeological Survey of India. और डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज साहब का जो ऑर्डर है उसमें 26 तारीख तक 5 बजे तक इंट्रीम रोक लगाई है और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट को उनको कहा है अंजुमन इंतजामिया को कि वो इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में एप्लीकेशन मूव करें और उसको सुना जाएगा और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में हम लोग दोबारा बहस करेंगे कि यहां पे इसको स्टे करने का कोई ग्राउंड नहीं बनता the top court asked Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who was representing the Uttar Pradesh government, to inform the ASI team that there should not be any invasive work or excavation at the site. All eyes are now on the Allahabad High Court. But the Supreme Court, after inquiring from the ASI, has just observed that they have spoken to uh, the ASI officials and not a single brick even has been moved. Only videography and photographs have been taken uh, by the ASI officials. So this is what the Supreme Court has observed. Now what uh, the Muslim side was initially expecting that they will ask uh, the Supreme Court to give an interim stay in the matter till the time they could approach the High Court. Bureau Report, Republic TV. Okay, joining us on the broadcast this evening uh, are, are Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu Shankar Jain is the advocate for the Hindu side in, in the Gyanwapi case. And let me also uh, introduce uh, Atikur Rahman, who is an Islamic scholar. Let me start with Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu, uh, what, what was the aim? I mean, we've seen, we've, we've covered this issue for several years now. We've seen the tussle. Uh, you've been uh, you've been fighting for it now if you if the idea was to conduct a scientific survey find out scientifically what was there whether there was a, a temple below uh, what is the contention of the other side why are they against a scientific exercise see there was no logic or any submission made before the district court varanasi as to why they are opposed to this scientific survey the pleas which they are taken by the anjuman intizamia before the district court varanasis are a hyper technical pleas but there is no argument on merit that why this survey should not be conducted and the apprehension that if this survey is conducted they will be damaged to the structure was already taken care of by the district judge varanasi by writing down in by writing down in the order itself 
that this entire exercise will be conducted without causing any damage to the structure no so no so, so the point in issue as of now is this that if one side is saying that the western wall of the so called mosque is the ruin of a hindu temple if one side is saying that beneath the central domes there are the shikars of hindu temple if one side is saying that the pillars are of hindu temple if one side is saying that in the wazu tank which you are showing on your screen is not uh, a shivlingam it's a, it's not a it's not a fountain it's a shivlingam if one side is saying that the that there are many sealed areas in this premises which will go to show and prove that there are many facts which are hidden behind those sealed areas then i must ask a question to myself that how will a party prove its case how will a party prove its case prove its case can it be done by oral evidence can it be done by any other evidence the only method to prove a case of a party before the court is that the court requires expert opinion and therefore the uh, honorable district court varanasi in its wisdom on uh, 21st of july 2023 passed an order directing an asi survey in exercise of powers under order 26 rule 10a of the cpc read with section 45 of the indian evidence act so now the point in issue is this that this survey has to be conducted and today a very very small breathing time has been given by the supreme court and it has been mentioned in the order of the supreme court that this is not any opinion on the merits of the case so the fact of the matter is that within two days the ilabad high court is going to hear this uh, hear this petition for, which will be filed by the adjuman intazamia and we will argue before the ilabad high court that there should be no stay on the survey and the survey must proceed so it can so happen that the ilawal high court after hearing us can pass appropriate order because my submission and my bone of contention is that there is no question of any stay of the asi survey asi survey will help either of the parties to prove their case suppose for example anjuman intazamia has a case that this mosque was built by orange so the, the asi report will come that whether it was built by orange or not if one side is saying that no there was a pre existing hindu structure then what is the fault in that so the point in issue is this that if someone is saying that there is something a fountain or a shivling or western wall is of a hindu structure it has to be investigated by a premier agency like asi the supreme court in ram mandir's case in 2021 scc page 1 para 658 has said that the asi is capable of doing such an exercise in ismail faruqi case also 1994 supreme court in at para 151 supreme court has held that this kind of controversies can be solved by the asi but anjuman intazamia i don't know i don't find any logic or reason that why anjuman intazamia is so much scared of the asi and wrong statements uh, the order of the supreme court passed today has come it has been uploaded on the yeah. website of the supreme court wrong statements have been made before the supreme court let me tell you that the matter uh, that they did not challenge the order of the district judge before the supreme court directly they mentioned Now, some other matter they mentioned some other matter without uh, giving a copy to us and then they then they said that can you can you sir, just uh, just 30 seconds yeah, okay, i want okay, to okay, say okay 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 just 30 seconds okay. they are saying that they can't approach the ilabar high court and they came to the supreme court from varanasi ilabad is 100 kilometers from friday till monday they couldn't approach the ilabad high court but they came directly to the supreme court which is which is, so this is very hilarious i wanted to just point it out yeah it perhaps perhaps uh, you know some of the answers to that question also lie in uh, i don't know whether atikur rahman is there with us right now if i can go across to him okay i have lost the line with him but i'll take one more question with you now there was a leaked report of the asi survey right earlier i'm 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 going to some of the details and the findings and perhaps we can show those uh, you know uh, corresponding pictures as well the report claimed there were uncovered symbols of a trident some of these pictures we've also seen lotus engravings and that's uh, by the way we're getting in some breaking news that's also the order order of the supreme court that we've just accessed that order has just come into our newsrooms and uh, that's the order i'm putting up on the screen i'm going back to the pictures right now going back to the pictures the uh, of of what uh, the picture showed earlier lotus engravings hindi carvings in the complex located adjacent to the kashi vishwanath temple uh, pillars found in the basement of the mosque that have engravings of flowers and a kalash a conical structure claims of a shivling you also saw uh, symbols that 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 indicated it could have been a shivling perhaps now all of those were symbols that were seen on the walls we have some of those videos i'll show those videos as well now what do these videos indicate and what is your case vishnu shankar if you can just tell us what is your case what do these symbols indicate and why are you so confident in this case 
very very specific and it is the fact of gyan vyapi the untold fact of gyan vyapi the fact is this that till november 1993 we were worshiping in the premises in question and there was no barricading it is only after november 1993 when mulayam singh yadav was the chief minister of uttar pradesh he installed this barricading which you were just showing and we were thrown and dispossessed from the property in question the vyas ji parivar the vyas parivar was worshiping in the cellar the tehkada bang opposite nandi and, and there were various uh, hindu idols which were placed in the premises in question for example lord hanuman lord ganesh ma shringar gauri what you are showing on your screen yeah. is the original uh, seat of ma shringar gauri on the western side of so called mosque so we were worshiping in the premises in question and in complete violation of places of worship act 1991 in violation of section 3 we were dispossessed from the property in question and today what we are saying and asking before the court is that see look here we were worshiping in the premises in question please allow us our rights to worship yeah. back all the idols which we were worshiping till november 1993 and we have also asked for title also of the entire property all the seven suits have been consolidated my right to worship the entire premises has been made as the lead suit so we were in the stage of uh, Uh, asking for uh, various experts opinion and therefore court in exercise of its power asked for this particular expert opinion the judgment was delivered on friday at 4:30 they did not challenge this order in the high court on monday rather Vishnu. they approached the supreme court yes can i can i ask uh, atikur uh, that question now atikur you you heard him in detail he's for the last uh, 10 minutes almost explaining in great detail uh, about you know it's it's a scientific exercise that has been conducted you know it's not a claim it's not a wild allegation right there is obviously a survey a scientific survey that in in includes involves and i'm i'm taking our viewers through what uh, the asi was trying to do and what the survey included right ground penetrating radar survey so it's science survey below the three domes of the building excavation was allowed if needed while they were also asked to ensure there is no damage to the existing structure dating method employed study to see basically if a hindu temple lies below right what is the problem with a scientific survey why are some people uh, atik very nervous about this survey it appears that some people some sections are uh, are nervous well nervous you know seems mr jain seems nervous he should have faith on the judiciary the supreme court in its wisdom do you has think, directed do you think i'm nervous stay in a two day this thing i do not understand what is the nervousness on the part of mr jain now mr jain let me let me come to the core issue niranjan the core issue as you said is you the think i'm why nervous the objection to the scientific survey what next then after scientific survey they will be again demanding more and more things here the question niranjan is when the supreme court in its ayodhya judgment had relied upon the 1991 places of worship act no further disputes will be entertained this is the secular fabric of the indian nation wherein two major communities hindus and muslims should be allowed to live in peace henceforth that is mentioned in the judgment of the of the babri masjid ayodhya judgment so the the premise of the hindu side that more and more they want to push into this the the original plea niranjan of the ladies were they wanted to pray in the gauri shringar premises had the intizamia committee objected to it okay. no unnecessarily they 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 demanded for a survey but it's a, a it's a court survey henceforth it's a court that's allowed it i think just checking isn't it a court that is isn't it a court that is allowed babri masjid way i'm just checking isn't it a court that is allowed this survey course, in the yes, first that's place that's why of course yes then we will have to look into the matter that why is the court going back on its words when it had said that 1991 places of worship act is bound to have a very deep impact on the on the life secular fabric of the nation why to go into history and create animosity is the court 
ready to go back to its words. No, I, 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 I think. Can go, okay, but I, if I'm not, challenge. If, if, if my understanding of this, if my understanding, my limited understanding, and I'm not an expert, okay, and, and I'll end with that, Vishnu and, and Atik. Uh, my limited understanding is if it was indeed a shivling or a temple, right? Now, my understanding is obviously, and if Hindus prayed there for many, many years, and one fine day they were asked not to pray until recently, as 19, until 1993, as Vishnu is saying, he is asking for that to be restored, and I don't see uh, any reason why they are wrong. And and assuming, and assuming, okay, just assume for a second that it was it was a shivling. Then for that to be given respect, I think is the basic petition, and basic, uh, you know, ask for the Hindu side. And I don't uh, know what is so controversial about it, but let's see the let's see where the story goes, Atik. The Red Diary controversy is exploding. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves a diary on the floor of the assembly. This part can the Apke Sare Kale Karna Medo Loguna Apne Vidaikum Karida Kiski Samelego Raja Sabame. आपने निर्दलियों को क्या-क्या दिया किस-किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या-क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के The sacked minister is making that sensational claim he says the diary has details of money that was given to MLAs मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता। The government says we are ready for a discussion on the issue of Manipur senior ministers extend an olive branch, but the log jam still continues in the parliament. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties. Do not allow facts to come to the fore. There is sloganeering, there is protest. Despite the assurances from the government, the question everyone is asking, who then is trying to block a debate on a sensitive issue? The Rajya Sabha chair suspends the Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh for repeated protest on the floor of the House for the remaining session. दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में इसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल लेगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्परेरी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में होगी द सुप्रीम कोर्ट स्टेज द एएसआई सर्वे एट द ज्ञानवापी फॉर 2 डेज इट्स आल्सो आस्क द मुस्लिम साइड टू अप्रोच द इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट इन द मेन टाइम A very good evening. You're watching Republic and I'm Deepthi Sachdeva. The story is about a red diary. The story is about a sacked minister. And the story, ladies and gentlemen, is also about the utter chaos right now in Ashok Gehlot's cabinet. And the BJP is sitting and watching. The BJP says, we told you so. There is corruption under Ashok Gehlot's regime. So the question everyone is asking, could this then be the tipping point as Rajasthan is preparing itself for a winter election? Now, even as we are talking of 2023, I just want to rewind to what happened in 2020. In 2020, you would recall, there was this entire crisis in the Rajasthan government. This is where Sachin Pilot, along with what he claims were about 18 to 19 MLAs, flies from Jaipur to Delhi. On the very next day, that is the 13th of July, 2020, the Income Tax Department conducts a raid at the residences and offices of two people. Now, who really are these two people? Their names are Dharmendra Rathor, the other is Rajiv Arora. Both of them very, very, very close to Ashok Gehlot. 
Now, these searches were done at several locations, not just in Delhi, not just in Mumbai, but also at multiple places that happened in the state of Rajasthan. This includes Kota, this includes Jaipur. The charges were of tax evasion. And during these raids, then Congress leader Rajendra Gouda had taken out a red diary. Now, who released this man, Rajendra Gouda? You might think you haven't heard of this man for the last many, many years. Suddenly, everyone is talking about him. Now, he is the man that we'll uh, put the images of in just a moment out on your screens. But on the left of the screens, you're looking at uh, Gehlot's close aide, who was raided, Dharmendra Rathor and Rajiv Arora, the two men that I mentioned. And the right is the image that has just come in from earlier today, where this man called Rajendra Gura actually flashes bits of that red diary that you just saw on your screens. Let's also put our images of the man called Rajendra Gura, who today is a sacked Congress MLA also on our screens. Now, he talks about this red diary. Three years after the entire incident, this red diary has come back to haunt the Gehlot government. This red diary, now this is what Rajendra Gura is claiming. He says that this has details of irregular financial transactions of the Chief Minister Shok Gehlot, of people connected to him, this mentions the money that changed hands and all this was done to ensure that Ashok Gehlot was able to save his government in 2020. Now this sacked minister also goes on to say that this diary was actually written by Gehlot's aide Dharmendra Rathor and that it has accounts worth about 500 crores in the diary. All these are allegations that are being made by the man called Rajendra Gouda. And like I said, whether this is the truth or not, you're looking at a good amount of politics that already has ensued on the entire case. The man every day is almost holding a press conference, flashing that red diary in his hand. He says, I wanted to present this earlier in the assembly. I was not allowed to. All this began when just days ago, he actually goes on to question Ashok Gehlot on the law, law and order situation and the safety of women in Rajasthan when he gets sacked. And since then, he has been launching these full frontal attacks against the sitting chief minister. So how has the politics in the state played out? Just earlier today, I spoke to the former minister and the BJP MP, Rajivardhan Singh Rathor, on why he believes this possibly could be a tipping point in Rajasthan politics. Rajendra Gouda and his red diary, what possibly does it contain? That's a question everyone is asking. And so is the former union minister and a BJP MP, Rajavardhan Singh Rathorji, who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Rathorji, thank you so much for speaking to us on Republic. How do you see this story? You know, what, what, what are the legitimate questions today people should be asking? Okay. What does this red diary contain? All right, so let's uh, look at things very factually. Uh, the story is well known that uh, there was an agency which was raiding one of the Congress um, MLAs or ministers or, or no, he's a very important person, uh, uh, supposedly the right-hand man of uh, Gehlot sir. Now, when agencies were raiding his house, there was only one person who could sort of break in that curfew, go in and extract this very important do document. And that person was Rajinder Koda. At that point of time, Ashok Gehlot's a blue-eyed boy, he was the one who was chosen and in a very heroic way, he went in and extracted that diary from there. In fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot sahab at, at some one point of time commented, you know, that you should be a Hollywood hero for doing that. Now the same person, obviously, so, so obviously this diary is very important to Gehlot sahab. And we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been for the last four and a half years, there's been massive amounts of corruption. And uh, let this not be, because I'm from BJP, this has been stated by their own MLAs who are in Congress. They are the ones who have written letters to the Chief Minister, for example, saying that your, uh, the mafia for mining is your mafia minister himself. Now, we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been a record number of paper leaks uh, 16 times. And these paper leaks, apart from destroying lives of about 60 to 70 lakh youth, let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the corruption right now. So this, uh, all these papers that are being leaked out were going to certain academies being run by, obviously, children of certain ministers. 
So there's a whole scam of in going on in Rajasthan. Thirdly, to maintain the only thing that they've successfully been able to do in Rajasthan is to maintain their chief ministership. And for that, uh, Ashok Gehloth gave a free hand to all his MLAs. They do what you want. Just keep your integrity with me so that the chief ministership is maintained. And so therefore, there was massive amounts of loot and corruption going on in Rajasthan. So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gehloth Saab's uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. It could also have details of, for example, the money, the one kg of gold and many crores of rupees that was found in the secretariat itself. Obviously, it was meant to go somewhere. Uh, the election campaigns that uh, Rajasthan has been funding uh, from the ill-gotten money, uh, maybe the details are there. Uh, Rajendra Guda, I just heard, also said that in 1992, there was a very, very sorry uh, 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 case wherein about 250 girls of class 11th and 12th were raped over a period of time. Uh, they were blackmailed into it. Some of them committed suicide. I believe there's a movie coming out on that in which Congress office bearers were involved. Everybody knows that the first reporter who got that story out was killed in the hospital the second time since he didn't die of the first attempt it was congress office bearers i believe some of the office bearers some of those people involved in that mm -hmm. are ministers today in uh, rajasthan uh, congress cabinet so obviously this red diary is uh, the bahi khata mm -hmm. the the whole record of all the corruption that congress has done सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says ready for debate but log jam continues in both houses adjourned till tomorrow Amid a mega ruckus in face of Ahmadi party, Sanjay Singh suspended for the rest of monsoon session. हालत अभी भी काफी नाजुक है यहाँ पर कल भी फायरिंग हुआ है स्कूल एक जला दिया गया है स्कूल किसने जलाया हमेशा कह कि जैसे पहले से होता जा रहा है मैत्री लिपुन और अरामबाई तेंगर और उनके आगे जो फोर्स आता है वो हमेशा कमांडो रहता है Manipur remains on the edge, fresh firing in Manipur. Republic gets you the testimonies of the victors. In this part, you have bought all the people in your own lives. Who has given the people in the Raja Sabha? Who has given the people in the Raja Sabha? Who has given the people in the Raja Sabha? Who has given the people in the Raja Sabha? Who has given the people in the Raja Sabha? Red Dari controversy explodes, sacked Rajasthan minister waves diary on the floor of the assembly. Thank you for joining us on the biggest story tonight. It's been a story that we at Republic have reported on very extensively. And the survey of the Gyanwapi issue started this morning. A few hours later, it was stalled. We'll tell you all about the Gyanwapi tussle and why a dispute that's run into centuries now is at a critical stage. The survey that was trying to find out scientifically if there was a temple in the Gyanwapi premises has been stalled for now after the Supreme Court intervention. We'll tell you all about why and what happened. Here are the headlines. Parliament is stalled. Some political parties trying to turn Manipur into a political drama now.
Need Manipur solution but not a parliament washout. If everyone's ready for a debate, who doesn't want one? The government claims the opposition is running from and stalling a debate. Amadi Party Sanjay Singh suspended from the monsoon session over ruckus in parliament. It's the Red Diary controversy that's rocked Rajasthan. What's in the Red Diary is that big question. Sack minister in Rajasthan says the Red Diary that he's been waving out all through the day today will expose Ashok Gela. Gyanwapi survey stalled. Who's against the scientific truth in this particular case? That's that big question. Our top focus this evening on the biggest story tonight, a 30-member Archaeological Survey of India team or an ASI team was halted at a survey site in Gyanwapi Mosque. Just hours after beginning the exercise this morning, following the Supreme Court intervention, it's been stalled. The Varanasi court had earlier ordered the ASI to conduct a survey in Gyanwapi. We'll show you the pictures of Gyanwapi and why it's such a contentious issue. They had ordered the ASI to conduct a survey using technologies like ground penetrating radar and excavations. And if it is necessary, even to determine if a temple existed earlier at the same place, they wanted to find the root cause of it. Now, the mosque is located next to the Vishwanath temple, Kashi Vishwanath temple. Now, the ASI was asked to conduct a ground penetrating radar survey just below the three domes of the building in question and conduct excavation if required. The court had also said that the director of the ASI could conduct a detailed scientific investigation by using GPR survey, excavation dating method and other modern techniques of the present structure to find out whether the same has been constructed over a pre-existing structure of a Hindu temple. That was the that was the sole purpose of this survey. It's now been stalled after the Supreme Court felt today that uh, the Muslim side should get breather, like breathing space to go to the courts and challenge that. Here's the story so far and we have uh, the key people in this story joining us on the show this evening. A team of the Archaeological Survey of India began scientific survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque complex on Monday morning. There were around 40 members including ASI officials. Four Hindu women plaintiff and the councils for the Gyanwapi Mosque Management Committee. However, the Supreme Court stayed the scientific survey by the ASI inside Gyanwapi Mosque premises. The top court ordered status quo on the survey till 5 p.m. on July 26. The order gives the mosque management breathing time to approach the Allahabad High Court. The Supreme Court further asked the High Court to hear the mosque management's case against ASI survey before the expiry of the status quo. Today, the Supreme Court has heard the case of both the Archaeological Survey of India and the Archaeological Survey of India. और डिस्ट्रिक्ट जज साहब का जो ऑर्डर है उसमें 26 तारीख तक 5 बजे तक इंट्रीम रोक लगाई है और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट को उनको कहा है अंजुमन इंतजामिया को कि वो इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में एप्लीकेशन मूव करें और उसको सुना जाएगा और इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में हम लोग दोबारा बहस करेंगे कि यहां पे इसको स्टे करने का कोई ग्राउंड नहीं बनता the top court asked Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, who was representing the Uttar Pradesh government, to inform the ASI team that there should not be any invasive work or excavation at the site. All eyes are now on the Allahabad High Court. But the Supreme Court, 
after inquiring from the ASI has just observed that they have spoken to uh, the ASI officials and not a single brick even has been moved. Only videography and photographs have been taken uh, by the ASI officials. So this is what the Supreme Court has observed. Now what uh, the Muslim side was initially expecting that they will ask uh, the Supreme Court to give an interim stay in the matter till the time they could approach the High Court. Bureau Report for Public TV. Okay, joining us on the broadcast this evening uh, are, are Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu Shankar Jain is the advocate for the Hindu side in, in the Gyanwapi case. And let me also uh, introduce uh, Atiku Rahman, who is an Islamic scholar. Let me start with Vishnu Shankar Jain. Vishnu, uh, what, what was the aim? I mean, we've seen, we've, we've covered this issue for several years now. We've seen the tussle. Uh, you've been uh, you've been fighting for it now if you if the idea was to conduct a scientific survey find out scientifically what was there whether there was a, a temple below uh, what is the contention of the other side why are they against a scientific exercise see there was no logic or any submission made before the district court varanasi as to why they are opposed to this scientific survey the pleas which they are taken by the anjuman intizamia before the district court varanasis are a hyper technical pleas but there is no argument on merit that why this survey should not be conducted and the apprehension that if this survey is conducted they will be damaged to the structure was already taken care of by the district judge varanasi by writing out in by writing down in the order itself that this entire exercise will be conducted without causing any damage to the structure no so no so, so the point in issue as of now is this that if one side is saying that the western wall of the so called mosque is the ruin of a hindu temple if one side is saying that beneath the central domes there are the shikars of hindu temple if one side is saying that the pillars are of hindu temple if one side is saying that in the wazu tank which you are showing on your screen is not a, a shivlingam it's a, it's not a it's not a fountain it's a shivlingam if one side is saying that the that there are many sealed areas in this premises which will go to show and prove that there are many facts which are hidden behind those sealed areas then i must ask a question to myself that how will a party prove its case how will a party prove its case prove its case can it be done by oral evidence can it be done by any other evidence the only method to prove a case of a party before the court is that the court requires expert opinion and therefore the uh, honorable district court varanasi in its wisdom on uh, 21st of july 2023 passed an order directing an asi survey in exercise of powers under order 26 rule 10a of the cpc read with section 45 of the indian evidence act so now the point in issue is this that this survey has to be conducted and today a very very small breathing time has been given by the supreme court and it has been mentioned in the order of the supreme court that this is not any opinion on the merits of the case so the fact of the matter is that within two days the ilabad high court is going to hear this uh, hear this petition for, which will be filed by the anjuman intizamia and we will argue before the ilabad high court that there should be no stay on the survey and the survey must proceed so it can so happen that the ilawal high court after hearing us can pass appropriate order because my submission and my bone of contention is that there is no question of any stay of the asi survey asi survey will help either of the parties to prove their case suppose for example anjuman intizamia has a case that this mosque was built by orange so the, the asi report will come that whether it was built by orange or not if one side is saying that no there was a pre existing hindu structure then what is the fault in that so the point in issue is this that if someone is saying that there is something a fountain or a shivling or western wall is of a hindu structure it has to be investigated by a premier agency like asi the supreme court in ram mandir's case in 2021 scc page 1 para 658 has said that the asi is capable of doing such an exercise in ismail faruqi case also 1994 supreme court in at para 151 supreme court has held that this kind of controversies can be solved by the asi but anjuman intizamia i don't know i don't find any logic or reason that why anjuman intizamia is so much scared of the asi and wrong statements uh, the order of the supreme court passed today has come it has been uploaded on the yeah. website of the supreme court wrong statements have been made before the supreme court let me tell you that the matter uh, that they did not challenge the order of the district judge before the supreme court directly they mentioned now, some other matter 
they mentioned some other matter without uh, giving a copy to us and then they then they said that can you can you sir just uh, just 30 seconds yeah, okay, i want okay, to okay say, okay okay just 30 seconds okay. they are saying that they can't approach the ilabar high court and they came to the supreme court from varanasi ilabad is 100 kilometers from friday till monday they couldn't approach the ilabad high court but they came directly to the supreme court which is which is, so this is very hilarious i wanted to just point it out yeah it perhaps perhaps uh, you know some of the answers to that question also lie in uh, i don't know whether atikur rahman is there with us right now if i can go across to him okay i have lost the line with him but i'll take one more question with you now there was a leaked report of the asi survey right earlier i'm i'm, I'm going to some of the details and the findings and perhaps we can show those uh, you know uh, corresponding pictures as well the report claimed there were uncovered symbols of a trident some of these pictures we've also seen lotus engravings and that's uh, by the way we're getting in some breaking news that's also the order order of the supreme court that we've just accessed that order has just come into our newsrooms and uh, that's the order i'm putting up on the screen i'm going back to the pictures right now going back to the pictures the uh, of of what uh, the picture showed earlier lotus engravings hindi carvings in the complex located adjacent to the kashi vishwanath temple uh, pillars found in the basement of the mosque that have engravings of flowers and a kalash a conical structure claims of a shivling you also saw uh, symbols that 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 indicated it could have been a shivling perhaps now all of those were symbols that were seen on the walls we have some of those videos i'll show those videos as well now what do these videos indicate and what is your case vishnu shankar if you can just tell us what is your case what do these symbols indicate and why are you so confident in this case very very specific and it is the fact of gyan vyapi the untold fact of gyan vyapi the fact is this that till november 1993 we were worshiping in the premises in question and there was no barricading it is only after november 1993 when mulayam singh yadav was the chief minister of uttar pradesh he installed this barricading which you were just showing and we were thrown and dispossessed from the property in question the vyas ji parivar the vyas parivar was worshiping in the cellar the tehkana bang opposite nandi and, and there were various uh, hindu idols which were placed in the premises in question for example lord hanuman lord ganesh ma shringar gauri what you are showing on your screen yeah. is the original uh, seat of ma shringar gauri on the western side of so called mosque so we were worshiping in the premises in question and in complete violation of places of worship act 1991 in violation of section 3 we were dispossessed from the property in question and today what we are saying and asking before the court is that see look here we were worshiping in the premises in question please allow us our rights to worship yeah. back all the idols which we were worshiping till november 1993 and we have also asked for title also of the entire property all the seven suits have been consolidated my right to worship the entire premises has been made as the lead suit so we were in the stage of uh, Uh, asking for uh, various experts opinion and therefore court in exercise of its power asked for this particular expert opinion the judgment was delivered on friday at 4:30 they did not challenge this order in the high court on monday rather Vishnu, they approached the supreme court yes can i can i ask uh, atikur uh, that question now atikur you you heard him in detail he's for the last uh, 10 minutes almost explaining in great detail uh, about you know it's it's a scientific exercise that has been conducted you know it's not a claim it's not a wild allegation right there is obviously a survey a scientific survey that in in includes involves and i'm i'm taking our viewers through what uh, the asi was trying to do and what the survey included right ground penetrating radar survey so it's science survey below the three domes of the building excavation was allowed if needed while they were also asked to ensure there is no damage to the existing structure dating method employed study to see basically if a hindu temple lies below right what is the problem with a scientific survey why are some people uh, atik very nervous about this survey it appears that some people some sections are uh, are nervous well nervous you know seems mr jain seems nervous he should have faith on the judiciary the supreme court in its wisdom do you has think, directed do you think i'm nervous stay in a two day this thing i do not understand what is the nervousness on the part of mr jain now mr jain let me let me come to the core issue niranjan the core issue as you said is you the why the objection to the scientific survey 
what next then after scientific survey they will be again demanding more and more things here the question niranjan is when the supreme court in its ayodhya judgment had relied upon the 1991 places of worship act no further disputes will be entertained this is the secular fabric of the indian nation wherein two major communities hindus and muslims should be allowed to live in peace henceforth that is mentioned in the judgment of the of the babri masjid ayodhya judgment so the the premise of the hindu side that more and more they want to push into this the the original plea niranjan of the ladies were they wanted to pray in the gauri shringar premises had the intizamia committee objected to it okay. no unnecessarily they 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 demanded for a survey but then it's a, a it's a court survey henceforth it's a court that's allowed it i think just checking isn't it a court that is isn't it a court that is allowed babri masjid way i'm just checking isn't it a court that is allowed this survey course, in the yes, first that's place that's right of course yes then we will have to look into the matter that why is the court going back on its words when it had said that 1991 places of worship act is bound to have a very deep impact on the on the life secular fabric of the nation why to go into history and create animosity is the court ready to go back to its words no i i i think can go. okay but I, if i need I'm, to challenge if, if if my understanding of this if my understanding my limited understanding and i'm not an expert okay and and i'll end with that vishnu and and atik uh my limited understanding is if it was indeed a shivling or a temple right now my understanding is obviously and if hindus prayed there for many many years and one fine day they were asked not to pray until recently as 90 until 1993 as vishnu is saying he is asking for that to be restored and i don't see uh, any reason why they are wrong and and assuming and assuming okay just assume for a second that it was it was a shivling then for that to be given respect i think is the basic petition and basic uh, you know ask for the hindu side and i don't uh, know what is so controversial about it but let's see the, let's see where the story goes atik The red diary controversy is exploding. Sacked Rajasthan minister waves a diary on the floor of the assembly. इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारनामे जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा, किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीय को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के The sacked minister is making that sensational claim he says the diary has details of money that was given to MLAs मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता The government says we are ready for a discussion on the issue of Manipur senior ministers extend an olive branch but the log jam still continues in the parliament. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore. There is sloganeering there is protest despite the assurances from the government the question everyone is asking who then is trying to block a debate on a sensitive issue The Rajya Sabha chair suspends the Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh for repeated protest on the floor of the house for the remaining session दो दिन के अंदर इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में उसकी दोबारा हियरिंग होने वाली है और दो दिन में फिर से इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ये कॉल देगी कि इसको रोकना है कि नहीं रोकना है तो ये बहुत ही टेम्परेरी इंटरिम इंजंक्शन है और इसकी फुल बहस इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट में होगी
The Supreme Court stays the ASI survey at the Gyanwapi for two days. It's also asked the Muslim side to approach the Allahabad High Court in the meantime. A very good evening. You're watching Republic and I'm Deepthi Sachdeva. The story is about a red diary. The story is about a sacked minister. And the story, ladies and gentlemen, is also about the utter chaos right now in Ashok Gehlot's cabinet. And the BJP is sitting and watching. The BJP says, we told you so. There is corruption under Ashok Gehlot's regime. So the question everyone is asking, could this then be the tipping point as Rajasthan is preparing itself for a winter election? Now, even as we are talking of 2023, I just want to rewind to what happened in 2020. In 2020, you would recall, there was this entire crisis in the Rajasthan government. This is where Sachin Pilot, along with what he claims were about 18 to 19 MLAs, flies from Jaipur to Delhi. On the very next day, that is the 13th of July, 2020, the Income Tax Department conducts a raid at the residences and offices of two people. Now, who really are these two people? Their names are Dharmendra Rathor, the other is Rajiv Arora. Both of them very, very, very close to Ashok Gehlot. Now, these searches were done at several locations, not just in Delhi, not just in Mumbai, but also at multiple places that happened in the state of Rajasthan. This includes Kota, this includes Jaipur. The charges were of tax evasion. And during these raids, then Congress leader Rajendra Gouda had taken out a red diary. Now, who really is this man, Rajendra Gouda? You might think you haven't heard of this man for the last many, many years. Suddenly, everyone is talking about him. Now, he is the man that we'll uh, put the images of in just a moment out on your screens. But on the left of the screens, you're looking at uh, Gelot's close aide who was raided. Dharmendra Rathor and Rajiv Arora, the two men that I mentioned. And the right is the image that has just come in from earlier today, where this man called Rajendra Gura actually flashes bits of that red diary that you just saw on your screens. Let's also put our images of the man called Rajendra Gura, who today is a sacked Congress MLA also on our screens. Now, he talks about this red diary. Three years after the entire incident, this red diary has come back to haunt the Gehlot government. This red diary, now this is what Rajendra Gouda is claiming. He says that this has details of irregular financial transactions of the Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot, of people connected to him. This mentions the money that changed hands and all this was done to ensure that Ashok Gehlot was able to save his government in 2020. Now, this sacked minister also goes on to say that this diary was actually written by Gehlot's aide Dharmendra Rathor and that it has accounts worth about 500 crores in the diary. All these are allegations that are being made by the man called Rajendra Gouda. And like I said, whether this is the truth or not, you're looking at a good amount of politics that already has ensued on the entire case. The man every day is almost holding a press conference, flashing that red diary in his hand. He says, I wanted to present this earlier in the assembly. I was not allowed to. All this began when just days ago, he actually goes on to question Ashok Gehlot on the law, law and order situation and the safety of women in Rajasthan when he gets sacked. And since then, he has been launching these full frontal attacks against the sitting chief minister. So how has the politics in the state played out? Just earlier today, I spoke to the former minister and the BJP MP, Rajivardhan Singh Rathor, on why he believes this possibly could be a tipping point in Rajasthan politics. Rajendra Gouda and his red diary, what possibly does it contain? That's a question everyone is asking. And so is the former union minister and a BJP MP, Rajavardhan Singh Rathorji, who's joining us on the broadcast right now. Rathorji, thank you so much for speaking to us on Republic. How do you see this story? You know, what, what, what are the legitimate questions today people should be asking? Okay. What does this red diary contain? 
All right, so let's uh, look at things very factually. Uh, the story is well known that uh, there was an agency which was raiding one of the Congress um, MLAs or ministers or, or no, he is a very important person, uh, uh, supposedly the right hand man of uh, Gehlot Sahib. Now when agencies were raiding his house, there was only one person who could sort of break in that curfew, go in and extract this very important do document and that person was Rajender Koda. At that point of time, Ashok Gehlot's a blue-eyed boy, he was the one who was chosen and in a very heroic way, he went in and extracted that diary from there. In fact, uh, Ashok Gehlot sahab at, at some one point of time commented, you know, that you should be a Hollywood hero for doing that. Now the same person, obviously, so, so obviously this diary is very important to Gehlot sahab. And we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been for the last four and a half years, there's been massive amounts of corruption. And uh, let this not be, because I'm from BJP, this has been stated by their own MLAs who are in Congress. They are the ones who have written letters to the Chief Minister, for example, saying that your, uh, the mafia for mining is your mafia minister himself. Now, we also know that in Rajasthan, there's been a record number of paper leaks uh, 16 times. And these paper leaks, apart from destroying lives of about 60 to 70 lakh youth, let's not talk about that. Let's focus on the corruption right now. So this, uh, all these papers that are being leaked out were going to certain academies being run by, obviously, children of certain ministers. So there's a whole scam, thirdly, to maintain the only thing that they've successfully been able to do in Rajasthan is to maintain their chief ministership. And for that, uh, Ashok Gehlot gave a free hand to all his MLAs. They do what you want. Just keep your integrity with me so that the chief ministership is maintained. And so therefore, there was massive amounts of loot and corruption going on in Rajasthan. So perhaps this red diary now has details of all the money that was paid to the senior leadership uh, of uh, Congress, people in AICC, perhaps to so that uh, Gehlot Saab's uh, ascendancy uh, and his importance remains over the other rivals. It could also have details of, for example, the money, the one kg of gold and many crores of rupees that was found in the secretariat itself. Obviously, it was meant to go somewhere. Uh, the election campaigns that uh, Rajasthan has been funding uh, from the ill-gotten money, uh, maybe the details are there. Uh, Rajendra Guda, I just heard, also said that in 1992, mm. there was a very, very sorry uh, 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 case wherein about 250 girls of class 11th and 12th were raped over a period of time. Uh, mm. They were blackmailed into it. Some of them committed suicide. I believe there's a movie coming out on that in which Congress office bearers were involved. Everybody knows that the first reporter who got that story out was killed in the hospital the second time since he didn't die with the first attempt. It was Congress office bearers. I believe some of the office bearers, some of those people involved in that mm. are ministers today in uh, Rajasthan uh, Congress cabinet. So obviously this red diary is uh, the bahi khata, mm. the, the whole record of all the corruption that Congress has done. the rising atrocities and crimes against women in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, the opposition also staged a protest demanding a discussion on Manipur in the parliament. There was a massive ruckus and sloganeering in both the houses. <laughs> He was suspended from Rajya Sabha for the remaining duration of the monsoon session for repeatedly violating the directives of the chair. The stacking of uh, Rajendra Singh Guda as Rajasthan minister has taken a new turn with the MLA dropping hints of a red diary containing incriminating evidence details about CM Ashok Gehlot. गहलोत साहब वो डायरी का आधा पार्ट आपने में आपके विधानसभा में गुंडा गर्जी करके मेरे से छीन लिया और आधा पार्ट मेरे पास अभी और है इस पार्ट के अंदर आपके सारे काले कारना में जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एमएलए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलियों को क्या-क्या दिया 
किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा After he was evicted from the house on Monday, Staff Minister Rajin the Gouda prevented from even entering the assembly building by house marshals. Last Friday, he was removed by Gelor soon after he spoke of alleged. First news edition of the day. Uh, I'm Rukma with you, and over the next few minutes, I'll be taking you through the top stories that are making headlines across India and the world this Tuesday morning. It's time now to take a look at the headlines that we are tracking, even as the Parliament's uh, monsoon session enters its fourth day. Also, all the updates that are coming in from violence-torn Manipur. as calm slowly returns to the strife torn state all this and more but first here are the headlines after 3 days of washout in parliament will day four see movement in the lok sabha and the rajya sabha INDIA parties to meet in Malik Arjun Kharge's office to chalk out strategies for parliament session. BJP to hold meeting at 9:30 AM to chalk out strategy for monsoon session for Lok Sabha. Meghalaya CM Conrad Sangma's office attacked on Monday night security personnel injured Seven out of over 900 involved in the ghastly crime where women were stripped and paraded taken into custody Welcome once again in our top story as the log jam in parliament persisted for the third day home minister amit shah on monday asked the opposition to allow a debate on the manipur issue to begin but both sides stood rigid on their stand aam aadmi party mp sanjay singh was suspended during the uproar in the upper house for the rest of the monsoon session here's a report take a look आप बस बैठिए नौ सदन की कार्रवाई 12 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है यू आर चैलेंजिंग द चेयर दी हाउस स्टैंड अगेन टू मीट ए रूल टूडे सभा की कार्यवाही 2 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है जाता है माननीय अध्यक्ष जी मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूं मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता 25 जुलाई 2023 को 11 बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है सदन की कार्यवाही मंगलवार दिनांक 25 जुलाई 2023 को पूर्वान्ह ग्यारह बजे तक के लिए स्थगित की जाती है इट वॉज थर्ड डे ऑफ कम्प्लीट डिसरप्शन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट प्रोसीडिंग्स विद द अपोजिशन नॉट बजिंग ऑन इट्स डिमांड दैट अ डिस्कशन ऑन मणिपुर शुड बी हेल्ड अंडर रूल टू सिक्स सेवन इन द लोकसभा और सस्पेंशन ऑफ बिजनेस इन द राज्यसभा एंड ऑल्सो दैट दे वॉन्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर टू इनिशिएट द डिस्कशन वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज डिस्पाइट दैट द अपोजिशन सीम्स मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन अर्निंग पॉलिटिकल ब्राउनिंग पॉइंट्स एंड टू 
embarrass the government rather than have a serious dialogue on Manipur. Amit Shah ji has repeatedly said that this discussion, this debate is also expected by citizens of our country who elect us to parliament so that issues of national importance can be productively discussed. What is shocking is the insistence of the opposition parties to not allow facts to come to the fore. The situation in Manipur is sensitive. With each passing day, new videos of torture and murder are emerging. After the, they have gone for the uh, work for the, uh, defending the villas, we are calling them again and again, but their phones are already switched off. In this situation, we have been very tense. That's why we called the phone, but the phone is off. That's why we called them on July 5. उन दोनों को ढूंढने के लिए वहां गए थे और एट अराउंड 11 पीएम 5 जुलाई इसमें एक वीडियो आया था हमने वीडियो देखा था इस वीडियो में हमारा मेरा दोस्त और मेरा कजिन का रिचुअल किलिंग का वीडियो आया था इससे पता चला था मणिपुर हैज हैड अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ वायलेंस इवन अंडर द कांग्रेस रूल The situation in state requires political consensus, not just rhetoric. हम भी तैयार हैं। आओ प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्टेटमेंट करो। आप बाहर प्रेस करते हो, अंदर करने में क्या गया? हाँ, ये कर्जी डिमांड है कि 140 करोड़ का नेता अगर बाहर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करता है और 140 करोड़ लोगों के प्रतिनिधि अंदर बैठे हैं, तो आप पहले यहाँ पर स्टेटमेंट दो, उस पे च उसके बाद में हम लोग एक निर्णय लेंगे। It's time the opposition stops the drama. Bureau Report, Republic TV. As Manipur continues to remain on edge, we bring you all the updates uh, uh, as far as uh, the latest in. Uh, Police action is concerned. Take a look. Two Silu friends, they went missing on 6th of May. I'm talking about the story of Atom Samarendra and Y Kiran Kumar from Kumbong in Manipur. A story that no other will bring to you. Atom Samarendra was a former journalist. He later joined central government services. But even after 80 days of his being missing, no one is raising the question where Atom Samarendra is. My name is Atom Chanu Malamganbi. I'm the sister of A. Samarendra. What happened on that particular day? What happened was that uh, on 6th of May, that is after two days when the fresh violence, uh, on 6th of May by around 11 p.m. he left from home uh, with his friend. They simply went out to uh, buy something from the bazaar. Uh, and then uh, by around 4.30, uh, 4 so around about 4 p.m., we have lost contact with him. We, we cannot reach him at all so uh, we rang the call at 4 24 pm by the time uh, atom samarinder's phone was switched off but his friend uh, y kiran kumar his phone was ringing till uh, 4 30 or so but uh, he did not pick up and after a few minutes uh, his phone was also switched off today is the it days from the date of missing till today we did not get any clue from uh, i want to appeal to the government is to bring, to help to bring my husband. For a former journalist like Y. Samarendra, all the journalist unions, the bodies, the media, the section of media who is, belongs to the Lutian community, the Lutian's media, is selectively silent on Atom Samarendra or on Y. Kiran Kumar. With video journalist Asok from Kumbong, 
आई एम अनिरुद्ध भगत फॉर रिपब्लिक मीडिया नेटवर्क कांग्रेस एम एल ए राजेंद्र सिंह गुडा फ्रॉम राजस्थान फाइंड हिमसेल्फ नाउ एट द सेंटर ऑफ अ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी दिस वेन ही मेड अ ड्रामेटिक एंट्रेंस इन टू द राजस्थान असेंबली आफ्टर बींग रिमूव फ्रॉम हिज मिनिस्टेरियल पोजिशन इन अशोक गहलोत कैबिनेट एज ही अप्रोच द हाउस गुडा हेल्थ रेड डायरी waving it in front of the speaker cp joshi this action quickly escalated tensions and the speaker was visibly upset ordering the marshals to remove guda from the premises here's an exclusive conversation with the sacked minister rajendra guda so that we can understand more rajendra guda ji ye red diary kahan hai ab is waqt ye jo lal diary hai ये डायरी इस वक्त कहाँ है ये डायरी मेरी मैं विधानसभा में लेके गया था और उसके बाद भी कांग्रेस के सर कांग्रेस सरकार के मंत्रियों ने मेरे से छीन लिए मगर क्या आधी डायरी आपके पास है मैंने सुना कि आधी डायरी वो फट गई आधी डायरी आपके पास रही कि पूरी डायरी आपके हाथ से निकल गई नहीं नहीं वो डायरी विधानसभा हाउस में से वो डायरी के सारे के सारे मंत्री एक साथ मेरे पे टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने मेरे से वो डायरी छीन ली तो इस डायरी की कोई कॉपी है आपके पास ओरिजिनल डायरी तो वही थी उसके बारे में देखना पड़ेगा थोड़ा बहुत तो उस डायरी में क्या थी क्या सबूत है उस डायरी में अरुण जी यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये सारे के सारे कांग्रेस के लोग मैं हाउस में गया हूं मेरे हाथ में डायरी थी सबने देखा है उसने इन लोगों ने मेरे से वो डायरी छीननी है काफी लोगों की भीड़ थी वो एक साथ टूट के मेरे ऊपर पड़ी और उन्होंने जिस तरीके से वहां धक्का मुक्की और जो भी सीन बना था उसके बाद में वो डायरी मेरे हाथ में से इन लोगों ने जी पूरी ताकत लगा के सारे मंत्री एक साथ टूट के पड़े और उन्होंने वो डायरी मेरे से छीन ली और यदि उस डायरी में कुछ नहीं होता तो ये उस डायरी से क्यों डरे हुए थे सारे मंत्री जिस तरीके से पूरी ताकत के साथ डायरी में आप, आपको तो पता है ना कि उस डायरी के अंदर क्या है क्योंकि 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 आपने कहा कि अशोक गहलोत ने आपको कहा था रेड के समय इस डायरी को लेके कहीं पे छुपाने के लिए आपने आपको कहा था तो उस डायरी के अंदर क्या था जरा डिटेल में बताइए ना उसमें क्या था क्या एंट्री है किस किसके हस्ताक्षर है क्या डिटेल्स है देखिए वो डायरी सारी की सारी धर्मेंद्र जी राठौड़ की डायरी वो उनके घर से वो बरामद हुई थी उनमें इन्होंने निर्दलीय विधायकों को क्या दिया बाकी पार्टी वालों को क्या दिया बाहर से सपोर्ट वालों को कितने पैसे दिए पैसे कहाँ से आए कहाँ दिए गए कितने दिए गए और जो क्रिकेट का जो था उसका और कई सरकार को बचाने में जो भी एपिसोड चला उसमें वो सारा किया उन्होंने मगर उसकी क्या क्या प्रूफ है कि वो जेन्युन है क्या प्रूफ है कि जो भी थी उस डायरी में वो जेन्युन थी अब तो डायरी ही नहीं है तो आप कैसे प्रूफ करेंगे ये तो ये तो आपके कहने वो कहने की बात हो गई ना फिर वो डायरी इसको प्रूफ कैसे करेंगे देखिए कुछ ना कुछ कहीं से कहीं कुछ ना कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं कहीं से कोई उसके स्क्रिप्ट शोट लिए होंगे मोबाइल में होंगे कुछ ना कुछ निकाल के लाऊंगा मैं इसमें से इट्स डे फोर ऑफ द मॉनसून सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट डे ऑन मंडे बोथ हाउसेस वर अजर्न फॉलोइंग मैसिव स्लोगनियरिंग एंड रकस बाय द ऑपोजिशन ओवर द मणिपुर इशू BJP leaders will hold a key parliamentary party meeting ahead of the monsoon session at 9:30 this morning. According to reports, the meeting has been called to chalk out a strategy for the session of the lower house. 
Meanwhile, floor leaders of INDIA are all set to meet Rajya Sabha leader of opposition today. This comes a day after they held a, they held massive protests in Parliament, pressing for Prime Minister's statement on Manipur. In a news briefing over the Parliament log jam, the central government has said that it is ready for a concrete discussion. Union Minister Smriti Irani has claimed that it is the opposition Congress that is running away from a debate. छत्तीसगढ़ से संबंधित एक महिला को नग्न करने का वीडियो देखा और इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मंत्रालय को सूचित भी किया यह सत्य है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी इस चर्चा से इसलिए भाग रही है क्योंकि उन्हें जवाबदेही सुनिश्चित करनी होगी कि उनके राज्य में जब महिला की प्रताड़ना होती है तब वो चुप्पी साधकर क्यों बैठते हैं At least five personnel were injured after the Tura office of Konrad Sangma, Chief Minister of Meghalaya, was attacked by protesters. Chief Minister Sangma and State Ministers were inside the office when the attack took place and stones were thrown at the building. This comes in the background of protests for a demand for Tura to be made the state's, that's Meghalaya's, winter capital. As Manipur continues to remain on edge, Republic on Ground Zero brings you the voices that were unheard of and the untold stories from the midst of the chaos. In one such story, a family claims their son, who is reportedly a local journalist, has been missing since the 6th of May. Two FRs have been filed but no information yet on the whereabouts of the missing journalist. And in a latest update, one more accused arrested in the May 4th viral video barbarity increase, increasing the count of uh, the total number of arrests to seven now. State police is making all out efforts to arrest the remaining culprits by conducting raids at many suspected hideouts. In an explosive interview with Republic, sacked Rajasthan minister. Rajendra Gudha has claimed that the red diary contains details of who was given how much money for the Rajya Sabha for cricket to keep the government going. Gelo Saab Mo Diary ka aadha part aapne me aapke Vidhan Sabha me gunda garji karke mere se chhin liya. Aur aadha part mere paas abhi aur hai. Is part ke andar आपके सारे काले कारना में जो लोगों ने आपने विधायकों को खरीदा किस किस एम एल ए को राज्यसभा में आपने निर्दलीयों को क्या क्या दिया किस किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या क्या काले कारना में किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा And senior Congress leader Prithviraj Chavan has made a big claim saying that the Nationalist Congress Party Sajid Pawar will be appointed as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra around the 10th of August. He said that a decision on the disqualification of incumbent Chief Minister Eknath Chinde and 15 other Shiv Sena MLAs will be taken around that time. The Chief Minister went and called on the Prime Minister with his family. Normally, these visits happen immediately after he is appointed. This visit happening after one month, after one year of his working as a chief minister has raised eyebrows. There was a resolution in the assembly passed praising his work after one year. It indicates it smells of uh, farewell. And uh, reacting to Prithviraj Chavan's claim that Ajit Pawar would be appointed as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, replacing Eknath Shinde around the 10th of August, the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra Devendra Farnavis has said that Ajit Pawar is well aware of the fact that he would not become the CM. And the same had been conveyed to him during meetings held before the 2nd of July. This is तीनों के मन में इस बात की स्पष्टता है कि महायुति के मुख्यमंत्री एकनाथ शिंदे जी है महायुति के मुख्यमंत्री एकनाथ शिंदे जी ही रहने वाले हैं उसमें कोई बदलाव नहीं होने वाला 
महायुति के सबसे बड़े पार्टी के नेता के रूप में मैं इस बात को स्पष्टता के साथ कह देना चाहता हूं और अपोजिशन भी कन्फ्यूजन तैयार करने का प्रयास करे तो समझ लीजिए वो पतंग उड़ा रहे हैं उनकी पतंग कट जाएगी एंड मोर फ्रॉम द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सीनियर कांग्रेस लीडर Prithviraj Chauhan on Monday claimed that NCP stalwart Ajit Pawar will be appointed as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra around the 10th of August, replacing incumbent Eknath Shinde of the Shiv Sena. However, senior BJP leader Devendra Fadnavis, who is also the Deputy Chief Minister of the state, has junked Chauhan's claim, saying. Shiv Sena leader Eknath Shinde will continue to be the CM of Maharashtra. There will be no change of guard in the state. A report. Senior Congress leader Prithviraj Chauhan has made a claim that Ajit Pawar will be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra in the coming days, that is by 10th of August, replacing Eknath Shinde. The statement has been coming from Prithviraj Chauhan while speaking to the media where he's claimed that uh, Ajit Pawar will be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra and the same statement he has already made before uh, while uh, the NCP split. So the statement has been made in the context of uh, the disqualification uh, decision that is to be taken uh, by the Maharashtra Assembly Speaker within 90 days where the Prithviraj Chauhan says that uh, in the coming uh, days uh, that is by 10th of August uh, where the uh, Maharashtra Speaker is going to deliver his decision and there is no other the way but Ekna Shinde group uh, is going to be disqualified after which it will be Ajit Pawar who is going to swear in as the chief minister of Maharashtra. So such claim has been made by Prithvira Chawan and also we know that uh, there was uh, some of the minister this uh, statement comes after the some ministers of uh, the NCP led by Ajit Pawar faction uh, clearly uh, making a desirable statement uh, saying that they wanted to see Ajit Pawar as the Chief Minister of Maharashtra and the same banner was pasted in across the city of the district on, on, the, on the birthday of Ajit Pawar. So the statement are coming now from Prithviraj Chauhan clearly claiming that Ajit Pawar will be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra by 10th of August. Right after the statement made by senior Congress leader Prithviraj Chauhan claiming that Ajit Pawar will be the Chief Minister of Maharashtra by 10th of August, now the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra Devin the Fadnavis has made it very much clear that there is no such things going to happen when it comes to the Chief Minister and Ekna Shinde is going to continue and the government is going to be under the guidance of Ekna Shinde. So the statement that was made by Prithviraj Chauhan clearly saying that uh, Ajit Pawar is going to swear in as the Chief Minister Placing Eknath Shinde, here is the Deputy Chief Minister and the Senior BJP Leader Devinda Fadnavis clearly dismissed uh, uh, the statement that was made by Prithvira Chauhan. And time now for a short break. On the other side, Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma's office attacked on Monday night. Security personnel injured. Also, BGP to hold meeting at 9.30 a.m. today to chalk out strategy for the monsoon session of Parliament. The issue in Manipur is very complex. The horror of the video in which the women are paraded naked and the gang rape on these women has shaken the entire nation. I call for unity in our national response. There are 36 terrorist groups in Manipur, all of them fully armed. The same people who are calling for greater army presence and central intervention now are the same people who want the powers of the army always curtailed. And now they say, send in the army. There is a Chinese angle. Hundreds, thousands of Chinese arms are entering Manipur. The Congress, which ensured decades of endless bloodshed in the Northeast, has no right to lecture us today. If the opposition had been in power in Manipur, if Manipur would have been an opposition rule state, the center would have probably thought of imposing 365 by now. The center and the state government have made a series of mistakes. They need to stop now.
And you're watching this morning uh, news now about the extreme weather conditions that continue to persist in various parts of the country. Rains continue to lash different parts of uh, India with uh, several incidents of landslides and floods triggered due to rain were reported in many states. Gujarat, Delhi, Uttarakhand and Mumbai were the worst affected. Meanwhile, alerts have been issued in several states for Today, take a look at what the ground situation looks like. Monsoons are wrecking havoc. Landslides due to rains have been reported in Ahmedabad and Junagadh in Gujarat. In Delhi, the Yamuna has almost reached the water levels. We are standing right beside the old Delhi Yamuna bridge and the Yamuna water levels have breached the danger mark of 205.33 meters for the second day in a row. The increased water levels of Yamuna river have been witnessing from the last day and due to the increased discharge from the Hatnikund barrage which started from Saturday. Now the water levels have increased uh, which, uh, is, which is again a show of concern because the, as per the CWC it has also put Delhi, uh, the Yamuna, in the orange alert. In Uttarakhand, the Indian Meteorological Department has predicted heavy to very heavy rains. With thunderstorms and lightning at isolated places over Dehradun, Uttarkashi, Tehri, Pori and Nanital in the next 24 hours. पूरे क्षेत्र जो शहरी क्षेत्र हो या ग्रामीण क्षेत्र हो दोनों ही क्षेत्रों पर विस्तृत रूप से मैंने कहा है कि इसके लिए दिल्ली कांडी योजना पर हम लोग काम कर रहे हैं कि इसको ड्रेनेज के रूप में लेकर आगे भविष्य में जो चुनौतियां आने वाली हैं और जो अभी हमारे सामने चुनौती आई है उसको ध्यान में रखकर इसका प्लान किया गया है According to the IMD inclement weather conditions will persist over Mumbai and adjoining areas over the next few days Orange alert for heavy to very heavy rainfall issued in Raigad, Ratnagiri, Sindhudurg, Pune, Kolhapur and Satara districts till 27th of July. In Telangana and Karnataka, a red alert has been issued for Telangana on the July 25th, 26th and 27th. Meanwhile, in Kerala, the IMD has forecasted thunder showers in most places from 23 to 26th July. Bureau Report, Republic TV. And coming up after a very short break, after three days of washout in Parliament, will day four see movement in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha? Also, INDIA parties to meet in Malikarjun Karge's office to chalk out strategies for monsoon session. The issue in Manipur is very complex. The horror of the video in which the women are paraded naked and the gang rape on these women has shaken the entire nation. I call for unity in our national response. There are 36 terrorist groups in Manipur, all of them. Hello and welcome to the day's first edition of Superfast 50, the top 50 stories we are tracking as you begin your day this Tuesday morning. I'm Rukma, let's begin. It's day four of the Parliament's monsoon session today. On Monday, both houses were adjourned following massive sloganeering and ruckus by the opposition over the Manipur issue. 
BJP to hold the key parliamentary party meeting ahead of session at 9.30 a.m. today. Reports say meeting has been called to talk about strategy for monsoon session. Meanwhile, floor leaders of uh, the INDIA2 are set to meet Raj at Rajya Sabha leader of opposition's office today. This comes a day after they held massive protests in parliament, pressing for Prime Minister's statement on Manipur. And in a news briefing over the parliament logjam, the central government has said it is ready to have a concrete discussion. Union Minister Smriti Rani claims it is the opposition Congress that is running away from debate. छत्तीसगढ़ से संबंधित एक महिला को नग्न करने का वीडियो देखा और इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी मंत्रालय को सूचित भी किया यह सत्य है कि कांग्रेस पार्टी इस चर्चा से इसलिए भाग रही है क्योंकि उन्हें जवाबदेही सुनिश्चित करनी होगी कि उनके राज्य में जब महिला की प्रताड़ना होती है तब वो चुप्पी साधकर क्यों बैठते हैं and at least uh, five personnel were injured after the Tura office of Conrad Sangma, Chief Minister of Meghalaya, was attacked by protesters who pelted stones, even as he and other state ministers were inside the office. This comes in the backdrop of protests in demand for Tura to be made the state's, that's Meghalaya's, winter capital. As Manipur continues to remain on edge, Republic on Ground Zero brings you the voices that were unheard and the stories that have not been told. In one such story, a family claims their son, who is reportedly a local journalist, has been missing since the 6th of May. Two FRs have been filed but no information on, the whereab on his whereabouts till now. And in the latest update, one more accused has been arrested in the, with regard to the May 4th viral video barbarity, increasing the count of the total arrests in the case to seven. State police is making all-out efforts to arrest the remaining culprits conducting raids at many suspected hideouts. In an explosive interview with Republic, sacked Rajasthan minister Rajendra Guha, Gudha has claimed that the Red Diary that he displayed in the assembly contained details of who was given how much money for the Rajya Sabha and for cricket to keep the government going. diary <laughs> आपने निर्दलियों को क्या-क्या दिया किस-किस को प्रलोभन दिया क्रिकेट के चुनाव में आपने क्या-क्या काले कारनामे किए पैसे दे दे के वो सारी चीजें अभी खुलासा मैं आगे भी करूंगा Senior Congress leader Prithviraj Chavan has made a big claim saying that NCP's Ajit Pawar will soon be appointed as the CM of Maharashtra around the 10th of August and that a decision on the disqualification of incumbent Eknath Shinde and 15 other Shiv Sena MLAs will be taken at around that time itself. Went and called on the Prime Minister with his family. Normally these visits happen immediately after he's appointed. This visit happening after one month, uh, after one year of his working as a chief minister has raised eyebrows. There was a resolution in the assembly passed uh, praising his work after one year. It indicates, it smells of uh, farewell. And uh, re reacting to the Congress leader's claims that Ajit Pawar will be appointed as a chief minister around the 10th of August, Devendra Fadnavis, deputy CM of the state, has said Ajit Pawar is well aware of the fact that he would not become the chief minister and the same had been conveyed to him during the meetings held before the 2nd of July this year. Neta Shinde ji swayam mukhya mantri hai, tino ke man mein is baat ki is prashtata hai ki maha yuti ke mukhya mantri Eknath Shinde ji hai, maha yuti ke mukhya mantri Eknath Shinde ji hi rehne wale hai. उसमें कोई बदलाव नहीं होने वाला महायुति के सबसे बड़े पार्टी के नेता के रूप में मैं इस बात को स्पष्टता के साथ 
कह देना चाहता हूं और अपोजिशन भी कन्फ्यूजन तैयार करने का प्रयास करे तो समझ लीजिए वो पतंग उड़ा रहे हैं उनकी पतंग कट जाएगी एंड कर्नाटका डिप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर डी के शिव कुमार फाइन हिमसेल्फ इन द मिस्ट 